Ahem. Ouch. In a bedroom, So Lang lying on the bed suddenly bowed and coughed out a large mouthful of blood. Ah, it hurts, where is this? After assassinating the target, didn't I jump off the building? Didn't I fall to death? So Lang opened his eyes painfully and blankly, and immediately countless memory fragments appeared, and there was a sharp pain in his head. Red Maple City Stronghold The owner of this body is also called So Lang. Here is also Blue Star. But, the barrier. Martial artist. Fierce beast. Looking at the memory in his mind, So Lang gradually widened his eyes, and a stormy sea rose in his heart. After a while, So Lang understood his situation he passed. Here is also the Blue Star, but it is the Blue Star 2000 years later, everything is very different. 2000 years ago, the spiritual energy was revived, the natural disasters came to the world, and the lives were destroyed. In desperation, human beings have embarked on the way of warriors through ancient Chinese books and developed a brilliant warrior civilization. However, thousands of years ago, cracks in time and space emerged, and endless beasts invaded Blue Star. Human beings are retreating steadily, building towering barriers, forming bases, and continue to resist the invasion of beasts. The place where Solang was at this time was called the Red Maple City Stronghold, a weak human base. And Solang's predecessor was born pretty well, a family of three, and his parents are both formal warriors. The level of martial artist is divided into realms such as body tempering, martial artist, martial master, military commander, military commander, and martial king. The official warrior is already a figure with a face, with some small privileges, and is respected by most people. It stands to reason that So Lang's predecessor had a pair of martial artist parents, so he has a bright future. However, what is desperate is that his physique is a muddy body that cannot practice martial arts, and he is unparalleled in the world. His parents spent all his wealth, even borrowing from the West, trying to make him a martial artist, but in the end they couldn't even enter the body. But this is not the worst. The worst is that not long ago, the parents of the predecessor were hunting outside the city and died. Without the protection of his parents, So Lang's predecessor instantly became lonely and unaccompanied. In a short period of time, he deeply realized the meaning of the phrase life has been suffering since ancient times, and the world's cold and warm are self-knowledge. But just yesterday, his predecessor was severely injured by two bullies, died, and ended a sad life. Lie noisy, I'm so miserable. So Lang sucked in a cold breath and was dumbfounded, then how many meanings do I have when I crossed over? How about being thrown to death? If you can't become a warrior, you will be the bottom of the bottom for the rest of your life. He is bullied and humiliated every day, and he doesn't even have a chance to take revenge. It's better to die. Boom boom boom. Little waste, open the door to Lao Tzu. A violent knock on the door was accompanied by an unscrupulous clamor. Hearing the rampant shouts outside, So Lang took a breath, and a lot of pictures suddenly appeared in his mind. Being condescendingly abused waste, garbage, and even abused parents who have just passed away. Being randomly piled up in front of the door with garbage, urinating and defecate making the door stinking. Blocked in the stairwell for blackmail, if you don't give it, you just pull your hair and slap. All these kinds of insults come from one person, that is, Chu Gang, who lives alone on the opposite side. When his parents were there, Chu Gang called So Lang Su Master. When his parents had no news, Chu Gang called So Lang the stinky kid. When his parents confirmed their death, Chu Gang called So Lang a small waste. As time went on, Chu Gang began to insult So Lang, and became more and more serious. No, I'm here again. Malgobis, the predecessor is too awkward, right? I have been bullied to this point, and I don't want to do it with a knife. So Lang gritted his teeth with hatred, his veins exposed. He is a person who does not hold grudges, because once he has a grudge, he will avenge it immediately. It is absolutely impossible to endure as humiliating as the predecessor. 
Where's the knife? Where's my knife? Fight with him. So Lang found a black tang knife on the wall, and when he held it with his hand, he was about to get out of bed and grab the knife. But at this moment, a sharp pain suddenly hit his whole body, causing his strength to be instantly taken away. Lying down, it hurts. I hurt, the bully of the whole family. So Lang's face was pale and he was holding his chest, his eyes were blood red, and he was angry. Boom boom boom. The knock on the door turned into a kick. If it weren't for the stronger wood in the Reiki era, this door would have been broken by Chu Gang. The door won't last long, what should I do? So Lang clenched his fists angrily, sit and wait to die? No. Suddenly, a voice rang out of thin air in his mind. Ding! The one key training system has been bound and is being activated. 1%, 12%, 56%. What what? System. So Lang's eyes widened fiercely, and he, who was familiar with various types of novels, wouldn't he know the existence of the system against the sky? Anyone who gets the system takes off all the way, stands on the pinnacle of life, has countless beautiful women, and leads a life of sexual happiness and happiness. This is too timely, what am I afraid of with the system? So Lang opened his mouth wide in horror. If his injury hadn't allowed him, he would have laughed loudly. 99%, 100%, the system is activated. Ha ha. Activated? activated. The prompt in his mind was so beautiful, so Lang trembled with excitement, system, system. Tell me how you use it. Host, unfortunately, the system does not currently have any functions. The system's response made so Lang's smile instantly stiff, and the corners of his mouth twitched unconsciously. No function. So Lang stared at the trembling door, then how can I turn around? What could be more desperate than giving people hope, and then shattering his hope? By the way, the system replied with the word current. That is to say. So Lang's expression moved, and hope immediately rekindled in his heart, how can the system have functions? He is very worried at this time, if the requirements for obtaining functions are too harsh, then he is done. Host, only spend 10 gold coins to activate the first function. It can be activated with money. Great. So Lang showed ecstasy and immediately endured the pain, stretched out his hand and took out a bag from under the pillow. The predecessor parents knew that they were hunting fierce beasts every day, and the bad luck was unpredictable, so they kept the money. Pour out all the coins inside, a total of 16 gold coins, which is not a small amount of money for ordinary people. Chu Gang, are you waiting for me? So Lang grinned and let out a deep and excited laugh, system, activate the first function. Ding! Consume ten gold coins, the sea of cultivation is opened, and the one key cultivation function is activated. Ding! The main practice infinite heart sutra is detected, and the one key practice function is activated. Ding! Congratulations on activating the first function. You get the bonus function property panel to observe the detailed properties of yourself and the enemy. In an instant, a mysterious black space appeared in So Lang's mind. Inside, there was a white villain with a similar profile and appearance as So Lang sitting cross-legged and practicing. There is a large amount of golden airflow in the white little human body that continuously circulates the sky in accordance with the Boundless Heart Sutra, at an extremely fast speed. As soon as Zhou Tian turned around, So Lang felt that a large amount of spiritual energy was rushing into his body. In addition, there are also the medicinal properties that have deposited in the body after taking rare medicinal materials before, and they also burst out crazy, quickly advancing his cultivation base. In an instant, half of the white villain turned golden. At this time, a large amount of more detailed information appeared in his mind so that So Lang immediately understood all the characteristics of the one key practice function. After the one key practice was activated, So Lang began to practice automatically for 24 hours. When the white villain turned golden, it was the time of breakthrough. 
and his cultivation speed is equivalent to the top flawless aptitude, can run a week every one minute. This kind of abnormal cultivation speed is more than a thousand times faster than Fanpin's qualification. If there is no external force, Fanpin qualification takes more than 30 years to complete the body quenching, while the flawless qualification can be completed in just 10 days. And the abnormality of the one key practice function is not only that. Because, the rest of the warriors spend only 5 or 6 hours in meditation a day. Even if you work harder, you can only practice for 12 hours a day at most. No matter how much it is, you won't be able to persist for a long time. Because they also need to practice moves, go out to experience, cultivate and learn, deal with chores, exercise at night. These will take up a lot of time and energy. But Solang was able to cultivate automatically 24 hours a day, and his cultivation time was doubled. In other words, I can finish body tempering in five days at most, so abnormal. So Lang was stunned at once, he knew that the system was very abnormal, but the simple and crudely abnormal function of one key training was still too shocking. And this is the first function, there are more functions waiting for me to activate. So Lang was so excited that he trembled, took a deep breath, and suppressed the impulse to laugh. At this time, host, the sea of cultivation is full, is it a breakthrough? The extraordinarily beautiful system prompt sound shocks Solang with excitement. This can be a breakthrough? Too special, too fast. Solang was overjoyed and immediately ordered, System, give me a breakthrough. In an instant, Solang's body was hot, and there was a flash of light in his eyes. The elementary body tempering realm is here. So Lang turned over and got out of bed, feeling that his body was completely different from the one before the breakthrough. Taking his appearance as an example, the previous So Lang was seriously injured and weak, his face pale as a dead man. But now he is healed from his injuries, his complexion is ruddy and his figure is tall and straight, his eyes are like lacquer, his eyes are burning. All of a sudden, he turned from a half dead sick child into a handsome guy. Hey! So Lang couldn't help but waved a few punches, and the wind was blowing. This kind of power is already stronger than the body that I exercised in all sorts of ways in my previous life. This has just entered the body tempering. The feeling of mastering power is exceptionally beautiful, as if controlling one's own destiny, making people feel confident in an instant. Boom boom boom. Trash So Lang, I will kill you if I don't open the door again. The kicking sound became more and more intense, and Chu Gang's anger became more unbearable. Kill me? GGGG. So Lang looked at the roaring and dusty door with a thick sneer on his face. Although Chu Gang is domineering, he is just an ordinary person, not even a primary body tempering. And So Lang was a killer in his previous life, and now he has been promoted to temper his body. Are you afraid of an ordinary person? Boom boom boom. Dog bastard, won't you open the door? Chu Gang's fierce voice came from outside, and the door was also kicked and deformed, as if it would shatter in the next moment. Don't kick. So Lang closed the window tightly, yelled, and then opened the door with a sneer on his face. Standing outside the door was a thin and dark man with a bald head. This person is Chu Gang. Draft Ma, it took so long to open the door. Chu Gang opened the door impatiently and squeezed in from the crack of the door, what did you shout at? Ah! So Lang smiled coldly, raised his hand and slapped Chu Gang's fleshy face. Snapped! Loud slaps echoed in the stairwell. Chu Gang was slapped by So Lang for a half circle, staggering and supporting the wall, his entire right face was already numb. You, why dare you hit me? Chu Gang clutched his hot face and looked at Sol Lang in disbelief. Because the body quencher was still unable to radiate spiritual energy fluctuations, Chu Gang thought that Sol Lang at this time was still the same waste. In his opinion, Sol Lang really had the courage of the bear heart and leopard. And the reason why he himself was hit was completely careless and was attacked. I want you to die. Chu Gang rushed to the crown with an anger, 
and fisted So Lang with a fist. This punch used Chu Gang's twelve cents of strength to take the key to So Lang's temple. If ordinary people get such a punch, they will definitely not die or be seriously injured. Boom! There was a dull sound, and So Lang easily grabbed Chu Gang's fist. How is this possible? Just after Chu showed an incredible look, So Lang slammed down. Click! The bone stubble suddenly pierced the flesh and exposed to the air. Ah! The arm was broken into two sections alive, Chu Gang could not bear the severe pain, and suddenly let out a scream. Aren't you going to kill me? So Lang threw away Chu Gang's broken arm and slapped it again with a slap in the face. Snapped! This time it was his left face. Chu Gang was directly knocked to the ground, his face swelled and his bald head became a pig's head. Ah! My hand! Chu Gang's face was twisted, and he kept wailing while clutching his broken arm. The previous arrogance was long gone. This is just one hand, so you can't stand it. So Lang closed the door and looked down at Chu Gang condescendingly, how can you survive the pain of broken limbs? So Lang! Stop, stop! Chu Gang was shocked when he heard that So Lang was about to break his limbs. Stop it! Ha ha! So Lang hooked his mouth and stepped on Chu Gang's head, I don't want to think about how you insulted me before. I admit that I was wrong, but you don't want to die, just let me go. Chu shook his head fiercely, I tell you, I have joined the Broken Axe Hunting Group. All members of the Broken Axe Hunting Group have a tattoo on their earlobes. Look at my earlobes. I tell you, if you dare to move me, your end will be terrible then. Chu Gang didn't know why So Lang suddenly became stronger. But he knew that So Lang was a muddy body and it was absolutely impossible for him to follow the martial arts. If you don't enter the way of a warrior, you will always be an ordinary person, no matter how strong it is, you can't fight with the hunting group of the broken axe that has the warrior. Therefore, he had no fear and was certain that So Lang would be frightened. Broken Axe Hunting Group So Lang's eyes were cold, his toes twisted fiercely, and Chu Gang immediately screamed, his cheeks twisted. The Broken Axe Hunting Group is a notorious gang nearby that does everything for and looting. So Lang clearly remembered that the two bullies who had beaten him badly had tattoos on their earlobes. Okay, Broken Axe Hunting Group. The hatred of humiliation and murder, the two hatreds added together, and the hatred in So Lang's heart was surging, and he used his feet again. Ah! So Lang, didn't you hear, let me go. Seeing So Lang's changes intensified, Chu Gang suddenly felt a little guilty, quickly let go of me, we will settle our grievances. It's not that simple to clear up grievances. So Lang sneered, with murderous intent in his eyes, counting the care of you by my parents in the past, and your insults to me afterwards, you have to spend your life to clear up this grudge. No. So Lang, I was wrong. After all, Chu Gang was a and fearful of hard trash. Seeing So Lang's intention to kill, he suddenly felt horrified and bowed his head begging for mercy. Humph! So Lang suddenly stretched out his hand and grabbed it, and fetched a black tang knife from the side wall. Don't kill me, I know I was wrong, I apologize. When Chu Gang saw So Lang move the knife, he was instantly terrified, you know that you can't kill people in the city. This is the Iron Law. You will die if you kill me. The Iron Law is for the weak to obey. This is a consensus. So Lang smiled coldly and slowly pulled out the sharp blade. Xiao Xiao, please go around me. I, I don't want to die. The panic in Chu Gang's heart gradually turned into despair and tears and nose flowed down instantly. It's not impossible to spare your life. So Lang put a cold blade on Chu Gang's neck and cut out a trace of blood, tell everything about the Broken Axe Hunting Group, background, location, number of members, and strength. I said. Don't do it. With a long knife at the point, Chu Gang was cold and his hair was about to stand up. I just joined the Broken Axe Hunting Group. 
I don't know the background of the gang. I only know that the gang leader is an official martial artist, and the two deputy gang leaders are quasi martialists very strong. The rest of the members range from the elementary body tempering to the peak tempering body, and there are a large number of ordinary people like me. The nest of the Broken Axe Hunting Group is in the Golden Fruit Building. I have only entered the outer Golden Fruit Bar. I don't know the core location. I also know that there is a hunting base of the Broken Axe Hunting Group outside the city, in the F-Class Wind Wolf area. That's it, I said everything, don't kill me. Chu Gang finished speaking in one breath, shaking all over with fright, tears flowing. There are two members of the Broken Axe Hunting Group. So Lang explained the appearance characteristics of the two bullies and asked, Do you know? Yes, I know. Chu Gang nodded in horror, one is Do Zhong, and the other is Cai Feng. They are both in the tempering stage and have been in strongholds outside the city for a long time. They came back yesterday, and I happened to have a drink with them all night at the Golden Fruit Bar. But I don't know why, they left early this morning and brought a wave of people away. I was low level and couldn't participate, so I came back. Well. So Lang nodded, and with a sigh, Tang Dao was sheathed. Chu Gang heaved a sigh of relief when he saw this, his whole body was sweaty, like a stray dog just picked up from the water. But at this moment, So Lang smiled and moved the foot on Chu Gang's head to his other intact arm. So Lang. What are you going to do? Chu Gang's pupils shrank suddenly and his voice was terrified, no. Don't. So Lang turned a deaf ear to Chu Gang's begging for mercy and smashed it down. Crack. Ah. <laughs> Chu Gang let out a scream like a pig, tears and nose running down his face. It's not over yet. So Lang smiled faintly, and moved his foot to Chu Gang's thigh again, yes, all limbs will be broken. Please, Master Su. Dante. What? Soon after, after a few screams of crying wolf howling, Chu Gang we passed out into a coma with abrupt pain. Fortunately, So Lang closed the doors and windows earlier. The good sound insulation materials of the Aura era prevented Chu Gang's screams from spreading, otherwise it would have caused trouble. What a relief! Seeing Chu Gang with broken limbs, So Lang smiled smoothly and immediately pulled a chair to sit down. He didn't forget that after activating the first function, he also included the Ability Properties panel. This function is great. The corner of So Lang's mouth ticked, with this function, you can know yourself and your opponents, the system, open the properties panel. Solang. Human. Turbidity. Primary body quenching. Primary body quenching. Primary body tempering. Primary body tempering. Primary body quenching. Infinite Heart Sutra. One key practice function. Qualification is still muddy, but it is not important. I can practice without the qualification. So Lang looked at the panel and moved his gaze to the column of mastering the exercises. The Infinite Heart Sutra. After a while, So Lang found information about this exercise from his predecessor's memory. It turned out that this turned out to be the most advanced major practice on Blue Star. It stands to reason that according to the unspoken rule that high-level exercises will be blocked by a monopoly, it is impossible for So Lang to know this exercise. Under normal circumstances. Unless they are close relatives or direct disciples, the strong will probably not pass on their practice until they die. Once the enemy's weaknesses are penetrated by his own technique, it is very dangerous. Secondly, people are selfish, and they certainly don't want their good stuff to be spread everywhere. If one's own practice is given to a higher qualified person, wouldn't it be surpassed soon? Was stepped on from the top soon? At that time, any status, wealth, and beauty will be lost. Therefore, the strong monopoly of high-level exercises is very serious, and even the spread of low-level exercises has been severely restricted. But the reality is that not only So Lang, but everyone in the world knows the Boundless Heart Sutra, even children know it. Thousands of years ago, 
a human hero took the world's worst and published this strongest major exercise method to the public, which will benefit the world's humankind endlessly. Since then, other major exercises have gradually been eliminated, and everyone has begun to practice the Infinite Heart Sutra. Unfortunately, this is just one example of the disclosure of advanced techniques. Solang was a little regretful, and then continued to look down along the attribute panel, suddenly his eyes lit up, level 1? Can one-click training be upgraded? Host, the one-key practice function can be upgraded. Level 2 requires 100 gold coins, and the cultivation speed is twice the basic speed. Level 3 requires 1000 gold coins, and the cultivation speed is four times the base speed. Level 4 requires 10,000 gold coins, and the cultivation speed is eight times the base speed. Level 5 requires 100,000 gold coins. I fork. In this way, if you keep upgrading, wouldn't your cultivation speed reach dozens, hundreds, or thousands of times the basic speed? I have practiced for one year, which is equivalent to other people's cultivation for decades, hundreds, or thousands of years. Lying noisy, developed and developed. So Lang was so ecstatic that he stood up from his chair with excitement. He really wants to upgrade the function to advanced level now, so that he can break through quickly. When the time comes, destroy the broken axe hunting group, and it will be easy to avenge yourself. But soon So Lang found that he had no money to upgrade the function. He now only had six gold coins left. The distance to level 2 is still 94 gold coins. Money, money, money. I need money. So Lang paced around in the room, I have no money, what should I do? Suddenly, So Lang's gaze fell on Chu Gang. Although this guy must be very poor, no matter how small a mosquito is, it is meat. With this idea in mind, So Lang dragged Chu Gang to the opposite house and then ransacked him in his home. One silver coin and sixty-two copper coins? Maad poor ghost. Seeing the change in his hand, So Lang slammed into the door of Chu Gang's house. Back at his home, So Lang began to worry again. It is impossible to earn ninety-four gold coins to work. It is impossible to work in a lifetime. I can only think of other ways like this. After a moment of contemplation, so Lang's inspiration flashed, and he thought of two ways. The first one is to sell the house. Although So Lang's house was ordinary, it was worth 20 or 30 gold coins. Although you will be homeless after you sell the house, as long as the system is upgraded, is it not a matter of minutes to become a more advanced warrior? When the time comes to buy a house, it is not a large villa covering a few acres without even looking at it. The second method is to go to the Martial Arts Alliance Hall to receive the primary body tempering allowance. The Warrior Alliance was established by the warriors thousands of years ago to resist the invasion of beasts. Today, it has become an official organization, covering all bases, large and small, with super powerful dominance. In order to stimulate people to continue to practice and become stronger, resist the fierce beasts and protect their homes the Martial Arts Alliance has launched generous benefits for the warriors. Every ordinary person who is promoted to the primary body tempering can go to the Martial Arts Alliance to receive 10 gold coins as a training capital. And every time you break through a small realm, you can go to the Warrior League to receive a allowance, and the higher the realm, the more generous the reward. For example, if you break through from the primary body tempering to the intermediate tempering body, you can get 20 gold coins. In addition, the warrior can receive some allowances every month, of course, it cannot be compared with the amount received by breaking through the realm. This benefit is really great. So Lang was very excited, go to sell the house first, then get the allowance, and then go to the F-class wind wolf area to see the cluttered strongholds of the broken axe hunting group. Just do it, So Lang immediately began to pack up and salute. Because the home was simple and humble, there was nothing to bring, so So Lang soon carried a backpack and went out with Tang Dao. After leaving the community, So Lang found a shop nearby to buy second-hand houses and sold the house for 25 gold coins. 
Because the shop is very familiar with the community where Solang is located, even the process of home inspection is omitted, which is much more convenient. Holding 31 gold coins, Solang got on the Aura bus and rushed to the Wahi League building. After the disaster, the science and technology tree collapsed, and most of the science and technology products were useless. Traditional cars were one of them. Neither gasoline cars nor electric cars can be used. However, 2,000 years are enough time for mankind to develop a new means of transportation or a cars. It's just that aura cars are extremely expensive, and the cost of operation and maintenance is also very high. It is difficult for even an official fighter to own a private aura car. As for catching beasts as mounts? That is impossible. Countless people have tried for thousands of years, but no one succeeded. The Reiki bus kept moving forward, while Solang sat in his seat and stared at the white little man in the one key practice space. At the first taste of the sweetness of a breakthrough, Solang couldn't bear to leave the white villain for a moment. Looking at the golden airflow that keeps running, and feeling the aura that keeps pouring into the body, it's not too cool. Half an hour later, the Linky bus arrived at the Wahi League building. This is the Martial Arts Alliance building? It really looks impressive. Solang got out of the car. He was very knowledgeable and shocked by the buildings in front of him. This building is like a black crystal cast, very tall, and more than several times taller than the Dubai Tower in the impression. Its area is also extremely wide, just like a giant mountain. The Warrior Alliance building is the base of the Warrior Alliance. There are not only various offices, but also various shops, training rooms, exercise rooms, and so on. What Solang was going to was an office dedicated to receiving allowances. This office is on the ground floor of the building, also known as the Hall of the Warrior Alliance, with a very large area and magnificent splendor. There are no less than a hundred people coming and going in the hall, just the reception window. These reception windows are divided into levels, and the warriors of the corresponding realm look for the corresponding windows to do things. Higher level warriors have the privilege to use lower level windows first. Privileges are everywhere in this era where martial arts are respected and power is attributed to individuals. The body temporary window, here. Solang looked around and walked to the left. Body tempering is the lowest level of warriors, and there are many people who come to receive allowances, and there is a long line in front of each window. Solang joined a team and waited. There are too many people, and from time to time there are official warriors who take advantage of the privileges to jump in the queue with juniors, and the speed of the team's advancement is even slower. Solang waited for three full hours before it was his turn. Hello there. Solang handed the ID card to the woman with heavy makeup behind the window. What level of allowance? The woman with heavy makeup asked in a numb tone. Primary body quenching. Solang responded with a smile, and then touched the spar next to the window, and the spar lit up with a white light spot. This kind of spar can accurately determine the strength of the martial artist, and the body tempering realm is displayed with white light spots, and the level is determined by the number. Hey? It's really a primary body tempering. The woman with heavy makeup let out a surprise, and a trace of contempt flashed in her eyes looking at Solang. Cough, please hurry up. Solang caught the trace of looking down, and his face suddenly became cold and a little uncomfortable. Solang? You are only a junior at the age of 20. Are you a mortal qualification or a waste qualification? While talking, the woman with heavy makeup took 10 gold coins and placed them under the window. She did not hide her voice, and everyone around him heard them. It's only a primary body tempering at such a big age. It should be a waste product. This kind of qualification also comes to receive allowances. It's a waste of resources. Isn't it, don't even want to break into the realm of warriors in this life, the advanced tempering body will stand up to the sky. Yes, yes, even if you receive a few more years of allowance you won't necessarily break through to the intermediate tempering. Suddenly, someone ridiculed. Ah! Solang sneered, 
you guys are no longer young, aren't you also body tempering? Can it be the same? An equally young man with braids pulled his collar and yelled, I am a martial artist, can you compare to a waste product? Wow, such a young man is a quasi warrior, stronger than the peak of body tempering, genius. Yeah, this is a military reserve, it's incredible. Handsome guy, what's your name, do you lack errands? The surrounding body temperer suddenly exclaimed and looked at the braided man enviously. Do you see it? The braided man raised his chin and looked at Solang contemptuously, this is the state where you have to work hard for a lifetime. Solang glanced, and the attributes panel of the braided man suddenly appeared. Yang Shi. Human. Medium. Quasi warrior. Quasi warrior. Quasi warrior. Quasi Warrior Quasi Warrior Infinite Heart Sutra Medium Rubbish Solang rolled his eyes. The cultivation speed of the medium grade qualification and his flawless level is three to four hundred times different. Compared with him, it is really rubbish. Hey, talk back. Yang Shi stepped forward and patted Solang on the shoulder, laughing, Yes, you are a genius. You are a genius, a natural waste material. Ha ha. Solang sneered, since you say that I am a waste material, we might as well make a bet. Bet? I like it. Yang Shi patted his hands, what are you betting on? I will accompany you. Solang said indifferently, just bet how long it will take me to break through from the primary level body tempering to the intermediate level body tempering. Bet 50 gold coins. Okay, I bet. Yang Shi sneered, I bet you can break through from the primary body tempering to the intermediate tempering in 10 years. If you do, come to the city North Puyuan Villa area to find me Yang Shi, I will give you 50 gold coins. If you can't do it, I don't make it difficult for you. I take it off and run three laps around the Martial Arts Alliance building. While running, I yell I'm a genius so that everyone knows you, okay. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm naked and shouting I am a genius? This is very exciting, a good idea. Yes, yes, I can't help but want to laugh when I think of that scene. The people around watching the excitement hummed. None of them believed that Solang could break through to the intermediate tempering body within ten years. Everyone started cultivating as soon as they were sensible, and Solang was in his twenties, and he had practiced for more than ten years before he began to temper his body. How could he spend less time to break through the more difficult realm? How? Dare to bet. Yang Shi smiled contemptuously, he also had the same idea, so he proposed this bet. Why not dare? Solang laughed, however, the bet has to be changed. If you lose, not only do you have to give me 50 gold coins, but you also have to run three laps around the Martial Arts Alliance building, while running and shouting I am a genius, how about? Okay, that's it. Yang Shi's face is full of victory, and after speaking, he will return to the team. Hold on. So Lang smiled and waved. What? Repented. Yang Shi sneered. It's too late to regret now, Solang genius. No no no. Solang smiled faintly, I think the verbal agreement is not formal enough, and it is safer to sign in black and white. What? Yang Shi was stunned with a smile, and immediately looked around, signature and bet? Does he really think he will win? Yeah, it's too ridiculous, you still sign it. When I met this Solang, I have a long experience. He is a waste product, dare to bet with a quasi-martial artist, and now he has to sign and bet, it is simply the world. Oh, what are you laughing at, people are so serious, they will definitely win. More and more people were onlookers. Everyone's faces are either unbelievable or sneered. No one thinks that Solang can win. Well, since you are so serious, I promised you compassionately. Yang Shi smiled and spread his hands, came to the window, and said to the woman with heavy makeup, Beauty, 
borrow a pen and paper. Okay, no problem. The attitude of women with heavy makeup towards Yang Shi is different, that is called flattery. She took out a pen and paper to Yang Shi, and pretended to use the back of her hand to rub Yang Shi's fingers inadvertently. Haha. <laughs> Yang Shi laughed and took the pen and paper to write down the game. After signing the name, he handed it to Sol Lang, it's your turn, our genius. The people around them burst into laughter again when they heard this sentence. Ah. Sol Lang smiled noncommittantly, and took the paper and pen to sign the name. That's how this bet is done. Yang Shi didn't even read Sol Lang's name, I'm waiting for you to fulfill the punishment, haha. <laughs> for the same, I will pay you back. Sol Lang smiled faintly, I am also waiting for you to fulfill the punishment, and it is now. What? Yang Shi and the onlookers were taken aback when they heard this, and they all sneered. At this time. System, give me a breakthrough. Sol Lang's thoughts moved, and a wave of fluctuations peculiar to his breakthrough instantly spread from his body. Because the medicinal properties deposited in Sol Lang's body have not yet been absorbed, his cultivation speed at this time is still faster than a genius with no flaws. And it has been three or four hours from the breakthrough to the primary body tempering, and the white villain has already turned golden. If it weren't for a few words with Yang Shi, So Lang had broken through before. Hey? How does it feel? It seems that the waste material broke through to the intermediate tempering body. No, what are you kidding? So Lang's breakthrough phenomenon is obvious. The onlookers know it well, but they just don't want to believe it because it's incredible. What the hell? Yang Shi also stared at So Lang in disbelief. Hey, I am willing to bet. So Lang smiled and waved the agreement, please take the 50 gold coin bet, and then take it off and run three laps around the martial arts alliance building, while running and shouting I am a genius, let everyone know know you. No, it's impossible. How could you break through the intermediate tempering body so quickly? Yang Shi's face was green and white, and he said in a lithe manner, you must have cheated. What method did you use to simulate the fluctuations during the breakthrough? Cheating? Keep your dog eyes open. So Lang sneered and put his hand on a spar by the window, two white light spots suddenly lit up on the spar. Two light spots, really an intermediate tempering body. This So Lang is clumsy, he can break through to the intermediate tempering body long ago. Fuck. Then why did he come to receive the primary body tempering allowance at this time? Who didn't break through the primary body tempering and came to receive the allowance happily, how can he bear it? Fake it. But the volatility that he radiated before was indeed a breakthrough volatility. I have seen this volatility a lot, so I can't mistake it. That is to say, he really just broke through to intermediate body tempering. Yang Shi is planted. Yes. Yang Shi was really unlucky enough to encounter such a thing. But if Yang Shi didn't taunt others, there would be nothing wrong. Haha, <laughs> that said. Everyone talked in disbelief, all eyes fell on Yang Shi. Reserve martial artist, are you going to break your promise and get fat? So Lang smiled coldly at Yang Shi, please give me the bet of 50 gold coins, and then fulfill the second bet. Grass. What if you break through the intermediate tempering body? I didn't break through to the intermediate body tempering at the age of 20, that is, a common grade. In front of me, Yang Shi, Yu So Lang is still a trash, hum. No need to look for it. With heartache and shame, Yang Shi took out a spiritual stone from his pocket and slammed it on So Lang's chest, then left without looking back. As for taking off and running three laps around the Martial Arts Alliance building, and yelling I'm a genius while running, he has no face to do it and dare not do it. Otherwise, not only his own reputation will be ruined, but the entire Yang family will be laughed at. At that time, his Yang Shi's end was terrible. Therefore, he would rather pay So Lang a low-grade spirit stone worth 100 gold coins than fulfill the second gambling agreement. For the sake of this spiritual stone, let me spare you for the time being and don't let me run into you again. 
So Lang looked at the leaving figure of Yang Shi and sneered dismissively. Immediately afterwards, So Lang turned to look at the woman with heavy makeup in the work window, Hey, old witch, give me the allowance and ID card for the intermediate body tempering. This time the incident was caused by this woman with heavy makeup. Although So Lang earned 100 gold coins, she was still very upset. Humph. The woman with heavy makeup threw out 20 gold coins and So Lang's identity card angrily, it's just a mortal qualification. If you provoke young master Yang, you're dead, get out of the way and don't stand in the back. Tisk tusk, this attitude of handling things will sooner or later die. So Lang sneered, packed up the spirit stones, gold coins and identity cards, and quickly left the hall of the warrior alliance. It seems that Yang Shi has some identity. Walking on the road, So Lang turned the spirit stone in his hand. Ling Shi is a kind of peculiar energy spar, it is a treasure of heaven and earth produced after the aura is revived, and an important resource for martial artists to practice. In addition, the spirit stone can be cut and ground at will, and later cut into standard size as high-end currency. Under normal circumstances, the spirit stones are circulated among the warriors and the powerhouses of higher realms. Ling Shi is also divided into quality grades, which are low grade, medium grade, top grade, and top grade. The lower grade spirit stone is worth 100 gold coins, and the exchange ratio between each of the upper grades is 100 times. This spirit stone in Sol Lang's hand is a low grade spirit stone. When I exchange this half of the spirit stone into gold coins, I will have 161 gold coins, which is enough to upgrade the one key training function to level 2, ha ha ha. When he thought that his cultivation speed would be twice as fast as a genius with no lack of aptitude, So Lang was so excited that he wanted to roar to the sky. Suddenly, host, the system can provide free currency storage, exchange, and withdrawal functions. What? So Lang showed surprise instantly. In this way, he saves a lot of trouble and saves a lot of handling fees. The system, immediately exchange this spiritual stone into gold coins. So Lang thought, and the spirit stone in his hand disappeared. There is an extra money symbol in the upper left corner of the mysterious black space, marked with 100 at the back. Ding! The exchange is successful, may I deposit the remaining gold coins in the system? Deposit. So Lang nodded, the gold coin on his body immediately disappeared, and the number behind the money symbol became 161. It's already 161 gold coins. So Lang licked his lips excitedly, system, upgrade me the one key practice function. Ding! Consume 100 gold coins, the one key training function is upgraded to level 2, and the training speed is increased to twice the basic speed. On the white villain in the mysterious black space, the speed of the golden air flow instantly doubled. This turbulent aura, so fast. Feeling the aura continuously pouring into his body, So Lang couldn't help opening his arms, his face full of intoxication. After the cultivation speed was doubled, the time originally expected in less than five days was immediately shortened by half. In just over two days, so Lang can complete the goal that most people need to struggle for decades to be promoted to an official warrior. It feels so refreshing. Seeing the white villain in the black space gradually turning into gold, So Lang couldn't help but curled up his mouth. Immediately So Lang asked extremely expectantly, the system, at this speed, how long will it take me to break through to the advanced body tempering? Host, you can break through to advanced body tempering in only four hours. Four hours, just one afternoon. So Lang was overjoyed, when I find the hunting base of the Broken Axe hunting group, I will almost be able to break through. Now that the house was sold, So Lang had nowhere to go, so he decided to step on it. With an extremely happy mood, So Lang got on the number one Reiki bus to the city gate. Most people who take bus number one go hunting outside the city. Only after entering the body tempering realm, did he dare to hunt the F-class fierce beast in the area closest to the barrier. Therefore, most of the cars in this car are in the body tempering state, 
and Solang is inconspicuous in the crowd. After half an hour, the Linky bus arrived at the terminal. At this time, the number of people in the car has been reduced by half. It can be seen that even if the body is tempered, not everyone dares to go out hunting. After getting off the car, So Lang saw an extremely tall barrier. This barrier is so high that it is comparable to the Martial Arts Alliance building, more than 2,000 meters high. Its thickness is also very amazing, exactly like a thick mountain range lying on the ground. In addition, a large number of arrays are carved on the barriers. These arrays are not only defensive, but also offensive, which are very powerful. However, from the degree of defense of this barrier, we can infer how powerful the fierce beast outside is. Following the group of people out of the city, So Lang came to a hall. This hall is also affiliated to the Martial Artist Alliance and is called the Tower Hall. The Hall of the Tower has functions such as selling map information, recovering beast materials, natural treasures, selling medicines, weapons, and armors. In addition, the street outside the Tower Hall is full of private stalls selling all kinds of goods. So Lang came to be interested, and walked around the street to look around. Maps are sold, maps are sold. A middle-aged man with a junior body tempering shouted to So Lang, the latest version of the map was updated only the day before yesterday. The young man will have one. Then have a copy. So Lang was in need of a map, otherwise he would be blind when he left the city. Hee <laughs> hee, Chinjui won gold coin. The middle-aged man handed over a map, his face was full of laughter. One gold coin? Are you stupid? So Lang shook his head speechlessly, one silver coin, whether you like to sell it or not, there are many people who don't sell it. With that said, he was going to the next stall. Oh little brother, don't go. The middle-aged man smiled stiffly, two silver coins, the lowest. Two silver coins are fine. So Lang stopped and threw two silver coins, but I have to ask about one thing. You said, I will tell you what I know. The middle-aged man smiled and handed the map to So Lang. So Lang took the map, I ask you, do you know the stronghold of the Broken Axe Hunting Group in the F-Class Wind Wolf area? The stronghold of the Broken Axe Hunting Group? I must know that. The middle-aged man's complexion changed, you guys are here for the first time. Okay. So Lang nodded happily. Tell me about this stronghold. Then I will tell you a little bit. The middle aged man said, The F class Wind Wolf area was originally a good hunting spot, very suitable for our body temperers. But then a more precious herb appeared in this place, so it was taken over by the Broken Axe Hunting Group. The Broken Axe Hunting Group is notorious and acts vicious and vicious. No one except their members is allowed to go hunting and collecting medicine. Someone ventured in to hunt and collect medicine and they were killed. Later, this matter caused dissatisfaction among many people. Someone sued the Wahi League, but they were suppressed for some reason. I heard that the Broken Axe hunting group has a backstage, and the backstage is very strong, but I don't know the specific force. So, how about the stronghold of the Broken Axe hunting group? So Lang asked thoughtfully, are there any warriors guarding it? That's not true. The middle-aged man lowered his voice, after all, there is only an F-class area, and the guards are in the realm of quasi warriors. But because the Broken Axe hunting group has a strong background, even the official warriors dare not easily provoke them. What's more, if there are official warriors to their area, they will not engage in evil, but will be good for entertaining. Hey boss, how do you sell this knife? A voice came in from the side, and the middle-aged man greeted the guests quickly. A quasi warrior. So Lang murmured and left the booth, System, how long does it take for me to be promoted to the official warrior? From the intermediate body tempering to the official martial artist, to cross the three small realms of advanced tempering body, peak tempering body, and quasi martial artist, you need to break through four times. For most people, even if they spend a lifetime, they may not be able to complete these four breakthroughs and become an official warrior. 
host, you can break through to the martial artist in 51 hours. This is too slow. Solang pursed his lips, showing dissatisfaction. After enjoying the refreshment of upgrading in minutes, but now he has to wait dozens of hours, Solang is of course not satisfied. I also don't know how many liters of blood will be vomited if this is known to others. How long does it take to get to the Quasi Warfighter? Solang asked, to eradicate the stronghold of the Broken Axe Hunting Group, you need to be crushed by the Realm of Warriors. Host, you can break through to a Quasi Warrior in just 25 hours. Still a bit long. Solang frowned, he didn't want to take revenge overnight. However, how to quickly improve your strength? Correct. Solang's expression moved, I can take the pill. Before he could enter the primary body tempering in minutes, it was because of the power of medicine to push it. Once the pill is taken, the cultivation speed can be greatly increased. After the aura regained, the blue star gave birth to a large number of natural treasures, and medicinal materials were one of them. Through the magical method of refining medicine and alchemy, medicinal materials can be turned into medicines and pills with various effects. Healing medicine is one of them. However, medicines are very precious, often more than a dozen silver coins. The pill is more expensive, the lowest level pill costs one gold coin. That can be equivalent to one month's salary for an ordinary body temporary. Let's take a look at the tower hall first. Solang entered the lobby with the map. Although the prices of items sold in the lobby of the tower are slightly higher than those sold by private individuals, they are clearly marked and the quality is authentic. Hello, I want to buy a pill. Solang came to a pill sales window and said directly. This is the price list, you choose yourself. The staff handed Solang a brochure. The body tempering pill, the strengthening body pill, the bone forging pill that can increase the body tempering speed, the best is the body tempering pill. Taking a body tempering pill can increase the efficiency of body tempering, and the effect lasts for about two hours. The quality of body tempering pills are different, the physical conditions of the users are different, and the effect of improving efficiency is also different. Seeing this, Solang secretly shook his head, each pill only lasts two hours. The time for ordinary people to temper their bodies is counted in years, and the cost effectiveness of two hours is too low. Even if you buy it, it is a waste of money. Fortunately, it didn't take long for me to break through. I sigh, I still want to buy the pill, so Lang began to look at the price of the pill. Body tempering pill, second tier low grade, 5 gold coins. Body tempering pill, the second tier middle grade, 7 gold coins. Body tempering pill, second tier top grade, 12 gold coins. The pill is divided into 1 to 9 levels, and according to the strength of the medicine, it is divided into 6 levels, waste, low grade, middle grade, top grade, top grade, and perfect. The top grade is already very rare, the top grade will occasionally be a surprise, and the perfect quality pill will only appear once in a few years. The best is the top grade, 12 gold coins, equivalent to half a sweet. Solang watched and said, but, it's only money, and you can come back after all your money is gone. Give me five top grade body tempering pills. While talking, Solang handed the brochure back to the staff. However, his words fell in the ears of people around him, and there was a burst of discussion. What? I heard that right? This guy wants five top grade body tempering pills. This young man turned out to be five top grade body tempering pills when he opened his mouth, kidding. That's a pill worth 60 gold coins, can this guy get it? Does he not know what a gold coin is? Everyone looked at Solang as if they were looking at another silly roe deer. Are you sure you want five top grade body tempering pills? The staff also asked some unbelief. If a martial artist did this, he wouldn't be surprised. But this guy in front of him has no aura fluctuations, he is definitely not an official warrior he wears cheap goods, and he doesn't have a piece of armor. 
In this way, it is the merchandise of the junior and intermediate tempering body, can you get 60 gold coins? How many 60 gold coins? A bunch of poor ghosts. Solang glanced at everyone with disdain, took out 60 gold coins from the system and handed them to the staff. Fuck, he really took out 60 gold coins. A local tyrant, you can actually spend so much money during the tempering period. Wandering away, this guy must be a young man. Tisk tusk, a full 60 gold coins, without blinking your eyes. The passers-by who were despised by Solang were so shocked that their jaws fell. This, this is the pill you want, sorry. The staff handed the pill to Solang and smiled apologetically. Well, this attitude is much better than that old witch. Solang smiled satisfied, then put a pill into his mouth, turned around and walked outside. And his move once again attracted horrified discussions from everyone. This guy. He just ate it casually. Shouldn't you take such an expensive pill after bathing in incense and adjusting it? Yes, and he just left. No luck refining. If you don't refine the pill, wouldn't it allow the power of the medicine to pass? Oh my god, is this guy a monster? How do I think he is like a lunatic? Almost everyone looked at Solang's back in amazement. At this moment, Solang turned his head and smiled, Master, I eat jelly beans, can't you? Puff. In the corner, a thin primary body temperer trembled, and directly spouted a mouthful of blood. The others were also dumbfounded, unable to speak for a long time. In fact, how could Solang treat the hard-earned medicine as jelly beans? However, no matter what posture he is, whether he walks, sleeps, eats or looks at beautiful women, the one key practice function is helping him move his gong automatically. Then, the medicinal power is naturally refined. This cultivation speed is really fierce. As he walked on the road, the spiritual energy around Solang helped into his body. The white villain in the mysterious space was submerged by gold at a speed visible to the naked eye. System, how long will it take for me to break through to the quasi-martial artist? Solang asked. Host, you only need ten hours to break through to a quasi-warrior. More than doubled? And five pills can last just ten hours. Solang nodded in satisfaction, it seems that these sixty gold coins have no white flowers. The effect of body tempering pill was very good, but Solang had not considered taking the pill to maintain the doubled state. Because that is too expensive, 144 gold coins a day. The cost of 7 days is enough to upgrade the system function to one level, but the cultivation speed will be doubled forever, and it is clear at a glance which one to choose. The cultivation base is waiting for a breakthrough, now it's time to look at the map. Solang took out the map, unfolded it, and suddenly saw a large number of interlaced areas and various labels. The map is divided into six colors, white, green, orange, red, dark purple, and black. They represent the urban area, the F-level beast area, the E-level beast area, the D-level beast area, and the C-level beast area. The strength of the fierce beast corresponds to the realm of the warrior one by one. The F-class fierce beast equivalent to the body tempering realm is almost endless. There are countless E-class fierce beasts equivalent to the realm of warriors. There are also D-class fierce beasts equivalent to the military master level and C-class fierce beasts equivalent to the military commander level. It is said that B-level fierce beasts appeared in the stronghold of Red Maple City before, almost destroying the entire stronghold base. As for the A-level fierce beast, the stronghold of Red Maple City has never appeared before, and once such a powerful fierce beast appears, it represents the disaster of the destruction of the city. Legend has it that there are S-level fierce beasts above A-level, that existence can destroy the world, but no one has ever seen it. In addition, fierce beasts generally move in areas of corresponding levels, but the possibility that high-level fierce beasts will enter low-level areas is not small. Many people died because they encountered high-level beasts in low-level areas. In the map, the entire Red Maple City stronghold is marked as a white area. 
Outside the city, a large circle surrounding the barrier is green, which is divided into various irregular areas. These green areas are relatively safe F-level areas, and the Wind Wolf area is inside. Got you. Solang narrowed his eyes, revealing a trace of murderous aura. Snapped. Suddenly, someone patted him on the shoulder. Who? Solang frowned and turned around, staring at the incoming person like a knife. A man with a beard with an intermediate body tempering state. Don't get excited. Aha, my name is Tanzikin. Tanzikin smiled, I think you are studying the map. Are you going to hunt outside the city? None of your business. Solang asked indifferently. You really want to go hunting? I didn't say that, outside the city is not only dangerous, but also troublesome. Tanzikin laughed and said, I, I am a guide, lay hands, carry weights, run errands, and ask for living expenses. Do you need it? How much is it? Solang glanced at Tanzikin and smiled noncommittal. Only fifty silver coins. Tanzikin Ma answered, except for fighting, you don't have to worry about everything. If you need me to fight, you have to add money. I just need a guide. Solang nodded, come with me and leave the city after dinner. Immediately, Solang walked to a restaurant, and Tanzikin followed with nodding and bowing. The restaurant's dishes are very rich, including various dishes made with beast meat, and even vegetables with aura. Solang ordered a large table and spent ten silver coins. This is so rich. Tanzikin showed excitement, I have never had such a hearty meal, thank you so much. Eat it. Solang smiled faintly. After a storm, Solang and Tanzikin returned to the tower hall. After a while, the two came outside the barrier through a long narrow passage. This is the world outside the city. What appeared in front of Solang was an endless hill, and the place where heaven and earth met was a terrifying primitive jungle. No matter how far away, there are giant peaks faintly rushing into the sky, they are like a giant standing on top of the sky, majestic and majestic. Go, go to the F-class wind wolf area. Solang handed the backpack to Tanzikin, holding only a black long knife. F-class wind wolf area? That's the site of the Broken Axe Hunting Group. Tanzikin's expression changed, Ruairuawu observing Solang's earlobes. Solang smiled faintly, I heard that they are very domineering, just go and have a look, they won't cause trouble. That's good, that's good. I'll show you the way. Tanzikin loosened his face and smiled, you are looking for the right person. I happen to know a shortcut to the Wind Wolf area. It only takes four hours to get there. After all, Tanzikin went ahead and led the way. The road outside the city is very difficult to walk. There are potholes and slopes everywhere, and from time to time, you can see the bones of various white beasts. After traveling for a short half of the way, Tanzikin suddenly stopped in a gloomy wood. Why don't you leave? Solang held Tang Dao and asked. The mountains and rivers are beautiful here, but it is a good place to bury the bones. Tanzikin slowly turned around, with a sneer and cruel expression on his face. I think so. Solang laughed, actually, I saw you as early as when I was buying the pill in the tower hall. You knew I had a problem. Tanzikin sneered, then you dare to take me out of the city? Do you think you are our opponent? Brothers, come out to kill the sheep. Ha 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 ha. I don't know how fat this sheep is. The guy the boss looks for must be a bit wealthy. Keep it alive, this kid is thin-skinned and tender, and I will kill him alive later. Four body-tempering men rushed out of the woods, and together with Tanzikin, they surrounded Solang. I'm not sure if you have any questions. Solang didn't change his face and said lightly, but it's best if there is no problem, and I am not afraid of any problem. Not afraid? This is a newborn calf. Isn't it afraid of tigers? I'm not afraid that the wind will flash my tongue. Boy, open your eyes and see, we have two intermediate tempered bodies and three primary tempered bodies. Are you ready to clean up? 
I'm really not ashamed of speaking, just hand over the knife in your hand when you know it, and I'll give you a pleasure. A group of robbers showed surprise, and immediately laughed constantly. My son, you really don't cry without seeing the coffin. Tanzikan slowly pulled out a sharp dagger, before killing you, thank you for your body tempering pill and that great lunch. Do you know why I invite you to such a hearty meal? Solang smiled, if you don't have any problems, then it's rewarding you, if you have problems, then it's your decapitation. Decapitation. Tanzikan showed his murderous intent, what a big tone. Give me up and stay alive. The other four body tempering robbers immediately rushed towards Solang with a grinning smile. Haha, I really thought it was going to take me. Solang drew out the long knife with a scream, and exclaimed, Give me a breakthrough. In an instant, there was a wave of fluctuations that were characteristic of the breakthrough in the body tempering period. Originally, it only took four hours for Solang to break through to advanced body tempering. After taking the pill, the reduction was more than half, which only took less than two hours. It has been two hours since eating and going out of town. The sea of Solang's cultivation is already overflowing. Whether to break through is just a matter of thought. Of course, the on the spot breakthrough is as simple as eating and drinking water for Solang but it is completely incredible for Tanzikan and others. It's a breakthrough volatility. Damn, he broke through the advanced tempering body. How is it possible, how can you break through at this time? From the beginning to the end, I didn't see him doing exercises. He was walking all the time. How could he break through? Tanzikan and others were shocked and horrified, everyone's scalp burst open. Using the intermediate tempering body against the advanced tempering body, not to mention hitting the stone with the pebbles, is also beyond your own control. But at this time the arrow had to be sent on the string, the five had already made a move, and there was no turning back. The two sides met each other in an instant. Die to me. Solang cut across, without any fancy moves. Do not. Seeing the sharp Tang Dao getting closer and closer in the primary tempering stage, their pupils suddenly shrank like needles. But Solang's speed was so fast, they didn't have any time to dodge at all. Puff! The light of the knife flashed, and the two people's heads were in different places, blood spurting wildly. However, Solang's sword remained undiminished, and he severely slashed on Tan Zikin's dagger. Ding! A trembling of metal resounded through the jungle, and Tan Zikin's dagger flew into the sky as a thin line. Go to hell! Another intermediate body tempering robber took this opportunity and slashed at Solang's neck. Do you think I only use a knife? Solang sneered, twisted his body, and a back whip leg directly flew the robber out. The remaining elementary body quenching rushed up with his eyes closed and his head stuffed and Solang easily dodged his body slightly. Go! When Tan Zikin saw the bad news, he turned around and fled. Can you run away? Solang moved in shape and chased after him. The power of the advanced body tempering period gave him the speed and explosive power of a cheetah. Tan Zikin is only an intermediate tempering body, how can he run Solang? But in a few seconds, Solang caught up and cut off his legs. What? Tanzikan screamed incomparably miserable, blood spurting from the broken legs like water guns. Solang kept walking, turning back like a swallow, chasing and killing the remaining two robbers frantically. Those two robbers were inferior in strength to Tanzikan, and they were resolved with two strikes. Hey, it's time to take care of you. With a smile on his face, Solang walked slowly to Tanzikan, who had broken legs. No. Don't kill me, please go around me. As long as you go around me, let me do anything, please. Please be compassionate, I have the old and the younger, all, all count on me. Tanzikan looked at Solang who was condescending and carrying a blood-stained tang knife, and his whole body trembled with fright. It's all counting on you to intercept and kill innocent people to feed, right? Solang's smile remained unchanged, his wrist turned, 
and the bright red long knife slashed down like thunder. Do not! Tanzikin burst into tears and let out a horrible howl before he died, but as the blade flickered, he was in a different place. Hey! Tang Dao is in the sheath. Solang hooked his mouth and began to search for the loot. What Solang did not expect was that these guys who were only in the body tempering realm had seized a total of 85 gold coins, several silver and copper coins, and the four weapons were worth five or six gold coins. How many warriors in the body tempering stage have to be robbed? It's really guilty. Solang slapped Tan Zikin's corpse fiercely, then picked up his backpack, and continued to rush to the stronghold of the Broken Axe hunting group. The path Tan Zikin chose was indeed a shortcut, and it was very safe and secluded. Two hours later, patches of black and red thorns appeared not far away. The bloodthirsty thorns peculiar to the F-class Wind Wolf area are here. Solang gradually slowed down, trying to hide in the shadows and move forward. Although the Broken Axe hunting group would definitely arrange guards around the stronghold, the ones who would be sent out to guard the guards were definitely low-level guys, and Solang was not afraid. Carefully avoiding the thorns, Solang slowly dived towards the center of the F-class Wind Wolf area. But soon, Solang realized something was wrong and stopped. Hey! Why are there no figures? And even the most common Wind Wolf hasn't seen one. By the way, Chu Gang said before that Do Zhong and Cai Feng returned to their base in the morning for some reason, and brought a group of people away. Combined with the situation here, it is very likely that something happened in the stronghold of the Broken Axe hunting group. After some analysis, Solang's brow slowly unfolded. Look at it first. Solang took a step forward, jumping lightly between the shadows. Finally, five minutes later, a tall arrow tower appeared in front of him. On the arrow tower stood a junior body tempering warrior who was dozing off. It's him. A cold light flashed in Solang's eyes. He recognized the identity of the person on the arrow tower. This person was one of the two bullies who killed his predecessor alive Cai Feng. A murderous enemy. Solang narrowed his eyes, his murderous aura was overflowing, and immediately drew out the Tang knife and touched it towards the arrow tower. Thanks to his previous experience as a killer, Solang successfully dived under the arrow tower and climbed the stairs. At this time, Cai Feng was still holding on to the railing, unaware that the danger of death had gradually come. What? After playing a long hatch, Cai Feng took out his mechanical watch to check the time, and suddenly he was energetic. You can change shifts in ten minutes, so you must have a good time. When he thinks of the ordinary women who are at the mercy of the stronghold, Cai Feng feels hot. But at this moment, he suddenly found that a sharp blade was slowly protruding under his chin. At the same time, a deep chill came from the neck. To die. In an instant, all the hair in Cai Feng's body was almost erected, and the heat in his belly was annihilated in an instant. Kneel down and keep silent if you want to survive. So Lang's cold voice sounded from behind Cai Feng. Cai Feng couldn't help trembling, and then knelt on the ground tremblingly. Very good. Look up and see who I am. So Lang hooked his mouth and turned to Cai Feng with a sneer. Cai Feng lifted his stiff chin and looked at So Lang. The next moment, his eyes burst into violent horror. This person. Wasn't it just yesterday that he was seriously injured and dying? How would it appear here? And how did he come to the arrow tower? Isn't he an ordinary person? How? Are you surprised? Are you surprised? So Lang grinned open the corner of his mouth revealing a weird and cruel smile. You, you are a man or a ghost. Cai Feng was horrified, shaking his whole body like sifting chaff, and his upper and lower teeth clashed. It doesn't matter. So Lang's smile remained unchanged, the important thing is that you are going to die. With that, So Lang moved his wrist and the sharp blade cut a bloodline on Cai Feng's neck. No. Don't kill me. I can't help it. Cai Feng felt that his neck was about to be cut open, 
and he was immediately frightened and begged for mercy. If it hadn't been for So Lang's Tang sword to rest on his neck, he would have kowtowed. Forcibly. So Lang raised his eyebrows, could it be that someone instructed you? Yes, it is a task assigned by our deputy gang leader. Seeing the hope of surviving, Cai Feng quickly replied, otherwise we would not dare to do it in the city, and we have to put such a heavy hand. Why does he want you to do something to me as an ordinary person? So Lang frowned. His predecessor parents had no enemies at all, and they did not leave anything worthy of coveting after their death. I don't know that either. Cai Feng cried and said, We are totally following orders, please forgive me. Humph. So Lang coldly snorted noncommittal, I'll ask you one more question, did something happen to your stronghold? You, how do you know? Cai Feng was shocked when he heard this. What happened in their stronghold did not leak out at all. After all, it was related to a treasure medicine. Sure enough, tell me what's the matter. So Lang smiled at the corner of his mouth, if I am satisfied, I will spare your life. I, leaking secrets will die. Cai Feng swallowed with difficulty, a trace of hesitation appeared on his face. Don't say die now. With So Lang Tang's knife, the bloodline on Cai Feng's neck split suddenly, and a bunch of blood flowed out. Don't. I said. Cai Feng was trembling with fright, and said tremblingly, We found a five main medicine in our stronghold, but there is an E class wind wolf guardian. The guards and masters in the stronghold have gone there. After speaking, Cai Feng's face was gloomy. He knew that once the leaks were known to the people in the gang, what awaited him would be endless torture. Tier 5 Main Medicine So Lang's eyes lit up, that is the precious medicinal material that can refine Tier 5 pill. The higher the level of the pill, the value will increase by 7, 8 times, or even 10 times, even the lowest level 5 pill is worth 7 or 800 gold coins. As the main material of the pill, its value occupies at least half of the pill, which is about 400 gold coins. For So Lang, who is in desperate need of money to upgrade the system's functions, it has an unparalleled temptation. Let's talk about it, where is the position of the Tier 5 main medicine? So Lang smiled gently and asked Cai Feng gently. In the Gourd Valley just west of the base, it used to take more than half an hour. Cai Feng said tremblingly, I know this, please let me go. One last question. So Lang asked seriously, when did the masters in the stronghold leave? This, they just left soon. Cai Feng nodded, and immediately widened his eyes, revealing an unbelievable look, aren't you going to take advantage of the emptiness? You are an ordinary person. It is all luck to subdue me. If you dare to go to the stronghold, you will definitely die. Ordinary people? Yes, half a day ago. So Lang smiled faintly. Half, half a day ago. Cai Feng stared at his eyes full of fear and shock, have you broken through to the tempering body? But you are only a beginner. Don't bother you to worry about it. So Lang moved his knife, tell me the structure of the stronghold once, and I will let you go. Yes yes. Cai Feng's eyes flickered. Then quickly began to describe the structure of the base building. He spoke in great detail, and even set a secret road leading to the inside of the stronghold. Although most of the masters in the stronghold have gone to deal with the Kuei e class wind wolf, in Cai Feng's view, the intermediate body tempering left in the stronghold is not something that So Lang, the junior body tempering body can deal with. If So Lang really enters the stronghold, there is absolutely no way back, and there is no way to escape. That's, that's it. Look, can you let me go? Cai Feng told all the information about the stronghold, and then looked at Solang eagerly. However, although on the surface he was eager, there was a sneer and excitement about revenge in his heart secretly. Just let him think about breaking his head, and he never thought that Solang was already a high-level body tempering at this time. Moreover, in about an hour, 
you will be able to break through to the peak body tempering. With such strength, in the absence of stronghold guards, it can be rampant. Um. I fulfill my promise and spare your life. So Lang withdrew Tang Dao from Cai Feng's neck and smiled satisfied, revealing shining white teeth. Then I'm leaving, and I'm grateful for my mercy. With surprise in his eyes, Cai Feng hurriedly thanked him, before turning around and fleeing. Wait. So Lang's mouth twitched and stopped Cai Feng, did I let you go? Hey? This, this, you said forgive me. Cai Feng shouted badly in his heart, and his figure trembled again. I intend to spare your life, but the death penalty is forgiven, and the living sin cannot escape. So Lang pulled a knife, and a faint sneer was outlined at the corner of his mouth, go, leave a pair of hands. This Cai Feng was one of the culprits who directly killed So Lang's predecessor. How could So Lang spare him so easily? Leave your hands? You, you broke your promise. Cai Feng was shocked when he heard the words, and immediately said angrily, Everyone is also a junior tempering body, before I was only controlled by you, so I let you kill. Anyway, I am also a person who has hunted fierce beasts. You are a trash who has just left the city. I really thought I was afraid of you. Ha 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 ha, are you afraid of me? So Lang laughed, then what were you doing on the ground just now? You bastard. Die to me. With shame and anger, Cai Feng gritted his teeth and pulled out a dagger from his waist and slammed it at So Lang. You did it first, don't blame me if you die. So Lang sneered, his wrist flipped and the blade was empty. Immediately, the sharp blade of light flashed like thunder, and Cai Feng's anger instantly solidified. This is impossible. Cai Fengman opened his mouth in horror, and then a lot of blood spurted from his neck, and his body collapsed. Until death, he didn't understand why So Lang had become so powerful. Isn't it okay to hand over your hands obediently? So Lang shrugged knelt down to clean up Cai Feng's finances, and hurried to the stronghold of the Broken Axe Hunting Group. Now that the nest of the Broken Axe Hunting Group is empty, it is a good opportunity to ransack the home. It is important to know that strongholds and strongholds often trade with each other, and often purchase valuable materials in the hands of individual people, and there are definitely not a few reserves. Even the lowest level F-level stronghold is absolutely amazing enough. According to the information provided by Cai Feng, So Lang bypassed more than a dozen arrow tower posts and came to the center of the stronghold of the Broken Axe Hunting Group. The stronghold of the Broke Axe Hunting Group did not build any hard barriers. Because almost every ten years or so, there will be a wave of fierce beasts attacking the city, then these strongholds will be completely vulnerable and will be destroyed. Therefore, most F-level strongholds are side by side with huge and smooth wood, forming a simple city wall. Following the city wall, So Lang quickly found the underground tunnel in Cai Feng's mouth. Cai Feng's words can't be trusted, you have to be careful. So Lang opened the underground tunnel entrance and cautiously touched in. The secret tunnel is dark and damp, but fortunately, Killer So Lang has rich experience and he has experienced a lot of this environment, so he can deal with it freely. Carefully walked through the underpass, without encountering any danger during the period. But when he was about to reach the exit, So Lang heard a moment of movement. This secret path is guarded. So Lang's expression was startled, then Cai Feng is deceitful. Immediately, So Lang slowly walked towards the exit, and the guard was just above his head. Intermediate body quenching. So Lang glanced at the guard, then rushed out. Who? The watcher showed vigilance, but before he could see the person's figure clearly, he felt a ray of sword shining in front of him. In an instant, the guardian's scalp exploded with horror. He tried his best to dodge to the side, but still to no avail. The cold blade cut into his throat, and the endless pain swept through his body depriving him of all consciousness. Next. Slowly put down the body of the guard, 
So Lang rushed to the next place where someone might be guarded based on the information provided by C.A.I. Feng. As for searching for corpses, you can wait until the battle is over. After all, now is the best time to assassinate, you can't miss it. Soon So Lang found the second, third, fourth, the guards, and killed all these mobs, everything was easy. Gradually, So Lang could not find a member of the Broken Axe hunting group. I will kill this. Impossible. So Lang pulled at the corner of his mouth, showing a trace of stunnedness, but at this moment, strange sounds came over. A woman's voice? More than one. So Lang raised his brows and touched the direction where the sound came from. After killing a patrolling member of the Broken Axe hunting group halfway, So Lang came to a house. The voices of those women came from inside. Even through the doors and windows, So Lang could feel the lustful aura inside. Combining with C.A.I. Feng's self-talk before, So Lang didn't have to think about it and knew that there must be many women who were dedicated to the members of the Broken Axe hunting group to vent. These guys are really bad with sores on the top of their heads and pus on the soles of their feet. They will not kill the wrong one after killing them. So Lang raised his eyebrows, and immediately kicked and kicked the door straight. What? Malaya coin, who is a good thing to bother labor and capital. Which stupid mater? I was so scared that labor and capital were almost ed. An unsightly scene appeared inside the gate. Three naked men looked at the door angrily, seven or eight women screamed, their numb and painful eyes full of fear. The flower-armed man headed by the three is a senior-tempered body, and the other two are intermediate-tempered bodies and one of the intermediate tempering bodies was the one who beat So Lang to death. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb the three uncles. So Lang glanced at the white villain who was about to turn completely golden, squinted his eyes and walked into the door, with a playful smile on his mouth. Who are you? He has no tattoos on his earlobes, not ours. Quickly, who are you? How did you get in? Where are our people? The three big men felt bad, pushed the frightened woman's door aside, and looked at So Lang very vigilantly. Your people? Of course I killed them all. As for who am I? A sneer appeared on So Lang's face, Do Zhong, you don't know me so soon. You, you are, So Lang. Do Zhong was dumbfounded as if he had seen a ghost, no, weren't you beaten to death by us yesterday? You are just an ordinary person, how come you are here? It's annoying to keep asking me these questions. So Lang rolled his eyes, and immediately looked at the headed man with flowers. Let's talk about it, where are the wealth of the stronghold? As long as I am satisfied, I can spare your life. Spare my life? The big armed man sneered, are you sick with your head? Too lazy to talk nonsense with you. So Lang shook his head, Tang Dao unsheathed, and he rushed out a bit under his feet. This speed. Advanced body tempering. Do Zhong's eyes were about to burst, and he couldn't believe that someone would be promoted from an ordinary person to a high-level body tempering within a day. What are you afraid of three fights and one, come on? The flower-armed man gave a low sigh of disdain, picked up the big knife placed aside, and rushed towards So Lang. When the women saw three brutal men besieging So Lang, they were panicked and pity. They knew that if So Lang died directly, once he fell into the hands of Do Zhong, he would definitely die. It's disgusting. Seeing the three naked men throwing birds towards him, So Lang frowned, showing deep disgust. At this moment, the majestic and powerful sword of the flower-armed man was already severely chopped off. Ha ha ha, go to hell. Both Do Zhong also took a scimitar and slashed at So Lang's shoulder cruelly. System, breakthrough. Seeing the blade magnify in front of his eyes, So Lang let out a low drink, slashing down with the knife. A burst of violent breakthrough waves surged out, and So Lang only felt that his body was hot, and a burst of terrifying force was violently transmitted to Tang Dao. What? There was only time for the three of them to flash their thoughts and Tang Dao came first and slashed at the big sword of the leading man. Boom! 
the invisible huge force was pressed down like Mount Tai, and the sword burst into a huge gap in an instant. The tiger's mouth broke and the blood was flowing, he staggered back more than ten meters in horror, and sat down on the ground. So Lang didn't even look at the big man with flowered arms. He fluttered forward and short, twisted his waist, and Tang Dao's sword light bolted through the waist of Do Zhong and two people like lightning. The ferocity of the two in Do Zhong suddenly solidified, and the two faces were gradually covered with pain and began to twist and deform. What? My axe, no more. It hurts. It hurts. A lot of blood. Do not. The two in Duzhong shrank to the ground like shrimps, rolling and wailing. The women on the side looked at all this dumbfounded, their faces full of disbelief. The scene as expected did not appear at all, and on the contrary, it turned out that three vicious men were defeated by Solang's sword. Those three wicked and evil men were defeated. Fear, shock, doubt, joy and other emotions made the women even wonder what expressions to make. They stared like this, looking at Solang blankly, their bodies trembling, tightening and convulsing due to the intense emotions. It's really noisy. Solang furrowed his brows and killed both Do Zhong with a knife. How dare you kill my people from the Broken Axe hunting group? You are dead. The anger in the heart of the flower-armed man sitting on the ground was overwhelming. The Broken Axe hunting group has been in this stronghold for three years, and no one has dared to rush into the stronghold to kill members. But the person in front of me killed two without blinking, it was really bold and unscrupulous. Only you are allowed to kill people from the Broken Axe Hunting Group, and you are not allowed to kill your Broken Axe Hunting Group. So Lang sneered and threw off the blood on the blade, step by step towards the big man with arms, it's really awesome. Stop. You stop. The big armed man finally panicked, knowing that he was definitely not So Lang's opponent. And after the battle for so long, no one came to support it which means that the people outside must be all over. At this time, he was left with a member of the Broken Axe hunting group in the entire stronghold. Why should I stop? Give me a reason. So Lang hooked his mouth, his footsteps sounded like a claw hammer, hitting the heart of the big man with a big arm. I. Faced with the great horror of life and death, a thick fear rose in the heart of the big man with arms. Too scared to speak? What a waste! As Solang spoke, he raised the Tang sword, the cold light on the blade circulated, like a poisonous snake choosing people to eat. Wait wait wait! The flower-armed man was terrified, and immediately said, There is a lot of wealth in the stronghold, I know where it is. Get used to the life of being at ease and doing whatever you want, how can a man with a flowery arm be willing to die? Very well. I only want gold coins and silver coins, say hurry up, don't try to delay. So Lang's words broke a trace of luck in the heart of the big man with arms. Okay, I said, all the gold coins in the stronghold belong to Lord Guardian. The big armed man swallowed his saliva, and then said everything quickly. It turned out that the financial power of this stronghold is in the hands of the Quasi Warfighter. Gold and silver coins were also locked in the huge safe in his room. A smile appeared on So Lang's face, I'm not sure if what you said is true, so. So what? The big armed man had a bad feeling, and he couldn't help but shiver. So Lang did not answer, just smiled faintly, and slashed with a knife. What? The big man with flowers only felt a cold in his legs, and a sharp pain instantly swept across his body making him almost unconscious in pain. If you lied. So Lang looked condescendingly at the flower-armed man, I will personally come back and kill you, if you didn't lie. Having said that, So Lang smiled slightly at the sluggish women, tie him up. If I don't come back within five minutes, he will be handed over to you. If you are lucky today, you can leave this cave alive. No, I swear I didn't lie. The flower-armed man woke up from a semi-coma, and uttered a stern cry, You promised to spare my life. I didn't say that they would spare you. So Lang smiled noncommittantly, and said to a group of frightened women, 
the chance of revenge is right here, what are you waiting for? If you don't even have the courage to take revenge, then I might as well help you out. The humiliated women shivered with fear, and then they remembered all kinds of bullying they had suffered, and the hatred in their hearts gradually surged. I, I'm coming. Finally, a woman stood up tremblingly, her teeth were trembling, but the hatred and killing intent in her eyes was almost monstrous. I'm coming too. The second woman stood up, followed by the third, fourth, and last eight women all stood up. They picked up the ropes, iron chains, and ball used to bind them from the ground, and tied them firmly. You can play it first, but don't let him die easily. Solang nodded in satisfaction, then left an encouraging smile and turned away. After closing the door of this house of sin, there was a vaguely scream of a big man killing a pig. Retribution Solang smiled lightly and rushed to the guard's residence. This stronghold is not too big. After a few minutes, Solang arrived at his destination. The gate of the guardian's residence was closed, but this couldn't stop Solang at all, knowing that unlocking is a necessary skill for a qualified killer. Not long after, Solang opened the door smoothly and got in. Who? A woman's voice came from inside the room. Then a woman in blue appeared in Solang's vision. This woman is a junior body temporary, with a good appearance a little bruise on her face, and fear, and fear in her eyes. When she saw someone who was unexpected, and there was no tattoo on her earlobe, a glimmer of hope flashed in her eyes. Are you a looted woman? So Lang faintly looked at the blue woman in front of him. The blue woman was excited, well, who are you, how did you come in, can you take me away? I will leave here, and so can you, but not now. So Lang smiled. Do you know a safe, the one where the guards store gold and silver coins? Yes. I still know his password, he said it unconsciously after drunk. Seeing that there was hope to leave, the blue-clothed woman was immediately overjoyed and nodded frequently. Do you still know the password? That's great, take me there. So Lang was also pleasantly surprised. He had not touched the safe of this era, and he was not sure of opening it. At this time, having a password would be too much trouble. The safe is here, the password is. The woman in blue turned to lead the way while she was talking, at a fast speed. Ten seconds later, a mechanical password safe the size of a closet appeared in front of Solang, which was very heavy and firm. Solang entered the password, opened the safe with a bang, and was instantly blinded by a flash of gold and silver. The blue-clothed woman standing by the side also looked straight. So many gold coins were beyond her imagination. Great, great. Solang looked at the piles of gold and silver coins in front of him, and he was ecstatic, I don't know if it will be enough for the system to be upgraded. Immediately afterwards, Solang grabbed a handful of gold coins and deposited them directly into the system. In the mysterious black space, the number behind the gold coin icon suddenly became 26. The woman in blue on one side watched the gold coins disappear into Solang's hands, and she was dumbfounded in shock. Being able to put away items out of thin air means having a space ring, but a space ring can only be owned by a general level boss. To what extent is the background terrifying for a person who can have a spatial ring during the tempering period? Thinking of this, the blue-clothed woman's gaze at Solang became extremely odd. Solang didn't know what the woman in blue was thinking. He smiled, one after another, depositing all the coins in the system and converting them into gold coins. The number behind the gold coin icon changed from tens to hundreds, and finally became 1,568. It's more than a thousand, ha 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 ha. Solang clenched his fists in excitement and shouted in his heart, System, quickly upgrade me the one key practice function. Ding! Consume 1000 gold coins, the one key training function is upgraded to level 3, and the training speed is increased to 4 times the basic speed. Ding! Host, congratulations on getting the activation permission for the new feature, you only need 10 gold coins to activate. 
Two successive system prompts made Solang Shuang almost fly. Especially the last one, new features. The first function is so perverted, can the second function be worse? System, activate the second function for me. Solang did not hesitate and immediately chose to activate. Ding! Consume 10 gold coins, the heart of martial arts is opened, and the one-click martial arts function is activated. Ding! Congratulations on activating the second system function. You have obtained the bonus function the melting pot of 10,000 laws, you can practice all the techniques in the world. As soon as the system prompt disappeared, So Lang felt a shock in his mind, and information about the one-click martial arts function emerged. At the same time, a white villain suddenly appeared in the mysterious black space. This white villain is still the silhouette of So Lang, but unlike the first white villain, it is standing. Ha 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 ha. Seeing the second white villain in the mysterious black space, So Lang couldn't help laughing up to the sky. At this moment, he has fully understood all the characteristics of the second function that is to automatically practice exercises other than the main exercises. In this era, the cultivation method is divided into two parts. The first part is mainly to practice the exercises, specifically to improve the realm of cultivation. Now everyone is practicing the Boundless Heart Sutra. And the second part is focused on attacking, killing, defensive and self-cultivation. These exercises can be roughly divided into three categories, namely physical exercises for the body, weapon exercises for practicing weapon fist, and attribute exercises for manipulating various extraordinary energies. According to the degree of preciousness, it is divided into elementary, intermediate, advanced, and top. It is said that there are more mysterious techniques above the top level, but it is only said. In fact, according to Sol Lang's understanding, the realm of cultivation is equivalent to level, and the second most of the exercises are equivalent to skills and moves. The main practice of cultivation depends on aptitude, while the mastery of skills and movements depends on comprehension and hard work. To practice any of the second major exercises, one must have sufficient understanding. If you have a high understanding, you will need less hard work. If you have a low understanding, you can only spend a lot of time and energy to make it together. But in any case, it takes time and energy to practice. Moreover, even the basic exercises are staggeringly expensive, and they are simply not affordable for ordinary people. In addition, even those wealthy young masters would not choose to practice the second most of the exercises during the tempering period. Because compared with directly improving the realm of cultivation, the price-slash-performance ratio is horribly low. Originally, So Lang also planned to practice the second most of the exercises after he was promoted to the martial artist. But this time is different, there is a one-click martial arts function, he can automatically learn martial arts 24 hours a day, anytime, anywhere. The system, how to turn on the one key martial arts function. Seeing the motionless little white man, So Lang's heart was itchy like a cat's claw scratching. Host, only need to place one exercise to activate the one key martial arts function. The current one key martial arts function is level 1, and the martial arts speed is the basic speed. You can place a martial arts technique, which can be replaced after placement. It's detected that the host possesses the Giwen bodybuilding Ju. Will it be placed? So Lang's expression was taken aback, he had no impression of this Giwen training art. But soon he found this exercise from the memory of his predecessor. It turns out that this is the most basic elementary exercise technique that almost every official martial artist must practice coming from his predecessor parents. Just because the predecessor couldn't practice, naturally he couldn't practice martial arts, and in the end he had no choice but to forget it. System, place it immediately for me. So Lang grinned with a big smile. Ding! The Giwen forging body Ju has been placed, and the one key martial arts function is on. In an instant, in the mysterious black space, the second standing white villain moved. It is constantly doing various exercises in the Giwen body training Ju, 
the posture is abnormally standard, and no one can pick out a flaw when it sees it. At the same time, So Lang felt that a small warm current was continuously flowing out of the limbs. Although these warm currents are so subtle that they are almost impossible to find, they accumulate little and add up. In just a few breaths, So Lang feels that his body has strengthened. This speed is definitely at the level of an evil genius. So Lang's eyes widen suddenly, his eyes full of shock and ecstasy. Don't look at the Giwen forging body Ju is just a basic exercise. In fact, it is a bodybuilding exercise that has undergone more than a thousand years of innovating and updating. Although it is moderate and ordinary, it is not easy to practice, and it is difficult for most people to get started. People's mastery of the exercises is divided into four levels, entry, small achievement, great achievement, and perfection. Reaching the level of consummation means that you have mastered the exercises and can use it easily and freely. However, most people need to invest a lot of energy and time even if they practice Giwen training Ju to the beginning. For example, the parents of the predecessor had to work hard every day for more than a month before reaching the entry level. But at this time, the one key martial arts function has such a remarkable effect after only turning on a few breaths, which shows how abnormal this function is. This function is really awesome. So Lang trembled with excitement, now the function is only level 1, and after the upgrade, it can increase the speed of martial arts. Moreover, according to the system prompts, more exercises can be placed after the upgrade. When that happens, I will be able to perform all kinds of magic skills, sling everything, and it is refreshing to think about it. It is necessary to know that the practice of the second part of the exercises is very difficult, and it is considered awesome that a general martial artist can practice two or three exercises to the Dachin level in his lifetime. But what about So Lang? At such an abnormal pace of practice, a few dozen exercises are not enough to cram teeth. And the most important thing is that others need to work hard to practice martial arts, but So Lang can sit back and enjoy it. This is simply one of the coolest things in the world. At this time, So Lang licked his lips and asked excitedly, System, how much does it cost to upgrade the one-click martial arts function? The one-click martial arts function is so abnormal, how could he forget about the upgrade? Host, the gold coins consumed to upgrade the one-key martial arts function are the same as the one-key practice function. Up to level 2 requires 100 gold coins and the martial arts speed is twice the base speed. Up to level 3 requires 1000 gold coins, and the martial arts speed is 4 times the base speed. It takes 10,000 gold coins to reach level 4, the speed of martial arts. When the one-click martial arts function is upgraded to level 3, the host will be able to obtain the activation permission for the next function. My fork, the system is so awesome. Just after the system prompt ended, so Lang's eyes widened with excitement. It only takes 100 gold coins to upgrade the one-click martial arts function to level 2. At this time, he has 568 gold coins, which can be upgraded to one level. Moreover, the remaining 468 gold coins are only half of the 1000 gold coins, and the activation of the third function is almost right in front of you. Quick, system. Upgrade me the one-click martial arts function. So Lang did not stray at all and immediately issued the upgrade order. Ding! Consume 100 gold coins, the one-click martial arts function is upgraded to level 2, and the martial arts speed is increased to twice the basic speed. In an instant, So Lang felt more warm currents gushing out of the limbs. He can even clearly feel that his strength, defense, physical strength, and endurance have improved to a certain extent. At this time. Ding. Giwen Bodybuilding Ju has reached the entry level. Like, I'm getting started so soon. So Lang's expression moved, and the shock on his face was hard to conceal. Immediately afterwards, with the thought, he exhaled his attribute panel. So Lang. Human. Turbidity. Peak body quenching. Peak tempering body plus. Peak tempering body plus. Peak body tempering plus. 
Peak Tempered Body Plus Infinite Heart Sutra, Giwan Training Ju One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function Hey, the stamina of attack and defense is a plus, it's a lot of money. Solang couldn't help letting out a deep and excited laugh, when this matter is over, I will go back and find more exercises to practice. After a long time, Solang finally calmed down his excitement and restored his faint expression. At this time, he remembered that there was a woman standing beside him. Solang turned his head and saw that the woman in blue was looking at him blankly. Don't look, let's go. Solang waved his hand, turned and left. Ah! Oh! The woman recovered, and quickly followed. She looked at Solang in front of her, wondering why Solang's expression had changed so much before, as if she had encountered something great. It's just that even if her imagination was full, she couldn't think that Solang would cultivate a technique to the entry level in a minute or two. Soon, Solang took the beautiful woman outside the house where the three of Dozhong had been killed. There are some women who are sick and pitiful with you. Solang pointed to the door of the house and said, You are also a junior body tempering anyway, so take them out of this magic cave. I will give you the safest route. Then, what about you? Are you not taking me with you? The blue clothed women all counted on Solang to protect her. At this time, Hearing Solang's words like this, she was suddenly anxious. Me? You care about me, go quickly, and you won't be able to leave when the stronghold comes back. Solang smiled noncommittantly, then took out the map and drew the route, threw it to the blue-clothed woman, turned around and left. The sea of women that Solang had experienced in his previous life is gone, and he wants to let him be saddled with a stubborn flower that meets by the water, delusional. He is not licking a dog, but a killer with no emotions. The woman in blue looked at Solang's decisive back, she could only sigh and let go of the thoughts in her heart. Immediately, she came to the gate, preparing to take women who are sick and pitiful to leave here. Crunch! The door opened. What? The woman in blue let out a horrified scream. Behind the door are three tattered corpses and eight women like evil spirits. The scene is extremely bloody, it is almost azure a hell. After Solang handed the map to the blue woman, he did not leave the stronghold. Most of the masters in this stronghold are hunting Kwesi class wind wolves. The wind wolves that can reach the Kwesi level are definitely the wolf kings. They are often surrounded by dozens of hundreds of low level wind wolves. It is not a simple matter for everyone in the broken axe hunting group to hunt them down. Even if everyone in the Broken Axe hunting group is fully prepared, they will definitely be exhausted after winning the battle, and then it will be a good opportunity to shoot. And Solang himself also needs time to improve his cultivation realm. After the one key training function was upgraded to level 3, his training speed soared to four times that of a genius with no lack of aptitude, and it only took two hours to break through to the Quasi Warrior level. And the time for the Broken Axe hunting group and others to count on the journey, rectification, exploration, battle and return journey is definitely far more than two hours. Therefore, Solang intends to search the stronghold first, and then wait for it. Ten minutes later, Solang ransacked the bodies and dormitories of the members of the Broken Axe hunting group, and obtained 89 gold coins in total. In addition, there are many other items such as fierce animal materials, medicinal materials, ores, but these things cannot be stored in the system and can only be temporarily left aside. Adding the remaining 468, I already have 557 gold coins. Solang smiled brightly, in this way, we are one step closer to upgrading the one key martial arts function to level 3 and opening new functions. After searching the body and dormitory of the personnel, so Lang returned to the residence of the guards in the stronghold. Although the gold coins in the safe were finished, there were public funds from the Broken Axe hunting group, and the guards' private collections had not yet been searched. After some searching, So Lang harvested another 123 gold coins, and there were already 680 gold coins in the system. And this is not what excites So Lang the most. 
Unexpectedly, in addition to gold coins, you can find a technique. Solang was holding a thin book, sitting on the chair excitedly and looking through it. This exercise is called Ghost Moon Sword Technique, which is a basic weapon exercise. Solang speculated that it was prepared by the stronghold guard to break through the official martial artist. Tisk Tusk, although it is a basic weapon technique, it is far more profound than the sword techniques in my previous life. Furthermore, this exercise is obviously more mysterious and difficult than the Igiwan training Ju. Once practiced, the benefits are definitely greater. Solang saw it and praised it, and soon he read it in its entirety. Two hours later. Host, the sea of cultivation is full, is it a breakthrough? Half squinted, Solang suddenly opened his eyes, bursting out an astonishing light. For him, this system reminder is even more beautiful than the sound of the best stunner called X. System, give me a breakthrough. Solang chose to break through without hesitation. In an instant, a huge warm current circulated throughout the body, making the muscles and muscles more tenacious and powerful. Properties Panel Solang Human Turbidity Quasi Warrior Junior Warrior Quasi Warrior Plus Quasi Warrior Plus Quasi Warrior Plus Boundless Heart Sutra, Giwan Training Body Ju, Ghost Moon Blade Technique One Key Training Function one key martial arts function. What the hell? Looking at the property panel, So Lang jumped up from his chair. He never expected that his attack level had reached the official martial artist level. Although there is a minus sign at the back, it is also a tangible official warrior level. The difference between the realm of quasi warriors and the realm of warriors is the difference between heaven and earth, and the difference between clouds and mud. Even if a dozen quasi war fighters besieged and killed an official warrior, the final result is definitely that the quasi warrior was crushed and killed. GG, as long as I don't meet an official warrior, then I am invincible. Solang grinned with a big smile, even if I meet a martial artist, I have the strength to retreat all over. At this moment, shouts suddenly came from outside. Quick, open the door. Boss Shi Yi is injured. Where are the special people? If you don't open the door, labor and management will take your skin off. Open the door, there are injured brothers waiting for treatment. Rude yelling kept coming. Needless to think, I also know that the members of the Broken Axe hunting group who hunted the semi-E-class wind wolves are back. I've been waiting for a long time. Revenge, and the truth. A sneer appeared at the corner of Solang's mouth and then he hurried to the gate of the stronghold. Which mess is guarding the gate today? Isn't it open? Making a coin, my brother is going to die. The members of the Broken Axe hunting group outside became even more angry at this time, obviously their situation is not optimistic. Here, I am sorry that something happened just now. Solang shouted a few times behind the door, and then opened a gap in the thick door. Something? If my brother is gone, you will really have something. A big man cursed and squeezed into the door with a full face, small, don't you open the door a bit. With that, the big man squeezed into the door and saw Solang with a smile in his eyes. You are. Seeing Solang's face, the big man suddenly wanted to question him in shock. But before he finished speaking, he felt a sharp light before his eyes, followed by a cold neck and he lost consciousness. The peak body tempering, vulnerable. So Lang Tang's knife swung away, and the blood on the blade spilled into the sky. Maid, what are you talking about? At this moment, a member of the Broken Axe hunting group pushed the door open. Immediately, all the members of the Broken Axe hunting group saw So Lang holding a long knife and a headless body with blood spurting from the neck. This is... The base has changed. There are enemies. What? Alone. Including the two Quasi warriors, everyone looked at Solang with disbelief. They couldn't believe that someone dared to strike the tiger's whiskers of the axe hunting group and wiped out their stronghold. 
they couldn't believe that the one who destroyed the stronghold turned out to be a body quencher with no spiritual fluctuations. They couldn't believe that this body temperer didn't escape after destroying the stronghold. Instead, he waited for them to come back and killed people in front of them. This is really incredible, too incredible. When everyone in the Broken Axe hunting group stared at Solang in shock, Solang was also looking at the group. Counting those killed just now, there were a total of 14 people, and each was wounded. One of them was still lying on a stretcher. Obviously, the loss was not light under the Wind Wolf Claws. Under Teng Bao, who is your excellency? Why are you having trouble with my broken axe hunting group? The guardian man in a strong red costume took a deep breath, suppressed the stormy sea in his heart, and asked coldly. Boss, why tell him so much and let me kill him? Yeah, Boss Teng, let us kill him. Humph. Teng Leopard snorted coldly and waved one hand, and everyone immediately closed their mouths. So Lang, do you know? So Lang ticked the corner of his mouth and said lightly. What? So Lang? Shouldn't So Lang be dead? Teng Bao looked surprised, and immediately said, No, you should be here to avenge So Lang, dare to provoke me to the axe hunting group, what a bravery. If you can have the courage, there must be someone behind you, right? Tell me, which force gave you this courage? As soon as he said this, So Lang knew that this Teng Bao must be related to the death of his predecessor. It's just that this person has never seen himself, or has seen it and forgot. Sorry, I am So Lang. So Lang shrugged and looked at Teng Leopard with a playful look, how about it, isn't it very pleasant and exciting? You are So Lang? This is impossible, he is obviously an ordinary person. Teng Bao looked at So Lang coldly, fine, it provokes my broken axe hunting group, whoever you are, you must die. Ha 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 ha, so arrogant and overbearing. It's a pity, just a few of you, I can kill with my finger. So Lang looked up to the sky and laughed. With a flick of his thumb, a sharp blade of light burst out of the sheath. The yellow-haired child is not ashamed. Teng Bao sneered and drew out his long knife, I'm going to see how you can kill me with just a few fingers. Wait, give it to me. Everyone go together. I want to peel his skin and drink his blood. Keep alive, this little skin and tender meat is rare. The other twelve people showed cruelty and drew out their weapons and rushed towards So Lang. For a time, the sword and shadow, the forest is as cold as snow. In the eyes of the broken axe hunting group and others, So Lang was so young and had no spiritual fluctuations in his body, at best he was a quasi warrior. The group of them killed even two quasi -e level wind wolf kings, and also killed dozens of low level wind wolves incidentally. With such a powerful strength, is it not easy to deal with a young quasi martialer? However, when So Lang made the move, their thoughts were subverted instantly. Ghost Month, Plunder Facing more than a dozen people who rushed up, So Lang took a step forward, the sword moved with him, and the blood suddenly appeared. In an instant, three people in the Broken Axe hunting group separated their heads and two were seriously injured. Not good. He is so strong. You can kill with your finger. Really kill three people with your finger. The other members of the Broken Axe hunting group were shocked, their cruel smiles were instantly replaced by panic. Ghost Moon Blade Technique Teng Bao's pupils also shrank suddenly, did he find my practice and successfully practiced it? Do not. What a joke, how can he succeed in training with his body tempering? I have been thinking about it for a whole year, but I can't perform a single trick. But he showed up, what is going on? Teng Bao's face was dull, he was completely messy at this time. I like your unexpected look. So Lang sneered and pulled a knife, shook off the blood on the knife, and made its cold glow reappear. He is just a martial artist, don't panic, follow me to besee him. Teng Bao swallowed his saliva. Although he knew that So Lang was strong, he didn't think that So Lang Nang was strong enough to destroy them all. 
As long as Solang can't kill everyone in a short time, he will be slowly entangled and besieged. Fight! Avenge my brothers! Under the leadership of Teng Bao, the remaining seven people all killed Solang. As the main force, Teng Leopard and another Quasi warrior rushed to the front, killing Solang in half a breath. One of them is holding a long sword, and the other is holding a long sword. Diu, cut! Solang's footsteps kept turning, Tang Dao slashed down while turning his wrists, pulling out a piece of snow. Boom! Ding stunned. The sound of two golden and iron clashes came out at the same time, and the swords and swords screamed with sorrow. Under the attack of Solang martial artist level, Teng Bao and the other person were simply unable to parry, their weapons were instantly swept away, and the door opened wide. At the same time, that terrifying invisible force was uploaded from the sword, making half of their bodies numb, and they were unable to make quick movements in a short time. It's absolutely impossible. Tang Leopard was dumbfounded, unable to believe that his strength in the realm of quasi martialists for many years was not the enemy of a young man. Another quasi warfighter of the Broken Axe hunting group was also terrified and unbelievable. However, the facts are in front of them and they can only accept it if they refuse to believe it. Ghost Month, Nai. At this moment, Solang shot his sword again, and the throats of the three broken axe hunting group members broke again, and blood was flowing like a fountain. Unbeatable, go. Seeing this scene, Teng Bao and Tu were frightened, and they were about to withdraw immediately. Want to go now? Giu, Shun. Solang sneered proudly and took a step forward, straddling several meters, cutting to Tang Leopard. So fast! Tang Bao looked at the gradually enlarged blade, his scalp exploded with horror. He instinctively raised the long knife to block it in front of him, but the deadly blade light suddenly folded and slashed straight to his waist. Puff! Cut into the flesh, bringing out a piece of scarlet. Tang Bao's eyes were violent, and the endless pain almost took away his strength, making him stagger and staggering out of balance. Boss Teng. The boss is defeated, what should I do? Run. One who can run is one. The remaining three members of the Broken Axe hunting group saw Teng Leopard seriously injured, and suddenly Liashan was without a master. Then, under the leadership of the Quasi warrior, they began to flee in all directions. Don't go. Come back. Tang Leopard looked desperate and sat down on the ground. He never expected that these guys who usually call brothers and sisters would be so selfish and unloyal at the critical moment. Do you want them back? I will help you. When Solang ridiculed, his body had already chased the escaped Quasi Warrior. With his Quasi Warrior and level, he caught up with the Quasi Warrior in just three breaths. Die me. The Quasi warrior felt the needle light on his back, his hair was terrified, and immediately turned around and swung his sword. Ding stunned. The long sword wailed, and a head flew high. The other two members of the Broken Axe hunting group who were fleeing saw that the Quasi warriors were all killed with a single knife, and they were frightened and shuddered. One person was even more so frightened that his legs became weak, fell to the ground, and then prostrated on the ground and kept protruding his head to Solang. Don't stand still. Solang looked indifferently at the last man of the broken axe hunting group who was still running away, his voice was as cold as coming from a bottomless abyss. The last man in the hunting group of broken axe who was running away trembled and stopped involuntarily. Immediately afterwards, he turned around stiffly and knelt down tremblingly. Very obedient, not bad. Solang smiled slightly and walked towards the pale face of Teng Bao. As Solang's footsteps got closer and closer, Teng Bao's body was instantly wet with cold sweat. Come on, why kill me? With a wave of Solang Teng's sword, he touched Teng Leopard's eyebrows, and a few hairs were cut by the blade and drifted away. You, are you really Solang? Teng Bao's voice trembled so much that he could hardly hear him. Solang nodded and said, Yes, tell me why you want to kill me, I can give you a happy one. I still don't believe, 
you are so lang. Teng Bao shook his head in disbelief, and then laughed like crazy. Ha ha ha. What if you are really so lang? I'm going to die anyway, why should I tell you? Ha ha ha, after I die, someone will definitely give me revenge. The background of the broken axe hunting group is not something you can fight against. You bitch, kill me, come on. Teng Bao seemed to have overcome his fear, his eyes were blood red, and he stared at Solang closely, gritted his teeth and cursed. Hehe, he, this is forcing me to use those cruel craftsmanship. Solang looked down at Teng Leopard condescendingly, okay, then I will fulfill you. After speaking, Solang smiled, and lightly cut Teng Bao's face with a slice of flesh and blood like fish scales. What are you going to do? Although the wound was small, Teng Bao had an extremely bad feeling. However, So Lang no longer answered his questions at all, instead focusing all his attention on the blade. Ling Kai's craft. Once you don't perform well, the target will die. What? No. Stop. Kill me. Spare me, kill me. A few minutes later, Teng Bao screamed in horror. At this time, his face, neck, and shoulders were already covered with a lot of fine wounds. Blood leached from the wound, making him look like he was covered with hideous red-edged scales. In fact, the physical pain is still the second place. The most tormenting thing is the fear and anxiety in the heart. The knife dangling in front of me was like a picky venomous snake, wondering where the next bite should be. This is just the beginning, you can't stand it anymore. So Lang clicked the corner of his mouth and sneered, Unfortunately, once it starts, there is no way to stop. No. I will tell you what you want to know. Please give me a pleasure, don't torture me anymore. Tang Leopard is like a wailing stray dog. The two big men of the hunting group with broken axe who were kneeling aside were also scared to death, their bodies trembling as if they were sifting chaff. Well, for your poor sake. As So Lang spoke, his hands kept moving, I will do it while listening to you. When I am satisfied, I will give you a good time. No. No. Good. I said. Tang Leopard has spoken incoherently, the reason why I want to kill you is because of your parents. Your parents became Yejia Keking not long ago, and were sent to the very dangerous D-class beast area to perform missions. They were killed in Huang Chuan. According to the Keking agreement, the Ye family needs to compensate each person with 2,000 gold coins, which would have fallen into your hands. But this amount of money is not a small sum, and you are, just an ordinary person, so, the sixth master fell in love with the money. Later the order came to me, and I arranged two men to kill you. That's it. So Lang withdrew Tang Dao indifferently. Although he was calm on the surface, the hatred in his heart was already surging. Why did the former parents become Yejia Keking? It's not to make more money, so that his body can step into the way of martial artist. However, the Ye family sent them to the D-class fierce beast area at the martial artist level, killing them. Not only that, but in the end, he slashed the roots in order to pay the compensation, and he really ate and wiped his bones without vomiting. Ye family, what a Ye family. So Lang swung his knife sharply and cut off Tang Bao's neck. Immediately afterwards, he turned around and coldly looked at the two members of the broken axe hunting group who were kneeling on the ground. Please forgive me. Please spare me, I will be your dog from now on. The members of the two broken axe hunting regiments still have the temperament of fierce bandits. They buried their heads in the dust in a humble manner and kept saying begging for mercy. Go and gather all the valuable things before me. So Lang's faint voice came, don't play any tricks, otherwise you will be worse than Teng Bao. There are still many materials and resources in the stronghold, worth at least five or six hundred gold coins, and So Lang does not intend to let them go. Yes yes. Let's go now. The two members of the Broken Axe hunting group were both surprised and scared. They scrambled up from the ground and began to collect valuables. So Lang stood there, 
silently thinking about the Ye family's information. The entire Red Maple City stronghold has a total of four major forces, each of which has a military commander level powerhouse, and the Ye family is one of them. The remaining three powers are Wahi Alliance, Yu family, and Bao family. Broken Axe Hunting Group has such a background, and it does have arrogant confidence. If it is an ordinary warrior, I am afraid I really dare not kill Teng Bao. But for So Lang, even if it is the Heavenly King Laozi, he can still kill him. As the culprit, the Ye family became the target of So Lang's revenge, especially the sixth young master of the Ye family. Unfortunately, there are not enough gold coins, otherwise the system will be upgraded every minute to revenge. So Lang's eyes flashed with cold light, and then asked, System, how long will I be able to advance to the martial artist level? Host, you can be promoted to a martial artist in five hours. Five hours, this is the power of the pill. So Lang calculated that he had now eaten the fourth body tempering pill, plus the fifth pill, the power of the medicine could only last for three hours. It seems that you still need to buy a pill. So Lang found a stone and sat down, waiting for the two members of the Broken Axe hunting group to collect items. Ten minutes later, a large amount of items appeared on the open space in front of So Lang. There are a lot of fierce beast materials, not only wind wolves, but also other F-class fierce beasts. In addition to the medicinal materials and minerals, the most precious one is the tier 5 main medicine that Teng Bao and others have just obtained. Bring these things. So Lang waved his hand, hurry up. Yes yes. The two big men of the broken axe hunting group hurriedly said yes, and then put everything on a cart. Good job. I hope you can be good people in your next life. So Lang nodded indifferently, and then slowly pulled out Sun Yan's Tang sword. Do not. The two big men were shocked physically and mentally, and looked desperate. Ghost month, plunder. The light of the knife flickered, converging into its sheath. Immediately, So Lang pushed the cart and walked towards the entrance of the barrier. Yes, he just wants to sell these things. Although selling these things will inevitably bear risks, compared with the income of nearly a thousand gold coins, this risk is simply not enough. What's more, as long as the strength is strong, no trouble can't be solved. A few hours later, it was late at night, and So Lang hid the cart in a hidden woods. After making sure that he would not be found, he walked towards the entrance of the barrier. A big man was guarding the entrance, and when he saw So Lang, he just nodded slightly and let So Lang in. Once again through the long and narrow passage, So Lang came to the tower hall and found a window to purchase materials and treasures of heaven, material, and earth. But just as So Lang passed by, a man suddenly ran over and blocked him with a smile on his face. Aha, hello. This man looks like a profiteer, and he doesn't sell it. Looking at you with a murderous look, what you have to deal with may not be right. Oops, don't rush to deny it, I see you a lot, I can't read it wrong, let's put it straight, I am from Yin Bailu. We collect and sell all kinds of fierce animal materials, natural materials, and treasures. The key is to only make transactions, and do not ask a word about the others, and will never reveal customer privacy. The headquarters of our Yin Bailu is in Dongshan Big Stronghold. We have done business in more than a dozen strongholds around, and our reputation is absolutely trustworthy. So Lang's expression moved. Soon after searching in his memory, he really found information about the hidden treasure pavilion. However, because the front door didn't go out, he just heard his parents talk about it once, if it weren't for this hidden treasure pavilion's presence in front of him, he couldn't remember it. Hmm, how do you call it? What is the price? Although So Lang is not afraid of trouble, if he can get rid of the beginning and the end, it is naturally better. Hey, you can call me old money. Seeing So Lang's interest, Lao Qian smiled brighter, the price we bought is 80% of the gate tower hall, and we will receive the goods at home to ensure that there will be no worries. 80%? That's okay. So Lang nodded faintly, 
my things are worth close to a thousand gold coins. Prepare yourself. More than a thousand gold coins? No problem. The old Qian smiled and nodded, let's go, the goods are outside the city, right? When I go to inspect the goods, I will return to the city and give you money if there is no problem. Seeing that old Qian agreed so easily, So Lang was even more relieved. Soon, the two went out of the city to the hidden woods and found the cart. Oh, there are also tier 5 main medicines, not bad, not bad. The old money looked at the materials on the cart proficiently, and finally said, These things are worth 900 gold coins, giving you 720 gold coins. So Lang frowned, this was one or two hundred gold coins less than expected. Seeing that So Lang hesitated, Old Qian said, It looks like you are trading with us for the first time, and you have 750 gold coins for Tier 5 main medicine, how about? Deal. So Lang nodded, he didn't want to get too much ink. Okay, then return to the city to trade. When the deal is concluded, the old money also smiles, just put these things here, and I will arrange for someone to receive them. Then go. So Lang nodded in satisfaction. Although the price was a bit less, the service at Yin Baoj was indeed quite good. Soon, the two entered the barrier. Old Jian went to the tower hall to take seven low-grade spirit stones and fifty gold coins and hand them to So Lang. I have been here, looking forward to the next transaction. Lao Qian stretched out his hand and shook So Lang, then turned around and went busy. Hey, now there are 1,430 gold coins, and you can already upgrade the one-click martial arts function. So Lang couldn't help smiling, but he still bought a 12 gold high-grade body tempering pill before leaving the tower hall. Walking on the road, So Lang thought, the system, convert all these spirit stones into gold coins and deposit all the gold coins. Ding! The exchange is successful, the deposit is successful. In the mysterious black space, the number behind the money symbol once again rose to four digits 1418. System, upgrade me the one-click martial arts function. So Lang did not hesitate and immediately ordered. Ding! Consume 1000 gold coins. The one-click martial arts function is upgraded to level 3, and the martial arts speed is increased to four times the basic speed. Ding! Host, congratulations on getting the activation permission for the new feature, you only need 100 gold coins to activate. The wonderful system prompt makes So Lang's soul fly quickly. Call. So Lang exhaled a bit of excitement, system, activate new functions. Ding! Consume 100 gold coins, the clone dispatch function is activated. Ding! Congratulations on activating the third system function. You have obtained the bonus functions perfect plunder, clone perception, and item delivery. Ding! The current avatar dispatch function is level 1, which can dispatch an avatar that is exactly the same as the host to fight. It will take 24 hours for the avatar to regroup after death. Ding! Host, congratulations on successfully activating the three functions. The system has opened the storage space for you, and you can store items indefinitely. A series of system prompts made So Lang's face dull. Immediately afterwards, there was a turmoil in his mind, and a purple villain gradually condensed in the mysterious black space. The outline of this purple villain and So Lang are almost carved out of the same mold. It stood behind the two white little men, waiting motionlessly for dispatch. At the same time, messages about the dispatching function of the clone flooded into So Lang's mind, making him instantly understand everything about this function. First of all, this clone has exactly the same combat power as So Lang. Undoubtedly, this is very abnormal and very bad. You must know that the clone exercise method is extremely rare and has surpassed the category of top-level exercise methods. Not to mention military generals and military commanders, even the king of martial arts is difficult to have. Moreover, even if those strong people have cultivated clones, they are often only one-tenth of the strength of the deity, or lower. 
What's more against the sky is that Solang's clone can ignore space barriers and dispatch to any place where Solang has a specific impression. For example, the Hall of the Warrior Alliance, the F-level stronghold of the Broken Axe Hunting Group, the Tower Hall, the Trading Street, the Restaurant. Wherever Solang had seen, the clone could be instantly dispatched to one of the specific coordinates. Moreover, Solang can gain the perception of the clone, wherever the clone has seen it is the place he has seen. That means that wherever the clone has been, it can be dispatched instantly again. In addition, the imperfect plunder function gave Solang and his clone a 100% burst rate. Any object that was killed by Solang and his clone, the directly possessed items, whether it was valuable materials on the body, or the things in the space ring or semi space, would be attributed to the loot, looted and stored in the storage space in. This storage space is also so abnormal that it can store items infinitely. You must know that space treasures can only be owned by generals, and their space ring has a few cubic meters that is great. Compared to Solang's storage space, this is simply rubbish. Finally, the item transfer function is also very easy to use. With it, Solang can transfer items to the clone, which can be used in many cases. Mad, this system function is super amazing. With this function, I can send a clone to hunt and earn gold coins. Furthermore, if you encounter an enemy, you can send it out for a siege, which greatly increases your combat power. Solang regained his senses from the shock, then he kept sucking in his excitement. The third system function is really abnormal. The only shortcoming is probably that the clone's spiritual intelligence is too low. The clone at this time can only fight or execute some of the simplest commands. Even speaking, Solang must give orders to speak some simple words. However, this does not affect the combat power of the clone at all. I can't wait to see this clone. Solang's eyes shone bright, and he quickly found a hotel and opened a room. Crack. The door was locked. Hiss. Solang took a breath and sent the clone out with a thought. Silently, a naked man appeared in front of Solang, his appearance was very natural, as if he should have been there. Tisk tisk. Solang looked around around the avatar, and continued to chuckle. This clone is exactly the same as him, even the number of hairs is the same. The only difference is the eyes, to be precise, the divine light in the eyes. Unlike Solang's clear and divine eyes, the pupils of the clone were full of chaos and killing intent. It's great, great. Solang couldn't help clapping his hands in admiration. If this is seen by people, I am afraid he will think he has any special hobbies. Soon after, Solang retracted his clone and went to the clothing store outside. He plans to buy some clothes for himself and the clone. After all, the clone looks the same as himself. If it remains naked, it will damage the image. After some selection, Solang bought a few sets of black hooded gowns that pulled the wind. Before leaving, the boss gave Solang several white masks and showed a smile of I understand you. Needless to say, the boss must have thought that Solang was going to do something ugly. Solang didn't take it seriously, and went to a weapon shop to spend 10 gold coins to buy a high-grade mortal tang knife, which was used as a weapon for the clone. Above the van level weapons are the junior spirit soldiers, Solang glanced at it when he was choosing weapons, and the price of a full 3,000 gold coins made him speechless. With this money, I might as well upgrade system functions. Solang curled his lips, then left the weapon shop and returned to the hotel. Come on, put it on. Under Solang's command, the avatar put on clothes and a mask. Tisk tusk, there really is a killer fan. Seeing the white-faced clone in the black robe, Solang smiled satisfied, and immediately sent him out with a thought, and accepted the perception of the clone. Somewhere in the F-class Wind Wolf area, the black robe clone appeared silently. Immediately afterwards, there was a tang knife in its hand, which was transmitted to it by Solang through item transfer. At this time, there was a rustling sound not far away, and a grey-white giant wolf emerged from the bushes. 
This grey wolf with sharp claws and huge stature is the F-class beast Wind Wolf. Roar! When Feng Lang saw the black robe clone, he immediately roared and rushed forward with red eyes. This Wind Wolf is extremely cruel, but the black robe clone is exactly the same as Sol Lang's strength, and it can compete with the existence of a formal warrior. Hey! A burst of blade light flashed, and the huge head of the Wind Wolf flew into the sky, crashing to the ground. In the next moment, the body of Wind Wolf disappeared out of thin air. Sol Lang sighed. Ding! You get Wind Wolf Claws 4, Wind Wolf Fangs 4, Wind Wolf Flesh 10, Wind Wolf Fur 1. Sol Lang quickly glanced at the storage space and found that the Wind Wolf corpse had been perfectly divided, as long as it was valuable materials, there was no waste. It's great. Just automatically processing the dead body saves me a lot of trouble. Sol Lang showed a bright smile. Knowing that handling the carcass of the beast also requires craftsmanship, otherwise it will destroy the material of the beast if you are not careful, resulting in lower value or even destruction. Roar! Wow! At the black robe avatar, the smell seemed to have dispersed, and two wind wolves followed the smell to find it. The black robe clone did not hesitate at all, the wrists turned, the blades flashed, and the two wind wolves instantly turned into corpses. Ding! You get Wind Wolf Claws 8, Wind Wolf Fangs 7, Wind Wolf Flesh 18, Wind Wolf Fur 2. F Class Wind Wolf, according to its own level, the material value of the whole body ranges from 20 silver coins to 50 silver coins. Although the materials that Sol Lang harvested were of different grades, they were of perfect quality. Each Wind Wolf was worth 40 silver coins on average. In other words, in just a short time, Sol Lang had harvested several gold coins. You must know that if ordinary body shakers don't risk their lives to hunt, they won't get one gold coin per month. Of course, the wind wolves are not endless, and Sol Lang's clone also happened to meet a few wind wolves. But even so, the hunting efficiency of Sol Lang clone is much faster than ordinary body temperer, and at least he can harvest dozens of gold coins every day. The most important thing is that other hunters need to risk their lives to earn that amount of money. There are many expenses during this period, and what they earn in the end is hard-earned money. But Sol Lang can get these little cuties by sitting down and taking a nap. Although the consumption of dozens of gold coins per day compared to Sol Lang's upgrade system function is simply not worth mentioning. But don't forget that the clone dispatch is only level 1. And most importantly, it didn't take long for Sol Lang to be promoted to an official warrior. The clone has the same strength as him, and will be able to hunt in the E-class Fierce Beast area. You must know that the strength of the E-level Fierce Beast is equivalent to that of the official warrior, and its average value is more than 10 times that of the F-level Fierce Beast. Of course, Sol Lang did not forget to destroy the sweetness of a stronghold. Although the stronghold of the Broken Axe hunting group has been destroyed, there are still Ye families. Unfortunately, the strength is not enough, and the number of clones is too small. Sol Lang's eyes gleamed, the system, how much does it cost to upgrade the clone dispatch function? Host, it takes 1000 gold coins to upgrade the clone dispatch function to level 2. Every time the clone dispatch function is upgraded, the number of clones will be plus 1, and new abilities will be unlocked every time a certain level is reached. Wow, there are new abilities. This function is really terrifying, but I don't have enough money. Sol Lang raised his eyebrows, it seems that he has to be promoted to an official martial artist as soon as possible. He now has only 319 gold coins, which is far from 1000 gold coins. After a while, Sol Lang got on the Aura bus to the Wahi League building. This time to the Wahi League building. Sol Lang did not plan to receive the Wahi League allowance. After all, he received the primary and intermediate body tempering allowances in the morning. If you go to receive premium body tempering, peak tempering body and quasi warrior allowance this evening, it will be difficult not to cause a sensation. When the strength is not enough to attract the attention of the unresistible strong, then the destiny can be difficult to control in their own hands. Of course, 
gold will always shine, but by then Solang is already powerful and invincible, and whoever provokes or kills will not have so many scruples at all. After half an hour, Solang arrived at the Wahi League building. Even at night, the Martial Arts Alliance building is brightly lit and there is a constant flow of people. Solang mixed in the crowd and came to the second floor of the building. The first floor of the building is the office hall, and the second to fourth floors are the official shops of the various Warriors Alliance, including shops that specialize in selling exercises. At this stage, the easiest way for Solang to improve his strength is to practice exercises. A basic exercise that reaches the entry level can increase his strength a lot. The key is that it only takes a few minutes. Solang was so excited that he couldn't help but laugh when he thought that he had dozens or hundreds of exercises and had the strength to kill enemies across several levels. However, after entering the shop, he was immediately dumbfounded. Elementary Bodybuilding Exercises, Powerful White Lion Exercises, 888 Gold Coins Elementary Weapon Technique, 7 Swords Volume, 1298 Gold Coins Primary Attribute Exercises, Qi Yan Zhen Tactic, 23,000 Gold Coins A practice method is so expensive. So Lang looked at the price tag, and the corners of his mouth twitched unnaturally. And this is still a basic exercise. Looking at the intermediate techniques, they are all five-figure prices, and the attribute techniques are gold coins worth six figures. The high-level exercises are even more terrifying. There are only three copies in the entire store. The treasure of this town store blowing snow without marks is worth five million gold coins. I'm going to take it, this is what a grab for money. Solang was dumbfounded and dumbfounded. With his current wealth, he couldn't even afford the cheapest exercises. Moreover, this shop had the Giwen Forging Body Ju and Ghost Moon Knife method, which broke Solang's plan to sell his exercises and buy new ones. Oh, money, money. Solang walked out of the exercise shop with an unhappy expression, it seems that the road to purchasing exercises to improve strength is about to be broken. At this moment, Solang suddenly had a flash of inspiration. I can grab it if I can't afford it, isn't the Ghost Moon Sword technique just grabbed it? As one of the four major forces in Red Maple City, the Ye family must have a lot of exercises, even advanced exercises. Moreover, there is the Broken Axe Hunting Group that has not been eradicated. There must be many good things in this notorious hunting group. When I have enough strength, I will hunt them. Thinking of this, So Lang's mood improved again, and his steps to the fifth floor were also a lot lighter. From the fifth floor of the Musha League building, there are various training rooms, martial arts rooms, martial arts venues, conference rooms, luxurious restaurants, and other areas. So Lang is going to the training room. The training room is divided into two types, ordinary training room and spiritual energy training room. Charges are based on usage time. The ordinary training room only provides a quiet and safe environment with the same spiritual energy concentration as the outside world. In the Reiki training room, the concentration of Reiki is super strong, which can greatly increase the training speed of the official martial artist. Solang came to the consultation office and directly opened the best spiritual energy training room. Entering the training room, a strong spiritual energy suddenly surged. This aura concentration is really refreshing. Solang felt the aura around him and showed a satisfied smile. After closing the door, Solang lay down straight on the ground and fell asleep. Anyway, no matter what his posture is, it will not affect the one key training function to automatically cultivate for him. At the same time, in the Golden Fruit Building, a luxurious box, a Biao and a Ching haven't come back yet. A big man with a black snake tattoo on his bald head frowned and walked around with his hands on his back. Around him stood two Quasi warriors and four peak tempering bodies. There are also several glamorous and exposed women shrinking on the sofa, trembling, with horror in their eyes. Boss, we have sent someone to the F-class Wind Wolf area stronghold. 
one by one Quasi warrior lowered his head and said, presumably there will be news soon. At this moment, a shout came from outside. Oh no! Boss, the stronghold is gone. All dead, all people dead, and the stronghold is full of corpses. A shirtless man was panicked and ran into the private room out of breath. As soon as these three sentences came out, the serpentine Great Hand's figure suddenly shook, and his eyes burst into terrifying anger. The others were dumbfounded by the words of the incoming population, their faces dull. The F-level stronghold of the Broken Axe hunting group had already opened up the upper joints, and all the contradictions were completely suppressed. How could it be destroyed all at once? Dare to move the stronghold of my Broken Axe hunting group, who? Who is it? Check it out for me. Check it all out. I will see the result in one day. Don't hurry to go. The serpentine man was full of anger, almost like an active volcano erupting magma. Yes yes. The boss calms down, and his subordinates go and investigate immediately. Quickly, go together. The murderer is bound to be found. All the subordinates were terrified, knelt down on one knee and led the way away. In a blink of an eye, only the snake print big man and the shivering women were left in the luxurious box. No matter who you are, waiting for me to catch you will make you worse off than death. An extremely cruel and vicious look erupted from the eyes of the serpentine man. Immediately, he turned and walked towards the few women who had shrunk on the sofa in panic. Boss. Dante. Two hours passed in a blink of an eye. In the Musha League building. Host, the sea of cultivation is full, is it a breakthrough? The system prompt came, So Lang who was sleeping soundly opened his eyes suddenly. Finally here, this training room has not been opened in vain. So Lang stood up excitedly, System, give me a breakthrough. In an instant, the aura around him rushed into his body like a black hole. Great changes have taken place in his body. Under the baptism and tempering of a huge amount of spiritual energy, Sol Lang's body was undergoing crazy transformation. His meridians, flesh, and blood, and bones are all undergoing sublimation. A trace of black and red blood was discharged from his body, and soon a hard shell was formed on the surface. An aura vortex gradually formed in his dantian, and there were more strands of aura in his meridians. After a long time, the hard shell cracked and peeled off every inch, revealing Sol Lang's healthy and shiny skin. The realm of the official warrior is complete. Sol Lang grinned, his eyes burst out with amazing divine light. Breaking from the body tempering realm to the real martial artist realm is a transformation of the essence of life. It is precisely because of this that the hundreds of thousands of people in the Hongfeng city stronghold only have more than 10,000 warriors. The difference between the Quasi warrior and the warrior, but one on the ground and the other in the sky, are people of different levels. After passing the barrier of warriors, they have already stepped on the heads of most people, and their strength and status have been greatly improved. This feeling is really cool. So Lang's revolving aura attached to his fist, feeling that he could punch through a giant elephant. Immediately afterwards, he called out his attribute panel. Solang. Human. Turbidity. Elementary Warrior. Junior Warrior Plus. Junior Warrior. Elementary Warrior. Junior Warrior. Infinite Heart Sutra, Ghost Moon Sword Technique, Giwan Exercises. One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, Avatar Dispatch Function. It seems that the entry-level Giwan bodybuilding Ju is not a big improvement to the official martial artist, and it is not enough to make the level of physical fitness, defense and endurance show a plus. But fortunately, there are two bonuses, and the attack level is still higher than the same level. Moreover, with such strength, it can easily crush F-level strongholds. Hey hey! The corner of Sol Lang's mouth twitched, revealing an evil smile. Let's start with the F-level stronghold and give them a little color. Just do it. So Lang immediately exited the spiritual energy training room. Hello, you spent a total of 30 gold coins. 
A staff member came over, but his complexion became extremely shocked in an instant. He clearly remembered that the young man in front of him had no spiritual fluctuations when he entered, and he was in a body-tempering state. But at this time, a faint aura of aura fluctuated from the young man. He broke through to the realm of warriors. At such a young age, he broke through to the martial arts realm. Is it the genius of which family? The staff was shocked and envious, and immediately bowed and apologized, Sir, please forgive me for being rude. It's okay. Solang was in a good mood, smiled generously, paid the money readily, and then left the fifth floor of the building in awe. All the way to the third floor of the building, the surrounding passers-by cast shocked and respectful eyes on Solang. Solang found a shop on the third floor and spent one gold coin to buy the best map. This map not only marked the areas of various beasts, but also marked more detailed information about the investment and all the power bases, and even the names and general strength of the base guards. From the map, there are about two to three hundred strongholds in the vast F-level area, accounting for 90% of all strongholds. Compared with F-level strongholds, the number of E-level strongholds has dropped sharply, only about 30. And there are only four D-level strongholds in total, which are located in the four directions of the Red Maple City stronghold, and serve as sentry towers. There are no C-level bases above D-level. Or in other words, the Red Maple City stronghold is the only C-level stronghold. The number of strongholds outside the city is pitiful compared to the population of hundreds of thousands of strongholds in Red Maple City and the vast land beyond the barriers. But it's not that people don't want to build more strongholds. But because of the existence of the Beast Wave, almost every stronghold will be completely destroyed every ten years or so. Even the D-level stronghold will be destroyed once every time the wave of fierce beasts, and then the four major forces will jointly spend huge sums of money to rebuild. Working hard to establish and operate a stronghold, I don't know how much money and manpower it will cost. Once the stronghold is destroyed, these efforts will be in vain instantly, which is simply not something ordinary people can bear. Therefore, people are more willing to choose to go out hunting in groups, and then go back to the inside of the barrier to trim and prepare for the next hunt. Let me see the stronghold of the Ye family. Solang looked at them one by one, remembering all the strongholds of the Ye family in his mind. There are a total of 33 F-level bases, 5 E-level bases, and 1 D-level base. Let's start from the nearest, F-level Dark Snake Area Stronghold. Solang sneered, and ordered the clone to give up hunting and rush towards the F-class Dark Snake Area Stronghold. The clone went all the way, constantly encountering various F-class beasts. Ding! You get the horns of the bull 2, the carapace of the bull 1, the blood and flesh of the bull 20, the tendon of the bull 4. Ding! You get Molten Frog Web 4, Molten Frog Tongue 1, Molten Frog Skin 1, Molten Frog Tail 1. Ding! You get. The money is coming in too fast, it's so cool. Seeing more and more fierce beast materials in the storage space, So Lang happily left the Martial Arts Alliance building. Back in the hotel, he lay straight on the bed. The official warrior also needs to rest otherwise he will die suddenly. After a busy day, So Lang was a little tired, so he took a break while he was on the way. The night passed in a blink of an eye. System, how long will I have to break through again? So Lang asked immediately after waking up. Host, you can break through to the intermediate martial artist realm in just 50 hours. Isn't that more than two days? So Lang curled his lips, then shared the perception of the clone. At this time, the black robe clone had arrived at the F-level Dark Snake area stronghold of the Ye family, and was hunting dark snakes everywhere. Ding! You get Dark Snake Scale 26, Dark Snake Fang 2, Dark Snake Skin 1, Dark Snake Tendon 1, Dark Snake Flesh Asterisk 5. Ding! You get Hunting all night, I don't know how the harvest was. So Lang opened the storage space and took a look, and found that the fierce animal materials inside had piled up into a small mountain. 
Obviously, after breaking through to the official warrior, the clone's strength has risen, and the hunting efficiency has also been greatly improved. It's time to start the journey of revenge. The corner of Solang's mouth twitched, and the clone stopped hunting and rushed towards the stronghold. As a stronghold in Red Maple City, the Ye family has a large family business. Not only does it not prevent scattered people from hunting in the Dark Snake area, but even allows scattered people to pay fees and repair in the stronghold. Therefore, the avatar of Solang easily entered the stronghold. Who is this black-robed man? There are aura fluctuations. It's an official martial artist. Quickly get out of the way, this person is not easy to provoke at first sight, if offended, you and I will be over for the rest of my life. The body temperers around looked at the mysterious black robe clone in awe. No one dares to avoid any place where the black robe clone goes. This is the power of the official warrior. Welcome your excellency to come to my base in the dark snake area of the Ye family. A quasi warrior greeted him with a smile, I don't know how to call your excellency, but is there a place where I can help? Although this quasi warrior smiled, the pride in his eyes couldn't hide it. And there were four quasi martialers behind him, all of them looking forward to him. Obviously, this person is the guard of this stronghold. It's worthy of being an official warrior, even the Ye family should treat each other with courtesy. Yet, yeah, this Ye Zhen Shao is usually cold and arrogant, and he actually smiled at this time. The passers-by could not help but sigh when they saw the scene of the Ye family stronghold guarding and welcoming the mysterious black-robed man. However, the atmosphere at the scene soon changed. Because the mysterious black-robed man didn't even have any intention to pay back. Your Mightiness! Seeing the mysterious man in the black robe bowed his head, the guard at the stronghold suddenly frowned slightly. At this moment, the mysterious man in the black robe raised his head. These eyes! When the stronghold guard saw the murderous eyes of Solang clone, he suddenly thundered and shuddered. He didn't even think about it, and when he moved, he would run away immediately. Hey! An arc moon knife appeared in the air suddenly, one part was white just out of its sheath, and the other was dazzling blood. Uh, ho ho. The Ye family stronghold guarded Bioxu's neck tightly, and his white eyes were filled with disbelief. The other four quasi warriors also looked at the scene in front of them with dull faces, and they were unable to react. Ding. You get the exercise books too, high level soldiers 1, gold coins asterisk 20, silver coins. As the system prompt came, the body guarded by the Ye family stronghold slowly fell. The scene was as silent as an abyss. But in the next second, the scene is like a long-standing active volcano exploding. This person actually killed the Ye family stronghold guard. How dare he? Is he crazy? That's the Ye family. Oh my god, what did I see, someone dared to kill the Ye family. As far as I know. This Ye Wu guardian who is the main line of the Ye family will soon become a warrior. Kill the person of the main line of the Ye family, even if this person is an official warrior, he will undoubtedly die. That is a family with a martial artist and a general. This black robe warrior is dead, he is really dead. Everyone was so shocked that their vellus hair stood up and their scalp numb. While they were talking, they backed away in horror, and in an instant, a vacuum area formed around Solang's clone. You! How dare you kill my Ye family stronghold guard! A quasi warrior pointed at Solang and shouted in anger. Hee <laughs> hee, I like your opponent who doesn't know how to escape. Solang hooked his mouth and ordered, Kill him! Call! The sword light reappeared, and the roaring quasi warrior was directly chopped in half. Ding! You get high rank soldiers 1, gold coins 12, silver coins. The black robe avatar held a blood-stained tang knife and stared at the next quasi warrior closely. This person is crazy. Run. Quickly turn on the light for help, and go back and ask the strong to kill this dog. The remaining three quasi warriors were frightened physically and mentally, and while roaring, they quickly ran around. The rest of the people, 
whether they are scattered people or ye family body temporaries, all ran away. Someone turned on the request light at the stronghold, and a huge beam of light suddenly rose into the sky, even in the daytime. Kill the Quasi warrior, don't worry about running away, solve it as soon as possible. Solang gave the order with a sneer, then opened the storage space and took out two booklets. These two pamphlets seem inconspicuous, but they are the most precious exercise books. One of them is called Lazy Real Secret Technique and the other is called White Feather Footwork. They were all looted spoils from the guards of the Ye family. The people of the Ye family are really fat. Looking at the two exercises, So Lang's mouth almost crooked. Especially the Lazy Real Secret Technique, it turned out to be an elementary thunder attribute technique. This is a technique worth 20,000 to 30,000 gold coins. Excited, So Lang quickly flipped through the true secret of Lazy and read it again in less than a minute. Ding! The elementary exercise Lazy Zhenju is detected, do you place it? Sure enough, you can practice with one key after reading it. Solang immediately replaced the Ghost Moon Blade technique with Lazy True technique with a smile. Ding! The practice method was replaced by Lazy True Secret. At the same time, in the mysterious black space, the illusory long knife in the hands of the martial villain disappeared. It sits on the ground with its hands facing the sky, and dense, continuously twisting purple lightning emerges between its fingers. It's so cool. Solang's eyes brightened with excitement. After watching it for a while, he opened the white feather footwork again expectantly and read it. This exercise is an elementary exercise for body exercises, specializing in amplifying the exercises, and it is also valuable. After reading the second exercise, So Lang watched the avatar start killing, while waiting for the wonderful system prompt. About ten minutes passed. Ding! The true secret of lace has reached the entry level. So Lang who was lying on the bed snapped up instantly. Thunder! So Lang let out a low cry, his right hand claws, a trace of fierce thunder and lightning gathered in his palm. Under the constantly distorted thunder light, the whole room was lit up and down. At this time, So Lang pulled out the Tang knife again, and a trace of thunder and lightning flowed onto the blade like a living thing, looking so handsome. It's so strong, if this kind of thunder and lightning Quasi Warrior touches a trace, I am afraid it will immediately turn into coke. So Lang carefully felt the energy contained in the trace of thunder and lightning, and took a deep breath. By the way, there is by footwork. So Lang immediately replaced the one key martial arts practice with white feather footwork. In the mysterious black space, the thunder and lightning in the hands of the martial villain disappeared. It stood up and began to practice the various movements in Bayou's footwork, faster and faster, almost blurred. After a few minutes. Ding! White feather footwork has reached the entry level. So Lang only felt his whole body warm, and his whole body became agile and light. Immediately afterwards, he changed the technique back to a lazy reality, and then opened the attribute panel. So Lang. Human. Turbidity. Elementary Warrior. Attack Level, Intermediate Warrior Plus. Junior Warrior. Junior Warrior Plus. Junior Warrior. Boundless Heart Sutra, Lazy Genju, Ghost Moon Blade Technique, by the Footwork, Giwen Forging Body Ju. One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, Avatar Dispatch Function. Driven by the two techniques, So Lang's body skill level has reached Elementary Martial Artist Plus, and his attack level has reached Intermediate Martial Artist Plus. Ha 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 ha. So Lang couldn't help laughing, with my current ability. Even an intermediate warrior will be hacked to death by me if I don't pay attention, it's so cool. At this time, the entire stronghold in the F-class Dark Snake area was empty. In more than ten minutes, all the Ye family members who were caught by the clones died unexpectedly. So Lang's storage space also has a lot of loot, mostly gold coins and silver coins, beast materials, medicinal materials, low-level weapons, and low-level pills. 
Unfortunately, I didn't get a new technique. Solang regretfully spread his hands, and then directed the clone to walk around the stronghold. Whenever you encounter something of value, let the clone be sent to Solang's room through item delivery. Subsequently, Solang put these items into the storage space. I have to say that the Ye family's stronghold is fat, at least twice as rich as the stronghold of the Broken Axe hunting group. Soon, the clone could no longer find any items that could be passed on. The Broken Axe hunting group has a safe, and I'm afraid this stronghold also has it. Solang thought, and then continued to command the clone to search everywhere. Not long after, the clone found a huge alloy safe in a more luxurious room. Solang did not know the password of this safe. But this does not prevent him from taking it as his own. Smash it for me and smash all the walls around the safe. Solang chuckled and gave instructions. After receiving the instruction, the clone immediately smashed the wall. With the attack level of the clone Intermediate Warrior Plus, even the walls made of steel can't hold it. Boom. Boom. Wow. Wow. Under the continuous attack of the clone, almost half of the house collapsed. The safe has also become an independent existence. Then it was simple, So Lang asked the clone to grab the safe, transport it to the room through item transfer, and then put it into the storage space. At this time. Bold lunatic. How dare to destroy my Ye family stronghold and die for me. A roar rushed into the sky, and a figure swiftly charged into the stronghold, killing Xiang Solang's clone fiercely. Come here so fast. Solang was surprised. Moreover, through the avatar perception, he clearly felt that the aura on the person's body still completely exceeded the scope of the official martial artist, and was not at all comparable to the current one. In order to avoid losing the clone, so Lang immediately let the clone enter the room next to it. Immediately, the avatar slowly faded and disappeared, and So Lang recovered the mysterious black space. Run! I'm going to throw you into the pan and blow up alive. The swift figure rushed into the room, slashing with the long sword in his hand. The sword light shrouded the entire room like a giant net cast by a fisherman. However, no one. The figure stopped in surprise. Jian Guang disappeared, revealing his face. This person has square lips, broad forehead and flat top, his complexion is iron blue, and his eyes are blood red. If someone from the Ye family sees this person, they will call Elder Ye Tian immediately. Where are people? Why is there no one suddenly? I obviously saw him run in here. This room is closed on all sides. How could the silent people disappear? Yet Yen's eyes stared like light bulbs, as if he had seen a ghost. Immediately, he searched the entire house, and then searched the entire stronghold again. But he still has nothing to gain. This, this is impossible. Yet Yen was almost out of breath. As a powerful martial artist, he didn't even see the face of a martial artist, so he let the family escape. If this is let others know, he will definitely laugh at him for a lifetime. After a while, Yet Yen finally calmed down. He found something wrong. This person is only in the realm of martial artist, how dare to fight against my Ye family. And this person escapes so fast, it is even more likely to have some kind of blind eye technique. Only some special attribute techniques can display the effect of blind eye technique. From these two points, this person should not be a martial artist, but a martial artist. He may have suppressed the spiritual energy fluctuation. So, who is he? Why do you want to fight against my Ye family? My Ye family won't have enemies with a martial artist at all. Could it be that this person is a stronghold gangster from another stronghold? Yet Yen thought about it, and the more he thought about it, the more he felt that the visitor was probably a stronghold gangster. The benefits of destroying a stronghold are much greater than hunting beasts alone. Therefore, before So Lang, there had long been a vicious warrior's idea to make a stronghold outside the city. Most of these warriors will be wiped out soon, but there are still very few who can escape the pursuit and run around. 
These people are the stronghold gangsters Ye Tian said. But Ye Tian thought of another doubt. Why didn't the murderer choose an E-level stronghold as a target? That way the benefits are obviously greater. What exactly is going on? Ye Tian felt that his head was big. Just when he was extremely unwilling, on the other side, So Lang was happily depositing gold coins into the system. Lying down, 1935 gold coins, developed. Looking at the number behind the gold coin icon, So Lang was full of excited smiles. And these 1935 gold coins do not include the unsold materials of beasts and the treasures of heaven and earth. Selling those materials is estimated to be more than a thousand gold coins. System, upgrade me the dispatch function of the clone. A small amount of money was enough, and So Lang immediately chose to upgrade the system functions. Ding! Consume 1000 gold coins, the clone dispatch function is upgraded to level 2, and the number of clones is plus 1. At the same time that the system prompt appeared, a purple villain condensed in the mysterious black space again. Two clones, so cool. So Lang rubbed his hands in excitement, and immediately dispatched the second avatar in front of him, put on a black hooded robe, put on a mask, and stuffed a long knife in his hand. Jija, next, go to the headquarters of the Broken Axe hunting group first. So Lang intends to suspend the attack on the Ye family stronghold, because after the Ye family loses a stronghold, they will definitely take strict precautions. If you send a clone to attack the Ye family stronghold at this time, you will probably fall into a trap. Even if So Lang can pay attention to the situation of the clone at any time, and take it back in time when it encounters danger, it will cause the bamboo basket to be empty and busy. On the contrary, everyone's attention is now outside the city, it is a good time to do things inside the city. Just do it. So Lang immediately left the hotel and got on the linky bus to the Golden Fruit Building. With the envy and awe of everyone in the car, So Lang got off the car at the stop in front of the Jingguo Building and walked over. Not long after, So Lang came to Jinguo Street. This street looks chaotic, and there are hooligans everywhere. Of course, So Lang's aura fluctuated and no gangster was blind and dared to provoke him. Finding a tall building near the Golden Fruit Building, So Lang came to the top of the building. Sure enough, you can see a part of the scene inside the Golden Fruit Building. The corner of So Lang's mouth twitched, revealing a slight sneer. Immediately afterwards, with a thought, he dispatched both clones to the Golden Fruit Building. The guards in the Golden Fruit Building are just like fakes. At this moment, in the luxurious box where the serpentine man in the golden fruit building is located. Tuck, tuck, tuck. There was a rhythmic knock on the door. The news is only now, it's a bunch of trash. Boom. The snake print man put on a robe and slammed out the door. There was a mess in the box behind him, and several women with distorted figures lay on the ground for unknown lives. Boss. Outside the door. A quasi warrior stood on the side bowed in cold sweat. Come on, who did it? The maniac eyes of the serpentine man touched the quasi warrior. No. I didn't find out. The quasi warrior said tremblingly, everyone at the scene is dead. Based on the wound, I guess it is the ghost moon sword technique. Snapped. There are more than dozens of warriors who know the ghost moon sword technique in the Red Maple City stronghold. What use is it for you to find out? The serpentine man slapped the quasi warfighter to the ground. Oh, Black Snake, your temper is getting bigger and bigger, why didn't you say that your strength didn't grow so quickly? A young man's voice came from the door, and the teasing in it made no secret. Six, six masters. The serpentine man trembles when he hears the sound, and turns around immediately. I saw two people standing at the door. One of the short-haired men has slender eyes, red lips, and white teeth, and looks like a noble boy. The other person is a thin old man with a crooked hair and a rickety figure. Master Six. Why are you here? The serpentine man was flattering, and his arrogant and domineering arrogance was completely gone. Why am I here? 
I'm here, do I still need to say hello to you? The short-haired man sneered and sat down on the sofa. Subordinates dare not. A thin layer of cold sweat appeared on the black snake's forehead. He is just a dog raised by the sixth young master Yel Yang, how dare there be any disrespect? Humph! Yel Yang snorted coldly and said, I'm here this time to ask you something. Master, please say. The black snake nodded respectfully. The stronghold of your broken axe hunting group was destroyed. And just now, our Ye family was also destroyed an F-level stronghold. Through the comparison of wounds, our people found that the same person should have done it, so I will ask you. Did you provoke something terrible? Yel Yang's words made Black Snake's face changed drastically, and he was dumbfounded. Yet, Ye family stronghold was also destroyed. The Black Snake opened his mouth, his eyes falling out of horror. The Ye family is one of the four major forces in the Red Maple City stronghold. Who would dare to stroke the tiger's whiskers of the Ye family? Yet, someone dared to fight against my Ye family. Once I find him, I will definitely let him live a hundred years, and it is better to die. Ye Yang's face was cold, now, tell me if you have any doubt about the subject. Subordinates, a lot of people offended under them. The black snake said tremblingly, but none of those are hard bones, and I clean them every time. Humph, forget it, you're useless. Ye Yang snorted faintly, go and take the gold coins I harvested last month. I'm going to buy medicine pill to break through the intermediate martial artist. Master is going to break through. It's worthy of being a young master, it's just awesome, I'm not even a rash guy compared to you. The black snake was surprised for a while, and then showed a very flattering expression. Stop talking nonsense, go. Ye Yang waved his hand, and the black snake immediately went to get the gold coin. Not long after, Black Snake returned to the room holding a big box and placed it in front of Yel Yang, Master, a total of 1,265 gold coins. Ah, very good. Yel Yang nodded, just about to tell the Black Snake to send someone to continue tracking down the murderer. What? Suddenly a scream came from outside. What happened? Yel Yang, the old man. The black snake and the quasi warrior who didn't dare to move suddenly became surprised and looked at the door together. At this time, there was a rush of footsteps outside, and the rushing voice even made people feel impatient. Ha 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 ha, Ye Yang, the sixth young master of the Ye family, and 1,265 gold coins. On the top of the tall building next door, the corner of So Lang's mouth twitched, revealing a weird and excited smile. He never expected that when he came to the headquarters of the Broken Axe Hunting Group, he would encounter Ye Yang, the culprit who ordered him to be killed. What an unexpected surprise! In the Golden Fruit Building, the footsteps are getting closer. Following that, there was a hint of blood. Who is it? Who dares to kill people in the Golden Fruit Building so unscrupulously? The Black Snake was stunned. He couldn't even dream that someone would dare to enter his hunting group headquarters. What is it? Ye Yang snorted coldly, with Lao Lu, whoever comes will die. As soon as his voice fell, the old man behind him took a step forward, revealing an unfathomable feeling. At this moment, someone appeared at the door. Hippeo in white face, one hand knife and the other hand, blood spilled all the way. His face was covered by a black hood and mask, and a few drops of red blood stained the white mask. Prisoner. Seeing the dead head in the hands of the visitor, the black snake was furious. A prisoner is his most trusted subordinate, and he was beheaded at this time. Compared with black snake, Ye Yang and El Yu Lao were even more dumbfounded with their faces dull. They had long been informed that it was a black-robed and white-faced knife master who destroyed the F-class Dark Snake stronghold. But at this time, the entire Ye family was struggling to find an unacceptable murderer, unexpectedly close in front of them. After the shock, Ye Yang's eyes immediately showed joy again. Okay. There is a way to heaven, you don't go, 
has no way to come by yourself. Ye Liang stood up from the sofa and looked at So Lang's black robe clone with a sneer. In his eyes, the black robe man in front of him was just a junior warrior. And Ye Liang himself was close to a breakthrough, not to mention that there was still a real intermediate warrior like Al Yu Lao. In addition to the black snake, they have a total of three warriors, and the opponent is only one person. At this moment, El Yu Lao and Hei Snake also discovered this, and they sneered while letting go. Boy, although you destroyed an F-level stronghold in my Ye family, I now give you a chance. As long as you kneel in front of me and confess and swear to be one of my dogs, I will spare your life and keep you prosperous and wealthy. But if you don't agree, the consequences will be cruel you can't imagine. Ye Liang stood between El Yu Lao and Black Snake, looking at the black robe clone arrogantly. There are many young masters in the Ye family, and the competition is fierce, so when Ye Liang saw this cruel and courageous man in black robes, he wanted to try if he could win it. If it can be taken as a subordinate, it must be a huge combat power. In his eyes, Ye Liang, as the sixth young master of the Ye family, the opponent is just a desperate little warrior. As long as he gives certain promises and threats, the opponent will most likely agree. But... Ha ha! The black robe man sneered, and walked slowly into the room with a knife and a head. Little friend, you have to believe that young master Ye Liang will protect your status and strength. Kneel down now, it's too late. Old El Yu walked to Ye Liang and said coldly to So Lang's clone. Friend, I am young master Ye Liang's subordinate. Look, since I have been with Master Ye Liang, how much power and wealth I have gained. This broken axe hunting group, this golden fruit building, all I didn't dare to think about before. The black snake also knew Ye Liang's thoughts and immediately stepped forward to persuade. It's ridiculous, so ridiculous. A rubbish, you want me to kneel down. Today, let you know what cruelty is. On the roof of the building next to him, so Lang sneered, turned and left the roof. So Lang's avatar didn't respond to the threats and lure of Ye Liang's trio. It is a killing machine born for battle. Seeing that the black robe man was still cold and silent, Ye Liang and the others moved forward slowly, suddenly feeling angry. A toast without fine wine. Today I will let you know what will happen to Ye Liang if I offend my Ye family. Ye Liang's eyes flashed with killing intent and he waved his big hand, come on to me and beat him crippled. I want him to regret coming to this world. Kill. Elder L. U. understood, immediately drew out his long sword, and charged towards So Lang clone with murderous aura. The black snake also drew a single knife from the quasi martial artist, and rushed up fiercely. The two great martial artists burst out with cheetah-like speed, and almost instantly slammed in front of So Lang clone. Fast speed. The quasi martialist widened his eyes, with such a powerful combat power, the black robed man will undoubtedly die. Humph. Ye Liang snorted coldly, seeming to have seen the scene of the black robed man being seriously injured. Suddenly. Hey. An arc shaped knife light appeared in the air. Ding. Boom. The blade light blocked the long swords of El Yu Lao and Black Snake one after another. Immediately afterwards, the black robe clone threw the head in his hand and retreated quickly. And this action was naturally an order issued by So Lang. Want to escape? No way. Old El Yu gave a low cry and rushed to catch up. Hey Snake's reaction and speed were slower, So Lang clone and El Yu Lao rushed out of the gate before he chased them out. Want to escape in the city? I can't do it with wings. Ye Liang raised his chin arrogantly, then turned his head and said, Pour me a glass. Before he finished speaking, his pupils suddenly shrank. I saw that the quasi warrior had already separated from his head, and replaced by a black robe man standing there. Why are you here? You are here, who is the one who ran out just now? No. You are not the same person. But, the breath on you is exactly the same, how is this possible? Ye Liang jumped up from the sofa as if he had seen a ghost. 
This black-robed man is exactly the same as the previous black-robed man, which is simply against common sense. Even twins are different. What's more, after practicing, a person's breath will become more unique, and it will be extremely difficult to imitate. Ye Liang felt that his cognition had to be subverted. At this moment, the black-robed man drew out his long knife cruelly and slashed it down. At the same time, L. Yu Lao and Black Snake who chased out the door were equally shocked. Because after they chased a corner, two men in black robes appeared in front of them. The same appearance, the same breath, not the slightest difference. This this this. What exactly is going on? How come there are two murderers? Old L.U. and Black Snake looked at each other dully, and they both saw the incredible in each other's eyes. At the same time, a feeling of incomparable horror gradually grew in their hearts, and their vests gradually became wet with cold sweat. Just when Old L.U. and Black Snake froze in place as if they were facing their enemies, So Lang was also looking at the two in front of them. That's right, among the two black-robed men, one is So Lang himself. Properties Panel Looking at the two people in front of him, So Lang immediately called out their attribute panel and learned their information. The old man named L. Yu Gong, an intermediate martial artist, has practiced two basic exercises. A turtle breath forging body art, and a floating willow sword technique, the mastery levels are both entry level. However, it is not known that L. Yu Gong is old and physically weak, or has a dark illness. This person's attack level is only an ordinary intermediate warrior. Moreover, L. Yu Gong's defense and body skills are only intermediate martial artist, only the endurance is intermediate martial artist plus. In general, this person's combat power is much weaker than the average intermediate martial artist. As for the other black snake, there is nothing to say. The ordinary junior warrior masters the simplest Giwen body forging art. You. Who are you guys? Why are you targeting the Ye family? L. Yu Gong didn't seem to be stretched anymore, he took a deep breath and asked nervously. Old stuff. So Lang sneered, you are blind and can't tell that I'm here for revenge. Find revenge from our Ye family. The black snake drank inwardly, you are afraid that you are looking for the wrong person. In his opinion, L. Yu Lao is an intermediate martial artist, plus himself. The opponent is definitely not his opponent in the case of two on two. Hee <laughs> hee, a Ye family in just a mile. A sneer flashed in So Lang's eyes. Despise the Ye family? You are not qualified yet. L. Yu Gong let out an angry growl, his body and sword merged into one, killing So Lang in no time. The black snake also brandished a long knife and blatantly killed it. Fighting against a junior warrior with the power of an intermediate warrior, L. Yu Gong was full of confidence in his heart. He believes that if he goes down with this sword, the other party can't resist it. Yeah family? It's just fish to be slaughtered. With a flick of So Lang's thumb, a swath of sword light popped out of the scabbard, and then a large amount of lightning emerged, condensing on the blade. The clone is the same action. In an instant, Two long knives flickered with thunder, and they were terrifying. Thunder Attribute Technique L. Yu Gong and Black Snake were shocked when they saw the thunder and lightning. Especially L. Yu Gong, his full confidence was instantly broken and turned into a stormy sea. But at this time, the two of them were covered in water and hard to harvest, so they could only bite the bullet and kill So Lang. Dark Moon, Shun. With a move of So Lang's wrist, the tang knife wrapped by thunder and lightning slashed through the air, bursting with a gorgeous and deadly light in front of the black snake. Facing this extremely powerful knife, the black snake's eyes shrank suddenly, like falling into an ice cave. Boom! Chiang! After the stern metal trembling, there was a harsh metal cracking sound. I saw a broken blade tearing through the air and piercing the wall violently. At the same time, a burst of hot blood flew out from the black snake's neck like a water arrow. At the same time, So Lang's avatar was also staggered with L. Yu Gong's body, and the outcome was unclear. However, after seeing the pain and despair on the black snake's face, 
Liu Yugong instantly chose to retreat. He quickly ran towards the room where Ye Liang was, but didn't notice that Sol Lang behind him was not anxious at all, and he even wanted to laugh a little. Master Ye, something is wrong with you. What about your superior posture? How about your arrogant arrogance? Sol Lang smiled slightly, walked slowly to Ye Liang with a long knife in his hand, and looked at him faintly. Me. I was wrong. I knelt down for you. Please forgive me, I don't want to die. Facing the great horror between life and death, Ye Liang completely lost his dignity. He knelt down in shame in front of Sol Lang, his eyes and face were full of pleading expressions. Your Ye family killed my parents. It's not enough, you have to kill me. Master Six, do you think you can survive? The corner of Sol Lang's mouth raised, revealing an indifferent sneer. I, I am willing to compensate you. I have a lot of gold coins, and spirit stones. Ye Liang hurriedly took out some spirit stones from his body, and then opened the box next to him. Immediately afterwards, he held the spirit stone in one hand and the gold coin in the other, humbly raised it above his head and dedicated it to Sol Lang. However, the corner of Sol Lang's mouth twitched, and he was unmoved, looking extremely cold and ruthless. Please. I will be your dog, I am your slave dog. Please, forgive me, forgive the slave dog. Boom boom boom. Ye Liang completely collapsed. He kept bowing and kowtow, his nose and tears were all over his face, where there was a handsome boy brother. Compared with before, Ye Liang is more than a different person. With such a huge contrast, even El Yugong looked dull. Do you think it looks good? Sol Lang glanced at El Yu sarcastically. No. No. El Yu Yun trembled in horror, and immediately he slowly fell to his knees, humbly crawling on the ground. When he fell in this field, he had no choice but to beg for mercy. Actually, the two of you are not worthless. If you can give me what I want, it's not impossible to deal with it leniently. Sol Lang condescendingly looked down at the master and servants of Ye Liang and El Yu Gong. And his words immediately gave Ye Liang and El Yu Gong a hope in their hearts. My lord, what do you want? As long as I can give it to you. Ye Liang raised his head, his eyes glowed, and he looked at Sol Lang very hopefully. Me too. El Yu Gong also eagerly bowed. If this is the case, let's write down the exercises you know first. Sol Lang smiled, throwing out two pens and a few blank notebooks. Before coming, Sol Lang was already fighting the idea of these two people's exercises. However, although he possesses the imperfect plunder ability, he cannot plunder the enemy's mind. The last time the Dark Snake stronghold guarded his body was also written by himself and stored next to him. Therefore, Sol Lang prepared pens and notebooks. I. I will write it. Ye Liang picked up the pen and the notebook tremblingly, and began to write on it, shaking. El Yu Gong was also frightened and began to write the techniques of his cultivation. Sol Lang sat on the sofa in his spare time, looking indifferently at the two people lying on the ground writing exercises. After about half an hour, Ye Liang and El Yu Gong stopped writing one after another. Done? Bring it over. Sol Lang waved his hand, and Ye Liang and El Yu Gong immediately got up from the ground and offered the notebook in their hands. There are six exercises in total, two more than what Sol Lang saw through the attribute panel. I think it should be Ye Liang and two of them in their minds, but they didn't practice a successful technique. Very well, I originally planned to make you better than dead. Now your good performance has won you the opportunity to be treated with leniency. Sol Lang stood up, smiled and drew out Swaliang's Tang sword, then, I will give you a good time. What? You, you said, forgive me. Ye Liang trembled all over, stuttering with fear. Oh, I'm talking about lenient treatment. Sol Lang sneered, with the blood and blood of you and mine, you will be regarded as merciful until you are too late. You're fat, you chopsticks. El Yu Gong, hurry, 
protect me from escape. Once you successfully escape, not only you but your family will receive a huge reward. Seeing that he still couldn't escape to death, Ye Liang suddenly decided to jump the wall. But El Yugong had obviously lost the heart to resist. My lord, spare your life, everything is led by Ye Liang. And I haven't been involved from beginning to end. I am willing to sever the relationship with Ye Liang and the Ye family. Please forgive me. El Yu Yan was still prostrate on the ground and kept kowtow, begging on his face. El Yu Gong. Seeing this scene, Ye Liang was desperate to suffocation. Well, stop talking nonsense. So Lang raised the Tang Dao high, a hint of comfort emerged from the corner of his mouth, accept it, my revenge. Do not. Three bodybuilding exercises, two weapon exercises. So Lang smiled, I don't know how far my combat power can be raised by practicing these five exercises to the entry level. Next, So Lang placed these five exercises on the practicing villain one after another, practicing them all to the entry level. After changing the one key exercise technique to a lazy true secret technique again, So Lang called the attribute panel. So Lang. Human. Turbidity. Elementary Warrior. Senior Warrior Plus. Intermediate Warrior. Senior Warrior. Intermediate Warrior. Boundless Heart Sutra, Lake Wang Zhenju, Lei Si Zhenju. Fiwa Shadow Slashing Sword, Ghost Moon Blade Technique, Bai Footwork. Stepping in the Rain, Immovable Body Locking Technique, Floating Willow Sword Technique, Tortoise Body Exercise, Giwen Exercise. One key training function, one key martial arts function, avatar dispatch function. Advanced warrior plus? Hey! So Lang couldn't help laughing with excitement, moreover, she has reached a senior martial artist. With such a strength, I can almost cross two small levels to single-handedly challenge a high-level warrior, so cool. But after being excited, So Lang also found a problem. That is, with the improvement of his combat power, the improvement of the entry-level elementary skills has begun to shrink. You still have to let the exercises advance to Xiao Cheng level earlier. So Lang pondered, and asked, System, how long will it take for Lei Si's true art to be promoted to Xiao Cheng? Host, Reese real technique can be promoted to Xiao Cheng in just 46 hours. 46 hours? It only takes two days for my cultivation to be promoted directly to the intermediate martial artist. So Lang pondered, the cultivation realm is the most basic and the most important. It takes about the time, or the benefit of improving the cultivation realm is greater. Thinking of this, So Lang decided to give priority to upgrading the one key practice function next time. To upgrade the function, you still need gold coins. When he thinks of money, so Lang feels that he is clinking poor. Although he had just received three or four thousand gold coins, he was still halfway short of ten thousand gold coins. At this moment, two people in the corridor outside walked over while talking. One person said mysteriously, I heard no, Jinguo building was slaughtered. What? The golden fruit building was slaughtered? Who would dare to do it in the city? They are not afraid of the Alliance law enforcement? And it was the Golden Fruit building of the Broken Axe hunting group that killed them? I know that there are people from the Ye family behind the Broken Axe hunting group. This force who dares to slaughter the Golden Fruit building is really crazy. The other person asked incredulously. The man continued to say mysteriously, Hey, isn't it crazy? Did you know that in addition to the members of the Broken Axe hunting group, the sixth young master of the Ye family and his servants also died in the Golden Fruit Building. What did you say? The sixth young master of the Ye family is also dead. The other person couldn't help clapping his hands, this is to offend Ye family to death. It's so awesome. The mysterious person smiled and said, isn't it? I said that the Ye family stronghold was also destroyed before? I guess it was the same force. And I think it was a good kill. Ye family and Broken Axe hunting group should all go to long ago. 
SHHH, keep it quiet, but they are really happy when they are destroyed. Heroes. The two of them kept exclaiming, never expecting that the protagonist in the incident would be listening happily in the next room. Solang smiled lightly, it seems that I did a good thing to destroy the broken axe hunting group. But at this moment, he was taken aback by what the outsiders said. One person said, it's a hero, but it's a pity that the Ye family has already joined forces with the Warrior Alliance to investigate this matter. It is said that they have mobilized many people who are proficient in investigation and found many traces. If the people of that power are still in the city, they will definitely not escape. Another person said, then we can only pray that they can escape smoothly. Let's not talk about this. Why haven't the two we dated last time come? I don't know, maybe it's coming soon, he <laughs> he. Walking on the small road outside the city, So Lang felt very happy. Yejia was furious, although he could not see it, but he could guess it. A little appetizer, I hope you like it. So Lang ticked the corner of his mouth, took out the map and opened it. Next, it's time for the big dishes. The murderous revenge is revenge, but the revenge of the former parents has not yet been reported. Those in the Ye family who didn't take human life seriously were still domineering and happy, which was absolutely unbearable. What's more, So Lang destroyed a stronghold of the Ye family and also killed Ye Yang. This hatred is no longer a commonplace. Even if So Lang no longer troubles the Ye family, the Ye family will bite him like crazy. Therefore, Taking the initiative is an inevitable choice. It's you, Golden Flame Leopard E level stronghold. Soon, So Lang determined the next Ye family stronghold to be attacked, and dispatched a clone to investigate the situation first. At this moment, a group of people walked in the distance. So Lang took a closer look, oh, acquaintance. The man with fancy braids walking in the middle of the crowd is not Yang Shi who is? At this time, Yang Shi also saw So Lang. It's the little who humiliated me in the Hall of Martial Arts Alliance, So Lang. The enemy was extremely jealous when they saw each other, Yang Shi gritted his teeth, and immediately brought his guard to So Lang with a sneer. The shame of yesterday is still fresh in his memory, and the incident is gradually spreading. Those opponents who didn't look right in the past did not humiliate him with this incident. This made Yang Shi want to find So Lang immediately, smash him into pieces, and avenge him. So when he saw So Lang at this time, he rushed up without hesitation, as if he was afraid that So Lang would run away. What? Gradually walking in, Yang Shi realized something was wrong. He felt the looming spiritual fluctuations in So Lang. What's the matter? Did he break through to the martial artist? No, no. Why am I crazy? He only broke through the intermediate tempering body yesterday. At this time, the people around Yang Shi also noticed the fluctuations in So Lang's body, and suddenly hesitated. Master, that person is a warrior, I am afraid it was not the person who humiliated you yesterday. Yes, young master, the master told us not to offend the martial artist easily. Everyone persuaded them. What are you afraid of? A little warrior, I can't afford to offend him. What if I admit it wrong? Who can move me? And he is not necessarily a martial artist, maybe he has some kind of treasure that can radiate spiritual energy fluctuations. Thinking of this, Yang Shi's eyes suddenly flashed, and the pace under his feet became faster and faster. The others had no choice but to follow. Soon, Yang Shi and the five people came to So Lang. Here, brother. So Lang hooked his mouth and asked with a smile. Let me get close. Yang Shi glanced at So Lang disdainfully, A and D. Then he became even more surprised. Because he discovered that the aura fluctuations on So Lang's body were really martial arts fluctuations, not the treasures that he had guessed that could emit aura fluctuations. Across such a short distance, the unique aura fluctuations of that elementary martial artist's fluctuations absolutely cannot be faked. You, you. Have you really broken into the realm of warriors? Yang Shi's eyes widened in disbelief, 
as if he saw an alien. Are you blind and can't see it? When Solang looked at Yang lightly, a touch of playfulness appeared in the corner of his mouth. This is impossible. Yang Shi trembled and roared in fear, you only broke through the intermediate body tempering yesterday morning. It's only one day, how could you break into the realm of warriors? No, this is not true, absolutely not true. I do not believe. Tisk tisk, can't stand this blow. So Lang sneered, then what do you do next? I said, don't let me run into you again. But when you saw that I didn't go around, you rushed towards me. Don't you know that there is a saying there is a way to heaven and you don't go, and there is no way to break in from hell? Hey, what is arrogant? Yang Shi's eyes were blood red, full of shock and jealousy, don't think you are a junior warrior, you can be rampant in front of me. I tell you, in any case, you are a waste in front of me, because you will be defeated by me and be tortured to death by me. Although So Lang is a junior warrior, he Yang Shi went out hunting this time but brought four junior warriors to ensure his safety. In his eyes, the four junior warriors can definitely beat So Lang to the ground. Oh, I'm so scared. So Lang sarcastically hugged his shoulders, but what you said is really terrible, it suits you. You bitch, what am I going to kill you? Yang Shi was so angry that Kikiao made smoke, his face was distorted, and he turned and roared, what are you doing in a daze? Give me up. Yes. The four junior warriors immediately surrounded So Lang. Although the master had ordered Yang Shi not to cause trouble everywhere. But now Yang Shi is so angry that he is about to explode, how can they stand by? And this is outside the city, kill it if you kill it. With the background of the Yang family, you won't be afraid. Humph. Scared. Yang Shi looked at So Lang with a sneer, if you kneel down and beg for mercy now, I can still consider forgiving you not to die. Kneel down. Our young master is not something you can afford. Kneel down quickly, otherwise don't blame us for being insignificant. Kneel down, hurry up. The four guards also looked at So Lang contemptuously, playing four against one, there was no suspense at all. Hey. It's your misfortune that provokes me. So Lang sneered and pulled out Tang Dao directly. The sunlight shone on the blade, and the reflected light was extremely cold. Yang Shi and the four guards shivered at the same time, feeling a little bad. Hurry up, what are you afraid of? Give you three seconds and solve him for me. Yang Shi gritted his teeth and shouted with his temples bulging. Kill. The four guards roared and drew their swords to kill So Lang. I was shocked by this kind of stuff, really. Seeing So Lang who had nowhere to dodge in the shadow of the sword, Yang Shi couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. In just a few seconds, the other person will be hacked and cannot take care of themselves. Yang Shi seemed to have seen the scene where So Lang was seriously injured and left him tortured. He couldn't help showing a cruel smile at the thought of that happy feeling. But the next moment, his smile instantly stiffened. In his pupils, a blade of light shrouded in thunder was reflected, and four figures flying upside down. Boom boom boom. The four warriors fell to the ground in different postures, constantly screaming. One second, only one second, one knife, only one knife. Yang Shi's four martial artist level subordinates were all defeated and seriously injured, dying and wailing. How could this be? Am I dreaming? Yang Shi murmured in disbelief, it was a battle without suspense, but it turned out that his subordinates were dealt with by a single blow. Are you dreaming, feel it yourself? So Lang took a step with a sneer, and came to Yang Shi like the wind, raising his hand to slap in the face. Snapped. Yang Shi, who was just a quasi war fighter, couldn't even see So Lang's movements clearly so he spun and flew out. What? It hurts, my face, my face. Yang Shi fell to the ground and fell a dog to eat shit. The intense pain made him instinctively cover the painful area and scream. At this time, half of his face was completely swollen, and blood was flowing from his ears, nose and mouth. 
and this is the result of Solang's resignation. Otherwise, with the attack level of Solang Senior Martial Artist Plus, this slap could blow Yang Shi's head alive. Ah! It hurts. Blood. I bleed. Yang Shi touched a handful of his own blood, and he burst into tears with horror. So waste. The main show hasn't started yet. Solang sneered and walked slowly towards Yang Shi. No, don't come over. Go away. Go away, you devil. Ah! I don't want to die. The sound of Solang's footsteps slammed into Yang Shi's heart like a death bell, and his fright was about to explode. It will be tortured in every possible way. So Lang walked in front of Yang Shi, his toes were only a few centimeters away from Yang Shi's face. No. Please give me a chance, I won't dare any more. Yang Shi cried, I really know that I was wrong, Master Su, please spare me. The corner of So Lang's mouth hooked, it's not impossible to want me to spare you. It depends on how much money you can afford. With four junior warriors as guards, the Yang family where Yang Shi was definitely rich was also rich, which made it difficult for So Lang, who was too poor to refuse. I have five spirit stones, and I still have a lot of money in my family. Yang Shi hurriedly shouted, I am the eldest young master at home, they will give you as much money as you want. Tisk tisk, with so much money, why did you still get any allowance at the beginning? Fortunately, it provokes me to death. So Lang shrugged his shoulders with a smile, Okay, stop talking nonsense, immediately let your family get 200,000 gold coins. Yang family can send four warriors to protect Yang Shi, which is definitely the big family second only to Ye family. Therefore, So Lang directly opened his mouth and asked for 200,000 gold coins. 200,000 gold coins. Yang Shi trembled, his face twitched. Even if it is the accumulation of the Yang family for many years, 200,000 gold coins are definitely most of the savings. What? You are not worth the price. So Lang raised his eyebrows, forget it, you go to die. As he said, he raised the Tang sword that was surrounded by thunder and lightning. No, do not want. Yang Shi shouted in horror. 200,000 is 200,000. My father will definitely give it. I am my father's only son. Deal. So Lang hooked the corner of his mouth, and put the knife into its sheath. In fact, he was completely open to the lion's mouth, and it was a surprise to get 100,000, and 200,000 was beyond imagination. With this money, the three system functions can be upgraded again, and So Lang's strength improvement speed will be crazy multiplied by that time. Thank you Master So for sparing my life. Thank you, thank you. Saved his life, Yang Shi cried bitterly with excitement and kept knocking on his head. No need to die at last. Although after this incident, a cruel family law is indispensable, maybe it will be peeling off. But he saved his life, he can still enjoy the beauty of wealth and power and can still step on the heads of ordinary people to dominate. Okay, get all up for me. So Lang gave a faint drink, and Yang Shi and the others immediately trembled, resisting the pain and got up from the ground. You. So Lang pointed to a guard whose legs were intact and said, You go report it. Let the Yang family prepare 200,000 gold coins and send an official warrior to the Red Forest in the E-level King Deer area within half a day. If no one comes over the time, or if your Yang family dares to play any tricks, your young master will die very miserably. At that time, I will return his head to the Yang family so that you can sweep the Yang family's majesty and make people laugh. Of course, So Lang would not take the risk with his body, and just hand it over to the clone. The Kinkan Deer area is the place where the clone hunt is currently located, and there is no stronghold in that place. Yes. Great, sir, I'll go report. The guard nodded hurriedly, and then ran towards the barrier. Let's go. So Lang turned and walked forward. What? Yang Shi was stunned, and said cautiously, Master Su, 
that's not the direction to the King Kenlu area. Who said I'm going to King Kenlu area? Solang glanced at Yang Shi faintly, besides, did I allow you to speak? Yes, sorry. I was wrong. Yang Shi's neck shrank in fright, like a tortoise. He closed his mouth tightly, and followed Solang among the three seriously injured guards. Only in this way can he feel a little safe. Soon, Solang took Yang Shi and the four to a very remote mountain stream. Clone Dispatch Solang thought, and the clone hunting in the King Kenlu area immediately condensed in front of him. This is, black robe and white face. Yang Shi and others looked like a ghost, their eyes widened. They only heard that a Ye family stronghold was destroyed by a black-robed and white-faced madman before they decided to return to the city. But at this time, the black-robed and white-faced fanatic actually appeared in front of them. And it still appeared in such an incredible way. In addition, watching him stand with his hands down and say nothing, it looks like a subordinate. Could it be that this black-robed madman is actually Solang's subordinate? This thought appeared in the minds of the four Yang Shi at the same time, making their faces dull and shocked. It's already incredible to break through the martial artist from the body tempering in less than a day. At this time, this Solang had such a weird subordinate. Too unreasonable, too incredible. What is Solang's background? Metamorphosis? Evildoer? It doesn't seem to be enough to describe Solang. Looking at the young boy in front of him, Yang Shi and others were completely speechless. Next, my underlings will lead you to the King Kenlu area. Solang said lightly, and before that, hand over all your belongings and silently write down all the techniques you know. After speaking, he threw out his pen and blank book. Yes, sir. Yang Shi and the others did not dare to disobey at all, and immediately handed over their belongings and then began to silently write the exercises. After Solang deposited it in the system space, more than 600 gold coins were added immediately after the gold coin icon. And the total number of gold coins has reached 5,000. Not long after, Yang Shi finished writing the exercises silently and handed them to Solang tremblingly. Excluding the Boundless Heart Sutra and Giwen Body Exercise Ju, there are a total of three exercises, all of which are primary exercises. It just happens that my defense and endurance are a bit slow, and I can make up for it now. Solang smiled faintly, and immediately began to read the exercises. The first part is called Recovering Spiritual Forging Body Art, which specifically amplifies the recovery speed of spiritual power and improves endurance. The second part is called Golden Body Forging Bone Secret Art, which specializes in strengthening bones and enhancing defense. The third part is called Rock Forging Body Art, which is also a technique for increasing defense power. After reading the three exercises, Solang condensed a thunder and lightning, and burned all the books. Hiss. Seeing the thunder and lightning in Solang's hands, Yang Shi and the others couldn't help but shiver. That's an attribute technique. I don't know how much time and effort it takes to cultivate successfully. But this Solang actually succeeded in practicing at the junior warrior stage, which is incredible. However, what they did not expect is that even more incredible things are still to come. System, replace Lake Wang Zhenju with returning spiritual forging body Ju. Solang's thoughts sank into the mysterious black space and immediately issued the order. Ding! The practice method is replaced with returning spiritual training. After being prompted by the system, the Wuxia villain changed his movements and began to make various twisted poses. After a few minutes. Ding! Returning spiritual forging body art has reached the entry level. Solang only felt his body warmed, and the spiritual power in the meridians seemed to become stronger. Immediately afterwards, he immediately replaced the golden body forging body art with golden body forging bone art without any muddle. After the introduction of golden body forging bone secret art, he immediately changed to panchi forging body art. In less than 10 minutes, Solang had practiced all three elementary exercises to the entry level. At this time, 
the aura on his body also became thicker, and he seemed to have a sense of motionlessness. This kind of breath made Yang Shi and the others stare. This is, the feeling of getting started with the rock body forging technique. There is also a breath of introductory golden body forging bone tactics. Hui Ling's body forging art has also started. Moreover, how come the aura on his black robe subordinates has become stronger? What the is going on? It's incredible. The four of Yang Shi had their mouths wide open, with their chins hanging, looking at Sol Lang like a monster. At this moment they were all wondering if Sol Lang was a human being. Sol Lang glanced at them, a faint smile was drawn at the corner of his mouth. Immediately, after changing the one key exercise technique to Lake Wang Zhenju, he called out the attribute panel. Sol Lang Human. Turbidity. Elementary warrior. Peak warrior. Senior warrior. Senior warrior. Senior warrior. Boundless Heart Sutra, Thunder Light Truju, Lei Si Zhenju, Fiwa Shadow Cutting Sword, Ghost Moon Blade Technique. Baiyu Footwork, Stepping Rain Footwork, Immobility Locking Body, Piyaliu Sword Technique. Turtle Body Forging Technique, Giwan Forging Technique, Spiritual Forging Technique, Golden Body Forging Technique, Rock Forging Technique Getting Started. One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, Avatar Dispatch Function. The attack level has reached the peak martial artist. Solang raised his eyebrows in surprise, it seems that these bodybuilding exercises have also increased strength. In addition, the other three attributes have reached the advanced martial artist level, which is really great. Excited for a while, Sol Lang once again set his sights on Yang Shi and the others. Guru. Yang Shi, who was stared at by Sol Lang, swallowed hard. In his eyes, Sol Lang is already a monster. The other three warriors are similar, all of them are so tense that their bodies are stiff, and their necks are almost unable to turn. Now you will follow my subordinates to the King Kanlu area. Sol Lang smiled faintly, I am in a good mood. If you are obedient, I will not embarrass you again. Yes yes. Yang Shi tremblingly said, We, must be obedient. Sol Lang twitched the corner of his mouth and turned away. The black robe clone also rushed towards King Kanlu, and Yang Shi and others immediately followed in fear. On the other side, the warrior who reported the news ran into the barrier and immediately attracted the attention of many people. Isn't that the guard of the Yang family? What is he doing in a hurry? Hey? He is hurt. I saw this guard take them young master Yang out hunting this morning, now it looks like something has happened. I don't know, right? Then young master Yang has four junior warrior guards. Outside the city is dangerous. What is a junior warrior? If you stray into the dangerous place, the warrior won't be able to return. When everyone was talking, the warrior of the letter had disappeared from their field of vision. About half an hour later, the informer finally arrived at Yang's house. Quick! Let me in! At the door, the informant warrior rushed to the concierge, panting. The patriarch is hosting guests. The concierge looked at the blood-covered guard in shock, what's the matter with you? Where's the master? He has a bad feeling. The reporter warrior looked eagerly and said, we have provoked a master, the master has been detained. What? Master was deducted. The concierge was stunned for a while, and he couldn't imagine, who would dare to detain the eldest master of their Yang family. Stop talking nonsense, get out of the way. The informant warrior was impatient, so he opened the concierge and ran towards the mansion. At. Eh. Wait for me. Seeing this, the concierge immediately followed. In the compound. A small and luxurious banquet is underway. Those present here are either those with high powers or those with high authority. Come and come, all distinguished guests, I respect everyone. Yang Tianrui, the head of the Yang family stood up and invited the distinguished guests to drink. Patriarch, the big thing is not good. The informant rushed into the yard shouting. 
Didn't I say that no one is allowed to disturb me and the distinguished guests? Yang Tianrui looked angry and went wild on the spot, what kind of decent are you yelling? Come here, put him in the confinement room for me and wait for it. Among these guests, there are distinguished guests from the Ye family, how can it be disturbed? Besides, this reporter warrior rushed in at will, without any rules. This shows that Yang Tianrui has nowhere to go, making him despised and losing face. Get out! Hurry up, let's talk about something later. The two guards frowned and were about to blast out the scared warrior. Hey! Wait a minute! A purple-clothed young man stood up and waved his hand, and said concerned, I think this warrior is injured, and there should be something urgent. If there is a cause, I won't blame it. Tell me what happened, if we can help, we will do our best to help. As soon as this remark came out, the warrior who reported the letter suddenly looked at Yang Tianrui eagerly. Since young master Ye Ling Feng has said so, I will give you a chance. Yang Tianrui nodded, just tell me, if it's a trivial matter, I can't spare you. Patriarch, it's the young master who has an accident. The informant warrior knelt on the ground, crying sadly, we provoke a strong man, and the young master has been detained. What? My son was detained. Yang Tianrui thundered in an instant, and he was so old and happy that he felt terribly distressed for Yang Shi. At this time, I heard that his son was detained, and the fire of rage was like a bomb exploding, gushing out of his seven orifices. What do you eat? You can't protect my son. You trash, you have the face to escape back, I killed you, I killed you. If Yang Tianrui was crazy, he clanged and drew his long sword, he would kill on the spot. President Yang, calm down. Since the murderer is just a seizure, he must have nothing to do with it. Yang Shi is safe for the time being. Patriarch Yang, you must calm down and don't get confused. Ye Ling Feng stepped forward to stop Yang Tianrui, and other guests also surrounded him. With the persuasion of young master Ye and the guests, Yang Tianrui gradually calmed down. Everyone, I'm sorry, I lost my mind. Yang Tianrui took a deep breath, his face rose like pig liver, you guard, can't you tell me the details? I waited for the young master guard to return from hunting, and provoke a junior warrior. The reporter warrior crawled on the ground and said tremblingly, but this primary warrior is very powerful, and our four primary warriors were defeated by one. Then the young master was detained, and the murderer asked the patriarch to send an official warrior to send 200,000 gold coins to the E-level King Kanlo District Red Forest within half a day. Otherwise, otherwise he will send the young master's head in front of you, and let the Yang family sweep the floor with majesty and make people laugh. What? Unreasonable, unreasonable. Zuzi. A mere junior warrior, how dare to be so rampant? Yang Tianrui was furious, his face was red, blue and white, as if he had opened a dye shop. It is a shame that the patriarch of the Yang family is so threatened by others. Yang Tianrui swears that once the murderer is found, he will be able to taste all the torture in the world. Except for Yang Tianrui, the others were also dumbfounded. This man is so crazy, he wants 200,000 gold coins. But this guy is very powerful he can actually defeat four opponents of the same level with a crushing force. I don't know what kind of person it is. By the way, not long ago, Jin Guo building, the sixth brother of Master Ye Ling Feng. The guests talked a lot, and then turned their eyes to Ye Ling Feng, who was frowning slightly. Patriarch Yang, this murderer is really bold and violent. Ye Ling Feng said, I am willing to help you to find Yang Shi and kill the murderer. Master Ye Ling Feng's kindness is accepted by heart. Yang Tianrui squeezed out a smile, I can still handle this little matter. No, this murderer can defeat four junior warriors with one move. I am afraid that the real combat power is already a senior warrior. Ye Ling Feng's eyes were slightly cold, therefore, this murderer is probably the same as the one who slaughtered my Ye family stronghold and Jin Guo building. 
Yang Tianrui was taken aback, but, wasn't the murderer of the Golden Fruit Building in the city. The trail left by the murderer is too fake, it must be a blindfold. Ya Ling Feng shook his head and said, I believe the people who tracked down the murderer have also discovered this, but I'm not sure. I am going home to report this now so that the tracers can adjust their deployment and capture the murderer. This. Yang Tianrui became a little hesitant. Ya Ling Feng knew what Yang Tianrui was thinking, and said with relief, Patriarch Yang can rest assured that we will give priority to ensuring Yang Shi's safety. In that case, please ask Master Ya Ling Feng. Yang Tianrui nodded and said to his confidant, Yang Zhen, you should go and fetch twenty middle-grade spirit stones at once, and then you will send it to the E-grade kink and Deer Red Forest. At the same time, Solang arrived at his destination the Golden Flame Leopard E-level area. Although we received a big order on the way, the main plan still cannot be stranded. The E-level area is obviously more dangerous than the F-level area, and the geographical environment alone makes it difficult to move forward. Moreover, there are not only E-level fierce beasts, but also various F-level fierce beasts. Body shaders are looking for death here. It is also dangerous for the official warriors to go single-handedly. Most of them hunt in groups and finally pay dividends. This is also the reason why the E-class fierce beasts are so valuable. Tisk tisk, this jungle of thorns, it is difficult for the official martial artist with a slightly weaker body to move forward. Looking around at the harsh environment, So Lang tweeted out and immediately took out the map. After determining the direction, So Lang followed the route marked on the map towards the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold of the Ye family. Suddenly, three embarrassed figures ran out of the jungle not far away. The three of them were carrying backpacks, covered in blood, and even the blood on their clothes had solidified. Obviously they had experienced a lot of battles. At this time, they were horrified and looked back from time to time, apparently being hunted down. Roar! A huge white leopard about two meters high rushed out of the jungle, two jewel-like eyes staring at the escaped three people. The white leopard's neck and knees have bunches of golden mane, in the mountain wind, it is like a burning golden flame. This is the golden flame leopard? Not bad, really awesome. So Lang looked at the white leopard with interest, unfortunately, he can't be tamed to become a mount. Immediately afterwards, four more white leopards rushed out and surrounded the three seriously wounded warriors. It's over. It's dead now. Wife, child, I'm sorry for you. The three warriors looked desperate. Roar. The golden flame leopard roared again, his figure turned into a white afterimage his claws tore the air, and he slayed at them. Fight! A warrior with a fierce face, with a long sword in the air, would rather die than make these golden flame leopards feel better. The other two also bit their teeth fiercely, ready to fight back. At this moment, a figure suddenly rushed over. Who? The people headed by the three warriors were surprised, and then shouted, Don't come here, go! But it was too late the figure had already rushed to the claws of a golden flame leopard. Kill. Seeing that it was irretrievable, the three warriors immediately rushed up to fight the golden flame leopard with those who came to assist. But at this moment, they heard a low drink. Instant. So Lang lunges and draws a knife. In the next moment, the sword suddenly appeared, and the thunder lingered. The bodies of the four golden flame leopards were stagnant, and they fell to the ground feebly, without a chance to scream. Immediately afterwards, the golden flame leopard's body disappeared out of thin air, and the system prompt also sounded. Ding! You got golden flame leopard tusk 4, golden flame leopard eyeball 2. Golden flame leopard fur 1, golden flame leopard claws 4. It's so refreshing. So Lang raised the corner of his mouth, retracting the knife into its sheath. This this this. My Tianel is amazing. One stab. Kill all the golden flame leopards who are chasing us. Furthermore, the aura fluctuations in him turned out to be only junior martial artists, which is incredible. 
the three warriors stared round their eyes, and the turbulent waves in their hearts were almost earth-shaking. At this time, they discovered that the body of the golden flame leopard was missing, and they were even more shocked. Space Ring This is definitely a big family young master from a high-level base. The eyes of the three warriors looking at Solang became more and more in awe, like a mortal looking at a god. What are you doing in a daze? Solang glanced at the three of them faintly, don't treat the wound yet. The three people's first reaction when they saw him was to let him go, and they didn't mean to pull him into the water. They seemed to have some conscience. So Solang's attitude is considered mild. Oh. Yes, yes. Thank you, son, for reminding. The three immediately began to treat the wound. Not long after, everyone was on medicine. Solang threw out three sets of clothes, look at your tattered ones, put them on. Master Xie rewards. The headed warrior took Solang's clothes as if he had won the treasure, and then gave them to the other two. What is your name? Solang asked faintly, are you familiar with the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold? My name is Liu Zhong, and the two of them are Deng Qi and Wang Cheng. The leader Liu Zhong replied respectfully, we have been in the Golden Flame Leopard area all year round, and are very familiar with the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold. Um. I'm a little tired. Solang smiled slightly, can you take me to the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold to rest? This is Solang's purpose in saving these three people. The Golden Flame Leopard stronghold is a semi-open stronghold, except for the Ye family warriors, only the warriors who know the roots can enter. Solang knew that if he were alone, he would definitely be kept outside. But it was different if the three of Liu Zhong were carrying them, he could walk into the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold in a swagger. Of course it's okay. Liu Zhong smiled and nodded, we are old acquaintances with the warrior guarding the gate, and we can definitely take you in. That's great. Solang smiled happily, let's go over, it just so happens that you also need to heal. Hey. Good. The three of Liu Zhong quickly agreed. Soon, under the leadership of the three of Liu Zhong, Solang continued to move towards the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold. Along the way, fierce beasts came soon, but they all became materials in Solang's storage space. With his peak martial artist level attack level, as long as he doesn't encounter a large scale E level beast group, he can walk sideways here and his powerful combat power also attracted Liu Zhong and others to awe. About an hour or so, So Lang's four came outside the Yejiajin Yanbao stronghold. Compared with the F-level stronghold, this E-level stronghold has a much smaller area, but its city walls are stronger and taller. Li Laokai, open the door. Liu Zhong took out a golden flame leopard fang from his backpack, and skillfully threw it into an arrow on the wall. Ouch! Who? A man with a coxcomb head appeared on the wall, boy Liu Zhong? There is a stranger. With the guarantee of our three brothers, you are suspicious of wool. Deng Qi frowned and said, it's dangerous outside, let us in quickly. No, strangers can't enter. The coxcomb man looked at Solang impatiently, but did not walk away. Made stinky rascal. Liu Zhong whispered a curse and immediately took out a golden flame leopard fangs and threw it to the coxcomb man. Okay, for your sake, I will let him in. The coxcomb had satisfactorily tucked the golden flame leopard's fangs in his hand, and immediately pressed the mechanism that opened the city gate. The four of Solang quickly walked into the city gate, and the heavy door behind them closed immediately. So many people. Solang looked around and found that this place was not only a sparse official warrior as he had imagined. On the contrary, the people here come and go, and most of them are body temporaries. They are responsible for many affairs and are an essential part of the normal operation of this base. Because of the harsh external environment, these people almost never leave the stronghold except during the big transfer. Therefore, some people even become biological children here. At this time, Liu Zhong respectfully asked, My son, would you like us to find a place for you? 
No need to. Solang waved his hand faintly, you go and rest, I'll take a stroll by myself. Yes. The three of Liu Zhong looked at each other and left immediately reluctantly. To them, Solang is a super thigh. If he holds it firmly, he will be prosperous and wealthy in the future. It's a pity that the three of them have no use value anymore, so Solang would never let them follow. After the three of Liu Zhong left, Solang looked at the tall building in the center of the stronghold, showing a big bad wolf smile. Afterwards, Solang found a hotel to stay. Clone Perception Sitting on the bed, Solang directly shared the perception of a clone. The scene of a kink and deer crashing to the ground appeared in Solang's mind. It turned out that the black robe clone had escorted Yang Shi to the King Kanlu area with four people. After killing the kink and deer who came from the raid, several people came to the Red Forest and found a place to wait. Gaku, Gaku. In the process of waiting, Yang Shi was so nervous that he swallowed from time to time, his face was also pale. It didn't take long to wait, when there was a call of peace from outside the woods. I am Yang Zhen from the Yang family. I have been ordered to send a ransom, and please bring the young master out to see you. Outside the woods, Yang Zhen's face was cold, and a sneer flashed under his eyes from time to time. Their Yang family's money is not so good to blackmail. The people who came this time included Yang Tianrui, the master of the Yang family, the master of martial arts, Ye Tian and Ye Zhi, the elders of the Ye family, as well as the pinnacle warrior of the Ye family, Ye Lingfeng, and six senior warriors. Although these people hadn't appeared yet, they had hidden their auras and laid nets around the red woods. As long as Yang Shi's safety is guaranteed and the murderer has no bargaining chips in his hands, he will become a fish, and he will kill him as he wants. Hearing the shouts from outside, Yang Shi was instantly excited, his eyes brightened. Do not move. So Lang directed the clone to say simple words. Yes yes. The icy voice reminded Yang Shi of the fear of being dominated by So Lang, and his whole body trembled and shrank into a ball. Immediately afterwards, under So Lang's command, the clone drew out a long knife and walked out of the woods with Yang Shi, the other three also followed tremblingly. Master! Seeing Yang Shi's Yang Zhen was delighted, Yang Tianrui who was hiding in the dark could not help but almost rushed out. At the same time, Ye Lingfeng, Ye Tian and others in ambush were also pleasantly surprised. Sure enough, the murderer in the black robe. Finally found him, and I will definitely not let him go today. We must take this down, so that he can't survive and die. Everyone in the Ye family didn't speak, but just by making eye contact, they could also see the joy, cruelty, and joy in each other's eyes. In the field. Master, are you okay? Yang Zhen opened his mouth and walked two steps forward. Stop. So Lang Avatar whispered, the blade immediately cut a bloodline on Yang Shi's neck. Uncle Zhen don't come over. Yang Shi was almost scared to pee, and his voice was shaking quickly and again, Gold, where are the gold coins? Get the gold coins to redeem me. I brought the ransom, don't do it. Yang Zhen didn't dare to move rashly, he quickly took out the twenty middle grade spirit stones in his arms and showed them in front of Solang clone. Solang carefully observed through the avatar's perspective, and found that these spirit stones were indeed purer and richer than the lower grade ones, and he couldn't help showing a smile. All these spirit stones are given to you, but only if you release the young master first. Yang Zhen took a deep breath and said, You know, if the safety of the young master cannot be guaranteed, I can't give it to you. I have a suggestion. You let my young master come over. When he walks in the middle, I will throw the spirit stone to you. Don't worry, for the safety of my young master, I won't play any tricks. You can definitely get these 200,000 gold coins. As soon as he said this, So Lang immediately hooked his mouth. He didn't believe that the other party didn't have more arrangements. If that were the case, the Yang family could not be so prosperous. But anyway, So Lang's deity was not there. For him, 
it was useless for the Yang family to set any traps. It is good. So Lang made the clone knot and pushed Yang Shi out. Uncle Zhen. As soon as Yang Shi escaped from the control of So Lang clone, he immediately ran towards Yang Zhen crying. Yang Zhen looked at the black robe man who was ready to go, and didn't plan to take a risk. In his opinion, this black robed man will definitely be arrested in the end, and these spirit stones will return to the original owner and return to the Yang family. Therefore, the adventure is not worth it. After Yang Shi ran to the middle, he immediately threw the spirit stone. Twenty crystal clear middle grade spirit stones were flying in the air, and then they were quickly taken by Sol Lang's clone and passed to Sol Lang's hands. At the same time, Yang Zhen also guarded Yang Shi tightly. He sneered, Small, what about you get the gold coin? Today, our Yang family and Ye family will besiege and kill you. Your death date is now. As soon as his voice fell, a large number of figures rushed out of the surrounding jungle. Father. Brother Yet. Uncle Yet. You're all here, kill that asshole. Ha ha ha, kill slowly, torture him slowly, let him know what pain is. Yang Shi saw the people rushing out of the jungle, his eyes widened and tears filled his eyes. God knows how much shame, panic and fear he has experienced in this short half day. Although he knew that this black robed man was only So Lang's subordinate, he was also ecstatic about the subordinate who could torture and kill the enemy. Kill me. An angry roar came. A majestic old man holding a long sword, frantically killed So Lang clone. Clone dispatch. When So Lang thought, he would dispatch the clone to other places to avoid chase. I saw the black robe clone standing still on the spot, his body gradually faded, and he was about to disappear. Suddenly. Call out. A thunder and lightning flying knife cut through the sky, and instantly penetrated the right leg of the black robe clone. Boom. There was a violent explosion. In the light of thunder, the black robe clone shattered and his body was charred, and his right leg disappeared. Ding. The clone dispatch is interrupted. When the system prompt came, So Lang didn't hesitate to let the clone flee away. It's a pity that there is only one leg left in the clone, and the Yang family's Ye family is a total of three martial artist level powerhouses. With three breaths tightly, they surrounded So Lang's clone. It's you, dare to kill my sixth brother. It's you, dare to destroy my Ye family stronghold. Today I will make you regret coming to this world. Ye Ling Feng walked slowly to So Lang's clone, feel it well, regret, fear, and despair. With that said, Ye Ling Feng drew out the long sword cruelly, and severely cut it towards the face of So Lang clone. He wants to cut through the white mask and add a bright sword mark to the face under the mask by the way. But at this moment. Ghost Moon, Shun. The black robe clone broke out under the influence of a large amount of thunder light, and a blade of thunder and lightning slashed towards Ye Ling Feng instantly. This move did not leave any room for maneuver, it was completely a life for life. All of this happened in an instant, and even the expressions of everyone had no time to change. Ye Ling Feng's pupils shrank suddenly, and he didn't even want to change his defense immediately. His life was precious. But his hastily changed moves and So Lang's clone is actually an opponent who is struggling for a blow? Clang! There was a sharp metal clash. Ye Ling Feng's long sword was directly swung open, and a terrifying knife mark was cut across his chest and abdomen. Ye Ling Feng! Ye Tian's eyes were about to split, and the rest of the people also reacted and killed So Lang clone. At this time, so Lang's avatar's old power has exhausted its new strength, and it is difficult to avoid it. Puff puff. Immediately afterwards, the weapons of Ye Tian and others pierced the body of So Lang clone, making a sound of cutting into the flesh. The angry Yang Tian Rui also twisted the blade fiercely, and opened a big hole in the abdomen of So Lang clone. Zuzi. How dare you hurt me? Ling Chi skinned and cut, I want you to taste it all. Ye Ling Feng clutched the wound, his eyes were blood red and rushed to So Lang's clone, 
and the long sword pierced into the body of Solang's clone like a torrential pear blossom. The place where each of his swords pierced was not the point, because he wanted to keep the murderer and tortured him for a lifetime. But his ideas are destined to fail. Ha 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 ha. Ye Ling Feng, I remember the torture you said. Solang Avatar laughed wildly, shattering his head with a palm. Ding! The clone is dead and enters a 24-hour cooldown period. Hiss. It's exciting to shatter your head. In the hotel, Solang gave a fierce shock and opened his eyes. Immediately afterwards, his gaze fell on the 20 middle-grade spirit stones in his hand. Wow, so beautiful. Picking up a spirit stone, Solang showed an expression of intoxication and enjoyment. With this middle-grade spirit stone, his system function can be upgraded to another level. Trading a clone for these 20 middle-grade spirit stones is simply a big profit. After all, the clone can reconsolidate within 24 hours, and Solang has suffered a small loss. And... He he he, just make up for the losses. Solang slowly raised the corner of his mouth and looked at the golden flame leopard stronghold outside the window. The other side. In the blood mist splashing, Ye Ling Feng and others looked dull. They didn't expect this murderer to be so fierce, killing himself so simply. Immediately, something even more shocking happened to them. The body of the black-robed man gradually faded into a phantom under their noses, and finally disappeared completely. This, the body of this man has disappeared. Not only flesh and blood, but even clothes, weapons, everything disappeared. What kind of person is this? It's so weird, it's almost unheard of. Yeah, it's too weird. Not only did the body disappear after death, but also the thunder attribute technique that our Ye family never taught before. Everyone looked at each other, panic rose in their eyes and chill rose in their backs. I know I know. At this time, Yang Shi ran to everyone with excitement, I know some clues. Little bastard, what are you messing up with? I will kill you. Yang Tian Rui cursed angrily, because his ineffective son, their Yang family lost a full 200,000 gold coins. You know this is most of their savings. But I really know. Yang Shi shrank his neck in fear, lowering his eyebrows and daring not to look at Yang Tian Rui. Yang Shi, what do you know? Ye Ling Feng stepped forward and asked, Yang Tian Rui didn't dare to stop when he saw him asking questions. Yang Shi took a breath, Big brother yet, dad, uncle yet. Let me tell you that this black-robed man is Solang's subordinate. Solang? Who is Solang? Everyone showed their doubts and said that they had never heard of the name. At this moment, they thought that Solang was a big boss, and they had no idea that Solang was an ordinary person in their eyes a day ago. Superior. Yang Shi looked stunned, it's not wrong to say that Solang is an expert, but he is different from an average expert, he is very very strange. Speak carefully. Ye Ling Feng frowned and said. Yes yes yes. Yang Shi nodded hurriedly, I was going to experience life yesterday morning, so I ran to the Martial Arts League Hall to receive allowances, and I met this So Lang. At that time, he was just a junior tempered body and was laughed at by many of us. I also made a bet with him on when he can break through the intermediate tempering body. As a result, he broke through on the spot, and that kind of breakthrough fluctuation is absolutely impossible to fake. This is nothing, what is even more bizarre is that when I met him today, he was already a junior warrior. Moreover, he defeated four of my junior warrior guards with a single blow. These three are my guards, and they are also parties. With that, Yang Shi pointed to three junior warrior guards. The three guards nodded quickly. Promoted from body tempering to official warrior in one day, fake. This is incredible, Yang Shi, are you wrong? How can it be possible to break through from the body tempering to the junior martial artist in just one day, and also have the combat power far surpassing the junior martial artist? How could such a weird thing happen under the sky, a fantasy? Ye Ling Feng and the others rounded their eyes, 
their faces were full of incredible expressions. This is not the weirdest thing yet. Yang Shi also stared his eyes and said loudly, Later, So Lang summoned his subordinates out of thin air, that is, the black-robed man who had died and disappeared before. This black-robed man had exactly the same breath as him, and it was very much like the lunatic who rumored to destroy your Ye family stronghold, so we were stunned on the spot. Then, the strangest thing happened. So Lang forced us to write three exercises, and then he took the past ten minutes to practice all of them. What? Ye Ling Feng and the others were so shocked that they opened their mouths, and they could put a foot in. The black-robed man won't talk about it, some super skills can barely explain. But the practice of exercises is completely unimaginable. The three exercises can be learned in ten minutes, which means that one exercise can be started in a few minutes. This is incredible. Ye Ling Feng's aptitude and comprehension are the best, but even for the elementary techniques, it takes him about a month to get started. Get started in a few minutes? Don't dare to do that in your dreams. What I said is absolutely true. When Yang Shi saw everyone's faces full of surprise, he immediately promised. Hiss. Ye Ling Feng took a deep breath. He knew that Yang Shi would not lie, that what happened to Sol Lang was true. What he didn't even dare to do was realized in Sol Lang, and it happened. Shock, jealousy, and fear gradually filled Ye Ling Feng's heart and mind. This person is too weird, absolutely can't let him develop like this. Ye Ling Feng turned to look at Ye Tian and Ye Zhi, Uncle San, Uncle Wu, we must kill this person. Ye Tian nodded with an ugly face, yes, this person has already made enemies with us. If he is allowed to develop, it will definitely be the end of our Ye family. In fact, while the three of them were shocked, there was also a hint of unspoken excitement. Because So Lang can become so powerful in a short time, there must be a big secret. Maybe it's a super treasure for an eternity. So Lang is still weak at this time. Once he is killed and his secret is obtained, the Ye family will surely soar into the sky. Even if it stands at the top of the blue star, it is not impossible. At this time, so Lang's cultivation speed was directly increased by four times compared to before. In other words, now he can be promoted from a junior fighter to an intermediate fighter in just five hours. You know, even with the best aptitude, it takes half a year to be promoted from a junior martial artist to an intermediate martial artist without external assistance. Too abnormal, too abnormal. I don't know how awesome the one key martial arts function will be upgraded to level five. So Lang breathed in beautifully, but when he saw the gold coin balance, he suddenly smiled helplessly. I saw that the balance of gold coins was only more than 74,000, which was not enough to upgrade the one-click martial arts function. You have to make money. So Lang turned his head and looked out the window, his mouth gradually rising. An entire E-level stronghold is definitely more valuable than F-level, 30 or 40,000 gold coins are definitely indispensable. However, with the strength of the Pinnacle Warrior, it is still a bit risky to completely destroy an E-level stronghold in a short time. So Solang lay back on the bed, ready to wait until he was promoted to an intermediate martial artist before he started acting. The other side. Except for Yang Tianrui, Yang Shi, and Yang Zhen, the other three Yang family guards were brutally killed. A Keking martial artist of the Ye family was also killed. They never expected that they hadn't died at the hands of the enemy, but they were brutally killed by their own people. At this time, Ye Ling Feng had returned to the Ye family mansion and met Ye Fiazang, the head of the Ye family, and Ye Ling Feng's father, Ye Xiang Ming. Grandpa. Father. Ye Ling Feng bowed and saluted. Although he was arrogant, he did not dare to indulge in Ye Fiazang and Ye Xiang Ming. Ling Feng, is the murderer punishable? Ye Fiazang drank tea and asked lightly. Ha ha ha, my son is thoughtful and there should be no mistakes. Ye Xiang Ming smiled and said, The who killed your brother and destroyed my Ye family stronghold must have died miserably. This, Grandpa, Father. Ye Ling Feng hesitated, that person is not dead 
and we haven't even seen that person from beginning to end. What? How is this possible? Ye Xiongming's smile froze, didn't you siege and kill with the Yang family, and the success rate reached 100%. We did besieged one person, but... Ye Ling Feng took a deep breath and spoke out the process of besieging Solang clone. What? You said that Solang was promoted from an ordinary person to a junior warrior in a day or two. And you said that Solang summoned the black robe subordinate out of thin air. What are the few minutes left to learn a practice technique? Ling Feng, isn't this nonsense? Yes Yang Ming was dumbfounded, and then he got up from his chair. Kong Dang. Ye Fiazang had always been unbelievable, the tea cup in his hand fell to the ground, the tea splashed, and the fragments flew randomly. As a military commander level boss and the Ye family patriarch, his state of mind has long since been unwavering. But at this time, he was talking about Wuobo? It's simply turbulent seas and seas. Grandson, are you sure they are all true? He quickly walked in front of Ye Ling Feng, his eyes wide open. It's all true. Ye Ling Feng said eloquently, that So Lang definitely has a great secret. Yes. Ye Fiazang and Ye Xiang Ming sucked cold air at the same time, they believed that Ye Ling Feng would not talk nonsense. By the way, does anyone know this secret? Ye Fiazang asked quickly. Yes, but... Ye Ling Feng turned around and shouted outside the door, Yang Tian Rui, come in. Ye Fiazang and Ye Xiang Ming looked outside and saw Yang Tian Rui walk in very respectfully. Subordinate Yang Tian Rui has seen the patriarch. Seeing Ye Fiazang and Ye Xiang Ming, Yang Tian Rui knelt down without hesitation. This. Ye Fiazang and Ye Xiang Ming looked at each other. But they weren't fools, and they quickly figured out the reason Ye Ling Feng must have regained Yang Tian Rui. Grandson, you did a great job. Ye Fiazang nodded in satisfaction, and immediately helped Yang Tian Rui, Patriarch Yang, don't worry, as long as you live up to my Ye family, I will not treat you badly. Thank you Patriarch for accepting. Yang Tian Rui stood up with a smile on his face, but his heart was extremely bitter. What happened to him was really miserable by Yang Shi's cheating father. I knew that, so I might as well spray him on the wall. Ling Feng, do you know where So Lang is now? Ye Fiazang looked at Ye Ling Feng again, facing the big secret that day, he was more eager and greedy than anyone. May I ask who doesn't want to be promoted to a higher level, gain a more noble position, and enjoy more wealth and beauty? What's more, his Ye Fiazang has been at the general level for 40 years, and he will enter the coffin if he doesn't break through. At this time, a little warrior with a huge secret appeared under his nose. This is simply an excellent opportunity. Grandpa, grandson doesn't know where he is. Ye Ling Feng shook his head and said, but we already know his identity. In addition, the airport has been blocked, only allowing entry and no exit, and the terrifying beast area outside, So Lang will definitely not be able to escape from the Red Maple stronghold. With the energy of our Ye family, it is possible to conduct a carpet search, and then use a high reward to want this person, and you will surely find clues. When the time comes, you only need to peel off the cocoon, and you don't have to worry about finding where the other person is, unless he stays in the beast area for a lifetime, or he will die. Ling Feng is right. Ye Fiazang's gaze was squinting, his expression proud, in the Red Maple City stronghold, there is no one I can't find in the Ye family. Xiang Ming, Ling Feng, Yang family master, from now on, give up all other plans and tasks and all the power of the Ye family and Yang family will be used to hunt down So Lang. Note that we must never reveal any secrets. What we did was hunt and kill my Ye family and destroy the murderer in my Ye family stronghold. Yes. Grandpa. Yes. Father. Ye Ling Feng and Ye Xiang Ming lowered their heads and clasped their fists at the same time, their voices were sonorous and powerful. Well, go. Ye Fiazang looked into the distance, with the vast sky reflected in his eyes, whether my Ye family can soar into the sky depends on this move. 
definitely live up to expectations. Ye Ling Feng, father and son, and Yang Tianrui bowed to leave. With the departure of Ye Xiang Ming, Ye Ling Feng, and Yang Tianrui, the terrifying behemoth of the Ye family suddenly revealed sharp minions. Time passed and night fell. Golden Flame Leopard Stronghold, a hotel room. Ding! The sea of repair is full, do you break through? The beautiful system prompt sounded suddenly. He he he! I can finally break through. So Lang opened his eyes suddenly, and a scorching light flashed away. Immediately, he chose to break through without hesitation. Boom! At the moment of the breakthrough, a large amount of spiritual energy poured into the body, rushing through the meridians, and finally gathered in the Danchen Cyclone, making it more dense and solid. Properties Panel Solang thought, and the attribute panel appeared in front of him. Solang Human Turbidity Intermediate Warrior Junior Warrior Peak Warrior Peak Warrior Peak Warrior Boundless Heart Sutra, Thunder Light True Ju, Lei Si Zhen Ju, Fiwa Shadow Cutting Sword, Ghost Moon Blade Technique Bayou Footwork, Stepping Rain Footwork, Immobility Locking Body, Pi Sword Turtle Body Forging Technique, Giwen Forging Technique, Spiritual Forging Technique, Golden Body Forging Technique, Rock Forging Technique Getting Started One Key Training Function one key martial arts function, avatar dispatch function. Junior martial master. And every attribute has been directly improved by one level. Solang felt the surging power in his body, and couldn't help smiling with excitement. The corners of his mouth almost reached the roots of his ears. Immediately afterwards, he left the hotel room and went to the street. It was night at this time, people after a day's fatigue now is the time to relax. Therefore, there are a lot of people on the street and it is very lively. So Lang randomly scanned the surrounding environment, and his eyes were placed on a building in the center of the stronghold. This building is built of huge stones, tall, solid, majestic and majestic. It is the guardhouse of the White Flame Leopard stronghold. Don't let me down. The corner of So Lang's mouth raised, and a glimmer of expectation flashed under his eyes. But just when he was going straight to the stronghold guard mansion, a stern cry suddenly came not far away. No. Please spare my daughter. Master Yehuai, please, my daughter is only six years old. You can do anything you want me, please let my daughter go. Yehuai? People of the Ye family. A sneer flashed in So Lang's eyes and he looked in the direction where the cry came from. I saw a group of people with exaggerated clothes standing in front of a pair of father and daughter, arrogant and high. The former pair of father and daughter are strong men, strong in body, but only in the tempering period. At this time, they are kneeling on the ground with tears and constantly kowtow. The girl looks well behaved and affectionate, but at this time her face is pale, her eyes are desperate and her small body is constantly trembling. Some passers-by around were watching from a distance, their faces showing unbearable and numbness. Obviously, this is not the first time such a thing has happened. Dog stuff, it's your blessing for us Master Yehuai to see your daughter. In our Golden Flame Leopard stronghold, besides Lord Guardian, who is more noble than Lord Yehuai. If you are more acquainted, you can quickly give your daughter to our master Yehuai to enjoy. You will be indispensable in future prosperity and wealth. A junior warrior with sly eyes and eyebrows walked up to the father and daughter and looked at them with a sneer. No. Please show mercy. The strong man kept kowtow, and blood was smashed on the ground. I am in love with your daughter, and it is the greatest kindness to you. A pale, vacant young man stepped forward condescending and arrogant. This person is Yehua. Looking at the unscrupulous Yezong, the passers-by couldn't help but stare at each other and couldn't bear it. Everyone knows Yehua's cruel and lustful distorted character. Once the girl really falls into his hands, she will definitely lose her skin in less than three days and die miserably. No. 
Lord Yehuai, please, whatever you want, please let my daughter go. The brawny man obviously also knew Yepam's stubborn poison, and he just defended his daughter. Dog stuff, toast, and not eat or drink, get out of me. The rudimentary warrior snorted coldly, kicked the brawny man, a pair of evil claws grabbed the terrified girl. Seeing this scene, the surrounding passers-by turned away, sighed, and were about to leave. Facing someone with a profound background like Yehuai, they didn't dare to be nosy at all. The weakness of the strong man and the fear of the passers-by fueled Yehuai's arrogance, making him even more obscene and unscrupulous. Even, all kinds of dirty pictures have emerged in his mind. Suddenly, a sharp blade of light fell like thunder and lightning, making Yehuai twitched all over, and the picture in his mind was broken. Immediately afterwards, I saw blood racing, and a severed hand flew into the sky. What? The junior warrior with thief eyebrows and mouse eyes tightly grasped the broken wrist, wailing in pain and distortion. In the next second, the blade light flashed again, and the wailing junior warrior separated instantly. Ding! You get! The system prompt came that the property of the junior warrior was looted. Hey! Solang's long knife swung, and all the blood on the knife was spilled on the faces of Yehuai and others. The sudden change made everyone sluggish. This person dared to kill Yehuai's men. Oh my god, Yehuai is the younger brother of the guardian Yezong, and he dared to intervene in matters. In this remote stronghold far away from Red Maple City, Yezong is the emperor of the earth, and Yehuai is the prince of the earth. Dare to fight against them, it's totally fatal. Everyone looked at Solang in disbelief, and the father and daughter kneeling on the ground were completely blank. Who are you? You dare to kill my men and humiliate me. Yehuai recovered from the horror. He wiped the blood on his face, staring at Solang with cracking eyes, looking like a ghost. He never expected that someone would dare to humiliate him so much on his own territory. This is a shame. Humiliated you. Solang sneered, not only will I humiliate you, but I will also make you dead ugly. As soon as this statement was made, the surrounding passers-by finally couldn't help making an uproar. Her man. Oh my god, this person is really awesome, dare to speak to Yehuai like that. But it's good for a while, and he will be miserable after a while. What a pity he is a good boy. When everyone was talking about it, Yehuai was also so angry that his eyes were blood red, and the Chi Chiao was smoking. It's ugly to make me die? It's up to you. Yehuai's expression was distorted, a mere intermediate warrior dares to speak up, not afraid that the wind will flash his tongue? Let me tell you, there are people who saw me upset before, even high-level warriors, but they all died miserably. In this golden flame leopard stronghold, without me, I can't afford to provoke them, and there is no one I can't kill. You are no exception. Ha <laughs> ha. Solang looked at Yehuai contemptuously, don't say it's you, even if your entire guard mansion is together, I will kill them all. Damn, dare to be so rampant, I really treat my Ye family as no one. Now even if you kowtow to me a thousand heads and apologize for your mistake, I will never spare you. Yehuai's temples are exposed with blue veins, and his face is full of hideousness and resentment, come on, catch him for me, I want to feed him alive to the dog. As soon as Yehuai's roar came out, the subordinates beside him immediately turned towards Solang with brutality. I can't help myself. Solang looked around and smiled contemptuously. Kill. Yehuai's subordinates glanced at each other and rushed up with a sharp blade in their hands. The shadow of the sword and sword made the passers-by frightened. However, the seemingly dense attacks were full of flaws in Solang's eyes. Ghost month, plunder. Solang's smile was getting colder, and the light of thunder shone when his wrist was flipped, and the light of the sword suddenly appeared. Ding stunned. The sound of dense gold and iron strikes together. The five broken blades flew into the sky, and all the people who besieged Solang stagnated, showing horror. The next moment, 
the five warriors broke into ten pieces, and the blood spread rapidly on the ground, forming a dazzling pool of blood. The Shura hell-like scene stunned countless people. The lively streets are completely quiet, even as silent as an abyss. Immediately afterwards, it was like a volcanic eruption, and everyone's eyes burst into incredible light. At the same time, everyone couldn't help but talk. This person is so powerful, killing five warriors with a single blow. Oh my god, is this still an intermediate martial artist? How could it be so scary? It's too strong, too fierce, too awesome, so the combat power is definitely at the level of a martial artist. This Yehwai kicked the iron plate, it's so fun. Good job, kill Yehwa, kill Yehwa. Solang killed Yehwai's five subordinates in an instant with a terrifying knife, and also dispelled the fear in the hearts of passers-by, and aroused their resentment towards Yehwai. You 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 you. Yehwai's voice trembled. He looked at Solang for a while, and ten corpses on the ground, his eyes full of fear. He broke his head and couldn't imagine that his five subordinates were cut by the young man in front of him. It's horrible, it's horrible. Next, it's your turn. Solang glanced at Yehwai faintly, go ahead, how do you want to die? No. Friends, all misunderstandings, misunderstandings. My brother is Yezhan, he is the guard here. This is my fault, make friends, and let me go. Yehwai was frightened by Solang's indifferent gaze, making his legs weak, and backing again and again. I said it would be ugly to make you die. A smile was drawn at the corner of Solang's mouth, I am the most honest person, and I will never break my promise. No, I beg you to circumvent me with compassion. Yehwai's face was horrified, and he trembled fiercely, a scent of urine filled him, and he was scared to pee. Killing you is the greatest kindness to you. Otherwise, you will be cut a thousand times, and Ling Kai's car will be broken. So Lang walked forward indifferently, Yehwai shook with every step he took. Such a scene fell in the eyes of passers-by, and they immediately clapped their hands in applause and enjoyed it. Suddenly. Who is going to cut my brother a thousand knives and make Ling Kai's car crack? What a courage! A majestic voice came, followed by a mess of steps. So Lang followed the sound and saw a pinnacle warrior with a broad and short face, thick eyebrows flying, and bursts of murderous aura shot out from a pair of narrowed eyes. And this person is surrounded by more than a dozen black-clothed warriors, with fierce gazes, which is not easy to provoke. Brother. Yehwai suddenly widened her eyes when she heard that voice, revealing a strong surprise. It's the guardian Ye Chuang. He actually came, hurry up. Those passers-by who were still clapping and applauding just now were like a mouse meeting a cat, and they were instantly scared, hiding in the dark. The father and daughter also looked at Solang with great gratitude, and then quickly left with a trace of helplessness and worry. Brother. It was he who killed my subordinates and broke my Ling Chi car. Yehui pointed at Solang tremblingly and then screamed miserably, and quickly ran to Yezong's side. Trash, the little scene is scared like this. It's you, who dare to kill my Ye family, and still torture my brother. Yezong reprimanded Yezong, and immediately stared at Solang, his small eyes revealing a serpent-like light. Why not? Solang faintly smiled, is the Ye family really great? I have killed more than ten and you will also become my dead soul. By the way, don't be afraid that you will be lonely below, I will let you people of the Ye family go to Neatly. Destroy my Ye family? It's up to you? Ha 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 ha, I really want to laugh off my big teeth. Ye Zong laughed wildly, who do you think you are? In the stronghold of Red Maple City, who can destroy my Ye family? Who? This person's cowhide is so big that he is not afraid to blow his own face. Yet, a mere intermediate level warrior, even ranting that he wants to destroy our Ye family. Tisk tusk, such a madman who is overpowered does not know how to cultivate to an intermediate martial artist. The warriors in black also showed disdain and ridiculed. Oh, 
I said I want to destroy your Ye family, so I will never let one go. So Lang's voice gradually became cold, unfortunately you can't see that scene anymore. Now, take out all the gold coins and property in the stronghold, I will give you a happy one. Arrogant. Ye Zong sneered, and said cruelly, everyone, let him taste the 108 tortures I invented. Quickly, take him down, I will punish him personally. Ye Huai also roared with excitement and cruelty. He had almost seen himself torturing Solang and taking revenge. Kill. Ye Zong drew out the long sword at his waist and took the lead while the others surrounded Solang like hyenas. Ghost Moon, Shun. With a move, Solang spanned three meters in an instant, slashing towards Ye Huai. Peak warrior speed. Ye Brown's pupil shrank, slightly shocked. But immediately he showed disdain, because he had already cultivated a bodybuilding exercise to the Dachin level, and his body was already comparable to a junior martial artist. Yinfen step. Ye Zong twisted his feet, and the whole person came to So Lang's side very strangely, and the long sword in his hand stabbed fiercely. Ghost month, nigh. So Lang didn't have the slightest fear, and swept out with a knife, pulling out an arc shaped blade of light. Clang. The sonorous sound broke out loudly, Ye Zhang's expression of disdain suddenly stagnated, and he felt a terrifying force that could not be matched at all. Not good. With a wild cry in his heart, Ye Zhang was about to withdraw immediately. And with his junior martial artist level body skills, he can completely remove and avoid this invisible huge force. But the next moment, something unexpected happened. Lazy's real trick. So Lang thought, a large number of lightning threads swarmed up. No matter how fast Ye Zhan was, how could he pass thunder and lightning quickly, and it was instantly covered by dense lace. What's the secret of lazy? How could you? Ye Pom paled in shock, standing upside down all over her vellus hair. At the same time, he was paralyzed by thunder and lightning, even at the junior martial artist level, he couldn't move him. And at this moment, So Lang's horrible knife cut open his long sword directly. Do not. Ye Zong let out a terrible cry of horror, and the sound stopped abruptly in the next moment. Puff, puff, puff. Ye Zhan fell to the ground weakly, spitting blood, the divine light in his eyes gradually disappeared. The two received Ye Huai's defeat from a short-term battle, and within a breathing time, Ye Huai was even immersed in the excitement of impending revenge. Those black warriors like hyenas just rushed to So Lang's side. And when they saw that half of Ye Zhan's neck was cut off, they instantly felt like falling into an ice cave, and their scalp exploded. They couldn't believe it, Ye Zhuang, who was so powerful that he could retreat in front of a junior warrior, was beheaded in one face. It's too weird, too scary. In the next moment, Everyone did not hesitate to give up attacking So Lang, and quickly ran around. This scene fell in the eyes of passers-by watching the battle in secret, and they were immediately stunned. What's going on? Don't the warriors who guard the mansion want to siege the young strong man? God, look! Ye Zhuang's neck was chopped off for the most part, he was defeated. What the happened? Ye Zong actually lost. This boy is too strong, too powerful. Countless thoughts flashed in everyone's minds, and at this moment, So Lang shot again. Want to escape? All have to die. The corner of So Lang's mouth raised, and he chased him out with a long knife in his hand. Those black warriors are just ordinary warriors, how can they escape So Lang's chase? In a short period of time, So Lang killed one person in ten steps and all the black-clothed warriors were dealt with by him, and the whole street was stained with blood. Oh my god, all the warriors guarding the mansion were killed by him. This boy is really an ordinary character from the gods. The passers-by watching the game in secret were full of enthusiasm, and goosebumps aroused on their bodies. It's a pity, I couldn't ask the technique. So Lang shook his head regretfully, and immediately came to Yehuai who was almost frightened. At this time, 
Ye Huai's body was not only full of urine, but also filled with feces. No. Please don't kill me. When he saw Sol Lang approaching, his whole body trembled with fright, he couldn't stop staggering a few steps back, and sat down on the ground. It's extremely dirty from the inside out. Sol Lang glanced at Ye Huai in disgust, and was about to ask where the cultivation technique and wealth were. But at this moment, there was another call sign from the street not far away. Urgent report. Urgent report. Destroying my Ye family stronghold, the murderer who killed my Ye family sixth master has been identified and is now wanted throughout the city. This person's name is Sol Lang, and there is his portrait here. Anyone who sees this person must immediately report to the guard mansion. Anyone who provides useful clues can get rich rewards. Get out. Urgent report, urgent report. The arrogant voice is getting closer and closer, and soon there is a warrior who throws paper while rushing towards the guard mansion. But soon, he discovered that the street beside him was no one. Moreover, blood stains were scattered in some places, and the corpses of black-clothed warriors crossed the streets, extremely miserable. How is this going? The warrior's eyes widened, and something bad gradually grew in his heart. He didn't see that in some dark corners, gleeful eyes were falling on him. Did something big happen in the stronghold? The informant warrior licked his lips nervously, and then walked along the street. Soon, he saw large swaths of blood and corpses spread all over the floor. Beside these corpses there was a young man holding a long knife with his back facing him. In front of this young man, there was a very familiar person sitting paralyzed. The messenger took a closer look, and suddenly turned pale, that person turned out to be the lofty master Ye Huai. What the happened? The reporter martial artist looked at Sol Lang's back in horror, you killed these people? How dare you slaughter my Ye family members? The guardian will surely break your body. Master guard? Are you talking about this dead dog? Sol Lang turned around indifferently, and turned Ye Brown's body over with his feet. Town. Master Guard. How could it be? How could the Guardian be dead? The pupils of the warrior who reported the letter shrank like needles, and the whole person burst into countless cold sweats. Immediately afterwards, he saw Sol Lang's face clearly. You you you. The informant warrior looked at the portrait in his hand with suspicion and said in horror, You are Sol Lang. Yes, I am Sol Lang. Sol Lang smiled faintly, How? Isn't it a pleasant surprise to find me? As soon as this remark came out, the warrior who reported the letter became even more defaced. The passers-by who secretly watched were shocked and shocked. He turned out to be Sol Lang. No wonder, no wonder he dared to kill the Ye family at will. Awesome. Sol Lang is definitely the most awesome person I have ever seen, I really admire him. Yeah, the way he draws his sword is so handsome. While everyone was discussing, Sol Lang walked up to the informant in a leisurely manner and pulled out a wanted order from him. I saw his portrait painted on this wanted order, lifelike, like a real person. Sol Lang's name is written next to the portrait and Sol Lang is described as a heinous person who is wanted for a reward with 50,000 gold coins. 50,000 gold coins? Not enough for me to upgrade the system's functions. Sol Lang sneered, is the huge Ye family so stingy? Immediately afterwards, he threw the wanted warrant into a pool of blood, and turned to look at the informant. You, what do you want to do? The reporter was dumbfounded, trembling all over and even his heartbeat stopped for a moment. Don't worry, I won't kill you. Sol Lang smiled slightly, go back and tell your patriarch, let him enjoy the last happy days, Sol Lang will come to visit soon. Guru. The informant warrior looked at the corpses around, and swallowed hard, okay. I will go back and report to the patriarch. Immediately after that, he tried his best and left this Shura hell-like place without looking back. Sorry, Master Ye Huai, I have kept you waiting for a long time. Sol Lang walked slowly in front of Ye Huai, with a cruel look at the corner of his mouth. 
Please, giggle, please spare my life. Yet Huai was so frightened, his courage and soul flew, and his teeth were almost knocked off from shaking. You offend me, do you want to live? Sol Lang's indifferent voice was like a devil whispering from the abyss. He could let go of the warrior who reported to him, but he could not let go of Ye Huai, a beast who extended his devil's claws to little girls. I, I, I want to live. Ye Huai cried miserably, you can let me do anything, but I beg you to go around me. In this case, you know where all the belongings in the guard mansion are located, say it, I can consider sparing your dog. A faint smile appeared at the corner of Sol Lang's mouth, if not, or if you dare to play any tricks after you promise, I will just slice you alive and feed the dog as you said. Absolutely. Absolutely not, I, I, I. I will say it now. Ye Huai was so frightened that she couldn't speak incoherently. Immediately afterwards, he frightened out of the place where all the wealth of the guard mansion was and how to obtain it. The Golden Flame Leopard Stronghold has no secret to Ye Huai. After all, he is the second in command of the Golden Flame Leopard Stronghold and Ye Zong's most beloved and trusted brother. After speaking, Ye Huai waited for Sol Lang to fall down like a needle felt. Very well, come with me. Sol Lang glanced at Ye Huai, and while counting the property looted just now, he walked towards the guard mansion. Looking at Sol Lang's back, Ye Huai couldn't help but flashed the thought of running away. But looking at the corpses on the ground, he immediately shuddered and carefully followed Sol Lang's pace. Soon, Sol Lang came outside the guard house. At this time, the harvest of killing Ye Zhan and others was also counted, a total of 1,632 gold coins, materials, weapons, and medicine. Sol Lang hooked his mouth and walked into the guard mansion. At this time, the news that Ye Zong and others were killed has spread, and people have gone to the building in a short time. Take me to the secret vault where gold coins are stored. Sol Lang glanced at Ye Huai and said lightly. The secret library is here, you come with me. Ye Huai squeezed out a stiff smile and ran forward cautiously to lead the way. After loading all the materials into the storage space, Sol Lang looked at Ye Huai again. Aha, sir, that's all the wealth of the guard mansion. Ye Huai lowered his eyebrows and said pleasingly, Look, with so much wealth, can you kill me? Not enough. A sneer flashed in Sol Lang's eyes. I need exercises. Write all the exercises you know. With that, Sol Lang threw out his pen and notebook, turned around, found a chair and sat down leisurely. Yes. I will write now. Ye Huai hurriedly picked up the pen and paper, and began to write tremblingly. After about twenty minutes, he finally finished writing all the exercises. My lord, please have a look. Ye Huai held up the notebook and handed it to Sol Lang respectfully. Sol Lang took the book and opened it. In addition to the exercises that he had already practiced, there were three exercises that could be practiced. They are Yinfen Step, Sky Splitting Sword Technique, and Nine Elephants Treading Mountain Jew. This is Intermediate Body Forging Technique. And it's an intermediate technique with all-round increase. Seeing the nine elephants mount and treading art, Sol Lang flashed a hint of surprise in his eyes. Intermediate techniques, the cheapest ones are worth tens of thousands of gold coins. And this nine elephant mount and treading technique is better than the average intermediate exercises. Great. This exercise will definitely bring me great benefits. Sol Lang happily finished reading the nine elephant mount and treading technique, and immediately ordered, System immediately changed the Lai Guang True Technique to the Nine Elephant Mountain Treading Technique. One minute later. Ding! The Nine Elephant Mountain Treading Technique has reached the entry level. In an instant, Sol Lang felt an extremely comfortable warm current melted into his limbs. Hi awesome! Sol Lang took a deep breath in comfort. Ye Huai on the side noticed Sol Lang's special fluctuations in the breakthrough of the Nine Elephant Mountain Treading Technique and was stunned. Nine Elephants Mountain Treading Technique, Intermediate Bodybuilding Exercises. 
After his old brother Ye Zhuang bought it back, he practiced for a whole year without getting started. But the exercises that were so difficult to practice were completed in just one minute in Solang's hands. What a terrifying insight is this! It is beyond the imagination of ordinary people. And just when Ye Huai was horrified, So Lang practiced Yinfen step and Liakong sword technique to the entry level, and the whole process did not take two minutes. Oh my god, who is this So Lang? Ye Huai was so shocked that his brain went blank, and his gaze at So Lang unknowingly became more odd and humble. It's so cool, worthy of being a level 5 one key martial arts. So Lang stretched his body smoothly while opening the property panel. So Lang. Human. Turbidity. Intermediate Warrior. Junior Warrior Plus. Quasi Maru. Quasi Martial Artist Plus. Quasi Martial Artist. Boundless Heart Sutra, Lake Wang Zhenju, Lei Si Zhenju, Nine Elephant Mountain Treading. Split Air Sword Technique, Floating Willow Sword Technique, Fiwa Shadow Slashing Sword, Yinfen Step. One Key Training Function. One key martial arts function, avatar dispatch function. Sure enough, all aspects have improved. So Lang nodded in satisfaction and set off to walk outside the guard house. Ye Huai didn't dare to neglect, she immediately felt nervous, and left afterwards. Walking out of the guard house, So Lang found that the help seeking beam of the stronghold had been turned on by no one. It is estimated that it will not be long before the warriors of the Ye family will swarm. It seems it's time to leave this place. So Lang squinted his eyes and turned to look at Ye Huai. Big, sir. Ye Huai's heart burst, her expression tightened. He knew that next, it was his turn to be judged. Ye Huai, I promised you to spare your life. So Lang said faintly, but if you do a lot of evil, I won't let you off easily. My lord. Don't. Ye Huai's face was horrified, and she knelt on the ground with a thump, I'm willing to drive you, even if you go out of the Ye family. Driven by me? You are not worthy. So Lang sneered, then turned and kicked Ye Huai's chest and abdomen. Boom. A tingling bone crack sounded. Ah. My bones, my danchen. Ye Huai curled up and bounced on the ground like a shrimp, screaming constantly, his nose and tears smeared on his face. His danchen was abolished. This means that his strength will decline rapidly and he will never be able to practice any more. For a warrior, this is definitely a shock that makes life worse than death. Moreover, he Ye Huai is arrogant and domineering, and he does not know how many people want to cramp him and eat his flesh. Just now. So Lang noticed that many hateful eyes fell on Ye Huai in the dark. Needless to think about it, how miserable Ye Huai would be without any force. I forgave you. So Lang shrugged, turned, and walked outside the stronghold. Soon, Ye Huai's extremely painful begging for mercy and howling came from behind. So Lang glanced at it with the remaining light, and saw five or six figures surrounding Ye Huai, sticks, bricks, swords, Swords and shadows constantly falling, one more ruthless than one. Tisk tisk, this retribution came so fast. The corner of So Lang's mouth raised slightly, revealing a faint smile. No longer caring about Ye Huai, So Lang left the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold. There must be many Ye family people rushing over here now. And among these people, there are definitely a lot of martial master level experts. Maybe the entire Ye family's martial master level has been dispatched. As a result, I can't resist it at all for the time being, but, the rear of the Ye family must also be empty. Humph, dare to chase me down, I hope you are ready to pay the price. Seeing the huge beam of light behind him, So Lang slowly sneered. Immediately afterwards, he moved and disappeared into the wilderness. The other side. A net from the sky and the earth is fanning towards the golden flame leopard's stronghold. Fast. Fast. All round carpet search, absolutely can't let So Lang escape. The bounty has been raised to 200,000 gold coins. 
whether the brothers can make a fortune depends on this time. The besieged was not only Ye family Yang family members, but also hundreds of warriors who came to offer a reward. These people range from junior warriors to warrior level powerhouses. They searched every corner frantically with various means, vowing to find Solang and win a reward. Humph, Solang, let me see where you run away this time. Ye Ling Feng looked at the golden flame leopard stronghold in the distance, a trace of hatred and jealousy flashed in his eyes, your secret, I must get it. In his opinion, So Lang would never escape the palm of the Ye family this time. Because this time, apart from the patriarch Ye Fiazang and some of the warriors guarding the Ye family's mansion and shops, the Ye family has already dispatched its entire army. In addition, there are many warriors who come to offer rewards. Such a strong lineup will be assembled almost only when resisting the tide of fierce beasts. And So Lang? In front of him are thousands of warriors who participated in the roundup, and behind him is the extremely brutal D class beast area. He is just a more powerful official warrior. Even if it is a little weird, it is only a formal warrior after all. Escape? Where can I escape? However, Ye Ling Feng couldn't even think of breaking his head. At this time, So Lang already possessed a combat power comparable to a junior martial artist and even quietly entered the D-class glazed tiger area. Roar! A Li Yulihu spotted So Lang's trail, roared, and rushed up fiercely. Kill! So Lang waved a big hand and greeted the two clones. Although Li Yulihu is a warrior-level fierce beast, there are three people on So Lang's side, each with an attack level of junior warrior and level. Therefore, after a fight, So Lang successfully beheaded the Li Yulai tiger. Ding! You get Colored Glaze Tiger Fangs 4, Colored Glaze Tiger Skin 1, Colored Glaze Tiger Claws 4, Colored Glaze Tiger Meat 12, Colored Glaze Tiger Whip Asterisk 1. My fork, what the is Tiger Whip? So Lang smiled dumbly, and then walked deeper. The Li Yulihu area was very dangerous, and So Lang beheaded all the way, killing 4 or 5 Li Yulihu. Fortunately, Li Yulai tigers were not in groups like wind wolves, otherwise So Lang would really have to turn around and leave. Two hours later, So Lang stopped outside a cave. After careful investigation, So Lang found that the cave was very clean and there were no traces of beasts' activities. This place should be safer. At least, the people of the Ye family will definitely not be able to come here in a short time. So Lang nodded in satisfaction and went into the cave. System, how long can I be promoted to a senior warrior? Sitting on the ground, So Lang immediately asked, and how long does it take for Lei Si's true art to be promoted to Xiao Cheng, and how long does it take for the dead clone to condense? Host, you can be promoted to a senior warrior in just eight hours. Lazy's secret technique can be promoted in just seven hours. It will take 16 hours for the dead clone to regroup. The system faithfully fed back all the information. Time is not long, not short. So Lang pondered for a moment, his eyes fell on the gold coin balance 51,321. There is still nearly 50,000 gold coins before the clone dispatch function can be upgraded. So Lang thought, if the materials stored in the storage space are sold, it should be enough. Since the old money transaction with Yin Bailo last time, he has never sold the materials obtained later. By now, the materials in the storage space have been piled up into hills. To sell these materials, you have to make some preparations. So Lang sent an avatar in front of him and changed him into another costume, which also covered his face. Soon after, the clone was dispatched to the city. In Red Maple City, a figure wearing a white robe and cloak gradually emerged in a shabby alley that was inaccessible. This figure is So Lang's clone. The man in the white robe cloak looked around for a while and left the alley. He first went to a slum, and then came to the tower hall. At this moment, the watch tower hall was very tightly guarded under the intervention of the Ye family, and everyone had to go through layers of inspection before entering and exiting the barrier. Unfortunately, What's the use of rigorous interrogation? 
Seeing this scene, So Lang couldn't help showing a hint of sarcasm, with a hundred heads from you, I never thought I could send the clone directly into the city. With a trace of contempt, So Lang commanded the clone to swagger into the tower hall and found the old money in Yin Beilu. Hello, selling goods. Lao Qian looked at So Lang's avatar, but did not inquire about his identity. The Yin Beilu always only do transactions, and don't ask anything else. It is precisely this point that So Lang values and will find them here again. Stuff, a lot. So Lang avatar nodded, turned, and left, and the old money quickly followed. One after another, the two came to the slums in the city. So Lang has already bought a house here and put all the materials for sale here. Inside. So Lang avatar spoke a short vocabulary and opened the door. What? So much. Old Jian saw the piles of materials in the house, and was stunned in shock. He has been in the business of purchasing materials for a long time, but this is the first time he has seen so many materials. Guru. The old money swallowed excitedly. With so many materials, his commission is definitely a huge amount. He couldn't help but looked at So Lang's avatar again, and asked respectfully, You must be the head of a hunting group. Yes, estimate the price. So Lang avatar said casually. It is good. The old Jian nodded excitedly, but there are too many of these things, I need someone to help count them. Go ahead. So Lang's avatar still cherishes words like gold. Wait a minute, I will go now. Old Money bowed his hands and left like flying. Not long after, the sweaty old Jian brought four people back to the slum. Everyone didn't talk nonsense, and started counting the materials directly. After half an hour, all the materials were finally counted. This distinguished guest, your materials are worth 55,456 gold coins, which has reached the level of being a silver medal guest of our Yin Beilu. We originally bought it at a 20% discount, but as long as you become our silver VIP guest, we will buy it at a 10% discount. In this way, we need to pay you 49,910 gold coins, round up 50,000 gold coins. This is the silver VIP card of our Yin Beilu. If you activate it with Aura, it will automatically recognize the master. After becoming our VIP, you will not only enjoy a 10% discount on the purchase price, but also have the right of first refusal in our Yin Beilu shops. While talking, old Jian took out a silver VIP card from his arms and handed it to So Lang. He only had this membership card, and he never thought he could get this membership card out. It is good. So Lang nodded and activated his membership card. This is the money paid to you. Old Jian took out five more middle grade spirit stones and handed them to So Lang clone. He had already applied for these funds when he called for someone to help count them. Well. So Lang avatar nodded, turned around and left. I look forward to our next transaction. After completing this large transaction, the old money was almost broken with a smile. It seems that the reputation of Yin Beilu is indeed good. In the cave, So Lang smiled slightly and deposited all the five middle grade spirit stones into the system, and the gold coin balance instantly soared to a huge 100,000. System, upgrade me the dispatch function of the clone. With the funds in place, So Lang did not hesitate to make an order immediately. Ding! Consume 100,000 gold coins. The clone dispatch function is upgraded to level 4, and the number of clones is plus 1. Hey, now, it's time for you to pay the price. So Lang clicked the corner of his mouth, changed the appearance of the three clones, and dispatched them all to the city. Although the Ye family mansion is temporarily unavailable, there are still many shops in the Ye family. What So Lang has to do is to take it away. North of Red Maple City the Ye family opened a very popular weapon shop here. Little ER, I want to sell weapons. How many gold coins is this high-level mortal sword? Boss, how long will it take for my customized top mortal spear to be forged? At this time, people came and went in the weapon shop, full of enthusiasm. 
the business in the store is very good, and Rijindijan can't describe the speed of making money here. It can be said that this weapon shop is one of the most important sources of income for the Ye family. It feels so good to sit and collect money. The shopkeeper Yadu sat behind the bar, sipping tea comfortably while watching the guests coming and going leisurely. At this moment, a guest wearing a white cloak walked in. This person has a long sword in the waist and hips, with steady steps, and the spirit fluctuations of an intermediate warrior exuding his body. Welcome distinguished guests to Yejia Weapon Shop. Yadu stood up and said with a smile on his face. Intermediate martial artist is enough for him to receive him personally. However, the man in the white robe cloak ignored his words and walked straight to the end of the shop. At the end of the shop, a purple long sword is placed precious and important. The purple long sword looks very luxurious, and it exudes faint aura fluctuations, it is an out and out spiritual soldier. When everyone in the shop saw the white robe cloak staring at the purple long sword intently, they suddenly started talking in surprise. What's the matter with this person? Does he want to buy this purple spirit sword? How is it possible? The purple spirit sword is an intermediate spirit soldier, even if he is an intermediate warrior, he cannot afford it. Yes, the worst intermediate spirit soldiers are worth tens of thousands of gold coins, and the purple spirit sword is even the best among the intermediate spirit soldiers. How could he afford it? Well, this person has experienced eye addiction. While everyone was discussing, Yadu also came to the side of Solang's clone. This distinguished guest. Yadu said with a smile, this purple spirit sword is the best intermediate spirit soldier, worth 30,000 gold coins. 30,000 gold coins is definitely an unbearable amount for ordinary warriors. Yadu directly said the price of the purple spirit sword, just to let the person in front of him retreat. However, something unexpected happened. Instead of being scared by the price of 30,000 gold coins, the man in the white robe cloak stretched out his hand to grab the purple spirit sword. This action immediately made everyone's eyes widened. Wait, this guest, the purple spirit sword is not an ordinary weapon, you can't play with it at will. Yadu quickly reached out and grabbed the white-robed cloak man's wrist, if you want to see weapons, you can pick all the weapons except the purple spirit sword shop. Our Yejia weapon shop is also regarded as the top weapon shop in Red Maple City. I believe you will be able to pick out your favorite weapons. Pick. The voice of the man in the white robe cloak was hoarse and cold, no, I want it all. As soon as this statement was made, the shop was suddenly silent, and everyone was shocked. Everyone stared at the man in the white robe cloak in a daze, as if they were looking at a silly roe deer. After a while, people recovered from their shock and looked at each other, and the sound of discussion began to be heard, and it was boiling like a pan. This guy must be crazy. My god, the weapons in this shop add up to at least 100,000 gold coins. He wants them all. This person definitely has a problem with his head, and I don't know how such a person cultivated to an intermediate martial artist. In my opinion, he might have come to hit the ground, otherwise who would dare to do this? Smash the scene? This is the Ye family's weapon shop. Who dares to come and kill the scene? I think this person is trying to pretend to be swollen and fat, but he is so stupid that he chooses the Ye family's shop. Then he will definitely be kicked out. Everyone pointed, talked, and looked at the man in the white robe cloak with contempt. This guest, you want all the weapons in our shop, that's okay. A trace of contempt flashed through Yadu's eyes, but the premise is that you paid so much money. If you can't pay so much money, please get out. He didn't believe that the man in the white robe cloak in front of him could get so much money. Therefore, he has determined that this person is here to make trouble. Although the opponent is an intermediate martial artist, his Yadu is a person in the main line of the Ye family, and he is afraid of offending a small martial artist, so he speaks with the word Roll. Roll. The man in the white robe cloak turned his head to look at Yadu, now you get out, it's still too late. As soon as these words came out, everyone was even more shocked. 
Everyone opened their mouths and their chins were about to fall. A mid-level warrior in the mirror mirror let the shopkeeper dispatched by the Ye family get out in the Ye family's shop. This is so terribly guilty. You actually let me get out. Ye Du showed a sullen smile, you are determined to be wild in my Ye family's sight, okay, very good, come here. As soon as the roar came out, four Ye family martial artists jumped out of the crowd. Two of the four warriors are intermediate warriors. They looked at this white cloak man with confidence, with a trace of cruelty in their eyes. In this case, even if a person is killed, the law enforcement warrior of the Warrior Alliance will turn one eye and close another. Who made the opponent come to provoke him first? Go, let him know that the majesty of my Ye family is not so offensive. Yadu sneered and walked out of the crowd, looking at the man in the white robe with contempt with his nostrils. Yes. The four warriors nodded, and drew out their weapons. For an instant, the weapon shop was filled with cold killing air. The onlookers retreated to the surroundings shaddenly. Intermediate martial artist, this is no ordinary person. It's also a big show to see such a character deflated. Kill. The four warriors screamed and killed the white-robed cloaked man together. Every dazzling weapon greeted the vital point, leaving no way to survive. This person is dead. Four hits one, and such a fierce move, this person is definitely not immune. Seeing this scene, the same thoughts flashed through the minds of all onlookers at the same time. But the next moment, their ideas were ruthlessly shattered. I saw a blade of lightning gleaming like it appeared out of thin air, and instantly passed the necks of the four Ye family warriors. The four Ye family warriors stiffened, and their weapons fell to the ground weakly. Immediately afterwards, a lot of blood was shot from the wound on their neck like a water gun, and it was useless to let them cover it with their hands. The pungent smell of blood soon enveloped the entire Ye family weapon shop. Everyone looked like a ghost, their eyes widened in disbelief. They couldn't believe that the four Ye family warriors were killed by an unknown intermediate warrior. Moreover, they couldn't believe that the white-robed man was so bold that he dared to kill people at will in the city. It's really too rampant, this is not only not putting Ye family in his eyes, but also not putting the martial artist alliance in his eyes. Quick, go, this man is absolutely crazy. Go away, don't block my way, I don't want to be killed. Everyone came back to their senses and ran outside in fear. In their opinion, the man in the white robe cloak had completely lost his wit. He was a madman who only knew how to kill. He would definitely die miserably if he stayed there. A few seconds later, except for Yadu and a few refiners, everyone ran away. You, you you you. How dare you kill people in my Yi's shop? Do you know what the consequences are? You will die too, you lunatic. Yadu pointed at Solang in horror, shaking like he was convulsing. However, the man in the white robe cloak seemed to have done a trivial thing calmly put away the long sword, and picked up the purple spirit sword. Yu Yu. Yadu opened his mouth, he wanted to let the white robe cloak man put down the purple spirit sword. But at this time the guards in the shop are all dead, how can he dare to step forward to stop him alone? And at this moment, Yadu found that the man in the white robe cloak was walking towards him. What do you want to do? Yadu's pupils shrank suddenly and a thick panic rose uncontrollably in his heart. Hand over the money and spare you not to die. The words of the white-robed cloak were concise and full of murderousness. Good, good. Yadu looked at the four terrifying corpses, had no courage to resist, and nodded tremblingly. Immediately, Yadu and several refiners looked terrified and handed all the wealth in the shop to the man in the white-robed cloak. Even the materials being smelted are taken out of the furnace. With a wave of the white robe cloak, the gold coins, weapons, and materials all disappeared out of thin air. This scene left Yadu and others with a horrified brain blank. After scouring the entire shop, the man in the white robe cloak left the shop and quickly disappeared into the street. Damn Solang, if it weren't for him, how could the guards in the store be tuned, and how could I fall to this point? 
Ye Du looked at the tragic death of the Ye family guard and the empty shop, almost crying. But if you let him know that the man in the white robe cloak is Solang's clone, don't you know what he would think? At this time, there was a series of messy footsteps outside. Who dares to kill in the city? Immediately hand over the weapon, kneel and surrender. A group of union law enforcement officers in black gilt costumes stormed into the shop. Running. Already running. Yadu pointed to the street and cried, Why are you here? The robbery of Yejia weapon shop caused a sensation throughout the entire Red Maple City stronghold. And the same thing happened not only once, but three times. Yejia weapon store, Yejia Don drug store, and Yejia commercial bank headquarters were all looted by a man in a white robe cloak. And none of the Alliance law enforcement officers have been caught. At this time, the man in the white robe cloak has become a hot topic in the city. Ye family mansion. Patriarch, that's what he said. A warrior knelt on the ground and said nervously. This person is exactly the warrior who rushed back from the Golden Flame Leopard stronghold. What? He let me enjoy the last good days. Ye Fiazang sat on the top with a sneer on his face, with a mere warrior, he dare to blow the magic conch like this. The informant knelt on the ground in horror, afraid to answer. Okay you go out. Ye Fiazang snorted and waved his hand. At this moment, there was a sudden rush of footsteps outside. Immediately afterwards, a senior warrior rushed into the hall, Patriarch. It's not good. Yelin? What's the matter? Ye Fiazang frowned, Yelin has always been steady, why is he so flustered today? Yelin knelt on the ground with a puff, Patriarch, the weapon shop, medicine store and business headquarters in our city have all been looted. What? Ye Fiazang stood up with a cry, shock and disbelief on his face. The warrior who was kneeling on the ground was even more shocked and demented. Ye Lin, do you know what you are talking about? Ye Fiazang walked down the hall, looking furious, these three important shops are all in the city, how can they be looted? Although he knew Ye Lin would never lie, he still couldn't believe it. Patriarch, really got ransacked. Ye Lin touched his head to the ground and said tremblingly, moreover, they were looted at the same time. It was three mysterious intermediate martial artists wearing white cloaks. We lost a full fifteen warriors in three of our stores, with more than five hundred thousand gold coins in cash, and countless supplies. Seeing Ye Lin's appearance, Ye Fiazang couldn't believe it anymore. Unexpectedly, someone dared to rob my Ye family shop. Ye Fiazang's face was pale, his eyes were red, and his whole body exuded a terrifying murderous aura, have you caught the three thieves? No. No. Ye Lin's voice trembled, and he didn't dare to look up at Ye Fiazang, our main force in the Ye family has gone to hunt So Lang. The Alliance enforcers came late, and when they arrived, the murderers had all run away. Damn it! Who is it? Ye Fiazang's eyes were cracked with hatred, gritted his teeth. The robbery of three important stores not only caused heavy economic losses to the Ye family, but also suffered serious damage to the Ye family's reputation. The dignified Ye family was ransacked in three important shops in broad daylight and in full view. The key is that the murderer has not been caught. This is simply a shame. Such a shame has never happened in the history of the Ye family. Check for me, you must catch the murderer and impose the most cruel punishment. At this moment, Ye Fiazang's whole person was already furious like a volcano about to erupt. But Patriarch, our main force is outside the city. Ye Lin swallowed hard, do you want the Martial Artist Alliance to investigate this matter in depth? Warrior League Ye Fiazang suddenly thought of something, he suppressed his anger fiercely, and said, you guys step back first, let me think about it. Yes. Ye Lin and the reporter warrior bowed in relief and left cautiously. The man in the white robe cloak suddenly appeared and disappeared. Ye Fiazang closed his eyes and thought, suddenly, his eyes opened, such a weird method, So Lang. Yes, this incident is definitely what So Lang did. 
this was the case in the Dark Snake stronghold before, and the black robe and white face disappeared somehow. Moreover, only that Solang could have such a weird means. I thought it was just a small person, but now it seems that this person is extremely difficult to deal with. Thinking of this, Ye Fiazang's face was gloomy as if water was dripping out. At this time, his expression suddenly changed, suffered. If this person dares to attack the stronghold in the city, he will definitely dare to raid my stronghold outside Yejia again. Come on! Ye Fiazang didn't even think about it, and immediately roared, immediately notify all strongholds to strengthen their defense. However, it was too late when he thought of this. Outside the city, Ye Family Class E Red Bear Beast Stronghold. In order to search for Solang, this stronghold sent many warriors, and the strength was when they were weak. A man in a white robe cloak entered the stronghold and rushed straight into the guard mansion to ransack him, but if anyone dared to stop him, they would be killed. A large number of guard staff fleed crying and shouting, and the scene was in a mess. The same thing happened in other Ye family strongholds. The strongest of these strongholds is the high-level warrior, who is vulnerable to a single blow under the Solang clone. When Ye Fiazang's order arrived, three entire strongholds had been looted by Solang. Humph, this is the price to provoke me. In the cave, Solang grinned coldly. Soon, he was excited to count the harvest. At this time, the storage space is full of various items. Weapons, medicinal herbs, heavenly materials, earthly treasures, and materials for beasts have been piled up into a hill. Those piles of glittering gold coins, those shining spirit stones are also going to dazzle your eyes. Ha ha ha, as expected of the Ye family, it didn't disappoint me. Solang hooked his mouth and said excitedly, System, deposit all for me. With an order, the gold coin balance soared. 100,000, 300,000, 600,000. In the end, the amount of gold coins reached an unprecedented 623,547 gold coins. In addition to the gold coins, the clone also looted a large number of pills and weapons. Among the weapons, the best is that intermediate spirit soldier purple spirit sword. The Black Tang Dao can't keep up with me. And I now master more swordsmanship, it's time to change weapons. Solang ticked the corner of his mouth and took out the purple spirit sword from the storage space. This purple spirit sword has a graceful posture, the hilt and scabbard are integrated, and the carvings on it move like stars, which is quite artistic. Clang! With a move of Solang's thumb, the long sword was instantly unsheathed. I saw a beam of light bursting out of the cave, like thunder. Good sword! Solang stroked the blade lightly smiling. After playing with the purple spirit sword for a while, Solang put it on his waist, and his excited eyes fell on the pill in the storage space. All the pills in the whole shop have been looted. These medicines are rich in types, healing, detoxifying, and assisting cultivation, everything. So many elixirs, there are even tier 5 elixirs that can assist the martial artist in his cultivation. With these pills, my cultivation speed can be improved again, it's really wonderful. Solang's eyes glowed, and immediately took out the best cultivation medicine from the storage space and swallowed it into his abdomen like eating jelly beans. In an instant, a powerful attraction spread from Solang's body. This attraction is tearing and devouring the surrounding aura like a giant beast. At this speed, Solang's cultivation speed has almost tripled. At this speed, I can break through to a high-level warrior in just two hours. Solang couldn't help but let out a deep and excited laugh, moreover, it must not take much time to break through to the peak martial artist. At that time, let's see who is besieging whom. But before that, let you feel the deep heartache again. Ha 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 ha. While feeling the refreshment of the crazy improvement of his cultivation base, Solang gave the order to continue looting the Ye family stronghold. Under Solang's dispatch, the clone kept looting the Ye family stronghold. 
even if the people of the Ye family received Ye Fiazang's order to take precautions strictly, it was useless. Solang's avatar can always enter the stronghold through various methods and looting fiercely. As time passed, more and more Yejia strongholds were ransacked, and four of the five E-level strongholds had suffered Solang's poison. In addition, seven or eight of the F-level strongholds also suffered. If it were not for the distance between the stronghold and the stronghold, the number would be much higher. At the same time, so many strongholds were looted, and the news could not be stopped at all, spreading like wind throughout the city. Almost everyone knew that the Ye family had provoked an incredible force. Everyone in the city is talking about the Ye family, and there are dozens of rumors. Combined with the various things that happened before, there was even a rumor that the Ye family was going to die. Zuzi. I will kill you. The severe damage to the economy and reputation made Ye Fiazang furious, and with a violent palm, a shunned servant was torn apart. And just as Ye Fiazang was furious, the Ye family was in panic. Ding! The sea of repair is full, do you break through? Break immediately! Solang's eyes lit up and gave instructions. In the next millisecond, countless auras rushed in, all the aura cyclones condensed in the danchen. At this time, the aura cyclone has become more and more dense, and the volume has grown a full circle again. The realm of advanced warriors. Solang stretched his hands and feet, feeling the power in his body with a face full of intoxication. No need to look at the attribute panel at this time, he also knows that his four-dimensional level has all risen to a level. With such strength, coupled with three ghostly clones, they can already compete with the Ye family roundup army. But what Solang wanted was not a fight, but a gorgeous counter-kill. Wait, my gift will be delivered to you soon. Solang threw a precious tier 5 pill into his mouth, and a cruel smile was outlined at the corner of his mouth. At the same time, Ye Ling Feng and others who were searching for Solang also learned of the bad news that Ye family strongholds were robbed one after another. Everyone was petrified in an instant. Everyone stood in place like sculptures, motionless. After a long time, everyone took a breath of horror. It can't go on like this, otherwise my Ye family stronghold will be uprooted. Ye Xiongming's face was pale with heartache on the spot and he immediately went back to his house to guard the family stronghold. Father! We can't give up all our efforts. Ye Ling Feng waited up and persuaded, if we give up now, we will certainly defend the remaining stronghold, but also let So Lang go. But we have all searched, except for the D-class fierce beast area. Yes Yang Ming said anxiously, now we haven't even found So Lang's shadow. Do we still want to venture into the D-class beast area to hunt him? Of course. Ye Ling Feng said sternly, all the warriors in the Solang district dare to enter the D-class beast area, why don't we dare? Yes, even if Solang enters the D-class beast area, he will definitely not go far. Yet Yen also stepped forward and said, maybe he is in the nearest D-class beast area, we can't give up. But, our stronghold. Yes Yang Ming was holding his chest in pain, and was so angry that he almost vomited blood for three liters. Father, my heart aches too, but our eyes cannot be so short-sighted. Ye Ling Feng was too lazy to be polite, and said directly, You think, as long as Grandpa is here, our Ye family will always be one of the four major forces in Red Maple City. These looted strongholds can be restored sooner or later, and the lost gold coins can be earned back. These losses are not fatal. And once we catch Solang and ask him for his secret, we can fly into the sky, maybe it's possible to enter the main city of Blue Star. Speaking of the Blue Star main city, Ye Ling Feng's eyes showed uncontrollable yearning and excitement. That is the largest city on Blue Star, and it is also the place where all the elites of Blue Star gather. Compared to the main city of Blue Star, Hong Feng City is a small village in the countryside. I understand. Yes Yang Ming suddenly said, I am still smart, looking at my donkey head, I almost picked sesame seeds and lost the watermelon. It's not too late. Ye Ling Feng smiled, Father, 
let's search the D-class fierce beast area. It is good. Yes Yang Ming nodded solemnly and immediately issued an order. After receiving the order, many warriors formed nearly thirty teams with the martial master as the leader, and began to frantically search the D-class beast area. The warriors who didn't have the courage to enter the D-class area stayed on the periphery to prevent Sol Lang from escaping. In an instant, the night passed. The Ye family's 5 E-level strongholds and more than 30 F-level strongholds have all been looted by Sol Lang. In addition, there is also an E-level stronghold and 5 F-level strongholds of the Yang family, all of which have been raided by Sol Lang. The balance of gold coins in the mysterious space also soared to 785,846. With so many gold coins, it is not far from raising the clone dispatch function to level 5 and obtaining the new function activation authority. However, this was not what excited Solang the most. At this time, he was staring at the one key cultivation villain in the mysterious black space with excitement. Hurry up! Why are you still dissatisfied? Solang looked at the little cultivator who was about to become a golden cultivator just a little bit, and his heart was like a cat's claw scratching. At this moment, the white villain finally turned completely golden. Don't be wordy. Give me a breakthrough. Before the system prompt appeared, Solang shouted excitedly. Boom. The turbulent spiritual energy rushed into Solang's body like a black hole. The aura cyclone in Solang's Danchen has grown again, almost filling the entire Danchen space. Properties Panel Solang Human Turbidity Peak Warrior Senior Warrior Plus Senior Warrior Senior Warrior Plus Senior Warrior Boundless Heart Sutra, Thunder Light Zhenju, Lei Si Zhenju, Nine Elephant Mountain Stepping Technique Flying Flower and Shadow Sword, Introduction, Bai Footwork, Piao Lu Sword Technique, Split Air Sword Technique. One Key Practice Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, An Avatar Dispatch Function. Senior Martial Master Plus. GGGG. The corner of Sol Lang's mouth slowly outlines an evil smile, the gorgeous counter kill, it's started. He hadn't been idle at all this night he had already sent a clone to touch it for dozens of miles. Now he can dispatch the clone to any place in this area with just a move of his mind. Not only that, Sol Lang also figured out the deployment of the Ye family's army, which made him laugh secretly. Ye Ling Feng and the others divided the large team into small teams. It was originally correct, because they were dealing with Sol Lang who was close to the junior martial artist. But they never expected that in just one night, Sol Lang's combat power soared to the senior martial artist and level. In this case, Ye Ling Feng and others separated their own powers, and it was tantamount to destroying themselves. Dispatch the clone, kill me. With an order, Sol Lang dispatched the three avatars to different places and started hunting down the traces of the Ye family team. Li Yulihu area, in a certain mountain stream. A team of warriors is resting, and the junior warrior headed by that even has two beautiful warriors personally massaging. Suddenly, the junior martial artist's ear moved and his expression became alert. My lord? What's the matter? The two beauties asked in surprise. It seems, nothing. The junior martial artist frowned, and a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes. But when he wanted to close his eyes and continue to enjoy the massage of the beautiful warrior, he suddenly saw a white afterimage. Not good. The junior martial artist stood upside down all over his body and had to stand up on the spot. But it's too late. A sharp sword struck his neck in an instant. What? The boss is dead. When a group of warriors saw this scene, they were so scared that the souls burst out, feces and urine came out and they fled around insane. Even the junior martial artists are dead unclear, how can they not be afraid? Ho ho! The junior martial artist clutched his neck in disbelief, and vomited blood. His eyes dimmed, and finally disappeared completely. A high-ranking martial artist, just so helpless to fight back. 
even he didn't see the enemy clearly until he died. Liulihu area, in a certain mountain forest. An intermediate martial artist is leading ten martial artists to search around carefully. Suddenly, there was a murmur of noise not far away. Everyone looked shocked, and pulled out their weapons. Immediately afterwards, they saw a man in a white cloak holding a long sword drill out of the woods. It's a man in a white robe and cloak. Even here. Great, great, we are developed. Everyone's eyes widened, and the surprise on their faces was hard to conceal. At this time, they already knew that the white-robed cloak man and Solang had a close relationship. Once the white-robed cloak man is caught, it means that the distance has caught an important clue. Therefore, when they saw the white-robed cloaked man, everyone seemed to see bright gold coins beckoning at them. Go! Get alive! The intermediate martial artist was ecstatic, and rushed up immediately. The other warriors were unwilling to lag behind, they all laughed wildly and beseeched them. The man in the white robe cloak stood motionless on the spot, and everyone sneered, thinking he was frightened stupid. But in the next scene, their sneers instantly solidified on their faces. I saw the man in the white robe cloak drew his sword and waved, a dazzling sword light flashed away, and the intermediate martial artist was cut into two directly. Ah! It hurts! The mid-level martial artist who was beheaded is not dead yet. He convulsed in pain, cried, his face was completely distorted. How, how is it possible? A peak martial artist was so horrified that his scalp exploded, this white-robed man only exudes the fluctuations of a peak martial artist, how can it be possible to defeat Lord Tianan with a single sword? What are you doing so much? Run away! A senior warrior yelled and ran away desperately, not even daring to pick up his shoes if he dropped it. Yes, run away. Maid, you stepped on my foot. The rest of the warriors didn't even think about it, and immediately fled in fear. The man in the white robe cloak did not hunt down these warriors, but gradually faded away while standing still. The same scene continues to be performed in various places. Where the sword passed, no martial artist was spared. In a short period of time, a total of eight martial artists died in Solang's hands. Tisk tisk, these martial artists are really fat. In the cave, Solang watched the newly harvested trophies, and kept talking. Eight martial artists brought him a total of ten middle-grade spirit stones. This is still the result of those martial artists taking the battle lightly, otherwise Solang's harvest would at least double. Besides, there are many pills and weapons. Especially the weapons, most of those martial arts masters were holding junior spirit soldiers, and Solang had enough to gain six. Come on, brothers, change the shotgun for the cannon. Solang selected three of the best junior psychic long swords and passed them to the clone. The avatars with elementary spirit soldiers have once again risen in strength and all of them below the intermediate martial artist are killed with one sword. Even a very few high-level martial artists could not resist many moves, and they could only die in despair under the sword of Solang clone. Just when Solang dispatched a clone to hunt the Ye family squad wildly, Ye Ling Feng was meeting with important personnel such as Ye Xiang Ming, Ye Tian, Ye Zhi, and Yang Tian Rui. Because of the lack of communication means, at this time they did not know that their martial artist was being attacked by Solang. The surrounding D-class fierce beast area has all been searched. Yet Yen analyzed, only this Li Yulihu area has not been searched yet. I guess we are not far from finding Solang. Unless... Unless he dares to enter the sea level area. Ye Ling Feng sneered, but how is that possible? I don't believe he dares to go to the sea level area to die. Yes, So Lang is definitely in the Li Yulihu area. Yes Yang Ming said excitedly, we are going to catch him, our Ye family is going to rise. Ha 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 ha. Ye Ling Feng looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, seeming to have seen the Ye family's crazy rise and becoming a top big family. Master Ye Ling Feng. At this moment, a junior martial artist suddenly rushed over in a panic. 
Didn't you say that we can't interrupt at will when we are discussing? Ya Ling Feng looked at the junior martial artist who had rushed in with a cold expression, a murderous aura flashed in his eyes. Although he was only a pinnacle martial artist, he was not regarded as the most talented figure of the Ye family, the future heir of the Ye family, and a mere junior martial artist. Young master Ye, something is bad. The junior martial artist said profusely, we met several squad fighters, and they all said that their team leader was killed. What? Ye Ling Feng's pupils shrank instantly, speak carefully, how many martial artists have died, and who is the murderer? The murderer is the man in the white cloak. The junior martial artist took a deep breath and said, As for the lost martial artist, I know that there are flying fish hunting group leaders, mountain hunting group leaders, and black wind hunting group leaders. We lost three martial artists. It's all done by the people in the white robe cloak? Are they not intermediate warriors? Yes Yang Ming shouted in disbelief, Are you making a mistake? Not only Yes Yang Ming, but also Ye Ling Feng and others have a sense of absurdity and unreality. It's true. The junior martial artist shook his head, his face was full of horror, it is said that all three of them were killed by one sword. Slash with one sword. Ye Ling Feng laughed instead of anger, do you know how powerful it is to kill a junior martial artist with a single sword? At least the combat power of a senior martial artist. Could those people in white robe cloaks have such a strong strength? I suspect that you are a spy sent by the Martial Arts Alliance or the Bao family and use family. To disrupt our plan. Say, are you a spy? I'm not a spy. The junior martial artist shook his head in tears. Humph. Ye Ling Feng snorted coldly, don't tell me now, it will be too late in a while. At this moment, another Ye family martial artist who was terrified and terrified suddenly ran over. Master. Master Tianan was killed. This Ye family warrior rushed over and knelt on the ground, his eyes were filled with terror, as if he had just escaped from a ghost gate. What did you say? Tianan Keking was killed. Ye Ling Feng and others instantly thundered, stunned. We encountered a man in a white robe and cloak, and wanted to capture him. The Ye family warrior said with a sad face, but I didn't expect that the man in the white robe cloak would cut Master Tianan in the waist with a single sword. No it's impossible. Ye Ling Feng's eyes widened, and his eyeballs were bloodshot, Tianan Keking is a figure who touched the edge of a senior martial artist, how could he be beheaded with a single sword? How can those people in white robe cloaks do it? This is not true. Say. Are people from the Budo League and Bao's family participating in it? Is not it? No. A faint voice answered his question. Who did it? Ye Ling Feng turned around abruptly, her hair spread out, like a lunatic. Of course it's me. So Lang removed the leaves and walked out with a faint sneer. It's you. So Lang. The moment he saw So Lang, Ye Ling Feng's eyes stared out. Yes Yang Ming and others stared as if they had seen a ghost, completely unable to believe the scene in front of them. Yes, it's me. So Lang smiled indifferently, it's mine, and killed all the martial artists who besieged me. Ye Ling Feng, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to break through one by one. Otherwise, if you gather dozens of martial artists together, it will be really difficult for me to start. All killed? This is impossible. Ye Ling Feng's eyes were distraught, even if you have broken through to the peak martial artist now, it is absolutely impossible to kill our more than twenty martial arts. Is it? The corner of So Lang's mouth twitched, then I will give you a chance to let your subordinates go down and find those martial artists. Hey, pretend. Ye Ling Feng recovered from the shock and snorted coldly, if you said you killed our individual martial arts master, I would still believe it. But you don't even go through your head when you speak. Except for our five martial arts, there are a total of 26 martial arts outside. Can you kill them all in a short time? Even if you let a Wu come in the future, you will definitely not be able to do this, your words are too much. Yes, I was almost bluffed by your little crap. 
Yes Yang Ming took a step forward and stared at Sol Lang disdainfully, unfortunately, none of us were scared, Sol Lang, you are clever but you were mistaken by cleverness. Humph, Sol Lang, your subordinates must be entangled by our martial artists now. Ya Ling Feng regained his supremacy, you are a pinnacle warrior, no matter how strong, how can you beat our five warriors? I have seen a big brother, but I have never seen a big brother like you. Now, where are you going to escape? As soon as his words fell, Yes Yang Ming, Ye Tian, Ye Zhi, Yang Tian Rui, and the junior martial artist immediately moved and surrounded Sol Lang. At the same time, other warriors also circled the periphery, and several people quietly left, preparing to call for reinforcements. Whispering sound. Sol Lang looked around at everyone, sneered and shook his head. Laugh. Ye Ling Feng raised his chin in disdain, you who are full of smiles on the surface must be very scared in your heart, right? Haha, <laughs> don't be afraid, my favorite thing about Ye Ling Feng is a genius like you. As long as you surrender the secret that allowed you to turn from an ordinary person to a pinnacle warrior in just three days, I promise that the future Ye family will have your place. When the time comes, our Ye family will fly to the top and you Sol Lang can stand at the top of the pyramid and wealth and beauty are at your fingertips. Isn't it beautiful? But if you don't plan to hand over your secrets, then I'm sorry. I, Ye Ling Feng, will give you a taste of the noble service of the Twelve Torture One Stop Service, and then you will survive and die. I give you one minute to think about it, you can choose to enjoy a good life, or a lifetime that is worse than death. Ha 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 ha! What a wonderful point. So Lang laughed and even clapped. Make your decision. Ye Ling Feng looked at So Lang contemptuously, I'm about to start counting. In his eyes, So Lang has become a mass of fish to be slaughtered. And he, Ye Ling Feng, is the man with the knife, and he will eventually pry out that peerless secret from So Lang's mouth. Ye Ling Feng, why are you so obsessed with confidence? Just rely on your own guesswork. The smile on Sol Lang's face gradually turned cold, why, you don't know if you look behind you to see who is surrounding whom. As soon as this statement came out, Ye Ling Feng and others were immediately taken aback. Immediately afterwards, Ye Ling Feng laughed, Sol Lang, don't you think you can escape if we turn our heads? Come and come, everyone, take a look back with me. I want to see if you Sol Lang can escape under my nose, ha 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 ha. While laughing, Ye Ling Feng turned his head first, and the others looked back with sarcasm. In the next moment, Ye Ling Feng was like a goose pinched by his neck, and his laughter stopped abruptly. The mocking expressions of Ye Xiang Ming, Ye Tian and others also suddenly solidified. I saw three white-robed cloaked people outside the crowd occupying three directions respectively. They are holding long swords stained with blood, and they exude a terrifying murderous aura. It's the man in the white cloak who killed Master Tianan. 3. How come there are three? It's over, we are dead. The warrior who had come to report before was trembling, his voice hoarse and desperate. The scene in which the white-robed cloak man slayed Tianan with a single sword caused too much impact on this warrior. Seeing the man in the white robe cloak at this time, he was like a frightened bird, and instantly lost all measure. Guru. Ye Ling Feng swallowed hard, and tremblingly muttered, How is this possible? How could they appear here? Could it be, could it be that those martial artists were really all killed by them, no. This is not true. That sword. The head soldier of the lion hunting regiment. Yet Yen suddenly condensed his eyes, staring at the long sword in the hands of one of the white-robed men. And the sword of the President of the Redstone Chamber of Commerce. Ye Zhi said in disbelief, Guild Master Redstone is a senior martial artist, is he dead too? What? Ye Ling Feng's complexion was stiff, and his eyes were incredible. He knew that those martial artists might really be killed as So Lang said. However, he couldn't accept such a bizarre thing from the bottom of his heart. More than twenty martial artists, this is such a terrifying force, 
how could it be killed by a small figure who has been up from the bottom within a few days? This is simply a fantasy. Ah! At this time, the terrified warrior couldn't bear the pressure, and ran towards the periphery when he was crazy. Stab! A sword light flashed, and the escaping warrior separated immediately. The headless corpse staggered a few steps and fell weakly, and the blood sprayed from the neck fracture instantly stained the soil. Hiss! The glaring red color caused Ye Ling Feng and others to slap a violent spirit. Next moment. Go! With a roar, Ye Ling Feng desperately fled to the outside. No secrets are important at this time, his life is the most important. Quickly, protect Ling Feng from leaving. Yet Yen and the others snorted, surrounded Ye Ling Feng one after another, rushing out. Ye Ling Feng's outstanding talent is the best aptitude, and he is the most hopeful figure of the Ye family to become a military commander or even a military commander, so everyone is protecting him. Today, no one wants to leave. So Lang's indifferent and cold voice came, and the murderous aura in it was chilling. Immediately afterwards, a little bit under his feet, the wind chased it out, and the three white-robed clones also held spirit soldiers to besieged. My son, go. Yes Yang Ming turned around and drew his sword, angrily cut to Sol Lang. Splitting the sky, the ninth sword. Sol Lang flipped his wrist, and the purple spirit sword went out to sea like a blue dragon, and instantly penetrated Ye Xiong Ming's heart. Father. Upon seeing this scene, Ye Ling Feng's eyes were blood red and his canthus was about to split. However, the grief returned to grief and the speed under his feet was not reduced, and he quickly fled to the distance. You all have to die, no one wants to leave. So Lang kicked Fei Xiong Ming's body and sneered after it. A frightening pursuit began. Martial artists continued to be chased, beheaded, wailing spread across the mountains and forests, blood dripping all the way. When the warriors were killed, it was the turn of the warriors. The first one to be killed was the junior martial artist who came to report. He was not So Lang's enemy at all, and he returned to the west with one sword. Yang Tian Rui, I order you to turn around and block the enemy. Ye Ling Feng saw that the four of So Lang were extremely brutally killed, and immediately let Yang Tian Rui break the queen without hesitation. Ye Xiao, me. Although Yang Tian Rui was the head of the Yang family, he was only an intermediate martial artist. After seeing So Lang's powerful combat power, how could he turn his head back? Quick, think about your family. Seeing So Lang getting closer, Ye Ling Feng suddenly felt a panic. What? Yang Tian Rui let out a low growl incomparably suffocated, and then turned to face So Lang who was quickly chasing after him. It's all you, all you. I just fell into this field. With endless hatred, Yang Tian Rui held up the sharp sword, gritted his teeth and rushed up. Next second. The sword light flickers, and the figures are staggered. Yang Tian Rui's body fell feebly, and So Lang's advancing figure was not affected at all. Yang Tian Rui. When the three Ye Ling Feng saw Yang Tian Rui's tragic death instantly, they were scared to death. A dignified intermediate martial artist but he can't even stop it for a moment. So Lang is too strong, too scary. At this moment, the three white shadows passed Ye Ling Feng's trio and stopped in front. Kill. Yet Yen and Ye Zhi drew their swords and killed them without hesitation. But the two of them were just junior and intermediate martial masters, how could they be the opponents of the three clones of So Lang? After one move, blood spilled into the sky. Yet Yen splits his head, and Ye Zhi splits into two. The smell filled with vomiting. Do not. Ye Ling Feng stood there in horror, crying hoarsely. Where are you going to escape? So Lang came to Ye Ling Feng slowly and returned what he had said. You, don't come over. Ye Ling Feng was so frightened that he staggered back and slammed into So Lang's white robe clone. What? Feeling the touch coming from behind. Ye Ling Feng was even more distracted, and quickly hid beside him. Then, he found himself in front of him with another man in a white robe cloak. At this moment, 
it seems that there are Solang and the people in the white robe cloak in all directions. How to do? Ya Ling Feng moved his lips, whispered desperately, and immediately sat down on the ground. Ya Ling Feng, don't you struggle any more. The corner of Sol Lang's mouth raised, and a murderous intent was outlined, you used to say that Ling Chi skinned and cut the car, but I remember it clearly, now, choose one. No, do not want. I know I was wrong, please forgive me. In the face of death, Ya Ling Feng was scared to death. He trembled all over, putting aside all arrogance and dignity, he bowed to Sol Lang and begged for mercy with incomparable shame. Spare you. Sol Lang sneered, put yourself in and think about it, if you catch me, would you spare me? You should know that since your Ye family killed my parents and wanted to kill me again, I have never stopped dying with you. Su. Master Su. Ye Ling Feng's face was full of horror, and his lips trembled in defense, those have nothing to do with me. It was my grandfather who ordered your parents to go to the D-class area, and it was my sixth brother who was going to kill you. I really did not participate. I didn't participate in these two things, so what about this siege of me? So Lang snorted coldly, you dominated so many people to besiege me, and still expect me to let you go. This is also my grandfather's order. Master Su, I really know I was wrong. I shouldn't covet your secret. I shouldn't lead people to siege you. Master Su, you are the stars in the sky, and you are the sun in the sky. Please, my lord, please spare me the maggots in the pit. You can do anything, as long as I have it, except life. Just beg you to let me die. Ya Ling Feng's head was scattered, and he smashed his head at Sol Lang madly. That was even more miserable than the orphan who sold himself to bury his father. Anything except life. After listening to Ya Ling Feng's words, Sol Lang showed a weird smile. Exactly. Whatever you want. The terrified Ya Ling Feng didn't pay attention to Sol Lang's expression at all, and nodded like a rattle. Well, my heart is moved. Sol Lang put away the purple spirit sword with a smile on his face and the three clones put away their weapons at the same time. Thank you Master Su. Cow thanks to Master Su. Ya Ling Feng's face showed the ecstasy of the rest of his life, and he stomped a few more heads in a hurry. Listen, what I want. The corner of Sol Lang's mouth twitched, and he smiled, first of all, you, as the most important junior of the Ye family, must know all the exercises of the Ye family. I want them. No problem, Master Su, I know all the exercises at home. Ya Ling Feng nodded immediately, as if he couldn't wait to speak out the technique immediately in order to save his life. Don't worry. So Lang faintly threw out a few notebooks and pens, write slowly, don't miss the words, otherwise I don't know how miserable your end will be. Master Su, don't worry. Ya Ling Feng nodded and bowed like a dog. I recite the Ye family's exercises so much that I will never miss a word. As he said, he lay down on the ground and fought hard. Next, is my second condition. So Lang looked at Ye Ling Feng condescendingly, you want to give me five million gold coins to buy life money. Five, five million. Ye Ling Feng was stunned at once, and he almost couldn't hold his pen firmly. How? So Lang frowned. Don't tell me the Ye family can't even get five million gold coins? I ransacked five to six hundred thousand gold coins from just a few of your shops. Although those are your more important stores, they still don't occupy most of your Ye family's wealth, right? Master Su. Having said that, there is really number five million gold coins. Ye Ling Feng cried and said, unless, unless you borrow from the other three powers, or sell your assets, you can raise so many gold coins. It's great if you can raise it all. No matter what method you use, I want five million gold coins, otherwise. A cold killing intent flashed in Sol Lang's eyes, you can only die. No, don't kill me. Ya Ling Feng trembled and sweated like a waterfall, I am the future of the Ye family, and my grandpa will redeem me. Humph.
you write a blood book. Solang said indifferently, I will personally hand it over to your grandfather, whether it is dead or alive, it depends on whether your grandpa gives the money. Yes yes. Ya Ling Feng tremblingly bit her finger and began to write a blood book. At this time. Ding. Lei Si's true art has reached the level of Xiao Cheng. The wonderful system prompt surprised Sou Lang. I don't know how much the Xiao Keng level Razi real technique can improve my attributes. With a hint of expectation, Sou Lang opened the properties panel. Sou Lang. Human. Turbidity. Peak Warrior. Pinnacle Warrior Plus. Senior Warrior. Senior Warrior Plus. Senior Warrior. Mastering Techniques, Boundless Heart Sutra, Lei Si Zhenju, Lake Wang Zhenju, Nine Elephant Mountain Treading Technique, Flying Flower Slashing Shadow Sword, White Feather Footwork, Floating Willow Sword Technique, Split Air Sword Technique. One Key Practice Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, An Avatar Dispatch Function. It's Worthy of Attribute Skills. The corner of Sol Lang's mouth raised and a smile appeared, at the level of a martial artist, he can directly increase his combat power to a small realm. And the peak martial artist level combat power is no more than the number of hands in the entire Red Maple City stronghold. It can be said that Sol Lang is now standing on top of the hundreds of thousands of people in Red Maple City. With the assistance of the system, it won't take long for him to throw away those quasi-military generals and the four major generals of Red Maple City. After thinking about the bright future, Sol Lang set his sights on the storage space again. From the beginning of the anti-killing to the present, a total of 31 martial artists have been beheaded by Sol Lang. This brought him extremely rich spoils. No, only the middle-grade spirit stones have broken through 20 and the lower grade spirit stones and gold coins are even more. With so many gold coins, it must be enough for the clone dispatch function to be upgraded. So Lang was very excited and gave the order, System, fast, deposit all for me. In the mysterious space, the number behind the gold coin icon immediately began to soar. One second later, the amount exceeded one million. Sure enough, there are one million gold coins. Sol Lang's eyes glowed, immediately upgrade the clone dispatch function. Ding! Consume 1 million gold coins, the clone dispatch function is upgraded to level 5, and the number of clones is plus 1. Ding! Congratulations on raising the clone dispatch function to level 5, and you have obtained the bonus abilities perfectly lean over and swallow clone. When using the perfect lean, you can attach all your thoughts to the clone, and control the clone the most perfect, just like using your own body. When using the swallowed clone, you can choose to swallow a certain number of clones, and your combat power will be greatly increased within half an hour, and the swallowed clone will fall into the cooling time. Ding! Host, congratulations on upgrading the first three functions to level 5, you have obtained the activation permission for the new function, you can activate it with only 100 gold coins. The continuous system prompts directly made Sol Lang breathless with excitement. The benefits of this upgrade are simply terrifying. Even bigger than when the clone dispatch function was activated just now. Especially the swallowing clone ability, which made Sol Lang's leapfrog fighting ability crazy. This is much more powerful than adding a clone. This is really cool and there is a fourth function waiting for me to activate. So Lang's little heart throbbed with excitement, I don't know how abnormal the new function will be. The system, activate the new function immediately for me. Ding! Consume 100 gold coins, the one-click treasure hunt function has been activated. Ding! The current one-click treasure hunting function is level 1, and you can send two treasure hunt flying 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 gliders out to hunt for treasure. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the bonus abilities Treasure Spirit Sense and Perfect Collection. You can detect and identify all treasures and collect them without damage. The treasure hunt flying glider also possesses the abilities of Treasure Spiritual Awareness and Perfect Collection, as well as Super Life Saving Capabilities. However, 
the treasure hunting flying gliders can't escape death when they encounter two strong enemies, and it takes two hours to regroup after death. The dispatch method and the scope of the treasure hunting flying glider are the same as the clone, and the areas explored by both can be dispatched again. The system's description of the fourth function made Solang stunned. After a while, a strong ecstasy appeared on his face. Noisy, noisy. One click treasure hunt. An astonishing light spurted from Sol Lang's eyes. Even though this function does not directly improve combat power, its perversion is also worse than that. What is the most important thing in martial arts practice? It is nothing more than qualifications, skills, and resources. Resources refer to Reiki and various genius treasures. I won't talk about the aura, there is no such thing as a genius treasure that no warrior does not want. However, it is too difficult to collect the natural treasures. First of all, the place where the heaven, material, and earth treasures appear is completely uncertain, and they are extremely hidden. Finding a certain heaven, material, and earth treasure is entirely by luck. Secondly, many treasures of heaven, material, and earth are guarded by fierce beasts, or they are monopolized by the strong, and they must have a strong strength if they want to take food. In addition, many heaven, material, and earth treasures have unique collection methods, otherwise they will be directly damaged, which makes it even more difficult to obtain heaven, material, and earth treasures. But now, such difficult things have become very simple for Sol Lang. There is a one-click treasure hunting function, no need to work hard to learn the method of collection, no need to spend a lot of money to buy treasure information, no need to go deep into the wilds and mountains, no need to risk fighting with powerful enemies. Sol Lang only needs to sit at home and drink tea happily, and he can harvest all kinds of natural treasures continuously. Moreover, if the treasure hunt flying glider finds a mineral vein or something, then it will be developed. In short, with the one-click treasure hunting function, Sol Lang can easily collect the treasures of heaven and earth. Then, keep the useful ones, sell the useless ones, and upgrade the system functions when the money is enough. If this continues, Sol Lang's strength will become stronger and stronger like a snowball. Quickly. Upgrade me the one-click treasure hunting function, until the money is not enough. Although it had spent one million gold coins, but there was still some remaining balance, So Lang did not hesitate to choose the upgrade function. Ding! Consumption of 1000 gold coins, the one-click treasure hunting function has been upgraded to level 2, and the number of treasure hunting flying gliders has increased to 4. Ding! Consumption of 10,000 gold coins, the one-click treasure hunting function has been upgraded to level 3, and the number of treasure hunting flying gliders has increased to 8. System prompts kept coming, and the one-click treasure hunt function was directly upgraded to level 3. The number has grown exponentially. For an instant, So Lang's eyes widened in surprise. In this way, when the one-click treasure hunting function is upgraded to advanced level, he can have dozens, hundreds, thousands of treasure hunting flying flying gliders. When the time comes, won't the treasures of heaven, material, and earth, which are extremely precious, flood into the storage space like a flood? It's exciting to think about it. GGGG, darlings, here I am. Solang rubbed his hands in excitement, and directly dispatched all the eight treasure hunting flying flying gliders. Ya Ling Feng, who finished writing the blood book on the side and started writing the exercises again, wondered why So Lang was so strange. But he didn't dare to ask, so he continued to bury his head in painful writing. Class D Flame Fox Area This fierce beast area is next to the Li Yulihu area, and has been touched by So Lang's clone. At this time, in a valley, a red flame fox was staring at a small tree intently. This little tree is only 10 centimeters high, but it hangs a white fruit the size of a baby's fist. At this time, the white fruit is turning red at a speed visible to the naked eye. Upon seeing this scene, the flame fox suddenly showed greed. But at this moment, a treasure hunt flying flying glider with white fur and golden stripes fell from the sky. There are fleshy membranes between its limbs, 
which form two wings after opening, strange and graceful. Moreover, its speed is super fast, almost flying past the flame fox like lightning. The flame fox was stunned, and suddenly found that the white fruit in front of him had disappeared. Squeak! The flame fox was immediately angry. This is a treasure that it has guarded for five days and five nights. Its eyes are blood red and its teeth are dancing and claws, desperately looking for the guy who snatched its treasure. But the treasure hunting flying flying glider has long since escaped. It chased it out following the smell, and was lost within a few tens of meters. The other side. Ding. You get Bianguo asterisk one. The system prompt came, a fruit with red stripes on a white background appeared out of thin air in the storage space. Solang immediately took the heaven, material and earth treasure found by the first treasure hunting flying flying stray from the storage space. By Yanguo. Solang's face was delighted, his eyes shone, the main medicine for refining the sixth order Bian body building pill. Tier 6 pill, this is a treasure pill that a martial artist is qualified to take. Even the lowest tier 6 pill is worth at least 5,000 gold coins. And Bian body building pill, a more precious tier 6 pill, is worth at least 10,000 gold coins. As the main material of Bian body building pill, this undamaged Bian Guo is worth 5,000 gold coins. This is definitely an unbelievable number for ordinary people. At this time. Ding. You get blue and white fruit asterisk 1. Solang's expression moved, and he took it out to see, it turned out to be the main medicine of a sixth order pill, the blue and white chi gathering pill. Ding. You get locks and grass asterisk 1. Ding. You get the golden light asterisk 2. Ding. You get. A steady stream of system prompts came, almost joined together. Noisy, noisy. Solang couldn't help exclaiming. In a short period of time, he obtained a treasure of tens of thousands of gold coins. However, after a series of gains, a certain blank period appeared. Solang expressed his understanding. After all, Tianke Daibao is not a Chinese cabbage, and it takes time to hunt for treasure and fly flying on the road. Of course, even so, the speed at which Solang makes money is extremely terrifying. At least, 100 or 200,000 gold coins a day can't run, which is faster than printing money. Ha 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 ha, so cool. Solang couldn't help laughing with excitement, in this way, there will be a stable source of funds for upgrading system functions. Su, Master Su. At this moment, Yeling Feng, who was immersed in writing, raised his head and shouted cautiously. Of course he discovered Solang's abnormality, but now he can only treat it as invisible. He even wanted to close his eyes and mouth, lest he knew too much and was cut by Solang with a single sword. Hey! Finished! Solang raised his eyebrows and looked at Ye Ling Feng. Yes, it is. Ye Ling Feng nodded tremblingly, then tremblingly handed both the book and the blood book to Solang. Solang directly put the blood book into the storage space, opened the exercise book and read it. Ye Ling Feng turned in a lot of exercises, except for the ones he had learned, there were even five exercises. And these five exercises are all not simple, they are three intermediate forging exercises, one primary thunder attribute exercise, and one advanced weapon exercise. The three intermediate bodybuilding exercises are Tyrant Armor Bodybuilding Jew, Union Entangling Silk Step and Mian Yu Bodybuilding Jew. These three exercises specifically increase defense, body skills, and endurance, and the increase is particularly large. The advanced weapon technique is a sword technique with only two characters in its name Soul Chaser. The last elementary thunder attribute exercise method is called Lei Gang Zhenju, which is the same origin as Lei Asai Zhenju and Lei Guang Zhenju. Tisk tisk, they are all good things. Solang kept tweeting, and then immediately replaced the Lei Asai Zhenju with the Lei Gang Zhenju. At the same time, Lake Wang Zhenju has also been replaced with Union Yunsi Step. Less than half a minute. Ding. 
Union Silk Step has reached the entry level. A wave of cultivation technique quietly spread from Solang, and Ye Lingfeng on the side was suddenly dumbfounded. And just when Ye Lingfeng was shocked. Ding! The true art of Lei Gang has reached the entry level. Boom! Solang shook his whole body slightly, and there was a greater wave of exercises. Even for an instant, flashes of thunder and lightning appeared in the air. Lei Gang's true secret? This is the beginning. Ye Ling Feng was so surprised that his chin was about to fall off, how is this possible? It took me two years to get started. However, something more shocking happened to him. I saw strange fluctuations in Sol Lang's body from time to time about the introductory exercises, and in a blink of an eye, all the five exercises were introduced. You, you wait. The two guards threw a word out in a stern bitterness. Immediately, they got into the gate, yelling and ran in the direction of Yefia Zhang. Solang is here. Patriarch. Solang is here. The two guards rushed all the way, shouting loudly, and the whole Ye family instantly turned into a boiling pan. Solang? Isn't that the rogue who ransacked our stronghold? How could he come here? What a joke. But if not, how dare those two guards do it? Could it be that Solang really came to our Ye family? The many Ye family members who were alarmed were unbelievable. At this moment, a person suddenly pointed at the gate and shouted deeply, Look! Is that white robe cloak man Solang? Everyone followed the sound, and suddenly saw Solang strolling in the courtyard. That's the one who ransacked my Ye's shop and stronghold. The aura fluctuations in him turned out to be the peak martial artist. What about the peak martial artist, can he still beat the patriarch? No matter what he has to rely on, he must be cramped and hung on the city gate today to show the public. Yes, that's the only way to save the face of my Ye family. The killing intent of the Ye family members was fully realized, and they pulled out their weapons one by one, like a hyena, surrounding Solang in the middle. This is the Ye family's hospitality. Solang sneered and walked forward calmly, like walking in his backyard. All the martial artists of the Ye family were dead, except for Ye Fiazang in this Ye family mansion, they were all weak chickens. They surrounded Solang with nowhere, and the dazzling weapons in their hands were like poisonous snakes, choosing people to eat. However, no one dared to do it. Get out of the way. Patriarch is here. There was a scream, and everyone looked happy and made a way out. Solang looked forward and saw a slender old man walking slowly with his hands behind his back. This person had killing intent and was not angry but mighty. Everyone around him looked at him in awe. It was obviously Ye Fia Zhang, the head of the Ye family. Properties Panel Solang thought, all the information of Ye Fia Zhang was in front of him. Ye Fia Zhang Human Top Grade Junior Generals Intermediate General Plus Junior Generals Plus Intermediate General Plus Junior General Plus Boundless Heart Sutra, Chasing Soul, Lei Si Zhenju, Lei Guang Zhenju, Lei Gang Zhenju Bajia Body Building Ju, Union Kang Sabu, Mian Wu Body Building Ju Oh, I have a lot of exercises. Solang raised his eyebrows, but after thinking about it, he understood. Ye Fia Zhang has been promoted to military commander for not knowing how long, it must be limited by his aptitude to be unable to be promoted to the realm of cultivation, so he will transfer his energy to practice exercises. And his comprehension is not good, and all the exercises have only been practiced to the entry level. His life's hard work is not even as good as Sol Lang's achievements in two or three days. At this moment, Ye Fia Zhang spoke. You are really Sol Lang. There was a hint of joy in Ye Fia Zhang's voice, I didn't expect you to be a pinnacle warrior. Such a fast promotion speed made Ye Fia Zhang's greed for Sol Lang's secret even stronger. Sol Lang's big secret that day, he wanted to get it all the time, every minute. However, his joy soon turned into surprise. No, that's not right. 
you are not so lang. Yefia Zhang sneered, how can a pinnacle warrior dare to rush in front of me alone? Besides, my grandson is besieging so lang, how could he appear here? You are so lang's subordinate. Am I right? And the reason why you are here is that so lang sent you to beg for mercy? Ha 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 ha, it must be so right. At this moment, Yefia Zhang didn't even know that his son was dead, and his only grandson had fallen into So Lang's hands. He thought that Ye Ling Feng had already driven So Lang to a desperate situation, and So Lang would send this subordinate to ask for peace. After hearing what Yefia Zhang said, the other members of the Ye family felt very reasonable, and their gazes at So Lang were full of disdain and ridicule. However, So Lang's words left them all stunned. Pray for mercy. Yefia Zhang, you are afraid that you overestimate your Ye family. A hint of sarcasm appeared at the corner of So Lang's mouth, the reason why I am here is completely confident. Now, I have two news here, one bad news and one good news. Would you like to listen? Hey! Pretending to be. Yefia Zhang sneered, I want to see, what tricks do you want to play? The rest of the Ye family also sneered at So Lang's words, and showed contempt. In that case, let me tell you the bad news first. So Lang smiled faintly, the bad news is that the martial artist you sent to chase me and the important members of your Ye family have all been killed by me. The good news is that your precious grandson Ye Lingfeng is still alive, but he will die soon, unless you buy his life with five million gold coins. So Lang's voice gradually fell and the scene was silent. It seemed that the sound of a hair falling on the ground could be heard. The next moment, it was like a bomb exploded, and the scene suddenly became a sensation. What did he say? Are my ears broken? Ha 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 ha, he said that the martial arts and important members sent by my Ye family are all dead, this is simply a fantasy. Yet. This person is absolutely frustrated so he dared to come to our Ye family and talk in sleep. How many powerhouses did our Ye family send out? 31 martial artists. He actually said he killed them all? I really want to laugh off my teeth. Yet, he alone, So Lang, can kill a junior martial arts master. He kills 31 of our martial arts masters? If you tell the ghosts, you don't believe them. Moreover, he wants five million gold coins. Isn't he crazy about money? He unexpectedly came to our Ye family. All the Ye family members talked and pointed, all thinking that So Lang was crazy. Ha 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 ha, can't your master really change the habit of speaking out? Ye Fiazang looked at So Lang with a sneer, I said before that I wanted to enjoy the last period of my life, but at this time I said something more absurd. I really suspect that you are mentally retarded. Hey, there are no wonders in the world, why can't I kill dozens of martial artists? So Lang shrugged, just wait for the frog at the bottom of the well before you can even believe this little scene. Well, since you don't believe it, then I make you have to believe it. As he said, So Lang waved his hand, and a blood book appeared in his hand. Space Ring Everyone in the Ye family was surprised. Ye Fia Zhang was also surprised, and immediately afterwards, his eyes were placed on the blood book. He could feel a familiar breath on it. Presumably you have felt it. This is the blood book written by Ye Ling Feng, please take a good look. So Lang smiled faintly, and the blood book shot out like an arrow while turning his wrist. What? Ye Fia Zhang caught the blood book in disbelief. Feeling the breath of Ye Ling Feng above, Ye Fia Zhang's heart gradually grew up with something bad. He took a deep breath and looked at it carefully. At the next moment, Ye Fia Zhang suddenly became angry and blushed. It's all dead. This is impossible. Ye Fia Zhang furiously squeezed his hands tightly, and his knuckles were instantly white. At such a scene, the Ye family people were dumbfounded and their faces were dull. They are incredible. Aloft, the patriarch who has always been calm and composed, would have such a reaction. That blood book was really written by Ye Ling Feng. What So Lang said is not true. What the happened? 
could it be that all those martial artists are really dead? Oh my god, Master Ye Xiang Ming, Master Ye Tian, Master Ye Zhi, and many martial arts masters. Although none of the Ye family members spoke, their expressions had already expressed their thoughts. No, no. This is definitely not true. Ye Fiazang's brain was blank, and he staggered back with a blood book in his hand. A generation of strong generals seemed to be ten years old in an instant. So Lang smiled faintly, Ye Fiazang, you have already believed it, why do you still deceive yourself? Ah! I killed you, I killed you. Ye Fiazang opened his eyes with a beard, and the long sword was unsheathed in an instant. The sword light and thunder light were shocking. Chasing the soul, condensing. So Lang had been prepared for a long time, and when he turned his wrist, a silver sword light suddenly appeared in front of him. Ding dum struck. The piercing sound of sword strikes resounded throughout the Ye family mansion. After one blow, Ye Fiazang remained motionless, So Lang's long sword broke, blood was dripping from his mouth, and he immediately retreated more than ten meters. For this result, all the Ye family members were shocked. In their hearts, Patriarch Ye Fiazang is one of the four strongest people in Red Maple City. In their imagination, the man in the white robe cloak should be killed with a single sword, how could he still be alive? Moreover, the man in the white robe and cloak actually used the same moves in chasing soul, which is incredible. Not only everyone in the Ye family, but even Ye Fiazang himself was so shocked that his pupil shrank. There was even a trace of fear in his heart. It's weird, it's terrible. The pinnacle warrior could survive his attack close to the level of a senior general. This is simply an inhuman existence. Ye Fiazang, you dare to do something to me, your courage is commendable. At this time, So Lang threw a broken arm with a sleeve on the ground, as a reward, this is for you. This is. Looking at the broken arm on the ground, Ye Fiazang's pupils shrank suddenly, and the white of his eyes instantly turned red. Yes, this is Ye Ling Feng's arm. So Lang said coldly, if you dare to shoot at me, then I will give you Ye Ling Feng's head. You crap. Ye Fiazang was trembling with anger, wishing to strip So Lang alive. You can't scold me either. So Lang sneered, then threw out another finger. You, what do you want? Ye Fiazang pointed at So Lang with great grief and indignation, his entire popularity seemed to be a sheep's seizure. I said that. So Lang smiled faintly, five million gold coins, in exchange for Ye Ling Feng's life. Five zero 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 zero. Ye Fiazang's words popped out between his teeth, I will give it. Patriarch. Many Ye family members exclaimed, their faces full of grief and disbelief. Give in. A generation of military commanders, an extremely powerful patriarch, has succumbed. This is simply a shame. Shut up all to me. Ye Fiazang screamed, almost hoarse. He is the one who succumbed, so he is not ashamed. However, as the patriarch of the Ye family, Ye Fiazang didn't want to let the incense of the Ye family cease in his own hands. Ye Lingfeng is the best aptitude. He is very likely to become a military commander, as long as a person lives, there is hope. For the Ye family, Ye Fiazang abruptly swallowed this breath and endured this shameful shame. A very wise choice. So Lang flipped his wrist, and the long sword was sheathed. In one day, prepare five million gold coins and send one person to the designated location on the map. It is out of date. As he said, he threw out a map and his figure gradually faded. And just when his figure was about to disappear completely, So Lang's voice came again. By the way, Ye Fiazang, everything goes to the same size, and I will still avenge my parents. I still said that, enjoy your last days, your death is not far away. As soon as the voice fell, So Lang's clone disappeared completely. Puff. Ye Fiazang trembled for a while then suddenly spouted a mouthful of blood, and shouted, Zuzi! Outside the barrier, the Liyulahu area. Ah, it hurts. 
Ya Ling Feng clutched his broken arm and wailed in pain, and the only hand left was only four fingers. Sitting in the middle of the three avatars, So Lang slowly opened his eyes. Well, I'm still in good health. So Lang took a deep breath and stretched. Using perfect bend can control every move of the clone, but it is very awkward. It's like putting your thoughts into a body that doesn't have a temperature, and there is no such feeling that the soul and the body fit together. Ah, my hand. Ya Ling Feng was still screaming, his nose and tears streaming down his face. Ever since he was a child, he was treated as an ancestor by the entire Ya family. When did he endure such pain? And this pain is not only physical, but also mental. After all, he will be disabled from now on, unless he takes a precious pill that can cause severed limbs to regenerate. But the lowest level of that kind of medicinal pill is tier 9 pill, how can it be so easy to get? Tisk tisk, don't blame me. So Lang chuckled and said with a smile, blame Ye Fiazang and Luo Li for being awkward, even daring to do something to me. But now you can rest assured. Ye Fiazang answered that he would use five million gold coins to buy your dog's life. Grandpa promised to save me. Great, I don't have to die. Ye Ling Feng was shocked, and a strong surprise emerged from his painful eyes. When So Lang cut off his arm, he thought he was given up. Hearing the good news of this day, his eyes widened with excitement. Oh, don't get excited, the broken arm is bloody. So Lang sneered and threw out a healing pill, take it, don't bleed and die. Yes yes yes. Seeing the blood soaking like a water gun with a broken arm, Ya Ling Feng was so frightened that he immediately swallowed the healing medicine. On the other side, in the Ya family mansion. Ya Fiazang was so angry that blood spurted wildly, and all the Ya family members were scared and dull. Patriarch. Ye Fiazang's confidant Ye Lin came back to his senses and stepped forward to support Ye Fiazang, quite your anger. Our Ye family can't live without you. Go away, do I need your help? Ye Fiazang swept his arm, and Ye Lin flew out several tens of meters in an instant. Patriarch calm down. The Ye family people around who also wanted to step forward to comfort them all knelt down in terror. A bunch of rubbish go and raise five million gold coins for me immediately. Ye Fiazang pointed to the Ye family in one place and said with blood red eyes, I can't do it in one day, everyone will be buried with Ling Feng. Yes. The people of the Ye family didn't dare to sweat, and quickly bowed and said yes. Get out. Ye Fiazang roared, and everyone disappeared within three seconds. Seeing everyone leaving, standing where Ye Fiazang's face was blue and red, he didn't know what he was thinking. After a while, a cold light flashed in his eyes, and he turned to the study. Boom! A small dark room was opened. Inside, there was a stone platform on which was placed a luxurious small box. Opening the box, Ye Fiazang took out a black pill from the box. Ning Ming Dan. Ye Fiazang trembles slightly while holding the pill. This is a precious tier 9 pill which will greatly enhance its strength after taking it. As a price, the user will rot and die after a day, and the process is extremely painful. However, Ye Fiazang had already set aside his life since he made up his mind. In his heart, Ye Lingfeng is the hope of the entire Ye family, and no one can compare it. Therefore, it is not enough to rescue Ye Lingfeng. Ye Fiazang wants to kill So Lang, to avenge his hatred, and to eradicate the troubles for Ye Ling Feng. So Lang, I don't want this life, you don't want to live either. Ye Fiazang's teeth were full of blood, and his eyes were cracking. Soon, he took the black medicine into the closed room. After a long time, Ye Lin came outside the retreat, Patriarch. We sold a lot of assets and we have raised five million gold coins. The door of the closed room slowly opened, and Ye Fiazang walked out of it. He looked very energetic, but there was a hint of death in his eyes. Where are the gold coins? Ye Fiazang looked at Ye Lin who was kneeling, his tone was cold. It's all here. Ye Lin took out a swollen bag. 
don't even think about it or know that there must be a lot of spirit stones inside. Ye Fiazang took the burden, put it into the space ring, and said, The order goes on, from now on, Ye Ling Feng will take over as the head of the Ye family. Patriarch. Ye Lin was shocked fiercely, and something bad rose in his heart. You don't need to say much. Ye Fiazang waved his hand and walked towards the door. At the same time, the Li Yulihu area. Time should be almost up. So Lang glanced at Ye Ling Feng, let's go to the saber-toothed lion area. At this moment, there are five clones around him, and it is obvious that the dead clone has been reunited. Yes. Ye Ling Feng endured the pain and nodded tremblingly. So Lang stopped looking at Ye Ling Feng, looking for a good direction and walking forward. However, he has just taken a step. Ding! Lake Wang's true art has reached Xiao Cheng level. Readily. So Lang looked happy, he felt that his body was lighter again, apparently his body skill level had increased. Immediately, So Lang replaced the Lake Wang Zhenju with the Tyrant Armor Body Forging Ju. At this time, the exercises he was practicing had become Lei Gang True Art and Tyrant Armor Body Training Art. The former can improve the attack, and the latter makes up for the lack of defense. So Lang thought about it and asked, System, how long does it take for these two exercises to be promoted to Xiao Cheng? Host, Lei Gang's true art only takes 10 hours to reach the Xiao Cheng level. The Tyrant Armor Body Forging technique can reach the Xiao Cheng level in just 15 hours. Lei Gang's true art has been practiced for about 10 hours, and it will take about 20 hours in total. So Lang pondered, the Tyrant Armor Body Forging technique only takes 15 hours in total. It seems that the difficulty of the primary attribute exercises is higher than that of the intermediate body forging exercises. Just when So Lang thought. Another system reminder came. Ding! The sea of repair is full, do you break through? With the aid of the pill and the crazy promotion of one key practice, the white villain turned golden again. Lie noisy, is this the legendary double happiness? So Lang raised his brow, his eyes showed a hint of surprise. Immediately afterwards, he immediately chose to break through. Boom! A strange wave spread, and the surrounding spiritual energy suddenly gathered around So Lang like iron filings meeting a strong magnet. This scene fell in Ye Ling Feng's eyes and immediately made him stunned. This, this, this. Actually broke through again. Ye Ling Feng screamed like he had seen a ghost in his heart, I have been promoted from an ordinary person to a peak martial artist in a few days. At this time, he has broken through to the level of a quasi-martial artist. Is this still a human? You must know that he is the best aptitude but he also stayed at the peak martial artist for a full year and a half before he could touch the threshold of a prospective martial artist. In the past, Ye Ling Feng was quite proud of it. Compared with So Lang at this time, he was nothing like a fart. So Lang just glanced at Ye Ling Feng's reaction. Immediately, he took a look at the changes in the property panel. I saw that the realm level was upgraded to a quasi-martial master. The four attributes of attack, defense, physical fitness, and endurance have also been improved in all aspects. They were upgraded to intermediate generals, quasi generals plus, junior generals plus, and quasi generals and levels. Intermediate general. A hint of excitement flashed in So Lang's eyes, such a combat power, although not as good as Ye Fiazang, but if you use the magical skill of swallowing clones, he he. Each clone has the same strength as So Lang, and swallowing one can greatly increase combat power. To deal with Ye Fiazang, So Lang estimated that swallowing one or two clones would be enough to sling him. I don't know what the expression will be when the lord of the Tang Tang Ye family is hung and beaten by me. So Lang walked forward, a touch of sarcasm was outlined at the corner of his mouth. About two hours later. So Lang and Ye Ling Feng appeared in a valley in the D-class Sabertooth area. Here is the intersection point he set. At this moment, a slender old man was sitting on a boulder in the valley, and this person was Ye Fia Zhang. Ye Fia Zhang, we meet again. 
Solang smiled, I wonder if your 5 million gold coins are enough. Solang. I finally saw you. Where is Ling Feng? Where is Ling Feng? The enemy was extremely jealous when he met, and Ye Fiazang saw Solang, his calm face instantly became extremely hideous. It is also sad to say that his huge Ye family was almost completely tossed away, and he only saw the Lord. However, who caused him to provoke Sol Lang? Grandpa. I'm here, save me. Ye Ling Feng rushed out from the midst of Sol Lang's clone and shouted in surprise. Ling Feng, don't worry, I will save you right away. Ye Fiazang was also very happy to see Ye Ling Feng. Immediately afterwards, he took out a baggage from the space ring, Sol Lang, this is the 5 million gold coins you want. These gold coins have been replaced by 200 middle grade spirit stones and 3 high grade spirit stones, one of them is quite a lot. Give me a test. Sol Lang raised his eyebrows noncommittantly, otherwise, how do I know if it's a stone inside? Don't go too far. Ye Fei said with a cracked hair. Just a normal request. Why are you so angry? So Lang smiled faintly, if you don't want to, then forget it, this deal will not be done. Wait. Ye Fiazang's complexion changed, and he immediately softened, it's a test. Immediately afterwards, he poured out the spirit stones in the burden, and then showed So Lang one by one. Well, the number is correct. After the inspection, So Lang nodded in satisfaction. Now you can trade. With that said, So Lang took Ye Ling Feng's shoulder and walked forward slowly. He is alone? How dare he be so careless? Ye Fiazang also saw this scene, and a hint of surprise flashed across his eyes. Immediately, he also walked towards So Lang with the Ling Shi baggage. As the two sides got closer, the atmosphere became more tense. In the end, the two sides stopped three meters apart. Ye Fiazang handed out the spirit stone, and So Lang pushed Ye Ling Feng out and successfully completed the delivery. Go! As soon as Ye Fiazang caught Ye Ling Feng's shoulder, he immediately led him back quickly. In an instant, the two came to the top of the valley. Tisk Tusk, are you so afraid of me? So Lang looked at Ye Fiazang with burning eyebrows, sneered. Ha 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 ha! Fear of you! Ye Fiazang looked at Sol Lang condescendingly, with a sneer on his face, Sol Lang child, do you know how excited I am to meet you? How much I want to laugh! I originally thought that you would send a subordinate to hand over. For this reason, I also specially prepared a fate bird to follow you. But I didn't expect that you dared to appear in front of me in person, ha 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 ha, you are so arrogant. Without Ling Feng as a shield, do you think you can retreat from my hands with the help of those white robe subordinates? Delusion. In order to kill you, I took Ning Ming Pill, even if you go together, I can kill you all. And before you die, I will let you taste all the torture of the Ye family, so that you don't want to live, and you are better off to die. The more Ye Fiazang said, the more distorted and hideous his face became, and his hatred for So Lang was simply monstrous. Ning Ming Dan? It doesn't sound like a good thing. You must be in pain now, right? So Lang laughed, unfortunately, all your pain will be endured for nothing, because you are the one who died today. Can you kill me? What a joke! Ye Fiazang laughed wildly, and a terrifying aura erupted from him. In an instant, the entire valley was enveloped. Under this powerful momentum, So Lang frowned. Did you see it, this is my current strength, stronger than the average senior generals. Ye Fiazang scorned So Lang heartily, So Lang child, you can't even escape for your life, so how can you kill me? Yes. So Lang miscellaneous, just because you want to beat my grandpa? What a wishful thinking. Ye Lingfeng also jumped and yelled, after my grandfather subdues you, I will strip you alive, strip you alive and then smash you to pieces to vent my hatred. So Lang child. Ye Fiazang was full of contempt and disdain, now you kneel down and beg for mercy, 
I can also consider letting you suffer one or two kinds of torture. Yefia Zhang, your strength really exceeded my expectations. However, do you think that you will be able to kill me if you are promoted to a senior general? A sneer appeared at the corner of Solang's mouth, tell you, you are the one who died today. Dead duck has a hard mouth. With a cold snort, Yefia Zhang drew out the long sword, a trace of cruelty appeared in his eyes. But just when he was about to do it. Swallow the clone. Solang thought, and a clone disappeared silently. In an instant, a powerful wave of fluctuations spread from him. This is... The aura of a high-level general. No. How is it possible? How could he have such a powerful aura? Ye Fiazang and Ye Lingfeng were shocked at the same time, and their eyes were full of disbelief. But before they recovered from their shock, another white-robed man disappeared in place. Immediately afterwards, So Lang's momentum swelled again, sweeping across the entire valley like a roar of wind. The Pinnacle General Ye Fiazang's eyes protruded sharply, and his eyes were about to fall out. Ye Lingfeng was even more horrified with dementia, and his soul was almost gone. Is this scared? It's not over yet. Solang snorted and swallowed a clone again, the momentum on his body bursting out like a tsunami. Quasi, quasi martial artist. Ye Fiazang roared in horror, his voice was hysterical and heart-piercing. On the side, Ye Lingfeng sat down on the ground, a sharp stone pierced his ditch, but he did not react as if his soul was gone. God, tell me, it's not true. Ye Fiazang shouted wildly in his heart, almost hysterical and heart-piercing. He took the precious nether pill, and spent his life to raise his strength to a small level. But Solang didn't even do anything, so his strength rose step by step, and he reached the level of a quasi-military commander. Ye Fiazang really doubted life. Seeing Ye Fiazang and Ye Lingfeng with different looks, So Lang smiled coldly and directly called the attribute panel. So Lang. Human. Turbidity. Quasi martial artist. Prospective military commander. Senior general plus. Pinnacle general plus. Senior general plus. Mastering techniques, boundless heart sutra, chasing soul, lay si zhenju, lay guang zhenju, lay gang zhenju. Bajia Body Building Ju, Union Kangsabu, Mian Wu Body Building Ju, Juxiang Mountain Treading Technique. One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, Clone Dispatch Function, One Key Treasure Hunting Function. With such power, who can stop it? So Lang sneered and pulled out the Purple Spirit Sword again and again, exuding a terrifying murderous aura. Ling Feng, go. Ye Fiazang was panicked grabbing Ye Lingfeng's shoulder and throwing it away. Immediately afterwards, he held a long sword and rushed to Solang desperately. At this moment, Ye Fiazang's only thought was to preserve the only hope of the Ye family. It's just that he never expected that Ye Lingfeng had already been struck by Solang and his faith collapsed. Chasing the soul, Suo. Seeing Ye Fiazang rushing over, Solang let out a cold snort, and the long sword stabbed forward without fancy. Chasing the soul, condensing. At the moment of the moment, Ye Fiazang used the defensive sword in the chasing soul to stand in front of him. Ding stunned. A piercing sound of gold and iron clashing through the sky. Ye Fiazang's body resembled a puppet thrown out by a giant, hitting a huge rock fiercely. Boom. The boulder exploded and smoked. Ye Fiazang vomited blood, his expression frightened and desperate. Humph! So Lang snorted, and the next sword would take Ye Fiazang's life. And just now. Be merciful. A loud shout came, and the three figures rushed into the valley, their breaths were disturbed, and it was obvious that they had just arrived. Who dares to stop me? So Lang frowned and looked at the sound. I saw a man with great looks, broad chest, and great power. The other two people, one is fat, the two curved eyebrows are thick as ink, and the other is eight feet tall with a beard. 
These three people are exuding strong spiritual energy fluctuations, and they are all military commanders. So Lang changed his mind to guess and knew that these three people were the other three general masters of Red Maple City. Guard Yin So. Patriarch Bao Zheng. Patriarch Yu Feng. When Ye Fiazang saw these three people, he shouted with joy. He didn't know why these three people appeared here, but he knew that if these three people held So Lang, his grandson would be safer. Patriarch Yat, how could you? The three Yin Zhou came to the front and looked at Ye Fiazang in disbelief. They never expected that the dignified Ye family patriarch, a military commander level powerhouse, would actually be beaten like this. Similarly, they never expected that So Lang would become so strong in such a short time. That terrifying aura has already approached the military commander. This is incredible. But the fact is right in front of them, and they have to believe it. Originally, the Yin Zhou trio were also very interested in So Lang's secrets. But seeing Ye Fiazang's tragic situation, they all put away thoughts they shouldn't have. After all, it is a crime for the weak to hold treasures, and it is only natural for the strong to hold treasures. Patriarch Yat, I will heal you. Bao Zheng hesitated for a moment, took out a bottle of pill, and walked towards Ye Fiazang. Wait. The three are really idle, they happen to be here so by chance. So Lang smiled coldly, could it be that the three of you also covet my secret? As soon as this remark came out, the Yin Zhou trio suddenly stagnated. How long has it been, how long has no one dared to speak to them like this? They wanted to get angry instinctively, but the three of them all held back. Look at Ye Fiazang's dog-like appearance, angry? Looking for death. Amount. Yin Zhou smirked, I heard the name of the public for a long time, today. Can you be more straightforward? So Lang interrupted directly, just say you are coveting my secret. So Lang also knew that there was a stir between himself and the Ye family, and it was impossible for Yin Zhou and others to investigate himself. However, the investigation belongs to the investigation, and I know something, it's okay if it rots in the stomach. If you dare to slap your teeth and claws, just chop it. This, of course not. Yin Zhou was directly questioned by So Lang, feeling unhappy, but he still resisted. Not just fine. So Lang snorted coldly, if I dare to interfere in my revenge, I will kill you. Having said that, So Lang carried his sword and walked towards Ye Fiazang. Mr. So Lang. The Ye family has already paid a great price, and Ye Fiazang has done this too. At this time, Yin Zhou came forward with Ha Ha and said, Look, can this end here? Yu Feng and Bao Zhang looked at So Lang at the same time, and based on what they thought, So Lang should stop there because of Yin Zhou's face. After all, Yin Zhou's identity is the guard stationed by the Martial Artist Alliance in Red Maple City. However, So Lang didn't buy it at all. That's it. A joke. So Lang sneered, no matter how much they pay, they can't make my parents survive. All I want is blood debt. But So Lang, I have received a warning from my superiors that there is an abnormality in the first generation of the Red Maple City stronghold. It is estimated that a wave of fierce beasts will erupt. Yin Zhou looked sad and lowered his posture again, every time a wave of fierce beasts, Red Maple City is precarious. We need Ye Fiazang's strength. So Lang, but please forgive him once and let him fight for Red Maple City, how about? Oh? A wave of fierce beasts will erupt. So Lang raised his brows and then sneered, what about the wave of fierce beasts? It's nothing more than some vulnerable reptiles. After all, So Lang's figure moved and disappeared in place. Not good. Yin Zhou and others' complexions changed drastically. But when they wanted to stop So Lang, it was too late. So Lang had already appeared in front of Ye Fiazang. Go to hell, no one can save you today. So Lang cut out with a sword, and the sword light fell like thunder to the world, and instantly fell on Ye Fiazang's head. Do not. Ye Fiazang let out an unwilling roar, and was cut in half by a sword. 
Immediately afterwards, a terrifying thunderbolt exploded, burning his body to ashes. Ding! You get Space Ring 1, High Level Spirit Soldier 1. The system prompt came, and So Lang was at ease. You. You actually killed Ye Fia Zhang. Bao Zhang pointed at So Lang with grief and anger, his mouth trembling when he spoke. Yin Zhou and Yu Feng were also shocked. A generation of military commander level powerhouses even said they would kill them. What? Do you have an opinion on me? So Lang turned his eyes, staring at Bao Zheng, and a cold killing intent gradually spread. Guu. Bao Zheng shrank his neck and couldn't help swallowing. Compared with Ye Fiazang before taking the Ning Ming pill, how could he dare to be an enemy of So Lang? Humph, if the three of you dare to say one more thing, don't blame me for killing people without mercy. So Lang's long sword was sheathed, he left a word coldly, and was about to leave soon. But at this moment, the sky and the earth suddenly darkened, and the clear sky instantly turned into dark clouds. A strange breath filled the space between heaven and earth. In the next moment, hundreds of blood-red beams of light rose into the sky, and all the strongholds outside the city turned on their warning beams. This is. The complexion of the three Yin Zhou suddenly changed. A wave of fierce beasts once every ten years. So Lang's expression also moved. His predecessor had experienced this vision once, and he naturally knew what it meant. Roar. A violent growl came. So Lang followed the sound and saw a saber-toothed lion that had soared four or five times in size, staring at them with blood-red eyes. It can be seen that under the influence of that strange aura, the strength of this saber-toothed lion has increased by at least half a small realm. Moreover, this saber-toothed lion had lost all of its sanity at this time, and could not even feel the fear. Roar! In the next second, the saber-toothed lion rushed over violently. Humph! So Lang kicked a stone away, directly exploding the saber-toothed lion's head. The dead saber-toothed lion gradually shrank and returned to its original size. It's really a wave of fierce beasts. Yu Feng's eyes were full of horror, just come what you can say. When the city barrier was recently maintained, the defense power was not even 80% of the usual. And Ye Fiazang is dead. Regardless of whether he could beat So Lang or not, Bao Zhang pointed at So Lang sadly and shouted, It's all right now the power to resist the tide of beasts is even more insufficient. It's all you, so pleading with you, you still. Stop talking more. Yin Zhou hurriedly stopped Bao Zheng. He knew that Bao Zheng would end up terribly if he dared to talk about it. Bao Zheng calmed down a bit after being stopped by Yin Zhou, and his gaze at So Lang also brought a trace of fear. Mr. So Lang, I'm afraid this wave of fierce beasts will trouble you to take action. Yin Zhou turned around and bowed to So Lang with a sincere expression. Of course can. So Lang nodded faintly. As a member of mankind, he also didn't want Red Maple City to be destroyed by fierce beasts. Great, Yin Zhou is grateful. Yin Zhou made another move. With So Lang's help, it would be much easier to fight against the tide of fierce beasts. It's not too late. Yu Feng said anxiously. Let's go back and deploy defenses. But at this time, Bao Zheng suddenly shouted in horror look. What is that? So Lang, Yin Zhou and Yu Feng looked in the direction Bao Zheng was pointing, and saw five super fierce beasts hundreds of meters high in the distance. The five fierce beasts are of different types, including a black wolf, a red fox, a giant elephant, a golden tiger, and a blue giant snake with a white unicorn on its forehead. And on the white single horn of the cyan giant snake, there was a lot of cyan flame surrounding it. This kind of flame wanders through the air like a living thing, drawing abstract dragon-shaped patterns. That's, that's a different fire kinglian dragon pattern fire. Yin Zhou had no expression on his face, his eyes were lost, and he trembled, it's over, this is over. What is it? Aren't they just five Sirank fierce beasts with swelling size? Seeing the Yin Zhou three people who looked after each other, So Lang asked in a puzzled way. 
That's a Sirank fierce beast, yes, but that crystal scale green snake possesses a different fire. Bao Zheng said anxiously, Do you know what a different fire is? Do you know? Okay. Solang's eyes were cold, and a trace of murderous intent burst out. Bao Zheng only felt a terrifying sense of crisis enveloped, and his whole body was instantly horrified, and he fell silent immediately. Humph. Solang is really annoyed for Bao Zheng, if it weren't for the evil beast tide, he had already used his sword. Mr. So calm down, let me say. At this time, Yin Zhou, with a grey complexion, said, different fire is a super flame of heaven and earth. There are a total of 22 kinds of different fires that are now known, and they are divided into four levels of heaven, earth, black, and yellow. This fierce beast's body is a yellow level different fire kinglian dragon pattern fire. But even the yellow level abnormal fire like the green lotus dragon pattern fire is very scary. Once refining it for your own use, it is equivalent to mastering a consummation level advanced attribute technique. Moreover, it is said that there are other magical aspects of alien, but this is not what I can know. Lie noisily, is Yu Huo so awesome? So Lang sucked in cold air, his eyes widened in shock. High level attribute techniques, and they are at the consummation level, how much combat power does that have to increase? At this time, Yin Zhou continued, of course, it is not that simple to refine the different fires. 99% of those who tried to refine the different fires burned themselves. This crystal-scaled green snake is estimated to be more compatible with the Qinglian dragon pattern fire in its own blood, and with great luck, it can be refined. At this time, I estimate that the strength of this crystal-scale green snake has reached the martial arts level. With the addition of the other four sea-level fierce beasts, our red maple city, I'm afraid we can't keep it. At the end, Yin Zhou's eyes were red. As the guard of the Red Maple City Warrior Alliance, he participated in three terrifying wars against the Tide of Beasts. Every time, I managed to defend it. For 34 years, he had long regarded the Red Maple stronghold as his home. But now, the home is about to be destroyed. Guard Yin Zhou, we can only start the escape plan. Yu Feng took a deep breath and said tremblingly. Correct. Bao Zheng yelled in horror, while it is still too late, let's run away. We can only do this. Yin Zhou nodded sadly. The so-called escape plan is to take a small number of elites to escape from Red Maple City through a rare airship. This means that they will give up 99% of the people in Red Maple City. Leave the Green Hills without worrying about no firewood, let's go. Bao Zheng nodded fiercely, he couldn't wait to flee anyway. Let's go. Yin Zhou glanced at the crystal scale green snake again, and turned to leave with Yu Feng. Wait. Suddenly, So Lang's faint voice came from behind. Mr. So Lang. Yu Feng was also a little anxious, if he stayed here again, the entire Red Maple City would be finished. You can't beat that crystal scale green snake, doesn't mean I can't beat it. A smile was drawn at the corner of So Lang's mouth, this time Red Maple City will be guarded by me. You guys, just hit it off. What touch? The Yin Zhou trio were dumbfounded and couldn't believe their ears. Mr. So Lang, that's a fierce beast with a different fire. Yu Feng Sun said in shock, its strength is estimated to have reached the martial commander level, how can you beat it? Yes, Mr. So Lang. Yin Zhou was also unbelievable, although you can kill Ye Zhang, you haven't reached the martial arts level. Do you think I am stupid? So Lang smiled noncommittantly, since I dare to say something like that, I'm naturally confident. Just now, he had penetrated the strength of the five C-rank beasts through the attribute panel. The black wolf, red fox, giant elephant, and golden tiger are all C-level beasts. Although their strength has improved under the influence of that strange aura, they are only equivalent to the mid to high level generals. And the crystal scale green snake with the green lotus dragon pattern fire has the attack level of the junior military commander and the other three attributes of the senior military commander. 
This level of combat power is indeed something that Solang can deal with. But don't forget, Solang has only swallowed three clones, and he has the combat power of the Quasi Military Commander level. If this swallows a few more clones, it is a proper Martial Commander level. Mr. Su, do you really have a way? Yin Zhou didn't believe that Solang was a fool. Seeing that Solang was confident, he asked with a glimmer of hope. Do not believe it. Then let me open my eyes and watch. Solang clicked the corner of his mouth and swallowed all the remaining two clones instantly. In an instant, an overwhelming breath of terror erupted from his body. A violent whirlwind was directly set off within a radius of several hundred meters, and the three of Yinzo were shocked and almost unsteady on their feet. Martial Commander Level This, what secret technique is this? Is it true that I crossed a big realm in an instant? Oh my god, this is incredible. The three of Yinzo seemed to have seen a ghost, their eyes bursting. Solang has become accustomed to the fuss of the three of them. He smiled slightly and opened the properties panel. Solang. Human. Turbidity. Quasi Martial Artist. Junior Martial Commander Plus. Associate Military Commander Plus. Junior Martial Commander. Quasi Martial Officer Plus. Mastering Techniques, Infinite Heart Sutra, Chasing Soul, Lei Si Zhenju, Lei Guang Zhenju, Lei Gang Zhenju. Bajia Body Building Ju, Union Kang Sibu, Mian Wu Body Building Ju, Juxiang Mountain Treading Technique. One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, Clone Dispatch Function, One Key Treasure Hunting Function. A Junior Military Commander Plus. Solang raised his brows, it seems that after crossing a large realm, the increase in the swallowing clone will also be weakened. It's a pity that I don't have enough funds. Otherwise, I spend 10 million gold coins to upgrade the clone dispatch to level 6, and then swallow the 6th clone, it is estimated that I will reach the intermediate military commander level. However, the current combat power is also sufficient. Although the crystal scale green snake has a high attack level, the other three items are only at the high general level. Killing it is easy. Thinking of this, So Lang smiled faintly turned around and said to Yin Zhou. Don't be stunned, the people in Red Maple City are panicked and terrified. You quickly go back to calm the hearts of the people, command the martial artist to guard the barrier, and give me the few sea-level fierce beasts. At this moment, So Lang has become a well-deserved leader. Yes. Lord So Lang. Yin Zhou and the three were extremely excited, like a rough sea. With So Lang, a military-level powerhouse, Red Maple City can be defended, and they don't have to leave their homes to flee elsewhere. Go. Solang waved his hand, and the high-level spirit soldier long sword obtained from Yefia Zhang appeared in his hand. This sword radiates a deep ray of light, and its blade is like a cliff standing thousands of feet tall, and its lethality is stronger than that of a purple spirit sword. Holding a long sword, so Lang stepped on his feet and rushed out hundreds of meters in an instant. In a blink of an eye, his figure disappeared from the eyes of the three Yin Zhou. Master So Lang. Please. Yin Zhou murmured, and Yu Feng Bao was rushing towards the barrier. When So Lang, Yin Zhou, and others moved separately, hundreds of strongholds outside the city began to evacuate quickly before the tide of fierce beasts had completely formed. Ten minutes later, the tide of ferocious beasts all over the mountains has formed a wave of mountains and seas. Countless unreasonable beasts huddled together, rushing toward the towering barriers of Red Maple City like a tsunami. They are cruel and cruel, and anything that is contaminated with human breath is the target of their destruction. A large number of human warriors were overtaken, bitten, and swallowed by them. I don't know how many people died in a short time. Solang swiftly moved forward in the vast wilderness, and the densely packed fierce beasts were not afraid of his powerful aura, and they madly hunted and killed them. Solang fought one sword after another, and any fierce beast dared to step within three meters, only one word would end in the game death. In the torrent of fierce beasts, 
So Lang forcibly killed a terrifying blood path, and quickly extended towards the crystal-scaled green snake. On the other side, tens of thousands of warriors appeared on the mountain-like barrier of Red Maple City. Almost the official warriors of the entire Red Maple City have been called up, and even the peak body tempering. At the same time, the barriers over a kilometer high and the upper half of the Martial Arts Alliance building in the center of the city quickly lit up with mysterious lines, and a transparent mask gradually covered the entire Red Maple City. These mysterious lines are the engraved formations of the Noble Array Mage, with powerful defensive and offensive capabilities. However, even with these powerful formations guarding, those warriors are still indifferent. Because there were five C-rank beasts attacking the city this time, except for the D-rank and E-ranks, there are no counts. The number alone is desperate. A few minutes later, the latest wave of beasts has spread below the barrier. Prepare. Shoot. A warrior gave an order, and hundreds of warriors drew their bows and arrows together, throwing sharp arrows out. Without waiting for another order, the warriors shot a second arrow. A bow and arrow almost turned into an automatic rifle in their hands, with extremely fierce firepower. At the same time, the more powerful crossbows also fired. The crossbow arrow shoots into the wave of fierce beasts like a gun, and instantly penetrates a distance of tens of meters. All fierce beasts that hit the arrow are torn apart, and there is no whole body. Almost every terrifying crossbow arrow can kill dozens or hundreds of beasts. However, even with such a powerful firepower, it could not stop the tide of fierce beasts at all. Boom! A loud noise came from a certain direction of the barrier, and it was a tsunami-like wave of beasts that hit the defensive mask. In the next moment, Xianeo's formation lines shine brightly. A terrifying shock wave ejected suddenly, countless fierce beasts instantly turned into meatloaf, and a vacuum area appeared under the barrier. Immediately afterwards, dense lightning spurted from the barrier, and I don't know how many fierce beasts were directly beaten to ashes. However, there are too many fierce beasts. They rushed forward desperately, and even withstood the terrifying thunder and lightning, they began to attack the defensive mask. Damn it! The defensive mask began to bear the attack before the C-rank beast arrived. A warrior looks savage, with madness and despair in his eyes. If this goes on, the barrier will definitely be destroyed. Yet, according to the current trend, even if Master Yinzo makes a move, they will not be able to turn the tide. It's over, we definitely can't keep it this time. What should we do? Are we all here? The surrounding warriors were infected by the panic and uneasy atmosphere, and they all began to despair. At this moment, one person suddenly groaned pointing to the distance and shouting. Look! The five C-rank fierce beasts have stopped. Everyone looked over in shock, only to see that the hundreds meter high C-rank fierce beast actually stopped. God, what the is going on? There has never been a precedent for a sea level beast to stop halfway. Are they brewing some terrifying big move? The moment the sea level fierce beast stopped, the entire barrier was in an uproar. Almost all the warriors who saw this scene were shocked and pale. As for the cause of this abnormal phenomenon, probably only the three of Yin Zhou knew. Master Sol Lang stopped them. Yin Zhou was ecstatic and couldn't help clenching his fists. Yes, it must be Lord Sol Lang. Yu Feng and Bao Zhang also stared with surprises. Quickly, hasn't the plan been fully deployed yet? Yin Zhou turned and said righteously to Feng Bao. Speed up and let someone you trust us take command of the army. Let's go and assist Master Solang immediately. Okay. We work together to prevent that C-rank fierce beast from getting closer to the barrier. Yu Feng solemnly nodded his head, immediately went to deploy, and prepared to go out of the city to fight. On this occasion, Solang was standing on the top of a rocky peak. His whole body was covered with the blood of the beast and the blood kept dripping, even forming a pool of blood under his feet. A few hundred meters away, there are five terrifying C-class beasts. Demon-eyed black wolf, rainbow jade red fox, heavy ancient giant elephant, 
bloodthirsty golden tiger, and crystal scale green snake comparable to a military commander. At this moment, these five huge fierce beasts all stared at Solang closely. There is a trace of instinctual jealousy in the eyes of the four fierce beasts, including the black wolf. Obviously, they also felt the powerful aura in Solang's body. On the contrary, the crystal scale green snake looked at Solang with a hint of contempt. It seems that you are smarter than those inferior goods. A sneer was drawn at the corner of Solang's mouth, unfortunately, this can't change your fate of imminent death. Roar. The crystal scale green snake seemed to feel Solang's ridicule, and suddenly roared to the sky in anger, his voice piercing the sky. Immediately afterwards, it swayed, swooping down carrying the endless green lotus dragon pattern fire. At the same time, the four behemoths including the demon-eyed black wolf also slowed towards Solang one after another, and the overwhelming shadow instantly drowned him. Humph! Solang snorted disdainfully, then turned his gaze, and put it on Hong Yu Red Fox, I'll take your sword first. In the next millisecond, Solang stepped on the top of the explosive rock, his figure soared into the sky, and disappeared into place in an instant. From a distance, a black line passed through the air and connected to Hong Yu Red Fox. Squeaky! Hong Yu Red Fox only felt a sense of horror engulfing his whole body, and his fur suddenly burst, and he wanted to evade. However, in the face of Solang Gundam's junior martial arts level, it has no chance to dodge. Chasing the soul, Suo. Solang fell between the eyes of Hong Yu Red Fox, and the sharp sword instantly penetrated the center of its eyebrows. Squeak! The pupils of the Hong Yu Red Fox shrank like needles and screamed in pain and despair. Boom! A violent thunder and lightning spurted from the blade, directly burning its brain into a pile of coke. I saw Hong Yu Red Fox's body stiff, its huge body shrank sharply like a discouraged ball, and finally became the original size of several tens of meters. This scene fell in the eyes of the warriors far above the barrier, as if the rainbow red fox gradually disappeared. Suddenly, the warriors on the entire barrier were stunned. Immediately afterwards, countless warriors began to discuss with excitement. My god, do you see clearly, what happened? I only saw the few Sirank fierce beasts suddenly angry and attacked the mountain, and then the red fox fierce beast quickly became smaller and disappeared. It was killed. The same was true when those Sirank beasts who had attacked the city died before. Such a powerful fierce beast, unexpectedly died so unclearly. What's unclear? Someone must be fighting with them. A strong person is guarding our red maple city? That's great. A large number of warriors are talking about it, and it looks like a pot of oil is boiling. At the top of the barrier, the Yin Zhou trio were shocked and excited, and couldn't help but talk. Unexpectedly, Master Solang would kill a sea level so quickly, so strong. It's worthy of being a martial arts level powerhouse, it's so fierce, it can actually kill five such terrifying beasts in the siege. Yeah, it's too tough, it's harder than winning the first rank among a thousand troops. Our Red Maple City can be protected by Lord Solang, it is really lucky. At this moment, a more shocking scene appeared. Look! That heavy ancient giant elephant is getting smaller, and it has been killed too. Not only the heavy ancient giant elephant, but also the black wolf with magic eyes, it is also rapidly becoming smaller. Look over there, the bloodthirsty tiger is on the run. God, it won't move. It's getting smaller. It's dead too. What kind of strong is it that can kill four sea level beasts instantly in such a short time? This scene is really shocking, my heart is shaking. Countless warriors looked at the area where Solang was intently, with endless worship and awe in their eyes. The Yin Zhou trio were also stunned by shock, their faces full of sluggishness. After a while, the dementia on the three faces gradually turned into surprise. I didn't expect Master Solang to be so strong. I even wanted to help Master Solang, it's ridiculous to think of it. Master Solang is so powerful, 
this time we can not only defend Red Maple City, but also completely wipe out the evil beasts. Yes. As long as this wave of fierce beasts is completely eliminated, we will be better off in the next 50 or 60 years. Quickly, let's personally command the martial artist, and we must hold the barrier well. Exactly. So Lang was in a good mood just as there was joy on the barrier. Because he just harvested the whole body materials of four sea level beasts, which can be worth millions of gold coins. That's right, the sea level fierce beast is so valuable. Roar. At this time, the crystal scale green snake roared angrily, and immediately carried an endless flame, and slammed over. Whispering sound. So Lang curled his lips in disdain, now, it's your turn. Just now when he killed the four fierce beasts including the rainbow jade red fox, the crystal scaled green snake also launched an attack. But its level of physical strength is only high level generals, and it has been played around by Sol Lang throughout the entire process. Boom! In a blink of an eye, the crystal scale green snake rushed to Sol Lang, and the soaring green lotus dragon patterned fire seemed to devour the world. Chasing the soul, Toru. Sol Lang flipped his wrist, and the billowing thunder pours down along with the earth-shaking sword light. Boom boom boom. The endless thunder and the green lotus dragon pattern fire are intertwined, making continuous explosions. Sol Lang's thunder is much weaker than the green lotus dragon pattern. Almost in the next second, the purple thunder was completely swallowed by the cyan flame. But in this second... Sol Lang's long sword was also severely slashed on the neck of the crystal scale green snake. Crack. There was a toothless cracking sound, and a large number of crystal scales splashed around with blood. A huge sword wound abruptly covered half of the neck of the crystal scale green snake. Roar. The crystal scale green snake roared in pain and anger, turned its head and opened the mouth of the huge snake like a small lake, and bit down fiercely. At the same time, countless green lotus dragon pattern fires drowned Sol Lang severely. Lay come. Sol Lang turned around and escaped the big mouth of the crystal scale green snake, once again bursting out a large amount of thunder. Billowing thunder was soon annihilated by the Qing Lian dragon pattern fire again. But at the same time, he also won a chance to make a sword for Sol Lang. Chasing the soul, Suo. The long sword in Sol Lang's hand instantly pierced the wound on the neck of the crystal scale green snake. This time, there are no hard scales blocking it. A horrible sword of thunder and lightning, like a broken bamboo, came out directly from the other side of the crystal scale green snake's neck. His, whor. The crystal scale green snake uttered a miserable and weak roar, and the green lotus dragon pattern fire also dissipated. Its huge body fell weakly and made a deafening sound. We have won. We have secured the stronghold of Red Maple City. Great, now we can live a stable life for decades. On the barrier, the warriors who saw the crystal scale green snake fall were excitedly shouting. The three Yinzhou were also excited, and they couldn't wait to scream up to the sky. So Lang sighed. After the crystal scale green snake was completely dead, its body began to shrink rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. When its body returned to its original size, it disappeared directly in place. Ding! The green lotus dragon pattern fire one you got, the single horn of the crystal scale blue snake one, the crystal scale blue snake eye two, the crystal scale blue snake fang two, the crystal scale blue snake scale asterisk 366. Ding! A different fire green lotus dragon pattern fire is detected, is it refining? Noisy, noisy. So Lang suddenly opened his mouth in surprise. He never expected that the system could help him refine the fire. This is awesome. System, immediately refine the green lotus dragon pattern fire for me. So Lang made a decisive decision and immediately issued instructions. Ding. Start refining the Qing Lian Dragon Pattern Fire, with 24 hours remaining. The system prompt came, and the green lotus dragon flame in the storage space disappeared immediately. So cool, so cool. Sol Lang's expression was exhilarated, 
This is so cool. It is almost impossible for other people to refine the different fires, and even lose their lives if they are not careful. But Solang only needs to wait 24 hours to easily master the Blue Lotus Dragon Pattern Fire. How can it be uncomfortable if such good things fall on his head? At this time, Solang, who was extremely smooth, remembered that he still had 5 million gold coins to be useless. 5 million gold coins, how many system functions can this upgrade? System, deposit all the gold coins and spirit stones for me. Solang excitedly said, then upgrade the system functions for me, and upgrade all that can be upgraded for me. Ding! All gold coins and spirit stones have been deposited. Ding! Consumption of 1 million gold coins, the one key training function is upgraded to level 6, and the training speed is increased to 64 times the basic speed. Ding! Consumption of 1 million gold coins, the one click martial arts function has been upgraded to level 6, and the training speed has been increased to 32 times the basic speed. Ding! Consumption of 100,000 gold coins, the one-click treasure hunting function has been upgraded to level 4, and the number of treasure hunting flying gliders has increased to 16. Ding! Consumption of 1 million gold coins, the one-click treasure hunting function has been upgraded to level 5, and the number of treasure hunting flying gliders has increased to 32. Ding! Congratulations on raising the one-click treasure hunting function to level 5, and the treasure hunting flying flying treasure hunting efficiency and life-saving ability have been doubled. Wonderful system prompts keep coming, which is even more refreshing than the sound of X calling of the best girl. What? At this moment, Solang, who was full of ecstasy, suddenly let out a surprise. He found that the strange breath that permeated between the sky and the earth slowly dissipated, and the dark clouds in the sky slowly dispersed, revealing the brilliant sun. Immediately afterwards, the fierce beasts who had madly attacked the city gradually returned to their original size and began to flee in panic. It's weird, like someone is manipulating it behind the scenes. Solang squinted his eyes and looked at the sky, and then shook his head, setting his gaze into the dense tide of fierce beasts. Such dense beasts are a good time to harvest. Solang clicked the corner of his mouth and rushed into the group of fierce beasts with a long sword. The next moment, a terrifying river of blood reappeared in the disintegrated group of fierce beasts. With the strength of one person, Solang turned out to be like a huge ship with long wind and waves, moving forward fast among the ferocious beasts. All the fierce beasts blocking the road were all beheaded by him. Ding 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 system prompts kept coming, and within a short period of time, the beast material in the storage space had grown a hill. At the same time, the warriors on the barrier also found Solang's figure, and they were suddenly excited. Look at it. That is the adult who killed five Sirank fierce beasts. So young. Looks less than twenty years old, this adult must be a super evildoer who will not be born for a hundred years. I have decided. From now on, this adult will be my idol. I must know his name. I really admire him. I really want to fight battles with him. Many warriors looked excited, and there was a strong worship in their eyes. At this moment, a loud shout suddenly came. Oh my god, did you find out that this adult looks exactly like Solang wanted by the Ye family? Everyone took a closer look, and suddenly paled in shock. Almost all the warriors have seen Ye family's wanted order, so many people know Solang's appearance. At this time, Someone reminded that everyone immediately recognized Solang. Really looks exactly like Solang. Could it be that this adult is wanted by the Ye family? It should be correct. Did you find out that the Ye family is no longer good enough? Yes, yes, many core members of the Ye family, including Ye Fiazang, did not appear today. Look, why is the Ye family's warrior's face so ugly? Could this adult really be Solang? I think it should be. The Ye family dared to provoke this adult, and even dared to issue a wanted warrant, it was all looking for death. Yes, I think so too. Ye Fiazang and others didn't show up, 
they must have been taken care of by Lord Solang, and the blame should be taken by oneself, and the blame should be taken by oneself. Everyone talked a lot, and quickly analyzed the truth. Everyone listens. At this time, Yin Zhou's voice suddenly spread throughout the audience, follow in the footsteps of Master Solang, chase and destroy the disintegrated group of beasts, do it now. As soon as these words came out, Solang's identity was immediately confirmed. All the warriors sighed it really is so, and immediately once again expressed their contempt for the Ye family's irresponsibility. But the warriors of the Ye family were unremarkable and almost desperate. Offending a powerful person like Solang, this makes them want to judge the Ye family directly. Next, the barrier defensive mask gradually disappeared, and the warriors rushed out with excitement. They hunted and killed the disintegrated beasts in groups, expanding the victory of the victory. The fierce beasts were defeated like a mountain, and their combat power was greatly reduced. Under the chase of thousands of warriors, they died in pieces. At this time, So Lang also abruptly slammed under the barrier. His fierce slaughter of fierce beasts, and the river of blood that represents death, attracted the admiration and awe of many warriors. His young and handsome appearance coupled with incomparable strength, instantly reaped the heart of many girls. Suddenly. Ding. The duration of the swallowed clone is over, and the swallowed clone falls into the cooling time. So Lang's terrifying military commander level aura gradually disappeared, and finally fell to the military commander level. Immediately afterwards, the generalist level aura slowly dormant, and So Lang immediately left only the quasi martialist level aura fluctuations and a deep feeling. At this time, Yin Zhou, Yu Feng, and Bao Zhang personally walked out of the barrier. When they noticed that So Lang had only the quasi martial master level spiritual energy fluctuations, they were immediately shocked. When So Lang killed Ye Fiazang before, his body exuded an abyss like quasi martial commander aura. They thought that So Lang was at least a military commander. Given them a hundred heads, they couldn't think of it, So Lang's true realm was only a quasi martialist level. This, this. Lord So Lang turned out to be only in the realm of a quasi martial master. In other words, Master So Lang almost straddled two great realms and killed that powerful crystal scale green snake. This is too abnormal, is this really something humans can do? My god, am I dreaming? The brains of the three Yin Zhou were blank, and their thinking almost stopped. Why are you stunned? So Lang reminded him with a faint smile on his face. Ah. No. The three Yin Zhou came back to their senses and quickly saluted them respectfully. Although So Lang is only at the level of a quasi martial artist, this does not detract from his tall image in Yin Zhou and others, but makes Yin Zhou and others even more afraid to offend. After all, at the quasi martialist level, you can easily kill the martial master level fierce beasts. It is almost all right to become a martial king. At present, King Wu of the Blue Star is the figure standing at the top of the pyramid. How dare they offend a future Lord Martial Master? Master So Lang, this time you really worked hard. Thanks to Lord So Lang, we can save Red Maple City. Master So Lang, Bao Zheng has spoken disrespectfully many times before, Master So Lang must be punished. The three Yin Zhou saluted So Lang respectfully, emotionally, and sincerely. Bao Zheng even bowed and apologized for the offense of his eyesight and words. Such a scene fell in the eyes of the surrounding warriors, and they were immediately amazed. After all, Yin Zhou and others have always been the masters of Red Maple City, but at this time they bowed to others, which is really rare. Haha, <laughs> really hard work. So Lang laughed, then the corner of his mouth twitched, if the three of you really thank me, please give me thousands of gold coins. As soon as this remark came out, Yin Zhou and others smiled suddenly. First of all, it was because So Lang did not look down at them from a high level, but instead had a kind of approachable feeling. Secondly, they had also investigated So Lang before and knew that So Lang had a strong attachment to gold coin spirit stones. This is a very down-to-earth hobby. Master So Lang, 
it is entirely your credit that Red Maple City was spared this time. Yin Zhou smiled and arched his hands, without you, Red Maple City would no longer exist. Therefore, whatever you need, the Red Maple branch of the Warrior Alliance, please feel free to use it. Yu Feng and Bao looked at each other from the front, and nodded solemnly, our two families also, please don't hesitate to use Master Sol Lang. If they choose the escape plan, the family's century-old foundation will be gone. When you go to other places, you will have to send someone under the fence. If you can't say you can't be suppressed so that it is difficult to turn over, how can you still live the life of the past? And Solang wanted nothing more than property, as long as the lifeblood of their two families was kept constant, any money they could take away. Ha 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 ha. Then I'm not welcome. Solang smiled happily, but, even if you use it, you can give me some gold coins and spirit stones, and then just give me what you think I can use. By the way, the last time I went to the Gongfa shop in the Union building, there were so many good things inside. Haha, <laughs> Master Solang, I understand now. Yin Zhou smiled happily, and Yu Feng and Bao Zheng also nodded proudly. Okay, then you go to work. Solang nodded with a smile, I'm going to rest. Okay, Lord Solang. Yin Zhou nodded and smiled and handed out a purple card. This is the Universal VIP Reiki Training Room Door card for the Alliance, please accept it. You have a heart. Solang smiled and accepted the key card, and immediately entered the barrier. The three Yin Zhou wanted to send each other off, but he refused. After entering the city, Solang went directly to the Martial Arts Alliance building. At this time, there were fewer people in the Musha League building, leaving almost all female civilians. However, the good news that the tide of fierce beasts has retreated has been passed, and everyone is ecstatic, so here is a bit lively. Solang walked into the martial arts hall and immediately attracted a lot of attention. It's a young quasi martial master. Looking at his appearance, he must have killed many fierce beasts. So handsome, so handsome, the key is to be amazing, it would be great if I could marry him. There is no self knowledge at all. I just hope that he will be satisfied by looking at me more. I don't know how many young and beautiful women looked at Solang like an idiot, and some even scratched their heads to try to get his attention. However, how could Solang be interested in these vulgar fans? He didn't even bother to take a look and walked directly upstairs. At this time, a young woman in high-level work clothes came to him. The prospective martial artist. The young woman's face was reddish and she asked softly, Do you have any help? Oh. Solang glanced at the young woman and took out the purple card, Do you know this card? This is. The Alliance's General VIP Reiki Training Room Door Card. The young woman's eyes widened instantly, and her face was full of shock. This precious card can be used in the VIP Reiki Training Room of the Warrior Alliance at any stronghold. Those who can possess such precious cards are extremely distinguished. Just get to know and lead the way. Solang walked forward as he spoke. Yes. Your lord. The young woman ran to the front with excitement, leading the way. However, other female employees are very, very envious. After all, that's an incredible big man, if he climbs on his thigh, he will fly on the branch and become a phoenix. Under the respectful leadership of the young woman, Solang came to the 106th floor of the Union building. Standing at this height, you can almost overlook the entire Red Maple City area. My lord, this is VIP Reiki training room no one. The young woman pointed to a luxurious door and said, I will open it for you. Immediately afterwards, she swiped the room directly with the keycard in Solang's hand. But after the door opened, I saw an extremely unsightly scene in the training room. From the bottom to the top, three worms overlap each other, and there are all kinds of disgusting smells permeating the air, which makes people feel sick. For an instant, the young woman was dumbfounded and flushed. What's going on? Who are they? Solang furrowed his brows, his eyes revealed disgusting, 
when the tide of fierce beasts is coming, everyone should guard the barrier. How can anyone mess around here? They, they are members of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce in Nanlin City. Yes. I'm sorry, my lord, I didn't know they were here. The young woman's complexion flushed, and she stammered, that, the man in the middle is Zhu Fanyu, the young president of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. They have a relatively large material transaction with our Red Maple City Alliance branch, which involves some interests. And they were not from Red Maple City, so they didn't fight against the tide of fierce beasts. But my lord, I really didn't know they were here. At this time, the people inside also found that the door had been opened. What the hell? How did you open the door? Zhu Fanyu pushed the other two away and looked at Sol Lang and the young woman with a sullen expression. The other men and women also looked unhappy, looking at Sol Lang as if to eat people. How disgusting! Sol Lang glanced at Zhu Fanyu in disgust, go, take me to other VIP training rooms. A corrupt person like Zhu Fanyu was the person Sol Lang hated the most, and he had killed the most in his previous life. If it hadn't been for Yin Zhou that he had promised to give Sol Lang the gold coin spirit stone before, and he was in a good mood, he would have drawn his sword at this time. It is good. The young woman nodded tremblingly, and was about to take Sol Lang away quickly. Disgusting? Stop it! That Zhu Fanyu roared menacingly, if I disturb me, I want to leave. How can there be such a good thing? You immediately kneel down and apologize to me. Dare you tell me to kneel down? Sol Lang's eyes were cold, and he stared at Zhu Fanyu closely. Guru. Zhu Fanyu only felt that a cold knife was slashing across his skin, and his scalp was numb, and he couldn't help swallowing saliva. Humph, because you should be a guest of Yin Tso, I will spare you once. Sol Lang spoke coldly, his emotionless voice seemed to come from hell. After speaking, Sol Lang turned and left with the young woman. Zhu Fanyu came back, suddenly became angry. He was actually frightened by a quasi-martial master just now. You know that he is a junior martial artist, and the young president of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. He has never been the only one to intimidate others. When has he been intimidated by others? When did he endure such a shameful shame? Smuggle. Why don't you stop me? Zhu Fanya was so angry that Kikiao made smoke, and shouted with a grudge on his face. You sure? So Lang paused, and a murderous aura gradually spread. He only killed Yefiazang not long ago, and also slaughtered many fierce beasts. This murderous aura spread out, and the surroundings instantly became cold, and the young woman standing beside So Lang even had the illusion of a sea of blood. Ah! The young woman couldn't help screaming and ran away quickly. On the other side, Zhu Fanyu also had a sudden heart, and his pupils shrank suddenly. He knew that the hands of the young man in front of him had definitely been contaminated with the lives of many people. However, as the young president of the Chamber of Commerce of the Four Seas, Zhu Fanyu, who is high above him, is not convinced. Isn't he a quasi-martial master? What can I do if I kill too many? I can kill tens of thousands of body-tempering realms. Thinking of this, Zhu Fanyu's face gradually showed a sneer. He raised his nostrils and looked at Sol Lang disdainfully, Xiao Xie, don't think I'm afraid of you if I kill a few people. I tell you, if you don't kneel down for me, I will kill you. Want to kill me? Sol Lang smiled without anger, you can try. You won't cry without seeing the coffin. Let you try my tricks today. Zhu Fanyu yelled angrily and rushed up like crazy. He was so fast that he rushed behind Sol Lang in the blink of an eye. I am killing you. Zhu Fanyu looked fierce, punched out, and slammed Sol Lang's neck. He has only one thought now, and that is to beat the choppy in front of him to death, a shame. Seeing that his fist was getting closer and closer to Sol Lang's neck, Zhu Fanyu couldn't help showing a hint of revenge on his face. However, what happened next made him horrified. Boom! A low muffled sound rang. Zhu Fanyu's fist was easily squeezed by Sol Lang. 
what? Zhu Fanya's pupils shrank suddenly and shouted in disbelief. He really didn't believe that his full blow would be blocked by a quasi-martial master so lightly. It's impossible, die for me. Zhu Fanya's face was grim, and he gritted his teeth and punched again. I can't help myself. The corner of Solang's mouth twitched, and he calmly raised his other hand. Boom! Without any suspense, Zhu Fanyu's fist was once again easily squeezed by Sol Lang. No. I must have sucked a lot of poppies and hallucinations. Zhu Fanyu was dumbfounded, with a demented expression on his face, you are just a martial artist, how could you take my fist so easily? I am a martial artist. Hey, is the martial artist very strong? Sol Lang sneered disdainfully, in my eyes it's just a waste. You are the trash. Your whole family is trash. Zhu Fanyu cursed in embarrassment, small, I order you to let go of my fist immediately, otherwise I want you to look good. Oh, it's all like this, you want me to look good, where are you confident? Solang raised his brows, and immediately lost all his patience, I have given you a chance. Since you don't cherish it, don't blame me for being merciless. As soon as this remark came out, Zhu Fanya was immediately terrified and felt bad. But when he wanted to ask for mercy, it was too late. Solang smiled coldly, his hands twisted and twisted. Hearing only two painful fracture sounds, Zhu Fanya's two arms instantly turned into twists. Ah! My hand! The severe pain swept through, Zhu Fanya's face was distorted, and he screamed like a pig. Humph! Solang hummed lightly and kicked it out. Zhu Fanyu screamed and flew out, and directly knocked a wall out of a cobweb-like crack. Puff! Zhu Fanyu spit out a dazzling blood, sliding down the wall like a dead pig. Such a shocking scene directly stunned the couple in the training room. They couldn't imagine that a guy who was obviously only a quasi-martial master could easily defeat a junior warrior. They also never expected that the quasi martial master would dare to deal with the noble young president of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. Immediately after, the men and women in the training room recovered and rushed to Zhu Fanyu's side. Young president, are you all right? The two of them fed Zhu Fanyu the pill with horror, and their faces were full of fear and anxiety. If Zhu Fanyu had something to do, the two of them would definitely die. Puff. Zhu Fanyu spit out a mouthful of blood again, and then roared with splitting eyes, Leave me alone, catch him. I am going to cut off his XX, cut off his limbs, and I want him to live the rest of his life as bad as death. Yes. I must catch that crap. The man nodded fiercely, then rushed towards Solang like crazy. This man is an intermediate martial artist and he thinks that dealing with a more powerful quasi-martial master is completely out of the question. Fate. The fierce man rushed to Solang and slapped Solang on his chest. However, Solang slapped his face faster. Snapped. The loud slap in the face almost came from the Union building. The fierce man's head rotated three times, and then fell to the ground with a thump, breathless. What? Seeing that the intermediate martial artist was slapped with a slap on her neck, the woman was so frightened that she trembled. Immediately afterwards, she ran away regardless of her. Immediately, on the 106th floor of the huge Union building, there were only two living people, So Lang and Zhu Fanyu. Afraid? Regret? So Lang's icy voice came, as if to freeze the entire Alliance building. You, 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 don't mess around. One of Zhu Fanyuman's spirits screamed, I am the young president of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, and our Chamber of Commerce has a prospective military commander. If you kill me, you will die too, even Yin Zhou will definitely not be able to keep you. Associate military commander? So what? A cruel smile was outlined at the corner of So Lang's mouth, I have always had a grudge and will be avenged. Do you dare to kill me, even if the real military commander comes, you won't be able to protect you. Before you said that you would cut off my XX and cut off my limbs. 
I think this way of revenge is very good, that's it. As he said, with a flick of his thumb, the sword light suddenly appeared, which was chilling. No, you can't treat me like that. Put down the sword, all this is a misunderstanding. Zhu Fanyu looked terrified, trembling all over, and his voice ran out of panic. He never expected that the other party would completely ignore the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. Misunderstanding? I don't think so. So Lang's face was cold, and he walked towards Zhu Fanyu with a murderous look. The sound of footsteps echoed in the quiet corridor, like a series of urging bells. I was wrong, I was wrong. Please go around me, I will never dare any more, I must be grateful for Dade. In the face of the horror of torture and death, Zhu Fanyu was so scared that he no longer had the arrogant and domineering appearance before. The opportunity was given to you, isn't it too late to beg for mercy now? So Lang looked at Zhu Fanyu with a sneer, and was about to cut it down with a sword. At this time, Zhu Fanyu, Yin Zhou's figure appeared at the entrance of the corridor, with a trace of astonishment on his face. Yin Zhou guards. Yin Zhou guards, save me, save me. When Zhu Fanyu saw Yin Zhou's eyes widened, he shouted out of joy, look at what your lawless subordinate has beaten me into. He wants to kill me, but fortunately you came in time, or I would have been killed by him. Yin Zhou glanced at Zhu Fanyu coldly and walked towards So Lang. Haha, <laughs> Yin Zhou guards, grab that little crap. Be sure to hand over his limbs to me. I want to avenge myself. I want him to die. Zhu Fanya was just as pleasantly surprised and didn't notice Yin Zhou's expression at all. He thought that Yin Zhou was going to capture So Lang, so he shouted with excitement. While shouting, his face still showed a cruel grin and the excitement of revenge. In Zhu Fanya's eyes, Yin Zhou, the strongest of Red Maple City, had already shot, and that little quasi-martial master would definitely be caught. At this time, in his mind, there was even a cruel picture of himself humiliating and torturing So Lang. But at this moment, Master So Lang, I'm extremely sorry. Yin Zhou bowed fiercely, with a deep respect and apology on his face, it was my negligence that offended you. I didn't expect Zhu Fanyu to be in the training room number one. I will drive Zhu Fanyu and the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce out of Red Maple City now. Although the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce and the Red Maple City Alliance branch have many interests involved. But from Yin Zhou's point of view, how can a quasi-martial skilled Chamber of Commerce in the Four Seas be comparable to the future Lord Wu of So Lang? What's more, So Lang just turned the tide and saved the entire Red Maple City. It's impossible. This scene fell in Zhu Fanyu's eyes, and he suddenly thundered and his face was dull. This is so different from what he thought. Shouldn't Yin Zhou slap in the face, the little knelt immediately begging for mercy? How could this be? How could Yin Zhou guards be so respectful to a little quasi-martial master, and still verbally call Lord So Lang? Could it be that the status of this quasi-martial master named So Lang is higher than him? Thinking of this, Zhu Fanyu was shocked. He became more determined about his ideas. Then So Lang must have a more noble status, so he can be so confident. Because of this, Yin Zhou would not hesitate to offend him and the Sahai Chamber of Commerce, but also to please each other. Then, a force stronger than the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, doesn't it have a real military commander? Thinking of this, Zhu Fanyu's heart was almost broken and overwhelmed. The fire of revenge that had risen before was completely extinguished by the cold water, and a strong sense of fear and despair grew wildly. At this time, So Lang said indifferently, Get out of Red Maple City? This is too cheap for him. He dared to kill me, I wouldn't let him go so easily. Yes. Yin Zhou looked down respectfully, Master So Lang decides everything. Yin Zhou didn't even think about it, and immediately expressed his attitude. No, So Lang, Master So Lang. Please forgive me. I don't know Taishan, I shouldn't provoke you, I really know I was wrong. Guard Yin So, please help me plead, please Lord So Lang not to kill me. 
Zhu Fanya was completely overwhelmed by fear and despair. He kept knocking his head on the ground, mixing his blood, tears, nose and nose, which was disgusting. Of course I won't kill you. Don't you want me to die? Then I will let you die. A cruel sneer appeared at the corner of Solang's mouth, and he cut it down with a sword. The sharp sword light flashed, and Zhu Fanya's thigh was directly separated from his body. The next moment, a large amount of blood spurted from the fractured thigh of Zhu Fanyu, and instantly gathered into a pool of blood on the ground. <laughs> My legs! Zhu Fanyu let out a scream, struggling constantly on the ground like a severed earthworm, desperate to live. Swish! So Lang's expression was indifferent, and he cut three swords in a row again. Zhu Fanyu felt a sudden cold in his arms and one leg and a terrifying pain instantly swept through his body, causing him to start twitching constantly. At this time, the last sword light flashed. Hey! Zhu Fanyu crouched chicken decisively. He opened his mouth wide as if suffocated, and he couldn't even make a sound. Let's go, Yin Zhou guards! So Lang glanced at Zhu Fanyu faintly, then turned and left. Yes! Yin Zhou nodded and quickly followed. In a blink of an eye, only Zhu Fanyu who became a stick was left in place. Ho ho! Zhu Fanyu's face is distorted, cold sweat is violent, and he unconsciously makes a ho sound. It's okay to be an ordinary person and die directly, but the powerful physique of the martial artist level makes him unable to die. This is really not to survive, not to die. At this time, a frightened woman appeared next to Zhu Fanyu, who was not as good as dead. This person is the woman who was in the VIP Reiki training room before. Young, young president. The woman looked at the horrible scene in disbelief, her brain was blank. She really couldn't imagine that Zhu Fanyu had been cut into a club, and it was still in the presence of Yin Zhou. What kind of identity is that person? After a while of horror, the woman tremblingly picked up Zhu Fanyu's limbs, and then quickly left with Zhu Fanyu. On the other side, So Lang and Yin Zhou sat opposite each other in a training room. Master So Lang, I'm so sorry. Yin Zhou's face still had a deep apology. It's okay, I'm not angry anymore. So Lang smiled slightly, if the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce comes to the door, just call me. Haha. <laughs> It's fine if they don't come to the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, if they dare to come. Yin Zhou laughed and said, with Master So Lang, even if they are tied together by the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, they are definitely not opponents. Okay. So Lang nodded and asked, by the way, has the wave of fierce beasts completely dissipated? It's still finishing, Yu Feng and Bao are coordinating the overall situation. Yin Zhou smiled and said, I heard that Zhu Fanyu offended Master So Lang, so I rushed over, and brought these by the way. As he said, he stretched out his hand and brushed it across the table, and suddenly a thick stack of exercises appeared. Fuck, Yin Zhou, did you bring all the exercises in that shop? So Lang was surprised, how much combat power can so many exercises increase? I don't know which Master So Lang likes, so I brought the better ones. Yin Zhou chuckled, I, Yu Feng, and Bao Zheng also practiced high-level exercises in it. Yin Zhou, you're so caring. So Lang's eyes gleamed, I want all of these techniques. Uh. Lord So Lang, are you sure you want them all? Yin Zhou's face was full of surprise, there are many conflicting exercises in it, and they can't be practiced at the same time. Haha, <laughs> you are right. So Lang smiled happily, but you don't have to worry about this, I know it in my heart. Others must be extremely cautious about the number, type and attributes of the exercises. Otherwise, if you are not careful, you will get into trouble or even destroy your foundation and cut off the way of martial arts. But So Lang is different. He has the melting furnace ability, so he can practice and compatible with any technique. Yin Zhou smiled dumbly. Since Master So Lang said so, I won't say more. Yeah, go ahead, 
let me see these exercises first. Solang waved his hand and said, at this time his attention had been completely attracted by the exercises on the table. Okay, Master Solang watch it slowly, I'll leave first. Yin Zhou smiled and stood up, leaving wisely. The door was closed, and silence was restored in the training room. Tisk tusk 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 tusk. Solang was so excited that he continued to chuckle, and soon he separated the thick stack of exercises and counted them carefully. Not long after, exciting results of the inventory came out. In this pile of exercises, there are totally six advanced exercises, twelve intermediate exercises, and eighteen primary exercises. In total, there are 36 exercises. At this time, So Lang picked up a exercise with a face full of surprise. The whole body of this exercise is white, it is the treasure of the Alliance Exercise Shop, the high-level attribute exercise blowing snow without mark worth 5 million gold coins. Hey hey! So Lang was so excited that he couldn't help but let out a low laugh. Immediately afterwards, with deep anticipation, he opened the bugs you will hand to, and immediately a dense cloud of mysterious writings and pictures appeared before his eyes. It deserves to be an advanced attribute technique. So Lang smiled, then read it carefully. Soon he read through the entire exercise, and then directly replaced the tyrant armor bodybuilding art. Ding! Bajia body forging art has been replaced with Fugs you will hand figure. The system prompt came that the second martial arts villain in the mysterious black space moved and floated in the air. Pieces of snowflakes fell out of thin air and enveloped it. Tisk tusk, this forces the GE to be higher than the thunder and lightning. So Lang was excited, and immediately picked up a black exercise book. This technique is called Seven Stars Hidden Killing Blade, and it is a high-level assassination technique most suitable for killers. This is for me to go back to my old job. So Lang grinned, read it through, and then replaced Lei Gang's true art. In the mysterious black space, the first martial arts villain had an illusory short blade in his hand. It kept making various difficult poses, and So Lang kept his eyes on it. Two minutes later. Ding! Seven Stars Hidden Killing Blade has reached the entry level. So Lang only felt a warm current coming from all over his body, and his limbs instantly became more agile and his strength greatly increased. Soon he couldn't help but glanced at the attribute panel, and found that the attack level and body skill level had increased to a small level at the same time. It took two minutes to improve the combat power of a small military commander level realm. If this is said, I am afraid that the ghost will not believe it. However, such a thing happened to Solang literally. Cool. That's cool, ha 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 ha. Solang laughed, his excited eyes fell on the other exercises. Soon, about ten minutes passed. Solang read all the remaining thirty-four exercises, and once again practiced the six exercises to the entry level. However, even after so long, the bubbling snow without mark still hasn't reached the entry level. It seems that the difficulty of practicing this advanced attribute technique is really going to heaven. So Lang raised his eyebrows in surprise, fortunately, I have a key practice function, just sit and wait. Otherwise, if you are forced to practice the exercises yourself like ordinary warriors, it will take most of your life just to get started. With a hint of luck, So Lang continued to practice other exercises while waiting for the introduction of Chugs Yuwohentu. In a blink of an eye, another ten minutes later, the system prompt finally came. Ding! Fugs Yuwohentu has reached the entry level. So Lang, who was sitting on the sofa, was taken aback for a moment, his eyes bursting with astonishing light. Finally got started. So Lang stood up with excitement. Immediately, he stretched out his hand and waved it gently, and nine exquisite snowflakes appeared out of thin air. After the snowflakes appeared, the walls of the entire training room were immediately covered with hoarfrost. Immediately afterwards, 81 ice blue snowflakes condensed around the nine crystal snowflakes. 
and tens of thousands of white snowflakes quickly condensed around these ice-blue snowflakes. Suddenly, countless snowflakes swirled and danced in mid-air, beautiful. However, these seemingly harmless snowflakes carry terrifying icy power. The crystal-clear snowflakes are the most terrifying, followed by ice-blue, and white again. So Lang thought, a piece of white snowflakes burst open, and a burst of bone-chilling chill instantly enveloped the entire training room. This degree of cold power can definitely freeze to death an official martial artist within three seconds. So Lang smiled, and immediately made a look, and an ice-blue snowflake exploded. A more powerful force of icy cold swept away, instantly freezing the entire training room. This kind of icy power, the martial artist level touch will kill you. Even junior and intermediate generals can't resist, and only senior generals can barely resist. So Lang nodded in satisfaction, and immediately stretched out his hand, holding a crystal clear snowflake in his palm. He could feel the creepy icy power in the crystal snow. Once attacked by this piece of snowflakes, the military commander level martial artist will definitely be killed instantly, and even the junior military commander may not be able to resist it. Burst. So Lang gave an order, and the crystal snowflakes in his hand exploded instantly, and a terrifying cold current burst out violently. The entire training room formed a thick layer of ice in an instant. In addition, the power of ice cold passed through the walls forcibly, freezing all the surrounding VIP training rooms and corridors. In less than five seconds, the entire floor where Solang was located turned into ice and snow. And this is not an ordinary icy world, even if the generals step in, they will turn into ice sculptures and gradually freeze to death. Fortunately, Yin Zhou is gone. There is only Solang on the 106th floor, otherwise I don't know how many people will die in Solang's thoughts. Too awesome, too awesome. And this is just an entry-level Baixiu Wuhan map. So Lang couldn't help his eyes widening. A technique with a primary attribute like Lei Si Zhenju is simply not worthy of shoes. At this time, So Lang thought of the Qingli and dragon patterned fire that was refining. After refining with this different fire, it is equivalent to mastering a high-level attribute technique with a perfect level. The entry-level high-level attribute exercises are so abnormal, how bad is it for the consummation level? Once the Qingli and Dragon pattern fire is refined, I can kill an ordinary military commander with a snap of my fingers, and I don't need to swallow the clone. Thinking of this, So Lang couldn't help but show excitement, and breathed in cold air. Before, he also killed the crystal-scale green snake who was comparable to a martial artist, but that was all his cards. In addition to the attack level of the crystal scale green snake, the other three dimensional attributes are only high level generals, and there are too many and obvious weaknesses. Otherwise, So Lang really wouldn't be so easy to kill the crystal scale blue snake. Hey, Ching Li and Dragon Pattern Fire. I'm really looking forward to it. So Lang couldn't help rubbing his hands, and then continued to practice other exercises. Time passed, and an afternoon passed in a blink of an eye. At this time, So Lang had already practiced all the newly obtained exercises to the entry level. However, in the process he found a problem. That is when his combat power gets stronger and stronger, the primary exercises gradually lose their effect. Among the dozens of primary exercises, only six or seven of the mixed attribute exercises can increase combat power. Moreover, the combat power of intermediate exercises is not as high as imagined. Only advanced exercises can directly improve a small realm. Of course, even so, So Lang's true combat power has soared to a staggering level. Feeling the enormous power in his body, he immediately called out the attribute panel. But at this moment, another system prompt sounded. Ding! The sea of repair is full. Do you break through? Ha 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 ha, it's really good again and again. So Lang looked up to the sky and laughed, and immediately chose to break through. In an instant, the strong spiritual energy in the training room was like a black hole, swallowed frantically by So Lang's body. In the blink of an eye, 
the concentration of aura in the entire training room dropped a lot. Fortunately, this is the VIP training room, and the aura supplement channels immediately pumped in a large amount of aura. But even so, the speed of aura replenishment was about the same as the speed that Solang swallowed. The vast aura of smoke poured into Solang's body, while nourishing his flesh and blood, while flowing along the meridian to the aura cyclone at the Danshan. Propelled by a huge amount of spiritual energy, Solang's spiritual energy cyclone grew rapidly, covering the entire Danshan in a short time. At this point, the breakthrough stopped. The realm of a junior martial artist. A hint of excitement flashed in Solang's eyes. Regardless of the real combat power, the cultivation realm is the most basic and most important. Therefore, breaking into the realm of martial arts also made him very happy. After a while of excitement, Solang called out the attribute panel. Solang. Human. Turbidity. Junior Warrior. Intermediate Martial Commander Plus. Peak General Plus. Junior Martial Commander Plus. Pinnacle General Plus. Mastering Techniques, Boundless Heart Sutra, Blowing Snow Without Marks, Seven Star Hidden Killing Blade, Kasha Dragon Sword, Streaming Invisible Flash, Profound Body Unmoving Scroll, Breath of Mountain, Chasing Soul. One Key Training Function, One Key Martial Arts Function, Clone Dispatch Function, One Key Treasure Hunting Function. The Real Military Commander Level. Almost all of them have crossed a whole realm. Ha 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 ha. Although Solang had known that his combat power would skyrocket wildly, he couldn't help but laugh when he saw the detailed attribute panel. Immediately afterwards, Solang asked about the next breakthrough time of the system and the time for various exercises to reach the Xiaocheng level. Ding! You can be promoted to an intermediate martial artist in just 12 hours. Ding! Fuxiu Wohento can be promoted to Xiaocheng in just 25 days. Ding! Seven Stars Hidden Killing Blade can be promoted to Xiaocheng in just 3 days. Ding! Hey! It takes 25 days. Well, who made you an advanced attribute technique? It's really cool that the Cultivation Realm can be promoted again in just 12 hours. However, this is also assisted by the power of the pill which shortens a lot of time, otherwise I am afraid it will take a whole day to be promoted to an intermediate martial artist. While thinking about it, So Lang checked the reserves of pill in the storage space. There are so few tier 5.6 cultivation pills. So Lang discovered that there were only 4 or 5 pills that could increase the speed of cultivation. Other medicinal pills are mixed pill for healing or other effects. Oh. Solang reluctantly smashed his mouth, if only I had countless pills to eat. But he also knew it was very, very difficult. Among the warriors in the world, there is also ample pill that alchemists can use. But the conditions for becoming an alchemist are too harsh. The realm of the first cultivation base can't be lowered, the lowest level Dantu must be an official martial artist. Second, you need to master the fire attribute technique which will wipe out most of the martial artists. The third is the talent that needs to be used in alchemy. If it is a stone, it is impossible to become an alchemist. Fourth, there must be a master to teach it by hand, and at the last time, there must be an alchemist inheritance for self-study. Fifth, learning alchemy requires a lot of materials, and ordinary warriors simply don't want to bear it. In short, it is super difficult to become an alchemist. Moreover, even an alchemist can't have countless pills to eat, after all, alchemy materials are expensive and vomiting blood. Hey, the more you go back, the more expensive the pill will be. It seems that you won't have to take it in the future. Solang sighed again. Even though he can earn hundreds of thousands of gold coins every day, upgrading the system functions is not enough. Moreover, each of the 8th Nineth Order pill is sold for millions, which is simply not expensive. As for grabbing? Solang is not so unprincipled. He can't do this kind of robbery without grievances and grudges. Suddenly. Ding. Host, 
as long as you upgrade all system functions to level 7 at the same time, you will be able to obtain the activation permission for the one key alchemy function. What? The system prompt surprised Solang. Immediately afterwards, Solang came back to his senses, his eyes widened suddenly. One key alchemy function. Lie noisy, one key alchemy. It's awesome to think about it. Once activated, I can have countless pills. I'm a good boy, these pill can not only be eaten, but also sold, a nine level pill is several million gold coins. As soon as he thinks of the benefits of the new features, So Lang's eyes are filled with amazing excitement. However, he quickly calmed down. After all, the four functions are still hovering at levels 5 and 6, and it takes 240 million gold coins to upgrade to level 7. This is a conversion of the lower grade spirit stones, and it is also 2.4 million lower grade spirit stones. This is definitely a terrifying astronomical number. Such a huge consumption, I am afraid that the entire Red Maple City stronghold cannot support it. Solang thought, in this way. I must leave Red Maple City and go to a bigger stronghold, so, where do I go? While Solang was thinking, a panic shout suddenly came from outside. Master Solang! Master Solang! Hey? It's Yin Zhou and Yu Feng. Didn't Yin Zhou just walked for a while, why are you back? Solang was puzzled, and suddenly understood something. He smirked and waved his big hand to dissipate the ice-cold power of the entire building. Soon, the three of Yin Zhou appeared in front of Solang with incredulous faces. Master Solang, did you freeze the 106th floor of the Union Building? Master Solang, don't you know that you have already started the practice of Chugs Yuwohentu? Oh my god, isn't this true? We have studied for decades, and we don't even have a clue. Seeing So Lang, the Yin Zhou trio immediately asked the question they were holding in their hearts. Before they received a report that the Alliance building was frozen and the sky was snowing, they thought it was fake. With the assurance that their subordinates' chests would be broken, they drove back to the Alliance building in doubt. Then they saw an extremely shocking scene. The Union building is actually snowing, and countless warriors are watching. Immediately after they entered the Union building to the 106th floor, they couldn't bear it and almost froze to death. Soon, there was the scene where they called So Lang. After asking the question, the three of them stared and waited for So Lang's answer. In fact, they knew it in their hearts, but they seemed to want So Lang's exact answer. Yes, you are right. So Lang smiled slightly, I have practiced pigs you will hand to. Wow. The Yin Zhou trio were shocked with dementia. At this time, they looked at So Lang with even more admiration and awe. Don't be surprised, let me ask you a question. So Lang waved his hand with a smile, and immediately asked, Do you know which strongholds have unusual fires? The kind that no one refines. Refining supernatural fire can greatly increase combat power, so So Lang, who decided to leave Red Maple City, plans to find a place with unusual fire. Different fire? Yin Zhou asked in surprise, Master Solang wants to refine the alien fire? That is a very dangerous thing. Yu Feng and Bao Zhang also looked surprised. Although they knew that Solang's talent was abnormal, and his savvy was also abnormal, but Yu Huo didn't buy it. From ancient times to the present, I don't know how many Tian Jiao figures died in the process of refining and refining the fire. However, they never thought that So Lang had already captured the green lotus dragon pattern fire of the crystal scale green snake, and in a long time, he would be able to refine it easily. Master So Lang, don't forget it. Yu Feng said with some worry, if you go on like this, you will be able to achieve King Wu steadily. Thank you for your concern but I know it in my heart. So Lang smiled faintly, as long as you know where there is a strange fire, just say it. This. The three Yin Zhou looked at each other, and then nodded. Master So Lang. Yin Zhou said solemnly, we do know that there is a kind of yellow level different fire, and its name is Swan Yun Jing Yue Huo. 
It is said that this kind of alien fire does not have any offensive ability, but it possesses other extraordinary abilities. However, Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo's refining difficulty is more difficult than other yellow level alien fires. As for its location, it's just a coincidence, it happens to be in the headquarters of the Chamber of Commerce in the Four Seas Nanlin City. After a pause, Yin Zhou continued, When I first entered a military commander, I traveled to Nanlin City. By chance, I saw a martial commander level powerhouse trying to refine Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo. As a result, that powerful warrior was quickly wiped out by the ashes of the different fire, and I ran away in horror. Later, I became the guard of the Red Maple City Alliance branch, and I went to Nanlin City several times with Yu Feng and the others. The strange fire is still in place, but we don't have the courage to refine it. Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo? It sounds very high end. So Lang looked surprised, you can tell me the route. I am going to Nanlin City now. Although the young president of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce has just been cut to an adult, he has already offended the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. But for the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, So Lang simply dismissed it. It was just a Chamber of Commerce that didn't even have a military commander. Therefore, even if Nanlin City is equivalent to the old nest of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, So Lang has no scruples at all. Hey? So fast. Although the Yinzo trio knew that Red Maple City would definitely not be able to hold the big dragon like So Lang, they never expected that So Lang would leave if he said. I have decided. So Lang smiled faintly. Refining the yellow level different fire is equivalent to directly mastering a high level attribute technique. Can this matter? Okay. Yinzo reluctantly took out a map. This shows the specific location of Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo. If Master So Lang sets off now, I will immediately arrange an airship to Nanlin City for you. Go now. So Lang smiled and accepted the map, let's go. An hour later, an aura car appeared at the Red Maple City Airport. Master So Lang, this is a little bit of our care. Yin Zhou respectfully handed a spiritual stone bag, please accept it. Thank you. So Lang unceremoniously accepted the spirit stone bag, then there will be a period later, you don't have to send it. Immediately, as the three of Yinzo watched, So Lang stepped onto the 100 meter long Linky Aviation airship through the dedicated passage. With Yin Zhou's arrangement, So Lang's location is naturally not crowded ordinary seats, but luxurious independent rooms. At this moment, So Lang was walking graciously to his room. At this time, another group of people came in the corridor behind. The group was crowded with a mobile hospital bed on which was lying a man covered in bandages. This person is Zhu Fanyu. It can be seen that Zhu Fanyu's limbs have been reattached after timely treatment. Of course, it is difficult to use it as easy as before. At this time, the woman who rescued Zhu Fanyu recognized So Lang's back. It's the one who cut the young president into an adult. Um. The woman's face was instantly desolate, and she immediately covered her mouth in horror. What? It's him. Why is he here? Could it be that he wants to go to Nanlin City? The pupils of the rest of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce suddenly shrank, and their faces were instantly filled with fear and resentment. Hey? Bad taste. So Lang felt the strange gaze behind him, frowned and turned around. When he turned around, everyone in the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce trembled and immediately shut up. Hey? See you again so soon. The corner of So Lang's mouth twitched, revealing a wicked and cruel smile. The people of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce felt their horror when they saw this smile. You, what's the matter? At this moment, Zhu Fanyu asked in a daze, Why are you not leaving? But there was no sound in the hallway. Everything was silent, no one answered his words. What the hell? Zhu Fanyu was unsure, forcibly raised his head to look, and immediately met So Lang's eyes. Immediately. Ah. Don't. Zhu Fanyu went stiff, rolled his eyes and fainted directly. Young President. Are you okay? 
Young President, how are you, you can't do anything. People from the surrounding Four Seas Chamber of Commerce immediately panicked and circled around Zhu Fanyu. If this is dead, they will all have to be buried. Tisk tut, trash. Solang curled his lips in disdain, then turned and left. Everyone in the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce saw Solang leaving, and suddenly heaved a sigh of relief. Enter the room. Solang went to the big bed comfortably, and immediately took out the Lingxi bag presented by Yin Zhou. After opening the bag, twenty dazzling high-grade spirit stone bones rolled out. A spirit stone worth twenty million gold coins. Solang was pleasantly surprised. He originally thought Yin Zhou would give away ten million, but he didn't expect it to be twenty million. Yin Zhou guarding is really interesting. Solang laughed, and soon stored all the spirit stones in the system. In the mysterious black space, the balance of gold coins soared like a rocket. In the end, the number stopped at the horrible eight-digit number 21.83 million. System, upgrade me one key practice and one key practice functions. Without thinking about it, Solang immediately chose to upgrade the two most basic and important functions. Ding! The amount of funds currently consumed to upgrade the system is too large, and the current unit gold coins have been replaced with low-grade spirit stones. Ding! Consuming 100,000 lower-grade spirit stones, the one key training function is upgraded to level 7, and the training speed is increased to 128 times the basic speed. Ding! Consuming 100,000 lower-grade spirit stones, the one key martial arts function is increased to level 7, and the training speed is increased to 64 times the basic speed. The cultivation speed has doubled again, refreshing. Solang stretched happily before falling asleep slowly. In a short period of time, he killed Yefiazang and the crystal scale green snake again, and he had practiced so many techniques with hard work. Tired. Just when Solang was resting, in another luxurious cabin. Ah! Don't cut me xx! Zhu Fanyu woke up suddenly with a shock. He had a dream, a big nightmare. He dreamed that Solang walked slowly from the other side of the corridor with a cruel smile, and cut his limbs again. Young President, are you awake? Young President, it's okay, it's okay, that demon is gone. The surrounding members of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce were taken aback, and immediately rushed to comfort Zhu Fanyu. Gone? He is gone? A dream? Great, a dream. Zhu Fanyu, who was still in shock, let out a sigh of relief, and then a monstrous hatred appeared in his eyes. Solang Miscellaneous. How dare to go to my sight swayingly, you are dead, you are dead. I must catch you alive and cut off your limbs, and then keep you in a cage, picking your skin, drinking your blood, and eating your meat every day. Most of the day passed in an instant. Solang once again made a breakthrough in his cultivation realm, reaching the realm of an intermediate martial artist. At this point, he is viewing his property panel. Solang. Human. Turbidity. Intermediate martial artist. Senior Military Commander Quasi-Martial Artist Plus Intermediate Military Commander Quasi-Martial Officer Plus Boundless Heart Sutra, Blowing Snow Without Mark, Seven Star Hidden Killing Blade, Kasha Dragon Sword Invisible Flash of Streamer, Immortal Body Scroll, Breath of Mountain, Chasing Soul One Key Practice Function, One Key Martial Arts Function Clone Dispatch Function, One Key Treasure Hunt Function. This breakthrough only increased the overall real combat power by half a small level. Solang frowned and thought, it seems that as the level gets higher and higher, the elementary exercises become more and more useless. The combat power level that used to be improved by the elementary skills has also disappeared. Also, to improve the combat power of the Martial Commander level, how can the lowest and low-level techniques be able to do it? Solang was quite satisfied with the dozens of exercises given by Yin Zhou. But now he has a desire for more advanced and new exercises again. Nanlin City, 
I hope you don't let me down. Solang looked into the distance, and a huge city gradually appeared where the world met. This city is more majestic than Red Maple City, and its area alone is almost ten times larger. The airship gradually arrived at Nanlin City and landed in a huge airport. Welcome to Nanlin City. Passengers who have never arrived in Nanlin City are requested to apply for an ID card. Please understand the inconvenience caused. In the pleasant voice broadcast, Solang got off the airship and went directly to the service window for applying for a card. There is no internet in this era, so each city has its own set of management systems. Hello, this is your ID card. The staff handed the card to Solang with a smile on his face. Thank you. Solang nodded with a smile, and then planned to eat a meal first and then go to find Swanyun Jingyuehuo outside the city. But at this moment. Get out of here. The Four Seas Chamber of Commerce will do business. If you don't want to die, just go away, otherwise you will be at your own risk. A group of fierce warriors surrounded Solang fiercely. The people around evaded one after another, and some passers-by who evaded were all roughly pushed away. Noisy, these people are so arrogant. This is the city, why do they want to be so rampant? Oh, don't say it, shut up, they are from the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. If you mess with them, it will be over. Yes, yes, the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce has a very close relationship with the city Lord Qin Hu, and it has a quasi-military commander and many generals. It has something to do with the city lord of Nanlin City. No wonder it is so arrogant. That young martial artist has offended them, he will definitely die miserably. Of course, the people who provoke the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce will eventually disappear from the world. Oh, this young man is miserable, pity his talent is so good, he has cultivated to an intermediate martial artist. After the surrounding passers-by knew the identity of these evil men, they dispersed into the distance in horror. Those who dared to stay to watch the excitement also showed sympathy towards Sol Lang. At this time, several people came over Zhu Fanyu's bed. Young President! All the vicious warriors bowed together. This scene fell in the eyes of passers-by, and suddenly there was an uproar. My God, it turned out to be the young president of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. Like, how can such a noble character look like this? Could it be that young man did it? I'll go, he's too bold, right? Hey! The passers-by were shocked and pointed at Solang in disbelief. Shut up all to me. Our young president is what you can talk about. A junior military commander walked out of the vicious warrior. He roared, and passers-by hurriedly closed their mouths. At this time, Zhu Fanyu's bed stopped three meters away from Solang. So Lang you know what, I have to endure this way so hard. I can't wait to skin you, drink your blood, and eat your meat. Zhu Fanyu sat up from the hospital bed and yelled at So Lang with a grimace. Looking at the enemy in front of him, his endless anger almost erupted from the seven orifices. As for the changes in So Lang's cultivation base, he didn't pay attention to it at all, because the people he brought this time were powerful generals. Tisk tusk, you really forget the pain if the scar is not healed. Solang dismissed him with a smile, could it be that you dislike the excitement of playing with limbs and limbs? Don't be clever. Zhu Fanyu's eyes were blood red and his voice was hoarse, you have to figure it out, this is the site of my Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. Even if you have a big background, now your life is in my hands. If I want you to live, you live. If I want you to die, you have to die. Now you immediately kneel down and kowtow to me, maybe you can still suffer a little bit less. It seems you really haven't had enough lessons. So Lang's eyes narrowed, and a cold murderous aura flashed away. Ha 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 ha. What? In my place, you still want to teach me? Zhu Fanyu looked up to the sky and grinned, gritted his teeth, give it to me. First chop his leg into ten pieces. Yes. Break his leg and avenge the young president. A group of warriors showed excited and cruel smiles, 
and immediately drew out their weapons. For a time, the sword and sword shadows, the forest was cold, scared the passers-by around to rush back again. But a general with a group of martial artists, also wants to touch me. Faced with this little scene, So Lang was calm and relaxed. Small martial artist, take it to death. The junior general was full of pride and slashed at So Lang's left leg. At the same time, other warriors also made moves to block all of So Lang's retreat. A guy who doesn't know what to do, he doesn't even have the qualifications to let me play a sword. A faint disdain appeared at the corner of So Lang's mouth. He immediately raised his right leg and swept out. Boom boom boom. There was a horrible muffled noise, and everyone's hair was upside down. I saw that So Lang's right leg came first, kicked the junior generals fiercely, and immediately kicked all the other warriors away. These flying garbage hit seven or eight of his own people one after another, and finally fell heavily in front of Zhu Fanyu. In the blink of an eye, the ground was full of severe wounds, and the generals and martial artists kicked by So Lang had their eyes violent, and they couldn't squint. Such a thrilling scene instantly made everyone's eyes bursting. The scene that was still a little noisy was suddenly cooled by a hundred degrees, and it was silent. This, how is this possible? Asu is a military commander, how could he be kicked to death by that little crap? Zhu Fanyu's eyes were cracking, and he looked at the body of the junior general with trembling, his face was full of disbelief. The other members of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce are also stunned. Is anyone else going to do it? So Lang looked around coldly, and immediately shouted, Who else? As soon as these three words came out, they swallowed thousands of miles in anger, and hundreds of people in the audience trembled, silent. Are not there. So Lang sneered again and again, and turned his eyes on Zhu Fanyu, then, it's time for me to take action. You, you dare. Zhu Fanyu was panicked and screamed, This is the city, behind me is the Chamber of Commerce of the Four Seas. I said it last time, and the military commander will not be able to protect you. So Lang dismissed Zhu Fanyu's threat at all, smiled coldly, and walked in front of Zhu Fanyu. What? The warriors guarding Zhu Fanyu screamed in horror and fled. So Lang drew his long sword and waved it gently. Hey! With sword light lingering, Zhu Fanyu's limbs that had only been connected yesterday were broken again. And this time, So Lang cut it into hundreds of segments, and promised to never connect it again. What? Zhu Fanyu was horrified and desperate, screaming hysterically, and his voice was worse than killing a pig. This scene made everyone scared and stunned. Those from the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce are even more shocked, urinating frequently, and dare not take a breath. The young president of the dignified Four Seas Chamber of Commerce was actually beaten by someone in the crowd. Too shocking, too horrible. Stop calling. So Lang sneered coldly, we made an appointment before, let you die. Do you not like this result now? If you don't like it, then I will kill you directly. No, don't kill me. Please, I don't want to die. Zhu Fanyu's face was twisted and his tears flowed. He really wanted to escape, but he couldn't move at all while lying there. All the guards around him were scattered, no one dared to rescue him. Despair, Zhu Fanyu is really desperate. Okay, I won't kill you. You just live like this, we will have a period later. So Lang grinned, and immediately put his sword into its sheath and walked out of the crowd. Seeing So Lang coming, the onlookers hurriedly hid next to him in a tidal wave, for fear of avoiding it. Walking out of the crowd, So Lang quickened his pace and hurried to the city gate. Although So Lang didn't fear anyone at all, the main goal of this trip was Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo, and he didn't want to bother about the troubles caused by Luo Li. Five minutes later, So Lang appeared in the tower hall of Nanlin City. Today, his body style level has reached the intermediate military commander, and his second speed has reached a terrifying 200 meters. Therefore, he can cross a full 60 kilometers distance in such a short time. At this time, 
what happened in the airport has just spread. In the core area of Nanlan City, there is an extremely luxurious giant manor. This is the residence of the Zhu family, the controller of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. At this moment, the originally peaceful manor has become turbulent, and the vegetation is full of soldiers. Everyone knows that young chairman Zhu Fanyu kicked the iron plate, not only to lose the soldiers, but also to be cut into a club. And because of this incident, Zhu Xian, the head of the Zhu family, jumped into a thunder and became furious. In order to vent his anger, he forcibly burned the most luxurious building in the manor to the ground. Hateful! How dare I cut my son into a stick in the public! Lawlessness! Lawlessness! Come, hunt down the murderer for me immediately. I want him to kowtow to me and confess in front of everyone in the entire Yanlin city, and then strip him alive. Only in this way can we avenge my son. Can the dignity of my Zhu family be restored? Standing in a ruined wall, Zhu Xian roared madly, his heart-piercing voice echoed throughout the manor. At the same time, the Wahi League Nanlin City branch, Qin Hu, who was guarding the branch and the city lord of Nanlin, was also angry. Cannibalism is strictly prohibited in the city, it is an iron law. This person dares to be so unscrupulous, not to put the iron law in his eyes at all. Furthermore, I knew that the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce had something to do with me. I was arrogant and arrogant. Come on, send someone to visit Chairman Zhu and mobilize people to cooperate with all their actions. Qin Hu roared with a gloomy face, and a strong general immediately took his orders and left. The Zhu family of Nanlin City and the Alliance branch were furious at the same time, causing an uproar immediately. Almost all the people in Nanlin City knew about the airport, and the name of Solang swept everyone's ears like a storm. Tisk tisk, what a lunatic, he dare to kill the people of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, and dare to cut the young leaders of the Chamber of Commerce into adults. Yes, although it was the first move by the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, this person's move was too heavy, and he will definitely die miserably this time. It depends on how long it will take to find this person. I don't expect it to be a long time before news that this person has been arrested and sentenced. Half a day? I see, I'm afraid it won't take an hour. Countless residents of Nanlin City talked about the matter and mocked. In their opinion, So Lang dared to confess the authority of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce and Qin Hu as a swift success, and the final outcome was absolutely terrible. When the storm at the airport spread, So Lang was already outside the city. Yuan Chen Mountain, this direction. So Lang took out the map gifted by Yin Zhou for comparison and immediately found the right direction and hurried towards the destination. Along the way, many fierce beasts rushed up without knowing whether they were alive, and they were all beheaded by So Lang. Finally, an hour later, So Lang saw Yuan Chen Mountain from a distance. Yuan Chen Mountain is a very tall mountain. Its upper part is completely covered with snow, and the lower part is a lush virgin forest. The map donated by Yinzo records that the place where Swanyun Jing Yuehuo is located is in a natural cave between the two. Following the route on the map, So Lang went straight to the cave entrance. No, there is a human breath. Standing at the entrance of the cave, So Lang frowned slightly, could it be, someone got on first. At this moment, a panic sound suddenly came out from inside. Grandma K, I can't suppress it. How could this happen? Didn't you use falling flame stones to suppress it? No, I will be burned to death by it if this continues, let's go. A conversation came, and then two people rushed out of the cave. One of these two is an ordinary old woman, and the other is a 13 or 14 year old girl with cardamom. The girl's white hair is like silk, her lips and her eyes are flowing like a tree, and she is so stunning that she can't move her eyes. It's them, trying to refine Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo. So Lang looked at the attribute panel of these two people, and was shocked. The shameless old woman turned out to be a junior military commander level powerhouse. However, she was seriously injured, and her overall combat power had fallen to the intermediate general level. 
And what shocked So Lang most was the cardamom girl, and So Lang couldn't help but look at her various information. Ji Rugzhu. Wind spirit human race. No shortage. Junior generals. Intermediate general plus. Intermediate generals. Intermediate general. Junior generals. Boundless Heart Sutra, Lotus Leaf Wuyuk Collection, Kyuan Fengwen Sutra, Wind Dance Tegzuju. Fengling Terran. Solang looked surprised, it's actually not a pure human race? The world is so great. And her aptitude is so high, she is only 13 or 14 years old, and she has reached the general level. At this moment, the old and the young also saw Solang, and their expressions changed drastically. They couldn't figure out how, how could a young martial artist appear outside the cave? You must know that Yuan Chen Mountain is the site of a top-level sea and fierce beast. Run away. The alien fire is going to be chased out. Once you are caught in a different fire, you will be wiped out. At this time, Ji Rugzhu recovered and said anxiously to Sol Lang. Young man, run away. Granny K glanced at Sol Lang and also reminded her. Immediately, the two quickly fled towards the distance. It seems that they have failed refining. Seeing this scene, Sol Lang smiled faintly, very well, otherwise, if you want to kill these two well-intentioned people, your conscience will really be difficult. At this moment, Ji Rugzhu and Granny K, who had fled to the distance, found that Sol Lang was still there, and they were speechless for a while. They all reminded that, the other party turned a deaf ear, indifferent. And he is still still laughing. What are you laughing at, run away? Ji Rugzhu turned around and shouted, desperate. Thank you for the reminder, you go and leave me alone. So Lang smiled lightly at Ji Rugzhu and walked slowly towards the cave. What are you doing, are you crazy? There is a strange fire in there. Don't you know what a strange fire is? When Ji Rugzhu saw that So Lang not only refused to listen to dissuasion, but even walked towards the extremely dangerous cave, she burst into tears in a hurry. Miss, leave him alone. Granny K said eagerly, let's run away. Ji Rugzhu's eyes widened and she couldn't bear it, but... He is looking for death by himself, we have dissuaded him. Granny K looked anxious and frightened, if you don't leave... Swan Yun Jing Ye fire will break through the suppression of the Anyan rock. The Swan Yun Jing Ye fire has already contaminated your chi, once it appears, it will chase you endlessly, and it will be over. No. No way. Ji Rugzhu couldn't bear it, and shook her head severely. Although he is a little ignorant, but if he is really dead, it is considered that I implicated him, so I feel uneasy. Uh. Seeing this scene, so Lang was shocked, in this era, there are still such innocent people. In this cruel era, it's good not to push passers-by as a shield in this situation. It's so innocent and cute, it's so rare. At this moment, a violent rumbling sound suddenly came from the cave. This voice reverberated continuously, as if the entire Yuan Chen mountain was roaring. The next moment, like an active volcano erupting, a terrifying white translucent flame burst out from the cave. This is Swan Yun Jing Yue Huo. System, how can it be refined? So Lang looked at the white translucent flames all over the sky, and a burst of excitement burst into his eyes. Host, you can put it in the storage space by directly contacting the different fire for refining. Direct contact, it is really simple. The corner of So Lang's mouth outlines an excited smile. At the same time, looking at the constantly tossing Swan Yun Jing Yue Huo, Ji Rugzhu and Granny K showed a horror on their faces. Falling flame stone, was broken. Granny K was frightened, her voice trembling, Miss, let's run away. No, this happened because of me. If it hadn't been for me to try to refine Swan Yun Jing Yue fire, it wouldn't burst out at all. Too many people have died because of me and I can no longer let an innocent person be implicated. A decisive light flashed in Ji Rugzhu's beautiful eyes, and she turned around and rushed toward the raging flame. No, miss. 
Come back soon. Granny K saw her eyes cracking, and immediately chased after Ji Rukxiu without hesitation. At the same time, she looked at Solang with a hint of hatred. If it hadn't been for this young man who appeared suddenly and did not live or die, her young lady would never return to the dangerous place. This idiot, really bad luck. Granny K looked at Solang with a gloomy expression, cursing in a low voice. This person dares to curse me. Solang felt Granny K's malice, frowned, and a cold murderous intent flashed in his eyes. If it hadn't been for the old lady and the innocent and kind girl to be together, he would have already made a sword. At this moment, the sky full of Swanyun Jingya fire seemed to be drawn by the Chi Rugzhu's body, and instantly rushed over like a tsunami. You run away, I will divert the fire away. Ji Rukxiu shouted at Solang with a pale face. Immediately afterwards, an invisible hurricane erupted from her small body, which engulfed her and flew away. The alien fire was pulled by the Qi machine, and immediately chased it up like a predator. Damn it! Granny K stared at Solang fiercely again, and immediately ran away with Ji Rukxiu. Such a master and servant, I don't know what to say. Seeing the two people's back and the distant flames, So Lang sighed helplessly, then moved his feet and chased after him. In the virgin forest with complex environment, Ji Rukxiu and Granny K kept running away. However, even though Ji Rukxiu's speed far surpasses the junior generals, she still can't escape the pursuit of Swanyun Jing Yuehuo. Even, they are being slowly approached by Swanyun Jing Yuehuo. In a short time, the distance between the two parties has been less than 30 meters. Feeling the terrifying fire energy behind them, both Ji Rukxiu and Granny K were indifferent. It can't go on like this. Granny K said anxiously, Miss, hurry up. As soon as the words fell, she grabbed Ji Rukxiu's arm and her speed soared. In an instant, her speed reached the junior military commander level. However, as a price, the severe injuries that had just been suppressed immediately recurred, causing her to squirt a bit of blood. Grandma K. How are you? Ji Rukxiu's eyes were red and tears flowed. I'm fine. Look at it quickly, have you got rid of Swanyun Jingyu's fire? Granny K's face was as pale as a dead person, at this time she really hated Solang in her heart. Okay. Ji Rukxiu nodded turned around to look, and saw that Swanyun Jing Yuehuo had been thrown away for more than 200 meters, and he was immediately relieved. But just when she wanted to tell Granny K the good news, she suddenly widened her beautiful eyes. Look, Granny K. Ji Rukxiu exclaimed in disbelief, is that the young martial artist before? He actually caught up. What? Did the martial artist catch up before? Granny K frowned and looked back, suddenly stunned. I saw that Solang was following Swanyun Jingye fire, walking on the ground in a complex environment, very fast. And that self-assured look doesn't seem to be strenuous at all. As soon as this remark came out, Granny K suddenly became even more angry. But she knew that she was definitely not Kui Tai's opponent. Once she dies, Ji Rukxiu will no longer rely on it, and will end. Thinking of this, sorrow, pain, anger, and despair gradually grew. Granny K's turbid tears gradually turned red, and finally turned into blood and tears. Grandma K, you go, don't care about me anymore. Ji Rukxiu resisted the headache and pulled Granny K's sleeves sadly. Stupid boy, I will hold him later, you must find a chance to escape. Granny K smiled and shook her head. Her face was very hideous, full of the smell of death. Haha, <laughs> what a moving master and servant feeling. Kui Tai was full of sarcasm, unfortunately none of you can escape today, especially Ji Rukxiu, I must. Ugh. Asai interrupted Kui Tai's words, why do you encounter some psychopaths? Is the psychological pressure of people in this era so much? Who? Kui Tai, Granny K, and Ji Rukxiu were shocked at the same time, and followed their voices. In the next moment, they saw an extremely shocking scene. Hundreds of meters away, 
the sky full of Swanyun Jingye fire suddenly turned into a whirlpool, rushing towards the figure in the middle. The endless flame disappeared as fast as if it had encountered a black hole, and disappeared without a trace in an instant. The vision became clear, and the back of a young man came into view. It's him. It's that young man. Like a thunderbolt, Granny K was full of dementia and lost her voice in amazement. Ji Rukju also had a small face in a daze, completely dazed, she couldn't believe her eyes. Of course Kui Tai was also full of disbelief. He had seen Swanyun Jing Yuehuo a long time ago, and he didn't dare touch this thing, so he simply ignored it. But he never expected that someone could easily swallow Swanyun Jing Yuehuo with a physical body. Moreover, that person only exudes martial arts level aura fluctuations. This is simply a fantasy. You know that Swanyun Jing Yuehuo is absolutely impossible to touch with a physical body. To refining this kind of different fire, it must be separated into a trace of fire by very special means, and then refining it with spiritual power. Even so, it is a very, very dangerous thing. If you are not careful, you will burn your body, and the gods will not be able to save it. But such a powerful and weird Swanyun Jing Yuehuo was actually swallowed by a martial artist. This is as unbelievable as an ordinary person who has no strength crushed a genius with his palm. At this moment, both Kui Tai, Ji Rukju, and Granny K were shocked to doubt life. But at this moment, So Lang twitched the corner of his mouth and slowly turned around. At the same time, Kui Tai's property panel also emerged. Kui Tai Human Vest Junior Martial Commander Intermediate Military Commander Intermediate Military Commander Plus Intermediate Military Commander Junior Martial Commander Plus Boundless Heart Sutra, Giant God Bodybuilding Ju, Zaiwu Xian Ming Gong, Ling Xiao Fuliu Step Sure enough, it's almost as I guessed. The corner of Sol Lang's mouth was Wei Yang. In fact, based on Kui Tai's momentum, he roughly guessed the opponent's combat power. Otherwise, he would not rush into this fight. And while Sol Lang was looking at Kui Tai, Kui Tai was also looking at Sol Lang. You were talking just now. Kui Tai squinted his eyes, and the light of the cold came out of the small eyes. Yes, it's me. Sol Lang smiled faintly. Those things you said before and you are too disgusting, so I will interrupt you. When he was a killer in his previous life, So Lang saw a lot of nasty things, and also killed a lot of psychopaths, rotten and disgusting guys. Humph, how dare you say that I am disgusting, and dare to interrupt me, where are you confident? Kui Tai snorted and said, Could it be that you think that a martial artist in your mere refining Swanyun Jing Yuehuo can deal with me? Of course not. So Lang smiled slightly, Swan Yun Jing Yuehuo I haven't refined yet, let alone that it is not an offensive flame. Hey, you are a little self-aware as a little trash. Kui Tai raised his chin and said arrogantly, now you immediately kneel and kowtow to me, and then break your arm, you can roll. Tisk tusk, it's really arrogant. So Lang sneered disdainfully, you like you, kill you. Just one move. What? As soon as this remark came out, not only Kui Tai, but even Ji Rukju and Granny K were shocked. A little martial artist said that he only needs one move to kill an intermediate military commander. How arrogant is this? It's so crazy. Ha 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 ha. Kui Tai suddenly didn't get angry and smiled, it's interesting, I want to see, how do you kill me with one move? Ha ha. Soon you will realize. The corner of So Lang's mouth outlines a noncommittal sneer, you are really just a weak chicken. The next moment, his heart moved, and a terrifying military commander level aura suddenly burst from him. This is... Wu. Martial commander level. Kui Tai opened his eyes violently as if he had seen a ghost, and lost his voice in horror. Ji Rukju and Granny K were also dumbfounded and instantly turned wood. They were all unbelievable a martial artist level martial artist, unexpectedly possesses the terrifying aura of a martial master level. 
At this time, the horror on Kui Tai's face gradually subsided, and he turned into a sneer again, I didn't expect you to be a military commander with hidden strength. What a pity, even if you are a martial arts level martial artist, I haven't killed a martial artist at the same level. With your kind of combat power, you want to kill me like a chicken, you just laugh off my teeth. Is it? Then let you see how vulnerable you are in front of me. So Lang smiled disdainfully, and with a flick of his thumb, a cloud of deep sword light shot out. Immediately afterwards, he stepped out with a violent wind behind him. Come on, you can beat me back one step, count me as losing. Kui Tai grinned, his body began to swell wildly, reaching a height of four to five meters in an instant. The muscles on his body have also become larger and harder, and each piece is as shiny and textured as granite. Giant Body Forging Tactics Granny K suddenly changed her face when she saw this scene. She was defeated by Kui Tai's move before, and the terrifying defense made it difficult for her to break the defense. At this time, the afterimage of Sol Lang's incarnation arrived in front of Kui Tai in no time. Hidden Kill, Pro Sol Lang thought, Sen Han's sword light appeared directly on Kui Tai's eyebrows as if piercing through space. What? Kui Tai's pupils shrank suddenly, and the pineal gland jumped wildly. He didn't expect Sol Lang to attack so fiercely. In the moment, Kui Tai urged his aura to death, and formed a translucent shield at the center of his eyebrows. This is the unique natural defense ability of the strong in the martial arts realm aura shield armor. Humph, aura shield armor plus my physical defense, unbelief can't stop your blow. Seeing getting closer and getting bigger and bigger, Kui Tai flashed a thought of disdain. And in the next millisecond, Sol Lang's long sword stabbed his aura shield fiercely. Ding! Crack! A gold iron strike that almost pierced the eardrum was accompanied by a faint cracking sound, and Kui Tai was instantly terrified. What? My aura shield shattered directly. How is this possible? Even if my aura shield is a military commander of the same level, it can't be shaken at all. How can it be so vulnerable? Kui Tai was frightened and puzzled, but at the moment of life and death, he could not think too much, and immediately used his last whole card. Giant Overlord Body A violent roar came from Kui Tai's mouth, almost like a thunderstorm. In the next second, a burst of brilliant light appeared on his skin, raising his defense to another level. Boom! Sol Lang's long sword pierced Kui Tai's forehead fiercely, and a loud voice like a bronze bell rushed into the sky. I saw the sword tip of the long sword firmly nailed to Kui Tai's eyebrows, and he couldn't make any progress. Ha 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 ha! Can't break my defense! Kui Tai breathed a sigh of relief and immediately laughed wildly, now, it's my turn. As he said, he squeezed his right hand, and the big fist of the pot hit Sol Lang fiercely. Hey, do you think this is over? Sol Lang turned a blind eye to Kui Tai's iron fist, grinning at the corner of his mouth, blowing the snow without a trace, explode me. At the next moment, nine crystal clear snowflakes appeared on the long sword, which exploded in a sudden. The endless icy power exploded, and Kui Tai, who was the first to bear the brunt, had no time to change and was instantly overwhelmed. Immediately afterwards, under the horrified eyes of Ji Rukju and Granny K, Kui Tai's movements became slower and slower, and his fists were finally frozen in the air. In less than a second, Kui Tai became an ice sculpture. At the same time, all 100 meters in a radius turned into glaciers, and the sky was instantly covered with goose feathers and heavy snow. My God, advanced attribute technique. A stormy sea rose in Granny K's heart, he is so young. Not only has he cultivated to the martial commander level, he has also successfully practiced the advanced attribute exercises. Ji Rukju was also shocked, her aptitude was top-notch, but compared with Sol Lang, she was really nothing. Ding! You get top grade spirit stones 5, top level spirit soldiers 1. The appearance of the system prompt means that Kui Tai has been cut off from life and died. 
the power of nine crystal snowflakes is truly extraordinary. Solang stood in front of Kui Tai, who was turned into an ice sculpture, with a satisfied smile on his mouth. Immediately, he stretched out his finger and tapped lightly, and Kui Tai's huge body suddenly collapsed and turned into powder. Haha, <laughs> it turns out that the most thorough smashed bones come from this way. Looking at Kui Tai, who had no corpse, So Lang laughed, and then walked away while counting his harvest. The harvest this time has Swanyun Jing Yuehuo that is refining. Then there are spirit stones worth more than 5 million in total, and top spirit soldiers, yo, there are also medicines. Tisk Tut, you deserve to be a martial artist, so fat. Seeing the spoils in the storage space, So Lang couldn't help showing a hint of excitement. At this moment, a cautious but urgent voice suddenly came from behind. Big, sir, please stay. Okay. So Lang turned around and looked, only to see that Granny K had fear on her face, and she stopped talking. Looking at Ji Rugzhu again, she lowered her head and looked up at So Lang from time to time, not knowing what she was thinking. Say what's the matter, Harp? Granny K had a bad impression of So Lang so he was not very polite. Grown-ups. Granny K glanced at So Lang in awe, and immediately pulled Ji Rugzhu to kneel on the ground, and said sadly, My lord, please take in my lady. Oh why? So Lang raised his eyebrows in surprise. Presumably you heard what Choi Tai said. Granny K said sadly, My lady is a mixture of Fengling and human races. She was born in the most powerful Ji family in Dongfang City, and she should have had a good life. But because of her blood, she is regarded as a shame to the Ji family and is being ordered by the Ji family to hunt down. Wind Spirit Race What Kui Tai said about invading lives before, does it mean the Feng Ling race? Tell me carefully. So Lang's expression moved, and he looked at Granny K and Ji Rugzhu with some surprise. Yes. Although Granny K was a little surprised that So Lang didn't know the Wind Spirit race, she still said. The Wind Spirit clan broke through the cracks in time and space 2000 years ago and invaded Blue Star's alien life. They are almost identical to humans, but they are more handsome in appearance, and each has snow hair. Their strength is very strong, even the weakest is at the Wuvong level. But precisely because of this, it is very difficult for them to invade Blue Star personally through the cracks in time and space. Therefore, they continuously invested the beasts they raised into Blue Star to consume human strength. More than ten years ago, there was a terrifying wave of beasts in Eastern City. In that battle, a rare Feng Ling clan appeared. At that time, the life of the Feng Ling clan was unstoppable, and the walls of the Eastern City collapsed and were almost destroyed. The main city of Blue Star was able to hold on only after turning the tide. In that battle, Ji Rugzhu's mother disappeared, and she reappeared in Ji's house a year later. That's it. So Lang nodded suddenly. In the battle of the fierce beast tide in Red Maple City, he vaguely felt that there was a black hand behind the scenes, and at this time he finally understood some truth about this world. At this time, Granny K continued. My lady was chased and killed by the family because of her blood. Kui Tai is just one of the chasers, he is dead, and there are other chasers. These chasers all have a tracking secret technique, and can find her based on the young lady's unique hybrid aura. The reason we tried to refine Swan Yun Jing Yue Huo was for its ability to extinguish the breath. Now Swan Yun Jing Yue Fire is subdued by you as long as you use the ability of Swan Yun Jing Yu Fire to obliterate the breath of the young lady, those chasers will lose their target and become headless flies. In that way, the young lady would completely get rid of Ji's chase. My lord, you are the only one who can save the lady. Please show your mercy and take in my lady. At the end, Granny K knocks So Lang three times. The breath is gone. So Lang's expression changed. It turns out that Swan Yun Jing Yu Fire has this effect. Although he reached Swan Yun Jing Yu Fire, he didn't know what wonderful function this strange fire had before he was refined. Immediately, So Lang's gaze turned to Ji Rugzhu. At this moment, 
Ji Rugxia was kneeling beside Granny K. The big tearful eyes gleamed with residual terror, new splendor, and a trace of evasive hope. For this innocent, cute, kind, and pure cardamom girl, So Lang's senses are good. And there are many benefits to accepting Ji Rugxiu. The three advanced exercises on her are pretty good. However, once you decide to take in Ji Rugxiu, it means that you are an enemy of Dong Fangchen's Ji's family. And this is not the most critical thing, and So Lang is not afraid of who he is against. For So Lang, the most important thing is the other two words, fetters. For So Lang, who is used to walking alone, fetters represent restraint, scruples, fatal weakness, and an unbearable memory. My lord. Please. Granny K saw that So Lang hadn't spoken for a long time, and she was panicked. Immediately, she suddenly thought of something, and instantly knocked her head on the ground, My lord, I had no eyes before. I shouldn't curse you. I was wrong, I am willing to die, I am willing to pay any price, I just ask you to show kindness and take in my lady. So Lang looked up at the sky, his eyes as deep as a black hole. My lord. Please. Granny K burst into tears and kept begging, My lady is very well behaved, and her aptitude is very good, she will definitely be a great help for you in the future. Well, I'll take it. So Lang closed his eyes and pondered for a moment, then nodded. After all, he still couldn't stand by and watch this kind and lovely girl struggle and die in despair in the tragic fate. Thank you, sir. Cow, sir. Granny K was so ecstatic that she knocked her head three times again. With the blessing of So Lang, Ji Rugxiu doesn't have to worry about it, and is exhausted. Don't be so eager to be happy. So Lang said faintly, Swan Yun Jing Yue Huo will take another day to complete its refining. Only then can Ji Rugxiu extinguish the breath and cut off the clues of the pursuers. Master So Lang is willing to take in my lady, it is already a great kindness. Granny K kowtowed, how dare we, master and servant, have other extravagances. They have been here for several months since they fled, and waiting for this day is nothing to them. In that case, Ji Rugxia will follow me from now on. The corner of So Lang's mouth twitched and a smile appeared, get up, my name is So Lang. Yes. Lord So Lang. Granny K was overjoyed. Rugxiu, thank you So Lang for taking in. Ji Rugxiu showed his gratitude, and bowed to So Lang in a cute and cute manner. Really good. So Lang stretched out his hand and rubbed Ji Rugxiu's head and smiled, but if you follow me, I'm afraid you won't have a stable life in the future. Since Rugxiu has decided to follow Brother So Lang, no matter what happens in the future, I will bear it with Brother So Lang. Ji Rugxiu nodded earnestly, and then smiled slightly, a pair of beautiful autumn water-cut pupils smiled into a crescent moon. Haha, <laughs> who wants you to bear it? So Lang smiled happily, since I have accepted you, I will definitely not let anyone hurt you. As soon as this remark came out, Ji Rugxiu suddenly felt a warmth welling out of her heart, and her whole figure seemed to be relaxed from the soul to the body. This feeling. Ji Rugxiu's eyes fluttered. She hasn't felt this feeling since she started to flee, until now, she has encountered So Lang. What do you think? So Lang smiled, let's go, we should leave here. Ji Rugxiu nodded incomparably cleverly, and immediately helped Granny K up. But at this moment... Puff! Granny K suddenly squirted out a bit of blood and fell straight to the ground. Grandma K! Grandma K! Ms. K! What's the matter with you? Don't worry about it. Ji Rugxia was shocked at once, and she couldn't help but shed tears. It should be that the injury has worsened. So Lang frowned, crouched down and examined Granny K's injuries. As a result, he found that Granny K had almost run out of oil and her lamp had dried up, and she was able to survive till now with a single breath. It is estimated that seeing that Ji Rugxia's safety has been guaranteed, the tone in her heart vents, and the person will not do it. Brother So Lang, please help Granny K. Ji Rugxia grabbed So Lang's sleeve and begged, 
tears on her face. I try my best. Solang nodded, and immediately took out a large amount of healing medicine from the storage space. Among these healing pills, there is no lack of tier 9 pills, which were just harvested from Kui Tai. Choosing an elixir from it, Solang stuffed it into Granny K's mouth. Brother Solang, Granny K will be fine, right? Ji Rukju looked at Solang hopefully with hazy eyes. This long hush and so pill is the best medicine. Solang's expression is not very good looking, Grandma K's injury is too serious. Whether this medicine can hold her life is a question. The most important thing is that she has the will to survive, you can try to wake her up. Hmm, I will never let Granny K die in front of me. Ji Rukju nodded fiercely and hurriedly approached Granny K's ear, constantly telling the happy past. Time passed slowly. An hour passed in a blink of an eye. Brother Solang, Granny K is awake. Ji Rukju's extremely happy voice came. Solang followed the sound and saw Granny K woke up leisurely and couldn't help but sneered, Old lady, you want to die like this? Don't forget that you have cursed me. If you dare to scold me, you will pay the price. You old servant, you have to die of old age. Master Solang, the old man knows his fault. Granny K said with great gratitude that she wanted to kowtow to Solang, but her injuries did not allow her to do so. Okay, the dragon tiger blood pill just killed you. Solang waved his hand and said, if you want to really heal your injury, you have to find an alchemist to refine a symptomatic pill for you. Let's go, we will enter the city. Ji Rukju, Granny K gave it to you. With that said, Solang turned and walked towards Nanlin City. Good. Brother Solang. Ji Rukju smiled happily, then took Granny K on her back and followed Solang closely. Not long. The gate of Nanlin City gradually appeared in the distant field of vision. Suddenly, so Lang raised his brows and squinted his eyes to look up into the sky. Tweet tweeted. Three strange flying eagles hovered in the sky, piercing screams constantly in their mouths. Brother So Lang, it's a fate bird. Ji Rukju's complexion changed, her beautiful eyes shrank. For this kind of flying eagle that specializes in tracking enemies, she has a deep shadow. Don't worry, these chasers are coming for me. Solang retracted his gaze and sneered, I didn't want to pay attention to you, but you have to come here, so don't blame me for being merciless. At this moment, eight black spots rushing quickly appeared in the distance. They were savage and fierce, and gathered around like a hungry tiger. All military commanders? Ants. Solang glanced at these people, curled his lips in disdain and stood in place with his hands behind his back and waited for them to come and die. In a blink of an eye, eight warriors from the Zhu family rushed to the front and surrounded Solang. Ha 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 ha. Solang, son of a bitch, finally found you. How dare we slash our young president with an adult stick, today we must give a tooth for a tooth. The eight Zhu family martial artists surrounded Solang and Ji Rukju, who was carrying Granny K on their backs, and they kept making vulgar curses. At this moment, one person suddenly looked surprised, look, that thirteen or four-year-old girl turned out to be a military commander. What? Thirteen or four-year-old generals? How is it possible? Let me see, lying noisy, it really is. There is such a small general level, my god, she is absolutely perfect. The Zhu family generals stared at Ji Rukju in disbelief, with intense shock and greed in their eyes. They never expected that after killing a Solang, they would encounter a peerless genius with no lack of qualifications. You have to know that there is no lack of qualifications, but only one in tens of millions of people can appear. Our luck is so good. At this time, a Zhu family martial artist suddenly laughed. Yeah, our luck is simply against the sky. Another big man from the Zhu family also smiled, I can meet an indispensable genius at the general level. My Zhu family is destined to take it to the next level. The other Zhu family martial artists also looked at each other with excitement. 
A genius with no lack of qualifications is almost a doomed king of Wu as long as he doesn't die halfway. Once you control the young girl in front of you with a shallow cultivation base, and then train her to become a king of martial arts, then the Zhu family will be in full swing. As for how to get the other party to submit? Of course that is bullying and temptation, plus other special restraints. One of the most commonly used is the poison pill, and the Zhu family does not know how many warriors have been controlled by this vicious method to sell for it. In the face of surrender and death, those warriors have no choice at all. A group of ants, the idea of someone who dares to beat me. So Lang naturally noticed the gazes of the Zhu family generals, and a sneer appeared at the corner of his mouth. Hey! Your people! You are a small trash, are you eligible to own her? A senior military commander of the Zhu family came out and looked at So Lang condescendingly. Not bad. Another Zhu family general also said with disdain, a mere military master, kills a junior general and treats himself as a human being. Leave him alone, first hello to our genius beautiful girl. A wretched and thin man stepped forward and said to Ji Rugzhu, Little girl, you are in a very dangerous situation with this Solang. Fortunately, your qualifications are pretty good. Our Zhu family is interested in you. Why not consider joining our Zhu family? I promise you will not be hurt a bit, and there will be endless glory and wealth to enjoy in the future. Ji Rugzhu rolled her eyes, looking at the Zhu family warriors like she was looking at a fool. She saw with her own eyes that Brother Solang defeated the mid-level military commander. Now these military commanders dare to squeak and provoke, it is simply too much life. Little girl, why don't you speak? Don't be afraid, we are not malicious. The senior military commander of the Zhu family headed him with a smile, you are your relatives on your back, it looks like you are going to be angry, and you will die soon. However, as long as you agree to join our Zhu family, we will use all our resources to help you treat your loved ones. Ji Rugzhu snorted coldly, rolled her eyes and turned her head away. Little girl, with such good conditions, why are you still hesitating? After a Zhu family general exchanged glances with the others, his face gradually showed a stern look, you must first understand that your situation is very dangerous. We originally wanted to kill all of you, but if you have good aptitude and cute people, we will give you a chance. Don't let yourself be fooled. You guys don't say any more. I won't agree. Ji Rugzhu's tone was cold, also, what's in a dangerous situation and don't mistake yourself, it's really ridiculous. In front of Brother Solang, all of you are chickens and dogs, you are vulnerable, I advise you to run away immediately, there is still a chance. As soon as this remark came out, Solang suddenly smiled. And the faces of those Zhu family generals were as ugly as eating shit. Little sister, don't toast or eat fine wine. The headed Zhu family general said coldly, So Lang's strength is indeed good, but it is a delusion to retreat under our hands. Yes, So Lang is simply vulnerable to a blow under our hands. The other Zhu family showed disdain, if you don't believe it, we will cut So Lang's body to pieces now. Speaking of this, the eyes of all the Zhu family generals once again fell on So Lang. They grinned and sarcastically, they seemed to have eaten so lang. Hey, how come there are so many self-righteous fools in the world? So lang shook his head and sneered again and again, you guys will go on together. If you want to break into pieces, I will fulfill you. Dare to be clever when you die. A military commander of the Zhu family was cruel, after a while, cut off your tongue, and then pull out your teeth one by one. Stop talking nonsense, catch him and let him taste our tricks. The headed Zhu family general screamed and waved his hand to kill him first. The other Zhu family generals also drew out their weapons with a grinning face and slayed So Lang fiercely. The ants are destined to be the dust under my feet. A hint of coldness flashed in So Lang's eyes, and immediately he raised his right hand and brushed it lightly, and the sky was full of snow in an instant. Such a bizarre scene immediately shocked the Zhu family generals. Immediately afterwards, a deep chill swept over, 
causing them to shiver in unison. What happened? It's so cold, so cold. I am a military commander, how can I feel cold? The Zhu family generals looked at those goose feathers and heavy snow in disbelief. They are military commanders, people standing at the top of the small city, cold, or something, I don't know how long they haven't felt it. But now they feel cold to the bone, and even their thinking is frozen. At this time, the headed Zhu family general suddenly showed fear, it is an ice attribute technique. Yes. It must be so. The rest of the people were reminded, and they reacted immediately, their eyes violently opened. What kind of ice attribute technique is this, so terrifying? Advanced, it's a high-level attribute technique. But how could Solang, as a miscellaneous, master such a powerful technique? Don't worry about so much, run away. Endless horror and fear instantly rose on the faces of all Zhu family generals. Immediately, they ran out like crazy. Want to escape now? Don't you think it's too late? With a flick of Solang's finger, the ice blue snowflakes exploded. The terrifying ice and cold power swept all directions, and a radius of 100 meters instantly turned into a glacier. All the Zhu family generals who ran away felt cold all over, and they lost consciousness directly. Help, I can't move. Ah. My hands are frozen. My body is out of sensation. No. Solang. Rao. The Zhu family generals were terrified and struggling, but they still couldn't escape the fate of turning into ice sculptures. At the same time, all the life-seeking birds hovering in the sky turned into ice cubes and fell down, smashing to pieces on the ground. Blink. The eight menacing Zhu family generals turned despair into ice sculptures. Solang stretched out his hand, and a gust of wind hit the eight ice sculptures, smashing them to pieces. However, Solang deliberately left their heads. I hope that the Zhu family will like this gift. A weird smile was outlined at the corner of Solang's mouth. Immediately, with a big wave of his hand, he collected all eight frozen heads into the storage space. Let's go like snow. Solang tilted his head and smiled at Ji Rukju, remember to reduce your breath, lest someone strikes at you again. After speaking, Solang turned and walked towards Nanlin City. Okay, brother Solang. Ji Rukju looked at Solang's back, her eyes dazzling, and then she followed Granny K on her back with her little feet. Not long after, the three people appeared at the gate of the barrier of Nanlin City. In front of him, a few martial arts guards wearing the uniforms of the Martial Arts Alliance blocked the way. Yes, it's you. Solang who killed the warriors of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce. The military masters on duty at the gate of the barrier recognized Solang for the first time, and their faces were immediately shocked. They couldn't believe that Solang dared to show up at the gate of the barrier. You know that the Zhu family and the Nanlin Martial Arts Alliance branch are searching for him in the whole city. Yes, it's me. Get out of the way, I don't want to kill you. Solang glanced at the martial arts guards faintly, and walked straight forward. Seeing this scene, a group of martial arts guards suddenly became stagnant and their faces flushed. Being defiant, really defiant. Since serving as the barrier guard, who did not treat them respectfully when entering and leaving the barrier gates. At this time, there are people who don't take them so seriously. Shame, great shame. The guards of the martial arts were blushing and bursting with anger. At this time, So Lang had already walked in front of them, why? Still not letting go. The martial arts guards bit their teeth fiercely, wishing to immediately pull out their weapons and chop So Lang into meat sauce. But they dare not. They had heard of Solang beheading the Zhu family generals at the airport and torturing Zhu Fanyu. Faced with such a powerful and crazy person, they simply can't afford it. So, after a frenzy of the veins, they still chose to compromise. I, let's get out of here. Several martial artists held back their anger and moved to the side one after another. Well, it's pretty familiar. Solang smiled and nodded, 
leading Ji Rugzhu into the barrier. Quick! Notify the warriors above and the Zhu family. What's the matter, dare to look down on us like this, really treat yourself as invincible. When the warriors of the Zhu family and the martial arts alliance surround him, I wonder if he can still be so arrogant. Go, let's change shifts, we must see how this kid died. Seeing Solang's gradually disappearing back, the anger of the martial arts guards finally broke out and burst out. There was a brutal look, strong hatred, and a strong disdain on their faces. In their opinion, So Lang is indeed very strong in being able to kill the generals in the realm of the martial master. However, wanting to fight against the Zhu family and the Wuhi League branch with this strength is completely wishful thinking. Once So Lang is caught by the Zhu family and the martial artist alliance, it will definitely die. After So Lang completely disappeared at the end of the passage, a group of martial arts guards immediately reported the news. However, with a hundred heads from them, Zhu Xian's reaction after receiving the news was not joy, but horror. At this moment, in the Zhu family manner. What are you talking about? So Lang appeared at the door of the barrier. Zhu Xian stood up from the chair with a chuckle, his face was filled with endless disbelief. Yes, Patriarch. The informant warrior knelt on the ground and said with a vow, It's the news from the barrier warrior guard, now Solang has entered the city. He is still alive? How could this be? Zhu Xian's face was green and red, as if he had opened a dying workshop. Are you sure the source of the information is reliable? Zhu Xian stared at the informer. Although he knew that this reporter would never lie, he still didn't want to believe that Solang was still alive. Patriarch, this is indeed true. The informant warrior swallowed nervously, because not only the guards of the warriors, but also many passerby warriors have seen the trail of Solang. Really? Zhu Xian's eyebrows became a ball, and he walked around the hall with his hands on his back. But there was news before that Zhu Yudong and the others had locked Solang's trace through the life chase. With the lock of the chaser, how could they be lost? It is impossible for So Lang to appear at the gate of the barrier, but they are gone. Could it be that Zhu Yudong and the others are already ill-fortuned? No no no, how is this possible? There are eight military commanders in total. So Lang is just a small military master. How could he be able to kill them? What happened? Could it be that So Lang has an expert to help? Patriarch, probably not. The reporter warrior's heart tightened, and hurriedly said, according to the news from the guard of the barrier, So Lang is following a little girl with a dying old man on his back. They can't be any masters. Dying old man? Little girl. Isn't So Lang alone? Why is there an old and a young suddenly? Damn, how could this So Lang be so weird? Zhu Xian's eyes were violent, and one hand swept fiercely, the cup on the table suddenly hit the ground, and the debris and tea splashed all over the place. There was no news about the eight major generals in the family, but So Lang was alive and well, and he dared to lead people into the barrier, which made him both furious and uneasy. However, as the head of the family, he quickly calmed down. The situation is not completely out of control. Zhu Xian's face was as cold as iron, and his brains were running fast. Zhu Yudong and the others are so strong, it's impossible to die. They were definitely caught by So Lang's tactics and were led to other places. Regardless of these, So Lang dared to enter the barriers arrogantly, it was extremely arrogant, really no one under my Zhu family. Humph, immediately pass the order down and dispatch all the generals to besiege So Lang. Patriarch, what about Master Qin Hu? The reporter knelt on the ground and asked tremblingly. Idiot. Zhu Xian frowned and cursed, will Master Qin whose news lag behind us? Why don't you send the order? Yes. The informant warrior climbed up from the ground cautiously, bent over, and quickly left. So Lang, we will meet soon. I will use the way of being a man to treat him as a man, and hang you with a stick to show the public where there are most people. When Zhu Xian thought of the miserable appearance of his son Zhu Fanyu's stick, the anger in his heart couldn't help but surging, 
making him look hideous, and his seven orifices gave rise to smoke. Immediately, he drew his sword and walked out of the Zhu family manor with a murderous look. He has to do it himself to relieve his hatred. At the same time, Nanlin City rushed along Wolf Avenue. The crowds of passers-by were whispering and pointing around. Surrounded by these passers-by are the unheard Solang and Ji Rugzhiu with Granny K on his back. It's that Solang. I have seen his portrait. Haha, <laughs> is this man stupid, dare to walk on the street swaggeringly, I don't know that the Zhu family and the League branch are chasing him. Perhaps someone is a master of art and bravery, so they are not afraid of anything? Do you think that? Boldness is real, and Yi Gao is fake. His strength is considered a shame in front of the Zhu family and the Alliance branch. Many onlookers whispered and discussed, their eyes looking at Solang were full of disdain and gloating. At the same time, many people's eyes fell on Ji Rugzhu. This little girl is so beautiful, she is definitely a stunner when she grows up. Yes, skin wins snow, smiles at Kaiyu, and the agile temperament that day is tickling. Haha. <laughs> It's just too petite, if you grow up a little bit, hee <laughs> hee. I like this kind of petite. Many people commented on Ji Rugzhu, and So Lang's brows gradually frowned. Ji Rugzhu's delicate willow leaf eyebrows were also slightly frowned, and of course she didn't like others to point to her. You guys like talking about others, right? So Lang stopped, and the extremely cold voice spread throughout the street in a flash. For an instant, Everyone couldn't help but feel excited, like being poured with a bucket of ice water in the winter. If anyone else dares to speak, I don't mind cutting off his tongue. So Lang looked around at everyone, his eyes overflowing with murderous aura. All the people he stared at felt a chill rise from the tail spine, and the hairs were standing up one by one. Almost less than a second, the whole street became quiet and quiet, as if a needle dropped could be heard. Ooh. Look, it's incredible. Suddenly, a voice with a strong sarcasm came out, you dare to play sideways on the street. Everyone looked at them, and saw that five martial arts masters in the uniforms of the Union Division were looking at Solang contemptuously. And these people are the martial arts guards who made way for Solang at the entrance of the barrier before. It turned out to be you. Solang glanced at the five martial arts guards faintly, before I murmured in front of me, and was a man with his tail sandwiched. You dare to taunt me now, it must be a bully, you have confidence? You are the dog. A dying person, dare to speak rudely. Dare to insult us, wait a while to see how you die. The martial arts guards laughed instead of anger, looking at Solang as if they were looking at a dead person. Before that, they certainly didn't dare to talk to Solang like this. But now that the news has spread, the warriors of the Zhu family and the Alliance branch are coming soon. With such a strong backing, what are they afraid of? Really confident? So Lang's mouth slowly outlines a cold and cruel smile, it's a pity that you provoke me, no matter who you rely on, you will die. Want to kill us? Extremely ridiculous. The martial arts guard looked at each other, showing a sneered sneer. At this time, So Lang sneered, single-handedly, a horrible icy power instantly condensed into dozens of flickering flying knives, severely cut out. What the hell? What kind of trick is this? Faced with such an incredible scene, everyone was stunned. Those warrior guards even stood upside down, their scalp was about to explode, and they had to run away without even thinking about it. However, just the icy power that spilled from the flying knife made them stiff, their thinking was sluggish, and they didn't even have a chance to move. Do not. The terrifying ice skates gradually occupied the field of vision, and the martial arts guards let out a desperate cry. In the next moment, dozens of cold ice flying knives slashed mercilessly on them, instantly slicing them all in the waist. However, their bodies were not divided into two because the power of ice cold directly frozen them into ice sculptures. Such a shocking scene immediately made everyone dumbfounded and their faces full of dementia. This, 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 
this is an ice attribute technique. Solang has mastered such a powerful technique, and the five masters of martial arts are gone in an instant. Unexpectedly, he should be so awesome, even the most difficult attribute technique can be practiced to such an extent, no wonder he is so arrogant. But he is too arrogant, he is really crazy to kill the barrier guards of the Alliance branch. Run away, this person must be crazy, maybe he will kill him later. Those martial artists are not able to withstand a single blow, my small body can't even hold the aftermath. Right, right. Run away, run away. A large number of onlookers came back to their senses, and immediately ran away in panic. Suddenly, a fierce roar came from outside the crowd. Retreat all to me. This roar shook the scalp of all passers-by like thunder, frightened, and squeezed to the side involuntarily. In an instant, a wide avenue appeared in the tide of people. Solang raised his eyebrows and looked at it. In the middle of the avenue, a group of warriors dressed in red shirts glared and walked murderously. In the middle of this group of warriors, there is an old man with grey hair, blue complexion and murderous eyes in his eyes. That's Zhu Xian, the head of the Zhu family. Unexpectedly, the patriarch of the Zhu family actually made the shot himself. He is a famous military commander. The Zhu family's Keqing generals have also come a lot, and other generals who have invested in the Chamber of Commerce in the Four Seas have also come. I counted. There are nine generals in total. The last time there was such a large lineup was to resist the tide of fierce beasts. With such strength, Solang must be over here, there is no suspense. Tisk tisk, the Zhu family is strong otherwise the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce would not have been able to monopolize the various markets in Nanlin City for so many years. What are you doing with this? Don't kill me. Everyone whispered and whispered, looking at Zhu Xian and others with awe. At this moment, in everyone's hearts, So Lang is already bound to die. At this moment, Zhu Xian and a group of generals also walked in front of So Lang. They gnash their teeth one by one, furious, like an active volcano about to erupt. Solang, I finally found you. It's you, how dare you cut my son into a man? Zhu Xian stared at Solang with cracking eyes, the turbulent hatred was almost like a tsunami. Yes, it's me. Zhu Fanyu provoked me again and again. I didn't kill him. It's already a kindness. Solang didn't change his face in the face of Zhu Xian and more than a dozen generals, and he was calm, even with a faint smile. Great kindness. You cut my son into an adult stick so that he is not as good as dead, and he is so kind. You are so cruel and vicious, cruel and inhumane. Zhu Xian's eyes were violent and bloodshot, and he couldn't wait to swallow Solang alive. Sorry, being an enemy of me, it ended so badly. Solang shrugged, and immediately smiled, by the way, I also prepared some gifts for you, I hope you like it. As he said, Solang waved his hand, and suddenly there were eight frozen heads on the ground. Zhu Xian took a look, and immediately shook his whole body. He rolled against the blood, almost spewing out three liters of old blood. He looked at the heads on the ground tremblingly, chanting the name of the head owner one by one, Zhu Yudong. Zhu Yachu. Zhu Linjin. These eight generals were the true core strength of their Zhu family, and they were all dead. What? Zhu Xian let out a hoarse, heart-piercing roar, and the whole person almost collapsed. The other members of the Zhu family are also bursting with tears, their eyes are blood red, and the veins and blood vessels on their faces and necks are almost exploding. The onlookers were all dumbfounded, standing there like a statue. Ah! Solang! I want you to pay for it. Zhu Xian's face was distorted, and the old tears were everywhere, and he drew out his sword and killed So Lang. Vengeance for the people. The other Zhu family generals also drew out their weapons with cracked fingers, and roared at So Lang. In an instant, the swords, lights, swords and shadows on the entire street, the forest and the frozen bones, the air of killing, overwhelming. There are ants on the ground and so are you. 
Facing the siege of military commander Zhu Xian and eight military commanders, So Lang did not cut him. He took a breath, and nine crystal clear snowflakes condensed, floating, and sinking. As soon as these snowflakes appeared, the temperature within a radius of 100 meters dropped by tens of degrees. It's cold. I can't take it anymore, go. The warriors with low cultivation bases were terrified and retreated one after another. Those warriors with acceptable levels of cultivation also trembled all over, and couldn't stop it. However, Zhu Xian and Zhu's generals who were locked by Solang seemed to be stared at by the gods of death, and they stopped at the same fright. Advanced Ice Attribute Technique How can he be a mere martial artist? Zhu Xian's pupils shrank suddenly, and the fire of anger before was like being poured into a basin of ice water, which was instantly extinguished. The rest of the Zhu family's generals were also terrified, and their scalps were about to explode. They knew that they would never be able to bear the seemingly harmless snowflakes. If you want me to pay for my blood, you must have the consciousness that the ending will be tragic. An icy smile was drawn at the corner of So Lang's mouth, don't worry, you will die very happy. After that, So Lang was about to shoot snowflakes and ended the Zhu family. But at this moment, Stop! With a burst of shouts, pierced the sky. Oh! Another one! So Lang glanced slightly, only to see a figure stepping on the high-rise building, constantly shuttled and rushed towards the circle of war. As soon as his mind moved, the person's attribute panel appeared in front of him. Qin Hu! Human! Best! Junior Martial Commander! Intermediate Military Commander! Junior Martial Commander Plus Junior Martial Commander Plus Junior Martial Officer Boundless Heart Sutra, Sen Luo de Kui Swordsmanship, Qin Li Jinchen Zhu, King Li of Fei Ying Step Master Qin Hu When Zhu Xian and the Zhu family generals saw Qin Hu, their faces were ecstatic. This strength? Ha ha! The corner of So Lang's mouth raised and he held his back with one hand. If your speed is fast enough to block my snowflakes, why don't you save them? Immediately afterwards, with a thought in his heart, crystal snowflakes burst out, killing Zhu Xian and others. Seeing the glittering snowflakes getting closer and closer, Zhu Xian and the others were shocked and immediately flee. But the terrifying force of ice and cold swept over, making them stiff, almost unable to move. Zhu Xian of the rank of the martial arts commander could barely resist the attack of the ice and cold force and ran away towards the distance. However, Zhu Xian's speed is also as slow as a snail, and it is almost useless in the power of ice and cold that swept through. Feeling the fear of almost dying, Zhu Xian and the others were extremely remorseful, and hated whether they should provoke the perverted evildoer So Lang. But it was too late. The power of ice cold carried So Lang's anger overwhelmingly, rolling in. Do not. Master Qin Hu, help. Zhu Xian and the others were so cold and frightened that they all looked at Qin Hu with desperate eyes. Qin Hu is their last straw. I want you to stop. Qin Hu's forehead blue veins jumped violently, his speed reached the limit. However, he was still more than 200 meters away from the battle circle and it would take one second at the earliest. And one second was enough time for So Lang to kill those Zhu Xian and others over and over again. Goodbye, everyone. A sneer flashed in So Lang's eyes. At the next moment, the nine crystal snowflakes burst out suddenly burst. The eight Zhu family generals directly turned into ice sculptures in full view, and there was no aura on the spot. Zhu Xian tried her best to eat milk and escaped and finally got frozen in her lower body 100 meters away. Zhu Xian Qin Hu rushed to Zhu Xian's side and immediately fed him a fiery red pill. Master Qin Hu The Zhu family is dead, and the Zhu family is gone. Zhu Xian's eyes were lost, and his mouth trembling made a cuckoo cry of blood. So Lang You are so bold. Qin Hu looked at So Lang very angrily, his whole face bursting with red veins, his eyes almost bursting into flames. The Zhu family is very important to him, Qin Hu. 
These are almost his hands in ruling Nanlin City, and he is also the largest supplier of cultivation resources. But now, the Zhu family almost exists in name only, his hands are broken. How intense is the pain of a broken arm? At this moment, Qin Hu's hatred for Solang is simply monstrous. What? Are you going to avenge the Zhu family? Solang smiled faintly, then you have to think about it clearly, and if you have enemies with me, it will end badly. Solang, I admit that you are really strong. Qin Hu stared at Solang gloomily, however, you can beat Zhu Xian before, can you still beat me? As soon as the words fell, Qin Hu suddenly burst into a powerful aura of an intermediate military commander. This breath swept across all directions like a hurricane, and all the warriors couldn't help their legs become weak and fell to the ground. Seeing his domineering aura, he immediately knelt down, making Qin Hu more confident. How, with such a strength, can you beat it? Qin Hu raised his chin and looked down at Sou Lang with a squinting gaze. Now you kneel down and beg for mercy and swear allegiance to me. Maybe I can consider forgiving you. For a young and powerful warrior like So Lang, Qin Hu naturally wanted to regain his life for him. Ha 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 ha. So Lang looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, then glanced at Qin Hu with disdain. You are really good at having the combat power of an intermediate military commander in the realm of a mere junior military commander. It's a pity that your strength still can't even beat a finger of mine. Want me to kneel and beg for mercy for your loyalty? Are you dreaming? Wake up! As soon as this remark came out, the onlookers who knelt on the ground were suddenly shocked with dementia. Seeing that Qin Hu was soft on the spot, everyone was shocked. No one thought that the aloof city lord Qin Hu would be so soft. Zhu Xian was also chilling. He obviously wanted to save Qin Hu, but was scolded by Qin Hu who was in a mess, and couldn't speak for a while. Qin Hu, you and I have a deadly feud. So Lang's cold voice came, why did you let me spare you? Master So Lang, I do not know Taishan, I was wrong, I should not provoke you. Qin Hu cried bitterly, his voice trembled, please, give me a chance. Give give me a chance to make up for my mistakes. I... I... I have been operating in Nanlin City for a long time. I have a lot of spirit stones, I have many treasures, I am willing to give them all to you in exchange for my dog's life. Facing the invincible Solang and the terrifying death crisis, Qin Hu completely put down all his postures, and lowered his head humbly like a beggar. If it hadn't been for him to be hung on the ice long sword by So Lang at this time, he would kneel on the ground and beg for mercy. For the sake of your honesty and regret, I will give you a chance. So Lang slowly raised the corners of his mouth. Why didn't he come to Nanlin City for more funds to upgrade system functions? Now that there is a chance to get a big deal from the city lord of Nanlin, it is natural not to let Qin Hu just die. Thank you Lord So Lang. Thank you Lord So Lang. Qin Hu was given the opportunity of So Lang's reward, and suddenly saw a glimmer of hope and despair, and his eyes broke out with the excitement of the rest of his life. Hey, there is only one chance. If you dare to play tricks, don't think about living. So Lang sneered, and then his heart moved, the sword of ice that was more than ten meters long collapsed suddenly, dissipating into ice and cold power. Puff. Qin Hu is grateful to the Lord for his mercy, and will never dare to have another heart. Qin Hu fell to the ground and immediately bowed down to So Lang busy. Okay. So Lang nodded faintly, his eyes were placed on Zhu Xian again. Hiss. Zhu Xian was stared at by So Lang's icy gaze, and he tremblingly took a breath. He knew that it was his turn to be judged. Once you make a wrong step, what awaits him is absolutely tragic end. Master So Lang, Zhu Xian knows his fault. Lord So Lang, you have a lot of adults, go around me once. Without hesitation, Zhu Xian's knees softened and he knelt directly on the ground, with his forehead clasped to the ground. Zhu Xian, if you can pay the price that satisfies me, I can consider sparing you. 
Solang looked at Zhu Xian condescendingly, a glimmer of excitement and expectation flashed through his eyes. This Zhu Xian is the controller of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce, and also a big fat sheep. In this Nanlin city, the wealthiest people are Qin Hu and this Zhu Xian, and they don't know how much wealth can be extracted from them. My lord! I am willing to pay any price. Seeing that there was a chance to live, Zhu Xian immediately showed the ecstasy of the rest of his life just like Qin Hu. In that case, you guys will ask to raise money immediately. So Lang smiled faintly, whether you can survive or not depends on how much money you can pay for your life. Yes yes. We are going to raise money, and we will not let Master So Lang down. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian knocked their heads like garlic, and were knocked out of two big pits on the ground. At this scene, those onlookers were amazed. But they also knew that if they changed themselves, they would be even more humble than Qin Hu and Zhu Xian. At this time, Qin Hu and Zhu Xian called out, and several trembling warriors immediately walked out of the crowd. These warriors are members of the Four Seas Chamber of Commerce and the Alliance branch. They were all shocked by So Lang, and they didn't even have the courage to look up at So Lang. You all heard what Master So Lang said. You must make up for the offense suffered by Master So Lang at all costs. You do it now. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian were frightened and frightened, their voices were so eager that they almost couldn't speak clearly. Yes. Subordinates no. Several warriors nodded quickly, and then left quickly. Hey, don't let me down. So Lang looked at the warriors who left, and his heart was like a cat's scratching. However, there is one more thing he has not forgotten. Qin Hu, Zhu Xian. So Lang looked down at the two, his tone indifferent and cold. My lord. We are here. Please do not hesitate to give orders, but whatever we can do will do it for you. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian trembled, crawling down in horror, their foreheads hitting the ground. I have a servant seriously injured. So Lang said lightly, you have seen it too, do you know what to do? No, no. We are going to invite the best alchemist in Nanlin City. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian nodded in a hurry. Of course they had spotted the dying Granny K on Ji Ruk Zhu's back. So Lang mentioned that if they didn't know how to do it, they would just kill with a piece of tofu. Then, they called out several subordinates again and ordered them to invite alchemists. I hope your alchemist level is high enough. So Lang glanced at Qin Hu and Zhu Xian and the corners of his mouth raised slightly, otherwise I will get angry and the consequences will be serious. Master So Lang, please rest assured. We will invite Tian Chu, the best 10 rank alchemist in Nanlin City, he is the best at treating the wounded. Qin Hu swallowed a bit of nervousness, and immediately patted his chest, vowing to promise. Better so. So Lang nodded noncommittal, then looked at the sky again. The sun is so big, you two want me to keep basking here. No, it's not. Master So Lang calm down. Seeing So Lang's anger, Zhu Xian quickly begged for mercy, let's take adults to the best place to rest. Then, don't you go ahead and lead the way. So Lang curled his lips, then came to Ji Ruk Zhu's side. They went to find the best alchemist. So Lang gently squeezed Ji Ruk Zhu's cute little face, don't worry, your Granny K will be fine. Hmm. Ji Ruk Zhu's face was reddish, and she nodded obediently. So Lang's big warm hands made her little heart jump like a deer. Soon, under the respectful leadership of Qin Hu and Zhu Xian, the three of So Lang gradually disappeared on Qi Lang Street. Seeing So Lang's back, all the onlookers stared at each other, secretly speechless. From the beginning to the present, all of them thought that So Lang would definitely die. But unexpected things happened again and again. Waves of increasingly stronger opponents were all defeated by So Lang, even Qin Hu, the strongest in Nanlin City. Such an incredible scene makes them unbelievable to this day. At the same time, this slapped all of them severely. This So Lang is really awesome. I really don't know where the evildoer came out. Yes, with one person we can hang our entire Nanlin city, 
enchanting, enchanting. The onlookers sighed one after another, and then dispersed one by one. The scene they saw today became the most important conversation in their lives. Two hours later. In a luxurious private manor in the core area of Nanlin City. In the hall, So Lang sat in a chair and drank tea leisurely. Granny K was lying in the next room, and Ji Rugjia was waiting for her nicely. But Qin Hu and Zhu Xian stood cautiously at the door like slaves. They can be said to be distraught and panic, because as time goes by, they find that So Lang has become a little impatient. At this time, there was finally a sound of footsteps outside. Coming. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian looked out with joy. I saw a military commander and a military master walking over very nervously. Master Qin Hu. Master Patriarch. Fortunately, my subordinates have brought all the wealth that can be raised in a short period of time. The two subordinates were so nervous that they each took out a space ring and gave it to Qin Hu and Zhu Xian. How many? Qin Hu asked with some worry. He is afraid that the amount is not enough, and his life will be over by then. The military commander said, Master Qin Hu, there is a total of 150 million gold coins worth of spiritual stones in your ring. How about yours? How many? Say it. Zhu Xian also looked at his subordinates worriedly. The martial artist said, My lord. The spirit stones in it are worth about 70 million gold coins, and there are some treasures that have not had time to exchange for money. It's probably enough. Qin Hu sucked in distress. Oh. It's not enough anymore. Zhu Xian was also heartbroken, and he impatiently waved his hands to the two subordinates, You go, by the way, urged Yan Chiu to practice alchemy. Yes, the subordinates retire. The two subordinates were relieved and left quickly. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian took the space ring and came to So Lang respectfully. Got the money. There was a faint smile on So Lang's face. Yes. Master So Lang. All our family properties are here, please forgive us. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian knelt on the ground anxiously, offering the space ring very humbly. So Lang nodded slightly, then waved his big hand holding the two space rings in his hands. Look, how many are there? With a glimmer of expectation, So Lang's mind sank into the space ring. The next moment, densely packed spirit stones and gold coins appeared in front of them, with various rare treasures in between. Not bad. Well. Enough to buy your life. A bright and excited smile appeared on So Lang's face. So many gold coins are enough for him to upgrade all functions to level 7 and start the latest one key alchemy function. Relative to such a huge income, it is all right to let Qin Hu and Zhu Xian go. Great, great. Thank you Lord So Lang for your mercy. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian had their lives back, and they were happy at each other, shaking their heads with excitement. Seeing the two people crawling under his feet, So Lang smiled happily and immediately issued instructions. The system, deposit all the money spirit stones I own. The next moment, the gold coin spirit stone in the storage space and the space ring disappeared instantly. The amount behind the spirit stone icon is soaring like a rocket. Finally, the number reached a terrifying seven-digit number 2238325 inferior spirit stone. The system, Give me an upgrade to the avatar dispatch function and one click treasure hunting function. Seeing such a huge amount, So Lang gave orders with excitement. Ding! Consuming 100,000 lower grade spirit stones, the clone dispatch function is upgraded to level 6, and the number of clones is plus 1. Ding! Consume 1 million lower grade spirit stones, the clone dispatch function is upgraded to level 7 and the number of clones plus one. Ding! Consuming 100,000 lower grade spirit stones, the one-click treasure hunting function has been upgraded to level 6, and the number of treasure hunting flying flying gliders has increased to 64. Ding! Consume 1 million lower grade spirit stones, the one-click treasure hunting function has been upgraded to level 7, and the number of treasure hunting flying flying gliders has increased to 128. 
Ding. Congratulations on upgrading all the first four system functions to level 7. You have obtained the activation authority for the new function, and you can activate it with only 100 grade spirit stones. The extremely pleasing system prompts kept coming, and Sol Lang's eyes showed excitement. Immediately, his lips opened a smile, system, activate new features. Ding! Consume 100 lower grade spirit stones, and the one key alchemy function has been activated. Ding! The current one key alchemy function is level 1, which can refine the pill of level 2 and below. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the bonus functions Alchemy Synchronization and Pill Recognition Abilities. After a series of system prompts, Sol Lang only felt a tremor in his mind. The mysterious black space has changed. Sol Lang's expression moved, his mind sank into the mysterious black space, and he suddenly found that there was another white villain inside. However, unlike other villains, this white villain holds a continuously rotating pill furnace in his hands. At the same time, a lot of information poured into Sol Lang's mind. Noisy, noisy. Is it so awesome? Looking at the information in his mind, Sol Lang's eyes widened with excitement. He knew that the one key alchemy function must be very abnormal, but he never expected this function to be abnormal to such an extent. First of all, as long as you have an elixir, one-click alchemy function can refine all the pills within a limited level, and the refined pills are of perfect quality. It should be known that the quality of pill is divided into six grades, waste pills, low grade, middle grade, top grade, top grade, and perfect grade. The top grade is already very rare, the top grade will occasionally be a surprise, and the perfect quality pill will hardly appear on the market. Once a perfect quality pill appears on the market, it will definitely cause a lot of looting. Secondly, it's very easy to use one key alchemy. Just use your mind to put the alchemy materials in the storage space into the pill furnace, wait for a while, and you can make the pill. And the success rate of refining pills is 100% terrifying. This success rate is enough to surprise all alchemists to doubt their lives. In addition, the two bonus functions are also very useful. I won't talk about the pill recognition, if you have it, you can recognize it regardless of the indifferent medicine. Synchronization of alchemy gave Sol Lang the ability to make alchemy by himself, and he could make any pill that could be made with one key alchemy function. In this way, Sol Lang will not fall into the embarrassing situation of knowing it but not knowing why. Finally, this one key alchemy function and one key treasure hunting function are a perfect match. After finding the alchemy materials, the treasure hunting flying gliders don't have to sell them in the store, they can be refined into pills and sold. The price of alchemy materials and pill medicine is far different. This refining can make many times the money. Tut tut, system ah system, you're so sweet. Sol Lang was so excited that he was also an alchemist from now on. Moreover, it is still the kind that can make alchemy while sitting and lying down holding beautiful women. Right. I still have money to upgrade. Sol Lang suddenly raised his brows and thought, System, upgrade me the one key alchemy function. Ding. Consuming 1000 lower grade spirit stones, the one key alchemy function is upgraded to level 2, which can refine the pill of level 4 and below. Ding. Consuming 10,000 lower grade spirit stones, the one key alchemy function has been upgraded to level 3, and it can be refined to level 6 or below. Ding! Not enough spirit stones to upgrade. My fork, I have more than 2 million lower grade spirit stones, so I have no money. Sol Lang raised his brows and glanced at the balance of the spirit stone only to find that there were only 21,115 low-grade spirit stones left. Lie noisy, come quickly, and spend money quickly. Sol Lang breathed cold breath for the speed at which the system swallowed money. However, he was very, very happy in his heart. After all, in less than a second, he has the strength of a sixth-rank alchemist. And it's the kind that can produce a perfect pill 100% as long as there is a pill. 
it's really exciting to think about the round and round pill. After a long time, So Lang slowly calmed down his excitement, and his eyes fell on Qin Hu and Zhu Xian again. Master So Lang When the two saw So Lang looking over, their hearts suddenly burst and became nervous. So Lang's expression changed before, but now he stared at them suddenly, but they were terrified. Why hasn't the Tian Chiu you mentioned come yet? So Lang said unhappily, if there is something wrong with my servant, you two will still have to die. My lord, we don't know either. That Tian Chiu is a tenth rank alchemist with a very weird personality. It is estimated that our people have been made difficult by him. Master So Lang, or, would you please allow me to remind you? Zhu Xian and Qin Hu said in horror. Also, you can go. So Lang nodded noncommittal, but if you want to escape, don't blame me for being merciless. My lord, we definitely won't. Yes, yes, we are all here, please rest assured, adults. Qin Hu and Zhu Xian quickly promised that their chests were banging. Immediately after So Lang signaled, Qin and Hu left the luxurious manor and went to the alchemist Tian Chiu in person. After the two left, So Lang's attention was once again placed in the mysterious black space. At this time, half of the one key cultivation villain turned golden, and it was obvious that he could break through again soon. It is worthy of a level 7 one key practice, 128 times the cultivation speed of a talented genius without lack of qualifications. The two one click martial arts villains are still the same, one is practicing blowing snow without mark and the other is practicing 7-star hidden killing blade. After one click Washu is promoted to level 7, the former will need 12 days to reach the Xiaocheng level, and the latter can be promoted to the Xiaocheng level in just 28 hours. In addition to the one key practice and the one key martial arts villain, there are two purple villains standing alone in the corner. This was condensed when the clone was dispatched to level 6 and 7. The remaining five clones still have six hours of cooling time. This also means that it will take less than six hours to complete the refining of the Qinglian dragon pattern fire. Hey hey! So Lang couldn't help letting out a deep and excited laugh, after sleeping, my strength has skyrocketed again, so cool. Immediately, So Lang dispatched the newly condensed clones and the treasure hunting flying 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 gliders out to hunt for treasures, and then began to close his eyes and rest. At the same time, in a luxurious pavilion in Nanlin City, Qin Hu and Zhu Xian met the alchemist Tian Chiu. Although this alchemist Tian Chiu is as grey as Zhu Xian, he has a bright look and frivolous eyes, always giving people a perverse and paranoid feeling. At this moment, he sat opposite Qin Hu and Zhu Xian with a trace of contempt on his face. Qin Hu, Zhu Xian Tian Chiu took a sip of tea and said with a gun and a stick, I didn't expect you to kneel down and beg for mercy from a young man who is still young. It is ridiculous. As a 10th rank alchemist, or quasi pill king, Tian Chiu's status is not weaker than that of Qin Hu and Zhu Xian. And his relationship with Qin Hu and Zhu Xian is pretty good, so he has always been very rude. Tian Chiu, you don't understand how terrifying that Sol Lang is. Qin Hu's face was very ugly, I am under his hand, and I can't survive a single move. Yes, Tian Chiu, don't think that we are all soft guys. Zhu Xian's complexion flushed, and gritted his teeth and said, How can we abandon our dignity and kneel to him so lang when we are not forced to do so? Hey, it's useless. Tian Chiu raised his chin in disdain, If you can't hit it head on, don't you know outsmart? Outsmart? How to outsmart? Qin Hu's eyes flashed, and he said thoughtfully, Do you have a way? Then So Lang is as strong as a senior military commander, how to outsmart it? Zhu Xian stared at Tian Chiu displeasedly, Don't stand and talk because your back hurts. Of course I can do it. Tian Chiu snorted and stood up, Isn't he So Lang asking me to treat his servant? This is a great opportunity. Tian Chiu, what can you do? A hint of surprise appeared in Qin Hu's eyes, can you really handle that so lang? Tian Chiu, speak up. Zhu Xian also turned from worry to joy. 
he and Qin Hu were severely slapped by Sou Lang. They sacrificed their dignity in order to survive. Why didn't they hate them? Before Sou Lang was as well behaved as a lamb, there was no resistance at all, and he had to surrender.